for 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012. I'm never really sure. At one point, we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. A very good morning to you. I hope you're well. The day is Friday. The date, who knows? Uh, it all blends into one, but at least the sun is shining. Um, so, it's seven o'clock in the morning. So what we thought we'd do is we're going to go back to basics. Now you're thinking, oh, here we go again. Another back to basics show. It's not. Because what we're talking about is a show where you look at it now and you think, well, I've already got that. I don't need any more. But you will. Once you see what we're getting in bundles, and for the prices I'm about to show you, the value for money is phenomenal. We're going to be talking inks. We're talking the big name of Sukuniko Mooncat is what it translates to be. Uh, and we know the translation from one very special person who's standing on my right-hand side. Yes, she's here. She's worked a mammoth of a weekend already and we've dragged her in at 7 o'clock. Bless her. It's our Paula. How are you, love? Hi. I love that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep away from the place. Yeah, I, well, yeah, true. I mean, I was last night after doing my shift and I kind of was like, oh, I need to pick up something from work so I came back. Uh, yeah, that's... But, you know, Sukuniko you are right it's an amazing brand isn't it and uh, by the way we know the translation also because thanks to our producer lovely Meg who researched it Suki Nico Nico is cat and of course Suki is moon but it is one of these shows where if we were watching at home now you think well I've got all this already I don't need it anymore but it, it it's is. a it's a it's a consumable it it's is eventually consumable. it will run out Absolutely. eventually you it will all, and it always runs out at the point where you think oh i've got enough in it but there's no limits on ink pads you don't know when they're in it because they just start going yeah. gradually and all of a sudden they're gone and especially for instance with uh, some of the dye based ink pads especially stays on a memento they dry much quicker but however i also love the idea of having what i call different stages of juiciness in ink pads Ooh. Different stages of juiciness. Different <laughs> stages of that's that's a dating app if ever I saw one. <laughs> so different stages of juiciness. Shop ahead. 
for the juiciness. You can shop ahead there. We've got everything on this show. From I was only talking about them um, the other day, the Versamark pen, so you can uh, emboss onto your big 12 by 12. So if you've got like a subtle rose in the background and you just want to pull that out, you can use the pens. Memento we've got on the show as well. And if you're thinking, well, I just thought ink was ink. I thought black ink was just black ink. It's not. And we've learned so much over these little crash courses that Paola brings us over the last few months. And once again, I'm bringing you now a brand new bundle. Okay, a brand new bundle for a phenomenal price of £14.99, which is, this is everything you need, whether you're just starting out or you just want an on-the-road kit. This will cover everything, from leaving watermarks on your cards if you want subtle backgrounds, to little pigment inks that you can dip in with your water brushes and you can paint with them, to the inks that you're going to need to use on things like glossy card, vellum, wood, leather, polymer clay, metal, glass, shrink plastic, and that's just one ink pad that's in there. And then we move on to your brilliance and then we verse on to your verse of magic. If I told you now, what is the difference between a uh, brilliance and a verse of magic, would you know? Well, give me 15 minutes of your time and I'm about to tell you what the difference is because they've all got their own job in the crafting world. They really, really are. So, what we're going to do, we're going to break them all the way down. So, we'll tell them out then and Paolo will tell us um, what we need to tell. So, we're gonna, we've got in this kit, you've got verse mark uh, that's in here. So, you've got a little verse mark. Now, once again, these aren't little tester kits, aren't they? These aren't little, oh, 14 99 you're not going to get that much in there. And they're not going to be very juicy. Absolutely. You are so right that you, they are much more than a tester pad because they are raised form, for instance, in the Versamark. So that means that now it doesn't matter how big or how small our stamp is. For instance, this is a sizable stamp. We can just dab it all over. So it don't be fooled by the size of those pads. They are incredibly good inks manufactured in Japan by Tsukiniko, which means that they they have been the ones that they, they first brought pigment ink pads. Now, Versamark pad is the one that it, it's funny because it's the one that is black, completely black, and it's actually the transparent ink. And then, of course, that means that if we put it into, let me put it into black card in here, can you see that? Element. So that yes. kind of watermark in there. Now, that will dry uh, matte, but it will dry darker. So can you see the difference? That's kind of the versamark, uh, kind of, uh, you know, the watermark effect. But then, of course, then if we wanted to put embossing powders, it's a sticky enough, so then I, we can put the embossing powders in here. So we're going to put it in there. And then, can you see, it has attached the embossing powder there, and that's ready for me to then go in. Because I always thought, and this was what struck me last night when I was, um, I was looking into the show, I always assumed that Versamark was just for embossing powder. It was basically the glue for embossing powder, but it's not. It's got a job as a water, it leaves you like a watermark. You should there. have a sample uh, on the air that is like the, the marks in there. Oh, the... Hold the line. Oh, there it is, it's the grey one. This yeah. one there. Yeah. If you look at that, so that is just using the watermark element that you've got. Can you on see there. how it's the same pad, but you have the dark. Can, can you see the pattern? I love that kind of subtleness because if you are using porous cards, you will get that perfect kind of watermark, the dark, and still you can read it. And it's just, I love the subtleness. I love that it's no matter what a color card you have, if as long as it's porous, you are going to darken it by using the Versamark. It looks like you've used like a smoky gray. Yes. But it's the same it's color. Not. But it's, it's, can you see the all intensity of the green? these are exactly the same. So that's all from a Versamark that we've got there. So Versamark not only leaves your watermark, it also now is for your embossing powder. So that's basically two inks in one that we've yes. used already. Where do you want to go next, Paula? We'll follow uh, you. Right. So then we are going to get in. Okay. So we have got on. Uh, then we are going into, let's go uh, and talk about Bursa Color. Now, Bursa Color is the original pigment ink pad. Now, this is the ink that if you want to have um for instance you know um oh cardio yes. cardio they use versa color that's the one ink pass that you use and the reason is because it's a very sharp pigment very rich water based and also it kind of stays wet for a long time so for instance if you wanted to look at how sharp that black is but then you can go in again with your embossing powder if you wanted to 
because it's better to a stamp onto black uh, with black ink and then use clear embossing powder rather than black ink, uh, black embossing powder. Oh. Because the embossing powder black, of course, if you have a speckle of black embossing uh, powder, it will show. With a clear one, it will not. So you will get a much better in impression. Sorry, I should hold it like this because embossing, it, I have got a cutting mat underneath it. But you can see how sharp, how beautiful it is. Now, also, one of the reasons I love Versacolor, because it was the original pigment ink pad water base, well, of any type of ink pad, uh, it was pigment, uh, in the 1980s, that, of course, uh, Bert Suki Nicobroga, look at this. And they kind of quickly and easily, they, but also they blend really well. And the richness of the color means that if I wanted to, for instance, I'm going to do it like this. I can do, can you see how much pigment I have got in here? Hence yeah. why, why um, for those beautiful cardio miniature things, they love this ink because then you can do so, look at it, I'm still getting prints because it's one of the richest and it stays west the longest. Also, if you like to do liner cuts and then kind of ink it, it's almost like an ink or, or uh, you know, like is the ink that you would use to to color your uh, lino, lino, lino and then of course get the print because it stays wet the longest. Ah, okay. So, so it's like then, for instance, if I had, oh, let me show you what I mean by this. Um, so if I put it in here, this is not the best. Oh, I was looking for embossing. Oh, well, this is kind of go in here. Then I can transfer it. Can you see? To kind of straight away. Uh, straight away, you can transfer it and you will get lots of prints. So it's one of the richest ones. I, I will be honest, it's one of those ones that I think is an unsung hero. It's a more mixed media, it's more about kind of getting a lot of pigment, a lot of impression. A, 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 and then when we move on to Versafine, you will think, well, that's also pigment, but this one is oil based. And then it, there's a little bit of difference. Oil base will dry quicker than water base, and it dries onto many surfaces. So, for instance, Versafine, between the two of them, I would use Versacolor more for when always I want to emboss, but also I will use it, uh, Versafine, for, uh, you know, this is my go to pigment ink pad. And you are getting the cube and as well. And this one, it will give you, you can see it here. It gives you about, I would say, two minutes of wet, so kind of you kind of before it dries. Whether the, the versa color can be hours, literally. And then you have as well a really sharp image in here. But kind of leave it in here because if I do like this, it will still a little bit. Can you see that it kind of has a little tiny bit? It has still wet, uh, but it's much much quicker than, for instance, this area here. Then. We're moving on to, uh, I mean, like as I said, this is my, if I had to take one black ink pad to the desert island, well, I would take two, but, <laughs> <laughs> but this is definitely, I would take this two, this is one of the two, but you are getting both of them in, in the bundle. Uh, but this is like the ones that you are going to use kind of constantly. The Bursa color also is very good because you have got the sponge and of course you can then bring in your pigment powders as well. I'm going to show you hopefully that later on. Then you are getting brilliant graphite black. Now, why do you, why do I like graphite black? Well, now parchment. Brilliance is um, water-based, pigment-based, and what that means is that you can uh, you can bring it in to um, maybe um, wood, for instance. You can then attach like kind of directly to the wood, 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 wood. wood. <laughs> wood. Yeah, you're right. That's <laughs> <funny fun>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly went, uh, <laughs> but you can then put it in here and look at the look at that. Look at the opacity. Now it's a much faster drying ink than say versa color, but still it will give you that opacity, the pigment, water base. It means that you don't have to treat it. It kind of it doesn't have any odors at all, and more importantly, it's one of the inks that was designed to work with vellum or parchment. Let me bring another stamp so we kind of get a little. And we are going to go for this one in here. So I'm going to put it there. And then kind of kind of turn it around. And this, so brilliance is pigment, so it will be opaque, but also it will give you it will dry 
quicker and it will dry quicker on surfaces even like vellum. It's in fact is the only ink pad that has been designed to dry ink pad as pigment that has been designed to dry on parchment. Okay. So but if you like your groovy if you like those techniques and things like that, and you want to you bring on, of course, the stamps into first, and then take it to your boards, and then do, do the you know all the details, the... you can do that. P definitely, brilliance is the one to go. Right. So I got there. Look, Look at, at that. This. Look at this. And this is not dry yet because obviously a part of our vellum has a little bit of, but you can see, and I kind of do it like this, so you can see that it's still a little bit of a splurge, so you can see that it's not, but it will take about maybe about half an hour to dry completely without any embossing powder with anything onto parchment or vellum. So it's a good one to have, uh, if especially because it's the sort of richness and it has that sense of I don't know, like I, I really like it for, for parchment. Then you have a Versa Magic. Versa Magic is an ink here that is designed, uh, it's kind of a chalkiness and chalkiness. Uh, so we have also different colors and I really recommend them, if, especially if you like to create art journals and things like this. I love the fact that uh, they come into the dr uh, dew drop um, kind of ink pads. And the reason why I love it is because you can then do direct to, to the car techniques. Okay. They are really good as well if you wanted to do, and do like edges as well. Because you have got that element so you can go into the corners as well. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is take your a blending brush and then you kind of bring it in. Now, the Versa Magic, um, it's, it's it kind of, if you look at it, it has a kind of chalkiness effect. It's just, it's a really subtle, really, really, really subtle effect. But definitely when you are talking about the colors from Versa Magic, you will see them more coming up. Now we have that, and when we lift it up, I love that kind of element in here. The other thing is that you can, of course, bring it in, and I'll show you. I think with this will show it, hopefully, the difference into it. The black, I mean, I know it's very subtle, but can you see that this is a... No, you cannot see it on the screen, but I can see it in here. You, can you see that this is brilliant and this is magic so this is more of a gr gray black yeah and this is a much more intense brilliance black it's a ma it's, it's a it's, you know and then both of them take about i would say 10 minutes to dry um onto a porous paper for that it's like a chalk the, um, the spill at the top one that we've done is like a chalky black it's sort yes. of that sort of sort of that chalkboard you know when you run um uh, chalk down yes. a chalkboard and you sort of get the you don't get a full continuous line do you it's sort of speckled as if you actually look at it it's that sort of black that you are getting when you put through stencils and when you stamp a uh, stamp onto it as well right we've got one more to do yes. which is your stays on now your stays on is one of these that you go why have I, why have i not got this in my life already because this is the ink that will go on to anything and it really, really well. Well, let me grab, uh, uh, sorry, something uh, that I kind of grabbed because uh, there is um, metal. So, for instance, you can stamp onto metal. Uh, but, of course, uh, the, the first thing that I use the station for is watercoloring. Uh, now, you can use other, other um, so, for instance, watercolors will work also with Versafine. And uh, if you want, we can explain also the, the way that all the ink cuts kind of what they are, the base, uh, like for instance the um, water base and pigment base and things like that. But you can see in here we have so really fine detail stamp, put it in here, look at that. But it's immediately, is dry. Look at that. It's dry. So then I take in my Ecoline uh, water base pens and then of course I can go in and I can just color and there we have it. And that's not smudging, it's no. not smearing, it's not transferring to the yellow pen. That is literally the two most contrasting colours you could ever pick, that black is, and yellow. Exactly. This is why I went for yellow, just to show you how immediately I can colour it. Now, you can do also that with Versafine, but you have to wait a little bit longer. So, therefore, I would go for water base. I definitely, water based pens, I tend to go with stays on. But also, like you were saying, and stamp onto, um, you know, metal, stamp onto, anything that is glossy surface like a mirror card as well I'm gonna go in and then go in this bit here 
I, I have smudged it. I have moved it, but you can see that. Look at that, though. There. And then now it will take, and that will become permanent on paper. Now, on any glossy surface, if you want to remove it, you can. You just use a, a Stazon cleaner and you will remove it from the surface. But if you don't touch it, like it, water will not damage. Once it dries, I mean, it's taking a few seconds, obviously, to, to dry onto there. You can see it. But it you will become permanent. So then, once it is like this, you can color it. And if you have got pencils, that you can color into into things like uh, metal as well. We're having a, we've got a few questions okay, yeah. uh, on the old Facebook Live. Good morning. Normal crowd, I'm guessing, are there. They've been there most of the night, to be honest. Um, so, uh, they're asking about the guides. Now, if you've not seen the yes. guides before, this breaks everything down into layman's terms. Well, this is literally, if you're just working in the way, if you're just starting in the world of inks, if you're just starting in the world of crafting, even if you're not, loads of people have now been downloading these. They're a free download and we'll tell you where to get them shortly. Do not fear. Let's go through these guys because it breaks down everything that you've seen here and where you can actually use them. Because at the moment, I bet it's a minefield. At the moment, you're thinking, well, that's fair enough. So we've just used Stazon, but I can't quite remember what we did with that Versa Magic. Is that the permanent one that you use well, for watercolours? Let's break it down a little bit further then, shall we? Yes. I said this is going to be one of those hours where we go all the way back to basics. But sometimes it's good to go back to basics because you forget what you've done. Shop ahead of me on the website so I've got more things on the counter as well. If you want mementos, the big pads on their own, I've got those on the websites as well. They're really, really busy. They're um, singles and you can now pick your colours. There's also a nice little bundle for the little uh, Vers uh, Versafine uh, that we've also got on the show. Uh, there's a nice little bundle of six of them as well. But it's all about me throwing these names out. But what do you do with them when you get them home? Right then, Paula, let's break all this down from pigment to dye Okay, Okay, but fabulous. So now what, uh, these boards, uh, we will put them on the Facebooks. On okay. the Facebook, yes, so yes. yeah, we we'll can do it. Out. So if you look for uh, my name or Adam, so I can share we'll that. You know, we do that. Uh, basically, and our, or uh, my blog, uh, which is blog dot paulapasquale.com I think they are there they're all there uh, right so if you have here um, one of the reasons we have talked about pigment and dye base because estazone is dye base but also is alcohol based so what is all about so back to basics pigment and dye uh, that is what is gives you the color now they are pigment and dye is basically dye is a translucent coloring medium uh, and therefore it means that you can see a little bit of what is underneath as well. Now, ten they tend to be fast drying because it, it's not, it's like basically, color, like you know how you have got an apple juice or something like this or wine, say less or wine. Oh, the, you know. now we're talking. Yeah, exactly. So then of course it's completely, uh, you drop a little bit of wine onto the carpet Never. and absolutely <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it kind of makes sure that the fibers absorb it. Yes. And then that's that's it. There's like kind of the, the absorb the ink, uh, the, the the wine, and that's it. Well, the, imagine a smoothie. A smoothie. It has got all the particles from the grapes and things like that. So you drop it onto the carpet, so it and the then top, it sits on the top. So basically. The pigment is like a smoothie. It has got all the particles in there. Ah. And the dye is like the wine that is completely liquid, so it kind of sucks in. That, that is the best analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you like it. So pigment sits is, on the top. So pigment it's, is like our smoothie that sits on the top and doesn't really absorb. You've got time to go and get the kitchen towel and yes, scoop it all yeah. up. Well, the minute you drop a glass of red wine, the wine is your dye, the carpet is your paper. It still absorbs straight in. You've got time to go nowhere. I like this analogy. Oh, good, good. And also, but it's, it's a slower drying. And of course, if it's a smoothie, remember, it's a more opaque, isn't it? It's that, yes. that opacity. So think about this. And of course, the opacity works better for darker colors. So remember, when we are looking at here, all these ones, all four of these ones are pigments, so they will have more opacity. The Stazon is a dye base. Then we have, but then I mentioned alcohol base or solvent base, and I mentioned water base, and I mentioned oil base. So not only we have got that division between pigment and dye, but we have got the water, oil, and solvent. So of course what it means is that you ha can have, so for instance, oil, you know, oil base, pigment base. So it's medium dry, so it kind of takes not that long to dry, but it still is, but it's water resistant. Then we have got the alcohol, also, uh, you know, water resistant. And I will explain why in a second. And these ones then come in here because they're pigment. So pigment in this corner, but then of course we have water base. Now, one of the questions that we often get asked is, 
what color what ink pad for coloring method uh, you know you love your coloring don't I you? love coloring yeah. at the moment so do, what do you use to color in uh, Versafine. I yeah, have. because you are using watercolor I mean, I'm just using watercolors. Because opposites attract. So the, obviously, water and oil, or water and oil, don't blend together. Don't mix. Don't blend no, together. They so they split. The, hence, why you want to use oil base. If you wanted to use, uh, for instance, something that is quicker but also opposite to water to color with water, you will use stazon. Now, the opposite is true when you are talking about alcohol markers. If you are using alcohol markers, of course, the alcohol and alcohol blends very well together. Yeah. But you don't want that. You want that it resists. So you go to the opposite, which is water. So in theory, it's, it's a bit like cooking. Yes. It's a bit like cooking. So if you've got oil and water, you know they're going. You know you're going to get that slick exactly. on the top. You know if you buy uh, ready-made food, and I know I'm going off on a tangent, but it will make sense. If you buy ready-made food that's in a packet, and normally you get that bit of oil on the top that you sort of have to shake. That's what you're doing. You need the opposite. So then that makes your work twice as good. Yeah. How many times have you gone to do watercolor or gone to do your alcohol markers that you've gone? And you've gone, yes, I can do this. Like you stamp out that beautiful big image, you've got your stamping platform, you've let it dry, you get your colours ready, like I'm I'm here, I'm done, I'm there. You go in with your water brush or your paintbrush and you've smudged it. And now you haven't got to you haven't got to smudge it. For the sheer fact, as long as you're using the right ink, it's going to progress your, uh, your progress, as it were. It's all about using the right tools for the job. And I say this time and time again, I know I'm like a broken record. But if, once you've got the right tools for the job, it makes your work easier. So much easier. So now we've gone to watermarks, which I just thought was embossing powder, just a glue for embossing powder, but it's not. It's your, that is to give you watermarks. Then you've got your Versafine. This is what I use all the time for my watercolours. Then you've got your Versacolor, which is going to give you a longer lasting ink. So if you like your second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth generation of stamping, that's where your Versacolor comes in. Then you've got your Stays On, which will just stamp onto anything, more or less, and dry quite quickly. And then you've got your Brilliance in there. And then you've also got your Versa Magic, which is sort of a chalk black and all of that and they're not tester pots these are full-size inks that you can buy from anywhere individually not this bundle this bundle is exclusive to us for 14 pounds and 99 pence 436442 is your item number a cracking little bundle for if you're just starting out or you want a nice giftable for someone a perfect giftable I don't think any crafter would go what have you bought me here I don't need this. Everyone needs them. Everyone. You ask our Paola, ask our Leone. If you bought these, they'd go, oh yeah, I'll have them, thank you. I'll take them, I'll have them, I'll have them all. You can never have enough ink. Never have enough ink because maybe you've got one in your craft room. You keep one in your craft bag, so that's two sets you need already. Then you've got that set that you just, that sort of floats around the house that you don't, just in case you sort of have that urge to craft. Then no doubt you've got, I found one the other day in my car. Don't know how it got there, but I found one. Uh, so you have these little bundles that will travel with you and you can't go wrong. Um, we'll bring the details back up shortly when I get to them because I'm now just wackily rickling about them. This is how much I like them. You see, they get to that point where they take the details off the screen to say, Adam, just move on. Just get over it. Build a bridge and get over it. I can't. That's how much I love it. Something else that we're going to talk about, because these have changed, are Mementos Inc. Uh, they're very, very busy. These are five. You can choose any five. Just just bowing it out, Leslie. The Queen's in. Baroness is in. Uh, the top row is the bright. So this is your first set of five. Then your bottom row as well. So you've got set one and set two as well. You've got your brights. And then you've got your earths, or you can get them individually as well. Now, five full-size ink pads, okay? The, now, the, this is what's going to come to you, because it has not been open, for 18.45. You're nearly getting one for free. The, the, individually, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Four pounds, and let's call it 4.50. Uh, 4.50 individually, so you 50p. Is what, we're, is what we're talking about, yeah? That's it though. You're thinking, well, sorry, that's what's 50p, but if I can give you eight, I can give you all this for 18.45, you've either got brights or the earth tones. In the brights, you've got things like rhubarb stalk, you've got rosebud, you've got um, cottage, cottage ivy, you've got grape, uh, grape jelly, and teal zeal. Yes, a little bit of teal zeal. 
Sounds like a good cocktail. Uh, then in your earth tones, now I love earth tones because you can do so much with earth tones. Um, for the sheer fact, uh, you've got um, uh, uh, Danube Blue, like the Blue Danube, but I don't think they can call it that for legal reasons. So Danube Blue, uh, you've got Desert Sands in there. Love Desert Sands because you can take any image and make it uh, sepia, make it look old. Uh, rich Coca. Uh, from there, you've got Tuxedo Black. You all need a Tuxedo Black uh, in your life. We all do. Uh, London Fog. Love a London Fog as well because it makes you look cleverer than what you are. Why does it? And uh, I know. It, for me, you think, well, how, much do, how does he know so much about this? He, he's never really done this. I've really got into my watercolouring over the last couple of months. Uh, since January, I've really pushed the boat out and I absolutely adore it. And I've worked out... Um, just doing stamps, and I send them to the family and stuff like that, me and Mulder. Uh, if you use grey, like London Fog and things like that, it makes it look like you've drawn it. And you just colour without the lines, and it makes you look like you're an artist. And I'm really not. I just stamp and colour. That's all I do. Uh, in the lead at the moment is the Earth Tones. Uh, my favourite. I'm very, very, very busy in these now. 1845 is what you're looking at for a set of five or a set of five. Uh, there's two sets you can go for. You've got your brights on the top, or you've got your Earth Tones down at the bottom. Your Earth Tones are well worth having a look, especially the Blue Danube. The Danube Blue, it gives you that sort of Wedgwood look. It's sort of the Wedgwood blue, you know, so you, you know when you do it onto white and you get that blue and white mix, uh, you see to get there? Really, really, really nice. Uh, 872245 is your item number. Uh, the boards that we were talking about for the previous set, well, they will be on Facebook after the hours as well. Do not worry about this. Right then, let's look at Memento Ink in more detail. Um, right then, Paula, Mementos. Uh, well, I have to say, this bundle is Everything you say is spot on. This is a fabulous. <laughs> yeah, it is absolutely. Like I was listening, I was like, you, you, know, you know your inks, and you're now your ink, uh, you're coloring it because they were absolutely right. How going for this? You have got the the perfect black to color in with your water, uh, your alcohol markers as well. If you let them dry as well, once they start dried, I mean, and it is a dye base, a uh, uh, water base, so kind of it dries quite quickly. Uh, you can color in with other mediums as well, but however, it's the most fabulous for alcohol markers then you have got of course the no line coloring with either the London fog or the desert sand and we're going to try to do that maybe at 11 o'clock but we have also the rich cocoa and we have got the Danube uh, blue as well in here so let me show you a little bit of what uh, the difference so for instance the London fog also oh, I love the fact oh, can I show it that you have when you stack them together can you see? You've got a stacking system. And you they're on the have side. Oh, nice. The colours in there. I love, love that. Ready to go. I don't have to do it. And then, of course, I'm going to use a red rubber stamp. But this memento, and I want to do it with the other set, will work. It's one of the best inks, oh, fast drying inks, on all sorts of ink pads, I, or all sorts of stamps, including photopolymer. Uh, right, so I'm going to put it in here. And you can see the gray that is a softer gray in here. Now I can go in directly if I wanted to, but usually we kind of say, oh, wait a little bit until it completely has settled before you kind of start coloring. But you can see that the alcohol blue, uh, marker that I'm using is not bleeding whatsoever. Now imagine that you have colored in and then you're thinking, well, actually I want to go in and I want to add, I mean, you are, you're so right. It, this is the perfect grey to give you that pencil marks. Oh, and right. it's absolutely beautiful with it. Right. You can go and kind of, I'm not going to colour the whole thing, but I just wanted to show you how I'm going now over it and nothing. Now, for instance, if I wanted to intensify the colour of the flower, I can go in with my black, just to show you the black in here. And then kind of go in. Can you look see the, that. That the, the difference between that black and that grey? And look how good they combine. It is a really cool, I would say light grey, which means it a really nice and elegant as well. Now, Memento, uh, the black is one of the essential ones that I also love. So it's a great to have it in there. Then, shall we show the, um, the other way that I like yeah. to see the colours in here? I'm going to just put a smaller piece of card. I'm going to take that one. And then a third, a third of your earth tones now have already gone. 
Uh, we've literally, I've only really showed you them live for six minutes, I'm being told, and a third of the stock has already gone. Uh, remember, you get your blue Danube, your Danube blue in there, you get your desert sands in there, you sort of got your sepia colours all the way through these, you've got your London fog, which I absolutely adore, and then you've got your black tuxedo. Uh, it's well worth having a little look at these if I was you. Let's go back to Paula. Uh, so we have here rich cocoa. So oh. this is, oh, look at that gorgeous. And I'm going to put it in there. So you can see, can you see the dip? When I, you, it's such a fast, fast drying in. Mm -hmm. This I did it on purpose. It's there, it's there. But what I did it is because, you remember when I did at the very beginning with the Versacolor, how many yeah. I could get out of it. So that was because it's a pigment, water-based, slow drying. With it here, it's a fast drying dye base. So basically, you can get a second print, but that's it. It dries. It. And look at the beautiful rich cocoa. So, so if you went in with the, uh, with the London Fog, with the grey, doing a second generation, you could really go in over with your pencils in and start tracing oh, to yeah. look like you've actually sketched and drawn your images. Absolutely. Look, if you wanted to do that, I mean, this is the, the sand colour. Look how gorgeous it is. I it. love that sand the, One of the reasons I have done two second impressions or a second generation is because sometimes we kind of think in the darker brown, uh, you know, the darker brown, um, it's sometimes second generation, you're thinking, oh, that's going to be the equivalent of the lighter color, but not so, because obviously it's for fast drying. Hence why it's so great to have both of these in this bundle, because look how gorgeous they look. Subtle, but there. Now, I'm going to do the da Danube blue as well, so you kind of see it in there, the gorgeous blue. And it's a proper, look at look that. Look at that. Blue. Look at that gorgeous. I really, and, and now I can see like kind of a wood color in here as well. So there is a lot of different possibilities. Now I'm going to show the other, um, the other bundle, uh, the, the other colors that we have. Bright. because the brights. Uh, so the earth tones now, 50% of the stock has already gone on your earth tones, 18 pounds and 45 pence. You've got the blue Danube, uh, Danube blue, sorry. Danube blue, you've got desert sand, you've got rich caca. Uh, you've also got London fog and you've got your black tuxedo as well. That is your earth colors. Uh, but above that, uh, you've now got the brights. Now, this is where I slightly get scared and I'll tell you for why. I'll, ta I'll tell you for why. I went all Bryn then from Gavin and Stacey. I'll tell you for why, because I get scared of color. What do you do? Every demonstrator I see that I stand next to for the two years I've been here stamp in black or grey. I've ne yet to find someone to stamp in a colour and I really don't, I just get scared of what to stamp in. I don't know how to use colour in my ink pads. So let's find out, shall we? 872245 is your item number, 18 pounds and 45 pence. You've got things like your rhubarb in there, you've got your rosebud in there, you've got your cottage ivy in there, you've got your grape jelly and you've also got your teal veal in there as well. Right then, no, teal zeal, <laughs> not veal, teal zeal is what you've got in no veal here. Uh, let's go over to Palance. Why would I need colour to okay. stamp? Why That's not just black and grey and my blue? Because if you have got those colours, uh, the ones that you mentioned, the black, is perfect to colour in, to bring in the colour immediate. However, if you have got a solid stamp, so for instance, I have got here an acrylic a stamp that is a beautiful flower. Now, you want to put in colour solid in directly into it. Now, most of the times, dye based inks uh, on acrylic stamps will pull, and this is definitely will pull a little, but you can see how solid it is in here. So, if I wanted to put a little bit more color to make sure that I'm pulling, I mean, can you see that it's not uneven in this bit? I can go a second time and then make it solid and look at that a burst of fire. Now, try this is one of, in my opinion, if I have to color in a solid stamp. I never tend to go for dye-based, water-based inks because onto acrylic stamps because acrylic doesn't, you know, it doesn't kind of transfer the ink as well as we would say maybe a rubber stamp. However, Memento is such a great formulation that gives you that solid color, no pulling, like no, no kind of gaps in it, absolutely mm. perfect. Now then I can go in with my outline. So let's see if I can match it up. There it is. 
So and colours then, do the colouring for us, so I haven't even got a colour anymore. So if I'm not very good with my ink pen, my alcohol pens, which I can't master alcohol pens yet. Yeah, well, oh, this is so. this is the way around it. It is exactly. So, for instance, if you don't like colouring in, if you like solid stamps, memento ink is the way to go. To find. look at this. Now I'm kind of going in with um, rubber rhubarb. Rubarb. 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 Arriba, rubarb. <laughs> arriba, arriba. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. So, can you see? So, you can do it directly because, of course, this is a stamp set that allows you to do this. And then I have got a solid one here that I'm going to do. Uh, and then this one I'm going to go in. Shall I go for grape jelly? Because grape that kind jelly. of is going to be like a gerbera. So, it, gerbera or ger, gerbera? No, gerbera. gerbera. Not a gerbil. Look at that. Oh, look, look at, at that solid. And that is the... Now, a lot of the time, um, you know, some people go like, oh, you know, certain uh, stamps that they don't work. And things. It's, you know, if you have got the right inks, will make all the difference. I know it's kind of a lot of information, but uh, ultimately, like, the boards will help you. So please make sure to download them, uh, you know, after the show in, in our Facebooks and things like that. But it's the kind of inks that allow you to bring in sense. and also completely dry within seconds. So this, oh, this makes so much sense now. Um, I just thought it was me and Mo messing about. So <laughs> I've got a set of full coloured stamps, so full block stamps yeah. at home. They're only little, they're like little rabbits and flowers that I gave to Molly. That I gave to Molly. And I use the ink that I've got at home. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was. Uh, I think it was first fine. Uh, so I use that. And you sort of now and then do get that pooling. Yeah. You get it like, you know when you put a lot of paint down and you just get the pools and it doesn't quite stamp properly. It looks like you're stamping in a puddle. Um, is that, that's because I'm you now using the wrong amount of ink. Yeah. What I need to use is I need to use memento, I need to use the right ink, so then my little flowers and my little rabbits, when we stamp them, will be crisp, they'll be pure, they'll be there, they'll be on the card rather than keep going back and you keep stamping, you're lining up this ink and the card's just getting wetter and wetter with ink and you just keep going, then what do you do? You put your finger through it. Because there's that much ink sitting on the paper, you think, oh, that's all well and good and now we've just ruined it. It's just took me four hours to do this with the little one and now that four hours is now, what do I do? I'll just cut it out and put a butterfly on it. But if I've got the right ink for the job, we can start batch making. We can now start doing so many things uh, with this. 87245, uh, I'll start that again. 872245 is your item number. Your top row that you've got on here, your brights, nearly a quarter of the stock of your brights now have already gone. Do your earth tones. 70% of the stock has now gone. Now, I'm going to let you into a secret. You know what I'm like. Um, I don't know if we can get any more of these. Literally, no one will tell me if we can get any more of these. If you want them, and that, I'm not just saying that you know what it is, they don't tell me figures on purpose, uh, because I tell you if we can get more. Um, but literally, I gen on all the paperwork that I have, there is nothing on here to tell me if we can get any more. It just says, Paolo is here for an hour of ink pads and brilliance. Uh, if I can get some more though, they will be on a delay. So if you want them instantly, if you want them now, within five working days, obviously I'm not going to deliver them tomorrow, but if you want them now without that delay, uh, I can get them to you, but you need to get them in quick if you want the earth tones. 18 pounds and 45 pence, 872245 is your item number. Oh, we've got people watching in Europe this morning. Good morning, Europe. I hope you are well. Um, welcome. Well, you are in for a treat and you've not missed that much. Well, you've missed a lot, I'm not going to lie. But uh, you can watch it all back on Rewind. I know it's a lot of information to take in at 7 o'clock in the morning. Trust me. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I had this at 6 o'clock this morning. But you can watch it all back. And once it sinks in, it all makes sense. Now, we've had a comment in from Stacey. I hope it's nice. On Facebook Live, she always wants to say thank you to both of us for doing this show. Uh, she, she always gets mixed in with her inks and really appreciates it. Well, I'll take the thanks. I just don't do anything, Stacey, my love. I've... I just stand here. It's more Paola that's put everything together in the show, and it's, it's the wealth of knowledge that Paola has about the inks and how it all works. Um, what are we looking at now? Brilliant. Now, here we go, look. 
So I can talk about the first set. We've talked about Memento. Now we've moved on to Brilliance. So this is another set where I'm now out of my depth once again. I love the colorways that we've got in here as well. Something quite regal. You've got your Moonlight White. I've never seen a white ink pad. I wonder what, well, out. we will find out what you can do with a white ink pad. So you've got your white, then you've got your Galaxy Gold, which is this, obviously this one here. You've got your Platinum Planet. You've got your Silver. And you've got Sky Blue as well. So, £12.45 for all those, for five ink pads. What can we do with, I'm guessing because it's brilliant, it's pigment ink. Yes. So it's like our smoothie, so it sits on the surface so it doesn't dry as quick. Yeah. I make out like I said that, I just read that from that board. <laughs> uh, but, Stacey, you see, like, it's, so all, in, it's you. all in power. <laughs> uh, I just read it from there. Uh, so it does sit on the side like a smoothie. Yeah. So, but why would I need an hour white ink pad? Well, because uh, then you have black heart, for instance, and then you want to stamp onto white. Now, usually, traditionally, we would go into um, the white embossing powder, yeah. but if you are a lazy crafter and other things... I'm well, lazy. I don't have a heat gun. I don't own oh. a heat gun. I've just got a hairdryer. Which needs to sort you out. I don't way. have mm. a heat gun or emboss because I, once again, I get scared. Well, you know, don't be scared. However, a white ink pad is almost like a really difficult, some, it's kind of a difficult thing to have because it's like kind of, oh, will it, will it be a sharp or will it get you the kind of really nice, um, you know, kind of, how can I say it, like the proper white. Now, um, Moonlight White from Brilliance is a fabulous, fabulous ink. Uh, now, I am going to use some acrylic stamps in here. Again, I'm using whatever I have. It's just to demonstrate it. But I'm going to go in now remember you bring the ink pad to the stamp dab it gently especially with brilliance because it has got a sponge raised by it, so you don't want to press over so it's, uh, sorry Hannah there we are and then we are going to put it in here okay and there and then look at that oh now, Brilliance, remember, is like you were absolutely right, pigment based, so it has got that opacity. But also, it's not the slowest drying, so it means it's kind of, I would say, is on a scale of uh, zero to five. So five is the slowest drying, and zero is like super fast. Brilliance sits around, I would say, to around a I don't know, three and a half, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of, it's a slow, but you know, but it's still kind of qu quite quickly compared to other inks. Because it's brilliant, so do we still get that sort of sheen and shine and does it sort of give you that sort of glossy well, effect? Well, uh, not the white, the white is a okay. little opaque one. However, if we go to a Platinum Planet, for instance, the other three that you are, uh, the other four that you are getting in here is actually pearlescent in here. So I'm going to say, for instance, I like the name I'm going to Platinum Planet, it sounds like a pizza place. Oh. Uh, I was thinking more of, of something a little bit pizza place. I mean, like yeah, it does uh, sound like a pizza place, doesn't it? Where are we off to? A uh, platinum planet. Platinum I thought that it was be more like a, a, you know, a cocktail bar. Oh, platinum planet. So um, you can see where the money goes, can't you? Fair, <laughs> there's me. But pizza. Now, so you can see in here. Now I'm gonna go in a little bit with the darker one. I'm gonna go in. Gonna go in. Then gonna go. Uh, oh no, this one. Is, oh, sorry. It's kind of I'm gonna go in the same one. I'm gonna press down a little bit more. There it is. Now you can see there. There is a little bit of metallic sheen. I can I not see it? But it, there is there. Now, um, or you can go in with gold. So I go with the gold directly into here. Gold. Look at that. Look at that. So I kind of tilt it that oh, can, can you see, see how onto yeah, the black yeah. yeah now you can see it there yeah sorry so, Look at that. and then you can see the gold uh, the love as well sorry shall i turn that love in the right say <laughs> of it's just like you can see but look at the gold over black look Even at that. that white works well it does doesn't it now uh, I, i've got to tell you I got to say, Paolo was in full flow then as well. Full flow, and Meg was like in a husky voice, he was like Barry Manilow in my ears. Like, oh, it's like Barry White listening to me. Uh, your, um, I love it, it's nice, it's, it's doing something to me. My legs have gone all quivery. Uh, your earth tones, that I'm telling you here, uh, your earth tones are now limited stock. 
limited stock. I'm down to single figures is what I'm down to now. So if you want your memento in your earth tones, as I said before, I have notes. There's nothing to say on them that I can get any more. I honestly don't know. And you know this building, no one starts work until about midday. So if I was you, I would get in quick because they are about to go. £18.45. 872-245 is your item number. Right, we've got about 10 minutes. Where are we up to? Oh, uh, right. So I, by the way, because uh, especially I'm, I'm, as, as Leslie is here from Chocolate Baroque, uh, you know, this is the gel plate from the um, craft along that we did together. So, uh, of course, uh, I think she uh, is, are you at, at uh, nine? Nine o'clock. Yeah, she is. Uh, Leslie, do check out. All right, so what I'm going to do is the jelly plate uh, because you can use your brilliance inks onto your jelly plate. Ah. So you can then bring in directly if you want it. Remember, they're water-based, so you can bring in, I'm going to go in with blue and gold. I don't know, it's, it's kind of a combination that I'm kind of going to in. And then I'm going to go in with my bread and kind of just... So that you can really in. work them on a lot of things. So you can, we can use them on our standard cards if we just make cards. But we can, I'm guessing, if you're doing them on a jelly plate, we could use them on like things like stencils. Uh, we could use them on shrink plastic. Yes, you can. Remember last time we did something like that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, did. Yeah. So kind of, I'm gonna do this uh, now. Of course, if you wanted to go directly onto the. Um, uh, the ink pad through the stencil onto gel plate you can but there would be a little bit of contamination so I have gone in with my brush and then of course I'm gonna take my parchment or vellum in here and of course you don't want to put the brayer over it because if you did that because it's parchment it would transfer it but remember brilliance will be do it per lesson but it also will dry onto look at that Look at that. Can you see that? Subtle, but nice. Oh, let's look, there, there it is. But that you can see well. the pearlescentness of it. I just kind of love the fact that you can use brilliance inks in there onto it. So you can pull prints, but then also you can then bring in more into it if you wanted to. So I'm gonna, gonna go in, in there, and then of course kind of pre pull elements into it. So all the techniques that you know of it, now, I of, Don't be scared of vellum either. Yeah. Vellum is basically just snazzy tracing paper. Uh, th that's true, actually. Can you see the dots are starting appearing there? A little yeah. bit, gently. But then, of course, you build uh, all those techniques, all those different ways. And I just love the way that you can then bring in, so I'm going to bring in again a little bit of ink. Let's see if there is any ink left. And then, no, there is nothing else. So I kind of want to bring in more color here. I go directly because I'm kind of brazen now, but uh, kind of go in there. Now, blend it in. Now, it sounds like a silly question, but yeah. I'm going to ask it anyway because no doubt I would do it. Um, obviously, if we're going in with our other colours and using them on your jelly plate, you would then not put your white on top with because you would cont contaminate Absolutely. your white. Absolutely. That, you know, like just be very careful about bringing your ink pads into it. it a or white. be like me and have two ink pads. Well, and then we, one is for, you know... It's true, though, but to be honest, I don't know, I'm not here to spend your money, that's not what I do, I'm just here to tell you the bargains, as it were. But for £12.45, what are you looking at? 24, 24, £25 today, and you can have two sets. Yeah. For £25 today. Now, obviously, if you've not got £25, go, go for one set if that's, all you, if that's all your budget will go to. But if you want more than one set, these bargains don't come around that often. It's very... These shows are very far and few between. Yeah. Um, because they are a staple. Once you've got an ink pad, you don't need more ink pads. You, uh, we understand that. I'm with you all the way. And I'm the same as you. You don't want a black ink pad every other week. Uh, but now and then, you do need a new set. Because they do slightly go. And yes, you can buy re-inkers and stuff like that. But do you know how much ink to put on a re-inker? Because last time I tried to re-ink something, I went everywhere. I was covered in the stuff for days. So now, just having a brand new ink pad, and you have your second one for second generations, because it's slightly going, but it's still got the ink in there, you can use it for that. And that pure white that you're using, you don't want to contaminate that, do you? You don't want to contaminate that pure whiteness that you've got in there that gives you that sort of little chalky look uh, that you've also got. 12.45 today is what you're looking at. 849814 is your item number. I'm just hearing in my ears. Um, we've had a sellout. Your earth tones have now gone. Your earth, well done if you got them. I'll see what I can do for 11 o'clock. I'm not promising nothing. I'm not. 
Um, but we've still got the brights. Um, I, now I know what you can do with the brights. I'm sort of coming to the brights as well. I quite like uh, these bright colours uh, that we're getting already here. Let me show you one other thing that you're loving as well. Uh, your Memento Dew Drops that we've got. These are the set of 12 uh, Memento Dew Drops. Uh, so, with it being a Memento, Paola, what would I be able to do with these? Like you were talking about, uh, so it's a sampling light directly and having that color, but then of course you can color in with your alcohol markers. Oh. But, um, so you know when you were talking about coloring solid stamps and getting the color? Yes. This is a fabulous bundle. Uh, you, if you go for this on any other larger pads, uh, you will not have repeats. Uh, so it's worth, I mean, it look, £20 and £35 today. 12 of the Dew Drop Ink Pants. Uh, 427599 is your item number. Are these the ones we're looking at live now? Oh, let's go and look at them live. Oh, let's looking at uh, well, picture. by the way, sorry, the brights, uh, yes, and the brights you get teal seal and you get the teal seals. So what I meant is the, uh, the ones that, um, the one that had the black. Uh, ink pad, the bundle of oh, the big one. one. Yeah, that if you go for that, if you had gone for That's that one, that and yeah, and the little ones, you wouldn't have any repeats. Anyway, so what do they do? do for instance, do we have. Um, so we do the again the flower. Yeah, yeah, that, that was So amazing. again, uh, so we can color it solid. Uh, and for instance, in here, what I'm going to, to do is I'm going to, to do, you are getting Morocco, which is a lovely warm orange. So we can do a little bit in the center in here. So I'm going to go in there. Then you can see, I haven't cleaned my stamp that well, but you can build up that center again. Oh, there's something here. That's why he was dancing. Oh, I'm such a messy demonstrator. Uh, all right. And then I want to add a little bit of red on You're the outside. You're tidy compared to some of them. Oh no, trust Some me. Some of them have been burgled. Uh, you know, I think I make Leone look really tidy. That is, and that's organized. who I was getting at, to be honest. But No, absolutely <laughs> not. I'm like, I'm, I'm worse than her. Look, look at this. Look. It's yeah, you've got a nice craft room. You have craft rooms. Like, uh, our Leone's got about seven craft rooms dotted around the UK. Yeah, the that's true, actually. <laughs> but you can see how I'm building that colour in here. Can you see the depth of colour in here? How good is kind of a colour in? Now, uh, of course, you have, now for instance, I have got this Espresso truffle, which is a lo lovely brown. So I'm going to go in and add the little tiny corners in there. Can you, like, let me show you like this, like this, there, there, like this, and then kind of bring it in. Look at that. I That's love nice. that. And then, of course, you could then bring in the outline. Of course, I'm using stamps that have got both, but but uh, you could. This is what it takes. Just play some music now. Da, da, da. No, there it is. There it is. And then kind of bring it in. Again, getting a lovely, a darker brown is lovely in here because then we kind of bring in and look oh, at like. that. Oh, look at that. Now, that least you've done, you've gone in with your pencils and you've done blending, you've done shading. Absolutely. You just, you just That's the thing is having these inks and also, again, dry. Dry. We right. get asked the question a lot. Well, what are these stamps? Where are these stamps from? Do we know? Uh, these ones are actually, ooh, they, they used to be in the, uh, they are quite old actually. These okay. ones. They used to be in the website. I just grabbed what, um, what I had, like just to show you a little, a no, little no, bit of sense. Sense. Uh, I know people like to know what the stamps are. Yeah, absolutely. But. Now, of course, if you wanted to have like a kind of a leaf in here, you can go for with the same one. Or you have in here um, another grey. This is grey flannel. So that is, I'm going to show you, the, this is actually a little bit, if I take what, it, what I put, right, flannel. can you see, this one is London Fog, which is a kind of softer, and then grey flannel so is a darker, uh, so you can see uh, there the difference, so it's great to have them both if you have gone for the larger pad. There's a, there's a nice set of colourways through this set though, isn't there, you've got sort of got a bit of everything. Yes, you do, you have a grey, you have got that, you know, the medium dark grey, you have that gorgeous straf espresso truffle, which is that brown that kind of is warm, then you have a lighter brown, again, no line colouring if you want it, you have a beautiful a beautiful uh, orange, a beautiful ochre, you have got that beautiful red in here, then you have the pistachio and the olive grove, so that kind of is the two kind of intensities of green, then you have northern pine, then you have got the nautical, um, nautical blue, then you have the gorgeous teal seal and then the elderberry, so all those beautiful colors in here and also you have the abilities, so if I put it like this you can see the colors in here. 
Can you see that? That's nice, that's pistachio. Look at that, how those two go work together. And look at the teal seal, oh, such a gorgeous color. Teal seal is such a beautiful color. And elderberry, all right. Anyways, they are beautiful colors, you know, I love them. Uh, well done, Paula. Well, well done, Well done, well done. Uh, so, um, that's it, that's all I've got. There's so much, there is so much more on this counter that I've not even got to shop ahead on. The website is the quickest and the easiest thing to go. Uh, we've still got Versamark pens that I've not talked about yet as well. We've only got 30 seconds of this show. We are back at 11 o'clock and we'll do it all again. If you've got any questions in the meantime, uh, drop us an email. It's the quickest and easiest way to do because then we'll pick them up. We will put the boards on our Facebook pages. So they'll be on um, my work one, my craft store one and Paolo's work one and also a personal one. They're also on a blog as as well um, and if you can't find them drop us a line and we'll tell you at 11 o'clock don't you go anywhere yes indeed the next three hours look a little bit like this up next heartfelt creations climbing that sounds fun uh, then chocolate baroque something just reading the screen uh, <laughs> Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Very good morning to you. It is wonderful to have your company here at the craft store this morning. Now, I'm kicking my day off with Heartfelt Creations. Of course, it is the one-day special. Off to a very busy launch last night. In fact, half of the stock of the big collection has already gone. The one-day special, of course, always popular when it comes to Heartfelt. And a popular guest we always have here with us as well is Nikki, of good course. Morning. How are you? Waving at you. <laughs> yeah, good morning. <laughs> we were 
haven't had a show together. We have No, they've kept us away from each other, they haven't have, they? They have, not they? Oh, dear. They have, but look what you've got. I know, I know. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this, does it? When we think of the beautiful weather we've been having, the flowers that we've been planting, then many of you have probably got clematis in your garden. That's exactly what we've got here for you. Now, most of you have been going for the big collection. It's the I Want It All collection. Let's have a quick look at that. We're going to see more of this, of course, with Nikki. In fact, we're going to go through the paper pad. We're going to see more of the dies and the stamps. But you're getting so much for your money. Now, what you've actually got is 10 stamps. These are red rubber. You've got 10 dies as well. Your paper pad. And you've also got your flower moulding mold as well does that sound right flower molding mold there we are <laughs> now then you've got great savings here as well now the savings you can see on the screen are actually better than it shows i'll explain that in a little while but you're saving 28 pounds at the moment three payments of 36 pounds and 31 pence item number four three six three six seven now we did have a creative essentials bundle now that contains the paper pad and also the first stamp and die set. So the two that you're looking at here next to the paper pad, that's your essentials. Now that carries a five pound saving. You can go for that at 46 pounds and 97 pence. But if you're going for the collection, that five pounds will be carried over. And then those savings that you're saving on top of that will be shown on the screen individually. So you really have got lots of choices here. Now keep the five pounds. Just remember that, as I say, that's carried over. So further 28 pounds on the big collection. But but it is a why not deal as well because if you're a freedom member your saving is 38 pounds and 89 pence that is delivered that means of course when you look at individual prices the shaping mold nikki you're not paying for that you still get nothing a good few pounds change yeah <gasps> Do you know, we have got one here as well. I'm just going to well, show you the, this. This, in my opinion, is one of the best so far. They are all absolutely amazing. But, do you know, this, I always say the shaping mould does probably about 80% of the work for you. This one, I would say, probably does about 98. Really? Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. The actual, <coughs> excuse me, the embossing that you get from it is absolutely amazing. Fantastic. And you can do more than one layer than you, yes, you, can. you want, yeah. can't you? So, uh, you've, you know, multiple, multiple flowers and leaves in there as well. As I say, don't forget, we have got that paper pad. We're going to see much more of that. But I'm just going to show you one or two samples so you can really appreciate what you're getting here for your money. I mean, Nikki, we know in the paper pads, if anybody is following Heartfelt, it's the same sort of principle each time. You get those beautiful papers and you get the die cut elements within the paper pad as well. But, of yes. course, with the collection, you get the stamps so you can do your own colors mm -hmm. you can color exactly how you wish when you're stamping exactly and what you're doing when you're buying the whole collection you've got the ability to create what you're seeing here if you've got decorative dies at home which most people have that is absolutely amazing but just using your paper pad your stamps and your dies you are going to be able to create absolutely gorgeous you gorgeous certainly colors. are just and like I think these. as well this one is generic yeah, you know, um, oh, I know definitely. we're probably getting a little bit too late now for Father's Day, but you know, most dads like and granddads like to be in the garden. Yes, um, yeah. I think birthdays, anniversaries, I think weddings for this for this collection. About. You know, any occasion, I think. This is going to work absolutely beautifully. And of course, we've mentioned the, the flower itself, the clematis, but just to point out, and I know we're going to see more of this with you, Nikki, but we've got the trellis in there. We've got the arch of flowers. We've got so many individual elements within here as well. And we're talking about home decor. We're talking about scrapbooking. We're talking about your cards and much more besides. Dispatch date, just got to tell you about that, the 14th of June. Don't forget, we have got that flexi over three payments, just £32.68 and pence of your freedom member, 436367. Now, I think we will head over to Nikki and have a look at this paper pad because, of course, they're always stunning. But it really hits home, Nikki, when we see these, you know, what you can actually achieve. I know, and I always say, when you, when you get your collection home, sit down with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something a bit stronger, if you'd like. And just take a look through the paper pad because the paper pad is where you're going to get your inspiration from. You've got all the elements here to create your cards. You've got your matting and layering. You've got your six by sixes. You've got your four by sixes there as well. You've even got ribbon stri strips down there. But what I love about Heartfelt is it's double sided. So you've got 12 designs 
um, two of each design, but as you can see, you have got your larger That's pages pretty. as well, so you can create your um scrapbook layouts if you like to do your mini albums i think that's very popular your journaling you've got everything in here you've even got little bits down here little um tabs down here that you can stamp your sentiments on so that as i say any occasion but you've got your images in here so you'll notice images from some of the other collections that you've seen in the last 12 months or so you've got your beautiful arch gateway you've got your fence there that you would have had in your tulip collection you've got your birdhouse in here as well and we do have the stamp and the die that coordinates with that as well as i say you've got your images here that um that you can use for your scrapbooking. I love this one as well, look. So you've got oh, that larger that sort of, but then you've got all that space there to do your scrapbooking with. But then you can start layering it up because in a moment, as we go through the paper pad, oh, there we go, as I said it, you have got the elements in here already. So if I just take a random die, there we go. So this one is the birdhouse, you can see that you can cut that out perfectly. So this is why I always say, Catherine, it's more of a paper kit. Yeah. Because you're getting images in here that you can mat and layer, that you can um, add to your card. You've got your six by sixes in here. You have your um, your 12 by 12s if you want to do your larger cards or your large images. As you can see, look, they fit perfectly they do, over there. They? And you, you really will get have a job. all of these dies yeah. in You'd have a job fussy cutting those, wouldn't you, without dyes? So it just shows how important they are. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I've, I've oh, got patience, and I do love. Um, oh wow! Love fussy cutting, but yeah, you wouldn't want to cut that trellis out. Well, you wouldn't. So be able you've to. got it the dye to be able to cut that out. If we can so get it clever. the right way, there Look we go, and that will fit perfectly over your image. So it makes it really nice and easy. So if we haven't got time to stamp and die cut, which we don't always have, maybe you just want to go to the craft room and you think, I want to make a quick card. I'm just in the mood. Then obviously you've got the elements here that you can use. That's upside down. So you just have to put that right. As you can see, the flowers come in two. So you've got, well, the smaller ones actually come in four. So on your stamp, if I just take the stamp to that one, that's exactly the same as that image in your paper pad. But you've got four on there. And the same as with the die as well. You're cutting four out all in one go. So you're not just yeah. doing individual flowers. It's time saving. It's going to, um, you know, as I say, we don't always have time to stamp and colour. So it's just nice to have those images to you go to. You say it's time saving as well, Nick, and it, that is very, very true. But just a reminder to everybody as well, or if you've seen perhaps for the first time Heartfelt today, because we do pick up those new viewers as well. You know, mm. Heartfelt has been around for many, many years, and it's crafters. It has. They are crafters. The and, I th and I actually think that really shows in their products. Oh, because, I do as well. Because it's time saving. They know yeah. we don't always have a lot of time. They've even given us at the back of the paper pad all of these tags here, you can stamp your own sentiments on. So I think it was about up to about a year ago, we used to put the sentiments on. And then Heartfelt okay. decided, well, actually, why don't we leave them blank? So the crafters out there can put whatever they like on it. So it could be an anniversary. It could be a birthday. It could even be a name tag. Yep. You could put a name on there. Absolutely gorgeous. And finally, you can see that deep purple there. So in the colours, you've got your Beautiful. greens, your pinks, your purples. Absolutely stunning. Wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm just going to pick my copy. Well, it's not my copy. I'm just borrowing it. But you can go for this individually as well. We know many of you often go for the collection or the smaller bundles, but then add the extra paper padding as well. You can go for that on its own. But if you want to add an extra one in, it's only $17.99. If, of course, you're going in with that bundle and you've already got the flexi basket, you can split the cost of that as well. So do not miss out on the papers while we've got them. Do you know what? While I'm here, if I can very sneakily just sneak because I forgot something. It's so important. You get your bag, don't you, Nikki, with all oh, of this? Don't Everything the bag. in the bag. With and an inspiration know. sheet as well. Yeah, so the inspiration sheet's got all the information there that you can um, follow to create the card that is on the front there. We have actually got the card down there Ooh. somewhere. I'll see um, if I can but find also, it. Um, 
what was I going to say? Oh, the bag. So maybe you go for the, the storage folders. So you're thinking, oh, might, might not use the bag. But do you know what I use my bags for? You know all the bits and pieces that you cut from your paper pad, the little bits that we all keep, that we know we're going to use it at some yeah. point. I use it to put all those That's in. That's a good idea. So that you can use idea. it as storage. Oh, you know, I'd just yeah. theme my whole craft room around yeah. everything heartfelt. It would look amazing, oh, wouldn't yeah, it? Definitely. definitely. Yeah, I know you've done that, Nikki. Of mm -hmm. course you have. Four, three, six, three, six, seven. You're going for the I want it all collection. Now. Many of you are doing that again this morning as well. I've got to say, we came in at half the stock gone, don't forget. So we had a very busy launch last night. We'll go back to Nikki because she's got more to show us, of course. We've got the mould, haven't we? We have. And as I say, this is one of my favourite moulds. OK, you can see all the detail in there as well, look. Beautiful. And what I love about it is we've got all the elements there. So we've, we're put, use, making more than one flower at a time. So if you put your image face down... That will create um, your petals that sort of like fold inwards. But if you put them the other way, which you can do, it will lift the flowers the yeah. other way. So I'm going to do a bit of a mixture. Let's just okay. have a little play this morning. So I'm going to put that one in upwards. And the clematis, when you look one, at the, I mean, there's many different varieties of clematis, isn't there? Many different colours available oh, as well. Oh, absolutely loads, isn't there? But they, as they come out there, as you're putting those into the mould, Nikki, they Virtually, well, they're true to the flower itself, but I can see they if you are. layer those up in different ways, you certainly can make other flowers as well. You can it's not definitely going to be a make pony. other flowers with this one. Um, I'll show you as well. Um, I'll put one on top of one another. So what I'm going to do is just give that a slight spritz. Okay, so that's now, I did colour these flowers in a few weeks ago, so I know my ink is totally dry. But if you're doing them fresh, what I would suggest is spritz your actual mould itself. Right, okay. Because sometimes if you're using your Distress Oxides or your Memento inks and you've only just coloured them in, it can bleed a yeah. little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll pop that one in. Let's do that one that way. Okay. okay, and you have got your space for your leaves as well, so you are getting those. Oh, that moved. Didn't work, did it? Um, you are getting your leaves in the full collection as well. So that comes in with the essentials. So these okay. are the stamps and dies that you would get in your essentials. So I'm going to pop that down, really nice and easy, because you've got the feet on the sides. Yeah, so you know and you've then got that in the right place. What you need to do is, with your die cutting machine, just take that big plate away. That's the one that you're not going to use. If you're not 100% sure on whether or not your machine will take your mould, basically I always say, if you've got one of these, it's going to take yeah. your mould. If you've only got two thin plates then it's just, it's just not going to go through. But if you're not 100% sure, just head over to the Heartfelt website and they have a full list of all of the machines that they will go through. I actually think there's a lot more that it will... There's only a tiny few that you yeah, can't use it with. So what I'm doing is just cutting a sheet of card and I'm just going to use that as a shim. OK. The better the pressure, the better the results. But you don't want to put it through your machine and really be struggling. If you're struggling, putting that through the machine, you've got too much in there. Okay, yeah, got you. Okay. Especially if you're going to layer your flowers up. So if you're layering your flowers, say, two or three layers, it's obviously going to make um, it a little bit more precious. Yeah, so you won't need thickness of cardstock so much stock or whether you're using the yeah, paper from absolutely. the Absolutely. So you can also, just talking about that, you can actually also use the paper from the paper pad. And what, what I'll do is... On the midday show, we'll use the flowers from the okay. paper pads just to show you how easy it is to use. Now, this is a brilliant bit. Honestly, look, I haven't done anything. And just knock that out. If you're struggling getting them out, just use a little pokey tool and you could just pick them okay. out. But just be very gentle. And because you only need that one layer, really, I mean, you can, as we said, layer them up, but you could get away with one layer. You've got multiple flowers very, very quickly. You, you, exactly. Do you know what else stands out to me as well, Nikki? They are just the perfect size. They're not too small. They're they not are. too large. They are perfect. And you've got your large, your medium here, which I just pulled. Up. See how easy that com comes yeah. off. So this is the double one that oh, I put in. Two layers, but look at that. Beautiful. 
And it's as though, because you've broken the fibres and you've given that shaping, they're actually firmer when they come out of the they mold are. than when it's, they go in. Yeah, and, you know, if you don't over-spritz them, once they're dry, they just come hard. It, it, I don't know, it's really weird how it, how it works. And it's only paper, and that's what I find absolutely amazing. When I have friends come round and they say, wow, look at those flowers, have you made them? And I said, yeah, with paper. And it's just like, the look <laughs> on their face, really? Um, but yes, so that, that is your basic flower. So this one is one where I've just put in with the image faced up. Okay, so you can okay. see those petals coming yeah. up. And then this one is with the image face down in my mold. So it's just slightly different. But all, like we say, all flowers are different. You've got so many different varieties. So I'm going to take this one here. So I'm just going to use one for the moment. So we, I am going to go into for this demo, just spend a little bit of time just showing you different, a few different techniques. So what okay. I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a bud with this. So I am using my shaping tool. So what I'm going to do is just bring that up. And this is so, so easy. Now I'm going to use a hot glue gun. Okay. And what I've, am I right in saying you, you're, you're good with your flowers and garden? Um, I have got a clematis just coming out, but it hasn't got any buds on yet. But the buds tend to be a little bit green or yellow yes, on the tips, they don't they? Yeah. So you can even clematis. colour them up. But look how easy this is. I had lots to... of flowers in my garden, Nikki, until a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I haven't heard this story. What's happened? No. He's not up yet. I know that, so I can say it. I can call him on screen. Somebody, somebody, somebody. went to cut my grass. Yeah but decided to go weeding first and pulled up all of my flowers. No! All my seedlings and everything. Just all your gone. little seedlings. <laughs> everything oh, <no>. gone. <laughs> oh dear. I could just make my own out of paper. That would be so much easier. <laughs> Uh, with the shaping tools as well, we've got those on the screen for you. If you haven't got these yet, this is a brilliant, brilliant kit. You'll see Nikki using these constantly. You do get your shaping foam in there. You've got your tool with the interchangeable heads in there. Uh, so a great tool set to have. You've got 10 interchangeable tips there. There's an extra little foam pad there as well. All comes so beautifully packaged it does. It's in lovely, the heartfelt box. I love I'm actually packaging. going to be using the curling tool. Are you? in um, this demonstration as well. Lovely. So there's my bud look. So if... Oh, we can there see all the different uh, heads there on the back as well. A little bit of inspiration. There's just looking at the bud look. there. Yeah, just a little bud. But as I say, you can add some green on there as well. You can put a stamen in there. At the end of call, when you check out, there's actually lots of different stamens yes. on there. Yeah. So it is really worth taking a look because I will be using a lot of the stamens. So just to do a really easy, quick, quick um, demo <laughs> or flower. So that one is with the petals facing um, up and this one is the petals facing down. Can you see the difference? Yeah. And you can just squeeze just a little bit. As I say, there's so many different varieties. And then this is just a basic flower. Okay, and then I will do another demo on a flower to show you a different center. So I've just popped a hole in using my knife. Now the reason I've used my knife is, oops, I've got my stamens here and it's oh, just a little pretty. bit easier just to put a slightly bigger hole in. So these are, as I say, when you check out, these are the stamens that oh, you will see isn't that on pretty? there. pretty? How that changes it. Do you know, I do know my garden flowers quite well, uh, Nikki. Do you know how many species of varieties of clematis there are? I don't, actually. It's, uh, I normally actually have a look, but go on. There's over it's... 200. Oh, is there? There is. How do you know that? Um... Okay. Meg told uh, me in the gallery. Oh, oh. <laughs> I knew there was a lot, bro. I didn't know there was quite I knew that, that many. That, that's a lot, isn't there it? There is a lot. What I do know, though, is you get clematis that uh, bloom at different times yes, every year. You so you've got early yeah. bloomers, you've got the summer, you've got more mm -hmm. autumn. So this is definitely not a one-season flower. No, it's all year round. I would even think, actually, if you did white one, ones um, and put some glitter and um, bits on, you could make... Christmas roses. Do you know, I was just looking at this. I was going to say I can even see that you could probably make your uh, poinsettias with these. Possi I, I know there is a poinsettia yes. set, isn't there, that's been out previously. There is. Heartfelt. But if you, you know, if you want different sizes or mm -hmm. you're struggling. 
definitely. I think there's you can so do that. many you can do. So, shall, shall I go straight on to my next demo? Uh, All right. Well, we'll, okay. we'll let you have a, a little, That'd a little bit of a pause while we have a bit of a recap. Because we've got another busy start to the day here as well. So the stamens, at end of call, that Nick has just referred to. Look at the bundles here. Oh wow, we've got brights, we've got pastels, we've got more pastels there. You've got various different options, it's like the clematis. You've got lots of variations. Maybe not quite 200 or over 200, but you've got oh, plenty to choose from. Pop those into your basket when you're checking out, and there's no further add-ons for postage, of course, when you put those into your basket. Baskets. Now let's have another look at some of these samples because, oh I didn't pick this one up earlier, this is beautiful. Clematis of course is a climbing plant so you know the fact that you've got the trellis in with the collection, uh, those beautiful blooms, the leaves there, you can work with multiples, you can work with individual ones. This is very pretty actually, using the stamp of the birdhouse. How lovely is that? But again you've got the dye that will correspond correspond with that one as well. Let me just find one with some more of the trellis on. This is pretty. So you can see there the birdhouse with the clematis climbing up there. There's trellis in the background. And then you can really, really go to town. I know Nick has just mentioned glitter. How pretty is this? Got to give it a little bit of a wiggle. I mean, that's a statement piece, isn't it? That's on a piece of MDF, actually. How gorgeous is that? Love the little birdhouse there, the fencing. This is one of the pieces of paper, isn't it, Nick? And that's been cut from the paper pads. That, yes, that is from the paper pads. In actual fact, I did fussy cut that out. Did you? <laughs> I did. But you, there is actually a um, corresponding um, stamp and die, very similar to that, which is in the tulip collection. That's definitely the die, though, and you wouldn't be able to fussy cut that one. We did show that at the beginning, so the trellis with the clematis climbing up. Love the little birds sat there as well, look, and I must show this one. I think this is absolutely beautiful. This is by Lynn. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, the thing is, you could put just two or three, or I would say three, because I work in odd numbers yeah. when I put, or just one, Love and that. you can make a really pretty card, or you could really go to town and like that one there. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, right, okay, now then. I haven't got, go oh, on borrowing Nicky's, I'll put that one back. Um, we have a, I've got a scrapbook sheet here. I was looking for a spare paper pad. Where have we got it here? <laughs> right, okay, now I'll have to be careful because I don't want all these pages to fall out. But just to remind you of the colour scheme that you've got running through here, the decorative elements, so you've got lace borders in there. There's never a scrap of paper that's been wasted here. Double-sided, of course. It is difficult when we try and show you both sides uh, without, you know, turning things completely upside down or breaking the spine of the book. But you can see there, it is absolutely jam-packed full of beautiful, beautiful images. I mean, this one here, again, I'm sorry that is upside down, but you can see the gorgeous trellis there. You've got the clematis growing up there. You've got those lovely shapes. Um, areas that you can stamp sentiments in or put further flowers in or you know cut out the centers of make them into apertures as well i mean look how many are on one page there literally just, nothing you want is to wasted make a little notelet set with some little cards oh that'd be pretty i mean you just use yeah. one sheet and you've got so many in there absolutely gorgeous i think the color scheme in this one nikki Isn't is absolutely gorgeous? divine the green mm -hmm. with the purples you've got that softness of the pink as well that is gorgeous. I mean, if you didn't want to use that as a whole, Nikki, as a scrapbook page, just split that in half down the centre, make a long card. You know, you could even take yep. that into quarters and you'd Absolutely, still get used to that. because you've got the top part as well that yep. you could use as your backing paper and then the bottom, cut that into two and you've got two cards. Oh, look at those little birds are there. So you've got dies, obviously, to cut those birds out because we're looking at one of the pages that is, of course, useful with those dies themselves. We are very busy for the full collection. 60% of the stock has now gone. You have got that flexi. Don't forget, you've got big savings on here. I'm just going to remind you of those. Now, you've got a £5 saving carried over from the essentials. The essential, just as a reminder, is the paper pad that we've just seen. And you're also getting the first stamp set and the first die set that correspond together we've seen those at demonstration with nikki as well 
Now, they are included in the big collection. We're carrying over that £5. We're giving you an extra £28 on top of that, so we're up to £33 there. But if you're a Freedom member, you gain an extra 10%. So your saving is £38.89. Split that. That's on top of the £5, so it's over £40. This is why we're saying to you, of course, with that flower shaping mould, I think that retails at £21.99. Am I right there? Yeah, £21.99 individually. You have got massive savings there you've got pounds left over to spend elsewhere so maybe you want some of those add-ons at end of call maybe you want to go for some doorbers maybe you want to put it towards your flower shaping kit maybe you want the storage binder we've got that as well and don't forget the full collection does come in that wonderful bag and I'm going to pick it up again I just think do you know it's the little things to me it's those thoughtful things it's those useful things and that is certainly a very useful bag the fact that it's clear is amazing you've got the inspiration sheet as well full instructions instructions of how to make the project that you can see on the front there to me that is a lovely little bonus 436-367 is the item number if you want to go for that now I did mention the storage binder I'm just going to pick that up if you've been collecting these I know many of you do Nikki I think do you know if I just started at the beginning with heartfelt and these were available I would have definitely collected one for every single, every single collection. collection you can actually get seven stamp sets in there Wow and if you go for the magnetic die sheets that we've got on the show as well you can get your dies in there you can get them all in there as I say seven stamp sets but they do look absolutely They're amazing gorgeous. on they your really shelves are. so um, I'll let you into a little secret you, um, You've got all your collections in these. I haven't actually. Oh. <laughs> so what I've done is, because I do like to keep my stamps in my packaging, because obviously I can yeah. see and go to them, but I keep all my decorative dies in them, and I've got a lot of older collections before we changed over the packaging ah. that I use. But also, as you know, I've done other shows with lots of other companies over the last few yeah. years, and I also put my acrylic stamps in there as well. Well, so I don't blame you. So it isn't just for yeah. Heartfelt. It's you not just for Heartfelt. Any collection, just so any, any stamps in there. They're really, really sturdy as and well. And you've got you've the got handle, so if you go that. into classes, yeah. which hopefully we can do very, very soon, you've got all of your amazing and everything in there. and just to make sure that you are aware of it you've got a magnetic closure there you can't see it but it is magnetic so that's not going to flop open you see if I turn it that way give it a bit of a shake that's not just going to fall open so you know you can see how that how that's going to hold everything really really securely only 12.99 374 418 if you want to pop one of those in with your collection again of course you've already got a flexi buy on there so again you can split the cost of anything else that you're popping in there now Nikki did mention inserts now we do have a couple of different options actually so first of all we're looking at the stamp and die magnetic storage here so of course you can house on those panels both that's what they're there for 12.99 you're getting six of those nine three four seven two three is the item number we've also got the stamp only panels for you as well there you are you get 15 of those zero two one nine nine seven is the item number of course all will fit into the storage binders only 9.99 for 50 that's a really really good buy just a reminder the dispatch date it's the 14th of june so not long to wait at all and you can be planning those projects it is a beautiful collection it is isn't it, it really is so obviously we did a show last night so i'll just show you if you did miss it, the flower that we did on the first show, this, so this was the oh, six o'clock show, you can see I've got those stamens in there as well, and I've doubled this one up, and this one has got the, it was put in the mould um, image face down. Then we've got this one that we did on the eight o'clock show. Now, I put three layers in this one, so I've got two of the larger ones, and then I've used one of the smaller ones in the centre, and then I've made a paper um, center and I've used some stamens in the center there as well. So lots of different ways that you can actually create your flowers. But look how gorgeous they are. You can make a beautiful bouquet. Oh, you could, you could make so many different things. <laughs> I know we've got the flower phobe on the show as well, so you could we put have, that, so that, that would, There is actually a card somewhere that one of the design team, so I will show you that later on, but um, with the flowers actually made out of the foam, and they yeah. do, look so, I'm just so thinking pretty. hair accessories and things Hair like accessories, that. Um, brooches, yeah, corsages. Oh. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to... 
Do you know? Do you know <laughs> have a little. I'll tell you what. Just was while Nikki has a little break because she's got a little bit of a frog in her throat. Uh, I'm just going to bring in some of the flower, flower foam. Now, it doesn't look that exciting, but this is wonderful stuff. Of course, the fact that you've got white means that you can use your inks, you can use your colours, you can colour however you wish. You can die cut this, you can shape it, you can do all sorts of wonderful things with it. You are getting 20 sheets for 11 99 exceptional value. If you've never seen this before, you'll be mesmerised when you see this in action. 675 424 is the item number. Don't miss out on that. Again, if you can afford to pop that into your basket as an add-on to the collection so you've got more to work with, you'll get completely different results for different projects. It's just a wonderful, wonderful medium to have. Right. Are we okay, Nikki? Yes, I think I've got the frog out of my throat <laughs> for now. So I do apologise. So it's usually I've got mine. Is... <laughs> It's just, I don't know. I, I, I had a bit of a coughing fit yesterday, but I am just underneath the air con, so I think it may be that. So I've took a strip of yellow card, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down. Now, last night I did it, and the width was half of that width, but this time I'm going in a lot, lot bigger. I'm going in about three quarters of the way down. And I'm just going to keep snipping. I can't really see where I'm going, so I'm just snipping away. Um, if you have the Ariana Blooms collection, which is quite an old one, I think we're probably going back about six years ago, maybe seven years ago. We have brought it back, I think, um, a couple of years ago as well. There is a lovely dye in there that would do some beautiful stamens but this is a really easy and cheap way of putting a beautiful center in because if you think about um clematis catherine they've all got those beautiful centers they haven't have, they yeah it, the actual stamens of the clematis are just as pretty as the flower itself I presume you could do this with the flower foam as well. Yes, you, you could. Yeah, definitely. And then just snip it into it the same way. So I'm going to, I think I might stop now. It's one of them where I don't know how. <laughs> there we go. I will stop. Okay. So I've got my little frills. Um, you might find it easier actually to cut them with um, some, let me think what I'm thinking. Nail scissors. Then ah, we go. Yes, something fine. A little bit nice thinner, but I think I did a pretty good job there. So I'm taking my curling tool and I'm taking that tip out and that will just click in there because it is magnetic. And then I'm just going to pop that in there. Oh, so that's got a little and slot on it. Round. Can you see now? Uh, Look lovely. at that. Okay, so that's actually done that now what I'm going to do yesterday I actually did this and I took it off of the curling tool but I'm actually just adding a little tiny bit of glue while it's on there That's a good idea. because it helps keep the shape yeah stops it from okay. curling too far and then it's easy as well just to keep that in there and then pull them out take that out and then I've got a few stamens from the, as I say, when you check out, you'll find these. And I just fold them in half and then I give them a little twist. And again, if you wanted to well, there's that. lots of colours available. But if you're just going for a certain bundle and you haven't got the right colours, if you've got the white in there, you can colour those with your You can colour them. I, I, well. I actually colour them a lot, to be honest. So I've just added some um, glue for my hot glue gun, just waiting for that to cool down. And then once I know that's cooled down enough for me to handle, ah. I just glue that. And there you have the um, center there. And then I can pop that in the center. And then what I'm going to do is just hold that tight, just trim a little bit off. And then add some glue. I think I might have trimmed it a little bit too much. So I'm just adding some glue around there. Again, just waiting for that to drop, sort of like, so it cools down slightly. So I do actually get covered in glue, but it's quick and it's instant. And then I'm going to take my flower. And this is where you can use single or double flowers. 
I'm going to change my tip, so I'm going to take my quilling tip off and then just bring that up slightly. So that's all that's done is been in my flower mold. I haven't touched it, I haven't shaped it. My flower mold has done all the work. All I've done is just gone in the center very gently to lift that up. Lovely and work. then I'm going to add some glue there. And you can make these shorter if you want to. But if you see this in a second, when I put this in, I'm going to lift my flower up around it slightly. And then I'm going to open that up. Oh, nice. And there you have. That is beautiful, Nikki. A completely different oh. center for your flower. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very okay. achievable by and, all. And, and the thing is, I've, yes, I've used a few stamens, but how much has that just cost me? Yeah. It's paper. Yeah. I wouldn't even say yeah. pennies. Well, no, because you probably would have thrown that scrap in the bin. Yeah. And you mustn't do that. That's the thing. You I mustn't don't do that. You can make away. use of everything, <laughs> absolutely everything. You can see now, can't you, that you can create the most beautiful displays of flowers. Whether you want to work with the trellis, whether you want to make the arches, whether you want to do the individual flowers, it's all there in the complete collection. Don't forget, we've still got the birds we haven't mentioned hardly at all. We've got the bird houses as well. Almost 65% of the stock, the entire stock of the big collection has now gone. Those savings, of course, just keep growing because that five pounds carried over from the essentials if you're going for the smaller bundle you do have that but it is carried over we're giving you 28 pounds on top of that for non-freedom members but it is a why not deal because for freedom members you are getting the extra 80 38 pounds and 89 pence on top of that five pounds so well, it's almost £44, if my math serves correctly. Three payments of £32.68 as well, so you can really split the cost. You only have to pay that one payment now. Dispatch from the 14th of June, you can be creating some most amazing, amazing samples. You know, as soon as you get this, before you finish paying for it, 436-367 is the item number. I'm just going to remind you again of one or two more samples, just so you can appreciate, you know, exactly what you're getting here for your money. The difference in the the colour schemes that you can work with, whether you're going straight from the paper pad, whether you're stamping and creating your own florals. Of course, don't forget, again, the trellis and the birdhouse. There's the birdhouse there. Look, the little birds. You don't have to fussy cut those either. You can cut those with the dies that are included. If I show you this one again, I love this because you do get the trellis die. Now, the clematis are already built in there, but it still cuts out the individual holes in between the trellis. You couldn't do that with a pair of scissors. It would take you ages with a craft knife. You know, but you can do that in one pass with your machines. And I'm just going to remind you again of this one because it is beautiful. Beautiful. In fact, all the samples are absolutely stunning. I'm going to bring in, actually, I keep saying this is the last one, but look at that one as well. That is very, very nice. Gorgeous. 436 367 is all you need is that item number there and anything else that you've put into your basket you can split the cost of as well now if you want to see more from heartfelt of course on the website if you look at the brand shop you can look for heartfelt under h and then you can see all of the different variants that we've got there for you as well i wonder if there's more variants than there is clematis now possibly Yes, I'm getting a nod. Don't forget, you've got all those stamens as well. There are stamens on the website. There are dorbers on there. We've got the storage. We've got the storage panels. Don't forget the, the shaping tools as well. You know, when it comes to the flower shaping that we've just seen, Nikki, she wouldn't be without her kit. If you haven't got yours yet, you can get yours. Five-star reviews on there as well. Do have a good look and make sure they get everything that you need. There we are. Lots to consider, isn't there? Let's get back to Nikki, though. We want to see more of these beautiful blooms. Yes, so this time we're actually going to make a card, believe it or not. So I've got my um, image already stamped out. So this is the birdhouse. As I say, it is a nice size. If I actually just have a look at the packaging, I can tell you exactly what size it is. So it's two inches in width at the furthest point away and then four inches in height so it is a nice size stamp and basically what I'm doing is I'm going to go in with my watercolor pens this morning so I'm just going to take a very light gray and a darker gray which is sort of like a charcoal gray and I'm just going to finish off the stand on my 
um, birdhouse. So just add in just a little tiny bit of dark. And these are your um, Zig watercolour pens, which a lot of the Heartfelt Design team actually use. I know um, Shalina and I think it's Anita definitely use these. So just bring that in there. And to be honest, um, when I'm colouring these in, I'm not actually spending too much time because I know I'm actually going to be um, covering some of them up. I think we do actually, yes. Yes, you, I think you've got a few different sets on there, haven't you? Because I did actually check the other day because these are my actual favourites. And the cardstock that I'm using is the Pink Frog Smooth Cardstock that if you watched Haley's show at... I can't actually remember, oh, that's the wrong pink, so I'm just going to go in again with the right pink. Um, if you watched Haley's show, Haley actually had this card stock on, and it means that I can use my alcohol pens or my watercoloured pens with it. So just bringing that pink in, and then I'm going to go back in with my pale, just make sure I've got no other colour on there. And look how that just blends in. Really nice, easy and quick. Okay. So just blend that in. They are, these pens, I would say, are definitely worth an investment. I have tried so many over the years. And absolutely, it's the tips. If, if it hasn't got a really nice thin small tip I don't get on with it at all but these have got a really nice brush tip on and then just go in with my green for my leaves so you normally see that I um, die cut first so I stamp then die cut and then I color but on the, this show I just wanted to show you how easy this is to die cut out as well so look at that minutes and i've got a beautiful lovely birdhouse so then i'm going to take my birdhouse die just got to make sure you just clean it out and then that is going to fit perfectly over my image like that you can you see you can clearly see where to you place can these dies, yeah, can't you? totally to i love it the fact all. that heartfelt um actually with their matching dies have actually got this part yeah. um what do you call it um exposed, open, exposed. Yeah. so you can see exactly where you're putting that die look and then i'm just going to pop that through my die cutting machine and as if by mad, I love this bit, you know, I've been crafting for years. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like when you take it out, when you've got all those little bits and little, little tiny tendrils coming off that clematis, it's just amazing. And then obviously you've got tape on there, so just gently take your tape off. Okay, there we go. Another little bit there. And look oh, how look that. easy that has just died. Oh, that out. is beautiful. I Perfect. Love, I mean, just look at how yeah. this, it's just a smidgen bigger that die. So you get that perfect I think you do cut. need that, though. You need that whiteboard. I mean, you, you can lose that do. whiteboard you if can you can want easily. to pens, What I would I do is it. I would just go around with my yeah. pen again and just cover that up. Stunning. So I've got a few more bits coloured already. So we've got one of the arches. Okay. Yeah. So I've coloured that in already. I've got some elements from other collections here as well, so we'll go through it. So I'm doing an easel card, so I'm going to start off with this part. So this is one of, I think it would be, oh, which way should we have it? Now this is a decider <laughs> now. This is why you this, need to pop that because extra paper pad in your basket. I'm, I'm actually going to go for this one. And I think it was the other side that I was going to go for, but... But definitely, um, I would say definitely with this paper pad, go for a second paper pad. 
because you are going to want to make cards, you're going to want to make scrapbook layouts. I'm just getting back into my scrapbooking and I did have a lady message me last month and I promised that I would demonstrate a scrapbook layout. So please, please watch at 12 o'clock. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I, I will I do, do you know they're so that, easy? Scrapbooking yeah. is, yeah, um, and I love it. And it, I actually started with scrapbooking. So when I went got into card making, I actually struggled with the sizes of cards. So used I always used big. to do eight yeah. by eight ah. because I was thinking scrapbook. I can't, I can't do these small cards. Um, but it is just very similar to card making. And then we're going to pop that on there. Such a lovely way to give something as well. If you make a scrapbook page individually and or you put it into a frame of, you yeah, make a whole definitely. scrapbook. Yeah, definitely. And you can you can frame them as well. Yeah, you could you could make a scrapbook page for every occasion. I know when the years, my my first grandchildren were born, and how old is Ollie now? I think he's coming up to thirteen, if my memory serves me right, twelve or thirteen. And um, I remember framing my scrapbook layouts because yeah. it was such a shame to pack them away into a book. So there is my easel and then I've got one of the um, the frames from one of the gateway car um, dies that we brought out a couple of months back and again it's important to say isn't it Nikki that even though you've got a new collection if you look at elements within the paper pad within the dies and things they will mix and match with absolutely everything that you've seen everything before that as you've well. got absolutely and I think as well when you've got those see, oh, see how I've cut that. out that image with a oh, cute that. little birdie on those I might cover him so up sweet. though it's such a shame oh, no. because but do you know what you could actually just do use this and not actually put the um, birdhouse on there and you would still have an absolutely gorgeous car oh, I think that's such a sweet but image look at that, look at that. But it's just that every page <laughs> of that paper pad mixes and matches together so I know it doesn't matter what image I pick and what you know, paper I pick from the paper A couple of weeks ago, pad. Nikki, I could have been looking out of my kitchen window. That's the <laughs> sight I would have had. Not anymore. Oh, dear. Even oh the dear. birds are refusing to come in the garden now. They've got no flowers to look at. Oh, bless them. <laughs> Actually, I did do a bit of planting this week. I've replanted. There's big signs plastered all over the garden now. Do, do not, not touch. weed. <laughs> do not do touch. Not touch. <laughs> oh dear. And then I've just got a sentiment. So we don't have sentiments in this paper pad, but we have sentiments in lots of other heartfelt paper pads. One being the. I'm trying to think what this one was now. I think I've used most of my sentiments for this um, show from the, oh, I will think of it. It's a rose and it was the big one. <laughs> it was the wild, wild rose. rose. The wild rose. Very close. It, yeah, very close <laughs> to the, <laughs> But yes, the but wild rose. But you've got lots rose. and lots so of got, those blank areas, haven't you, to yes, stamp and your we own ha sentiments? Heartfelt have lots and lots of sentiment stamps. It just happened that I've just moved, so I've got 90% of my craft stuff still packed away. So, so there's the start. Okay. And then I'm just... Oh, I don't have to cover him up, you see. No, don't. I can pop I it that so side. Sweet. I'm going to... I'll tell you what, we'll glue that on flat, which is going to go there. So I'm going to try and do it so that, that you pretty? can all see where I'm going. I can't see, but you can see. <laughs> well, it's and looking then great, Nikki. You've got those gorgeous flowers now that you can cascade Ooh. around. So I'm just going to add these flowers and okay. you can have a look in a second at the Okay, finish. well let Nikki keep sticking then and let's have a final recap for this hour with a complete collection. Very, very popular. You are seeing everything that you get in there, including that bag to hold your collection or keep your scrap papers and you can do whatever you wish with it. You've got all those different dies, 10 die sets or 10 dies in total. You've got 10 stamps as well. They all correspond together. The mould, the flower shape and mould is there and of course the paper pad which is double sided. Two 
two thirds of the stock has now gone. Any savings from smaller bundles, so it will be the essentials in this in this case, that five pounds carried over, 28 pounds on top of that, if you're a non-freedom member. If you are a freedom member, it is a why not deal. We'll show you those savings on top of the five pounds that you can see on the screen now. That would be for the essentials, if you're going for the small bundle. But yes, those carried over, everything multiplied together or added together will take you, if you're a freedom member, to almost 44 pounds saving. That will give you easily, easily, the flower shaping mold and it's always worth 21.99. So those savings are just massive. 436, 367 is the item. And we're looking at that collection there on the screen. And of course, talking about the samples, seeing the demonstrations as well, we've got more in the way of samples here. Some of these I may have shown you previously. We've also got more as well just behind me. I don't know if I can do a bit of a wander down the counter. I don't know if we can see that with the camera. We'll see, we'll do our best because we've got ones we haven't even touched on this hour look at that isn't that pretty that is gorgeous isn't it the greens there in the background with those beautiful purple flowers you know there's nothing it's not too overstated it's quite simple but it says everything it needs to say there you've got those cascading clematis again they look so realistic we've got the the fence there so the paper pad again all those elements pulled out from the paper pad that is onto a piece of mdf so use the home decor as well that gorgeous little birdhouse and the sweet little birds are there as well you get the dies to cut those out the stamps to stamp them they're all in the paper pad and it just goes on and on and on do have a look at the collections you've already got you are getting the trellis work that's included as a stamp and a die in this set as well again that does sort of reappear throughout that paper pad so beautifully you know whether it's on a larger page whether it's in a quartet whether it's on a border it could be in, you know in any way shape or form appearing in so many different ways we just see more and more of the samples this is a pretty one isn't it love the pinks and the greens together or the lilacs and the greens the greens always work obviously you've got the foliage there but the papers in the background it's just it's so fresh isn't it as well absolutely beautiful there are so many different cards here so many different designs well done design team always do a magnificent job as does of course our wonderful nikki nick have you finished gluing i have oh finished card that is there gorgeous isn't that I, say, I didn't want to hide too much of that gorgeous um, birdhouse, but I couldn't resist just putting a few more flowers on. That is beautiful. It really and is. And all papers from the paper pads. So if I just bring the paper pad across, and then I can actually show you which page that um, birdhouse came from. Because we were talking about earlier that you've got your matting and layerings you've got your six by sixes you've got your four by sixes but you've got your other side as well so you've got the pages if i just bring that down i know it's upside down i do apologize but you can do your scrapbook layouts but you can also cut that up so you could use that on a smaller card you could use this top piece here and then you could put a decorative die there i'm when i go through the paper pad i see so many um cards that i can create with it but because you've got the 12 by 12, you can make your easel cards. You can make your larger cards. You can create so much with it. But, I mean, just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's Same, stunning. as I say, a lot of these images mirror your stamps and your dies. Nikki, again, when we think of albums, I mean, Hartford is perfect for yeah, your album. It the is, front definitely. Covers have maybe a bit of the trellis and those clematis, again, mm -hmm. cascading, moulded with the flower yeah. mould. I mean, just Beautiful. look at that one. That oh, is a that. gorgeous scrapbook. That's the one that I did the scrapbook layout with without any pictures. <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> photos in it. So, bringing us to this one. If I bring that uh, element there, there it is. you see what I did was I cut it out Ooh. there, yeah. but then this part I've used on another card that I can't point out at the minute, but I will be able to at some point. But you can see that little bird there. We have got the birds, and I don't know why, but they must have flown away because I did have birds to put on that card. Oh. So um, I forgot. They've, they've flown away somewhere. And then, of course, you've got these images, which are absolutely great, which mean that you can use your dies that you're getting in your one day special to cut out those images and even your bird cage, um, birdhouse look. Perfect, so if you don't have it. time to colour, and we don't always have time, you can still make your card. There's your little birds there, look. They're, no, they're going nowhere. And <laughs> um, 
Then you've got the trellis as well, and even the die that will fit that trellis. That is genius. It's that just die. beautiful. It really is beautiful. And the thing with that trellis is, you could die cut several, and you could elongate it. Of course. You could just put yeah. it make more than one that would look great in the foreground of it maybe a shadow box or yes a tunnel it card. would tunnel maybe put yeah, yeah one of the i can see that on the a background, uh, tunnel the card. Foreground. you've also got your flowers on there as well and on the midday show what i'll do is i'll put some of those through the mold as well um just to show you that they do work perfectly with it even from the paper pad then of course you've got your six by sixes so you know, we're talking about scrapbooking, but you've got your six by sixes for your smaller cards. But just look at the colours. I mean, who can't? Say, who doesn't like purples and lilacs and greens? And then think about all the sentiments that you've got at home that you can stamp onto these. Beautiful, Thanks. absolutely beautiful. Now we do appreciate, you know, not everybody can afford the big collection as well, but perhaps if you're going for the paper pad and maybe the shaping mould on its own, we have got this for you as well. Show you the value as well here doing this. Twenty one ninety nine is the price individually. I mean, you could you could probably cut out your own flowers, you know, even if you haven't got the stamps, just to go with the mould on its own. But it is part of that big collection. If you can afford to go for the paper pad to correspond with that, of course, you, you've even more on your way, aren't you? Four three six three six seven. If you're going for the big collection, don't forget that flexi. Don't forget those extra savings. That five pound carried over. Don't forget if you are adding other things into your basket, then of course you can split the cost of those as well. Just make sure that you grab everything you can now. Now, Nikki has mentioned she's going to show us lots of th things at 12 o'clock. We will make sales in between the shows as well. We've lost a lot of stock. So, in fact, it's over two-thirds of the stock gone now. Grab yours now so you can sit back, watch the demonstrations at 12, but don't miss out on the collection. I've got a feeling it may not be hanging around. Thank you very much, Nikki. Thank you. I it's a lovely show. It's 12 o'clock. It's lovely. Don't you go anywhere, menu to follow. Yes, it is chocolate baroque. What is that something? Craft individuals, we're counting something else. And then we've got, of course, who can eco ink pads at 11? <laughs> Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want, and they listen to us crafters too. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers 
which are absolutely stunning. A very good morning to you. I hope you are. The time has just struck nine o'clock in the morning and you are in for a treat. And I mean a treat. So let's break this down for you. There are two Chocolate Baroque shows today with myself and Leslie, who I'll introduce you to later. But the second show is totally different. OK, so treat this as a one off show. Uh, and in theory, it is going to be a one-off show because I think these are absolutely going to fly ahead. I'm already going to tell you to shop ahead of me on the website. We've got paintbrushes in cases, but once they've gone, the cases won't be coming back. Okay, just going to point that out now. We've got canvases in a size of a canvas I've not seen before that we've sold on the channel as well. And you're getting four of those canvases and added extras. Shop ahead on the web and it's all there for me. And once again, the, everything you're about to see now is a totally different show this afternoon. But it wouldn't be a chocolate baroque show without the lady herself. Lord, lady. Let's go, lady. I was going to go Lady Mayoress, and I couldn't. I, a Lord Mayor, I had in my head. It all went wrong. I thought about it in the car this morning. It's Leslie, everyone. Yes. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Good morning, Lady Leslie. Lord, Lady, whatever. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't think of what the what the female equivalent was for Lord Mayor. It's going to be a good show, isn't it? <laughs> I did warn you on Facebook yesterday. I said we were in for some fun. Oh, we are indeed. How are you, mother? I've not worked with you for ages. No, 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 it's nice to work with you. We haven't, have we? We've sort of kind of seen each other across, you know. Across yonder, but yeah. we don't work together. Three three miles apart, but, you know, yeah. Across the car park when <laughs> yes. she's in a Winnebago with hair and makeup. <laughs> uh, but, the, as it said, like I said in my introduction, this is a one, treat it as a one off show. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Totally different show this afternoon. And everything is more or less brand new that we've got on the counter as well. Let's kick straight off with these brand new steps. This is something fish here, which I absolutely adore. These are the mounted stamps. Uh, you can get them unmounted, but not in a bundle. They'll only come uh, mounted in a bundle. If you want them unmounted, because you know about chocolate broth, they come both ways. You have to buy them individually. Um, these, Leslie, are absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah, we've had the Mermaid Queen on before, but about four years ago. Okay. Long, long time. When we first joined her channel, the Mermaid Queen came on. But this just works so well. So we've got the something fishy in the middle there, and there's just loads of little fish. They're sort of fun, they you really know, to create are. all sorts of things with. And then we've got the seashell collage next to it. And I know it's kind of seashore-ish, but do you know what? These are so useful. I know that perhaps it's not... Um, People think, oh, what would I do that for? When you see the samples, you appreciate how it works into loads of different things. They are huge as well, yeah. though. Yeah, that mermaid, I mean, the detail, it, that's the mermaid, that's all the mermaid queen, the middle section. Obviously, there's bits been added at the side, but that is her complete. She's absolutely, and what I love about these is you've got the, and this is everything about chocolate baroque stamps. If you go through my social media, you see I use chocolate baroque a lot. And um, for the sheer fact, you get all the detail that's there, mm -hmm. but they're still so easy to fussy cut out if you want Absol to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They the, absolutely are. They're just, they are, I mean, beautiful. okay, the hair can be different, but she's a huge, huge stamp. And for colourists, she's an absolute dream because you can go to town with it. You can add shimmery paints, you can add glossy accents. Uh, you could actually paper piece and do the tail and her little top in paper piecing if you wanted to. You know, you can do them in different colours. You know, it's just that. whatever. You can just go absolutely mad and, and they, create your own fantasy under the sea. And they all work so well together. Because yeah. not only have you got under the sea, we then go above the sea as well. So you've yeah. sort of got like sort of a two-tone uh, little item that's going on. So you've got from the mermaid and the fish, uh, which are these two that you see here, but then you can go above sand. So you've got uh, the beautiful posts with the, where the boats would moor up to. Uh, you've got the bird made up from the seashells, yes, which is absolutely stunning. Yes, it is made up from the seashells that are on there, yes. Uh, you've also then got like the Anki, then you've got the ship which is sailing on the crest of a wave. And there was a sample that I saw. Yeah, that's the one there. That sample is absolutely that's beautiful. Dory. Dory um, Dory. But these are nice. You know when you do your washy backgrounds? Where is it? Here it is. Uh, when, you do, when you do your mop-ups. Yes. And you always go, well, what do I do with my mop-up now? What do I do? I've got all this, but I don't know what to do with it. Literally, that boat in the middle of a mop-up really works well. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. It, you know, and again, for men's cards, it's not the traditional football, golf, sports cars, beer, whatever, darts. 
these make wonderful mail cards but in a different way they really really would and everyone loves the seaside there's yeah. something about the seaside that everyone yeah. really enjoys for home decor if you have a seaside place or you have a caravan by the sea or if you're lucky enough to do something like that you know these make lovely plaques and things for you know hanging you know up if you like the seaside well, little mobile shrink plastic stuff like that it yeah. really works uh, even just down to the some of the subtles yes. literally stamping on vellum a little stamp in the uh, little black verse file, maybe a second generation yes. stamp that you've got there you're also getting the verse in there as well once again just using your mop-ups uh, that we've got with that thing it looks like a rough wave it looks like you've spent time it looks like it's taken you ages to do yeah but literally it's a mop-up and a bit of kitchen towel yeah and that's it. Now that phrase there, that sent that whole sentiment, the whole, the whole poem there, that wording. Okay, that is true. That is correct. That is how it was originally written. It has been modernised. Okay. Because people, if you look, it says, "I must go down to the, I must go down to the sea again, for the calling of." The, there's one word in there, and people say there's something wrong there, and it's and it isn't because the originally this is how it was written, and then it was rewritten. Oh, for the correct English. With the correct English. Ah, oh, so I must So I've had a few people say, oh, Leslie, that's wrong. It isn't. That is the original correct. So that is the original. So once again, you're going for originality in this one. Remember, mounted is the only way of getting these unless you go individually. 20% um, of the stock already gone. 20% of the stock has look at, already I mean, gone. Look, look uh, at that. They are beautiful. Now, what... Which one is it? That one? This... I'm going to try this. I am generally going to give this a go. This here... You do this, it's got a piece of acetate over the front, okay? Take the acetate off and get a cello bag, even a zip liner bag and a bit of red liner tape. Get the, um, the most unexpensive, I'm going to say the word cheap, uh, get the <laughs> cheapest hair gel that you can find from any store. It normally comes in a little round tub, it looks like gesso, it's green. Uh, put, put that into a little bag and red liner tape it up. Because it's um, the cheaper brands, They've got little air bubbles in them. Yeah. And because and you put it in your little cello bag, it then gives you the texture as if you're yes, under the sea. Very nice. With the fish that are behind you, literally a little cello bag, you can't go wrong. Uh, we have them in happy hours. Um, put them in one of those. It is the most amazing technique and would work wonders with this. Yeah. Whether you're penciling, whether you're painting, whether you're using your watercolours, whatever you want to do, you are going to get a different look every single time. Yeah. We've also got a little fish bowl there. Right in front of you. Oh, this one here, look. Look, <laughs> look at this at one. This. Look at that. So you can get the kids involved. I with think the kids will love these for colouring in. Look at with that. With the acetate that you've got over the top, look how beautiful those are. For invitations to a summer ball, to a summer party yeah. uh, that you've got going on with the fish coming out. Do them in shrink yeah. plastic and then you've got your embellishments on top of that as well. Pirate themes. You can go to town. 20% of the stock's already gone. £32.97. and pence. In theory, if you do the maths, it works out to be three for two is what you're looking at for this one. 937992 is your item number. If you do want them unmounted, they're on the website as well. Something else that I'm going to bring your attention to to look at the size of this. I'm going to get the stamp out. You can only get this mounted, okay? But when you see it, it is absolutely stunning. This is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, these are all hand-drawn. It's yeah. absolutely... Yeah, that harmonite just, you know, you can do it again with clay. Put it with, Clay would work with your eye dry. Yes. Clay would work beautifully in it. You know, you can make your own little fossil with it. The, what, there's a, a, the one that you've just got there, done, that, that's done into, uh, into um, deep impossing powder. You can do it into paste. You know, there's so many ways of doing this. And it can be lightweight as well. So if you do it in air dry clay, it's... You put it on you know, cards and stuff. Yeah, again, for a, man, a man's card, it's something so unusual. I'm also thinking kids' cards. Yes. I'm going dinosaurs. Yes. You go dinosaurs, T-Rexes, stuff like that. Yeah. Archaeology yeah. that you've got there. Um, yeah. Jimmy said the same thing. I was just thinking about it as well. Um, I'm a massive fan of the original Dr. Doolittle. Massive fan. Uh, I know. Uh, but it does look like you could turn it into a big sea snail. Yes. It would work well with your yeah. Um, yeah. fish theme that you've already got. Get, on. Uh, turn it into a yeah. girl's cars. It doesn't have to be yeah. for the boys. Get some round coasters and stamp it on the round coaster yes. and then make fantastic coasters. They re all around plant pots, things yeah. like that. Go around yeah. your plant pots and yeah. really uh, start bringing it all together. Uh, I'm going to speed this up because this is flying out the door. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. You can't go wrong for a good size stamp that you're looking at. Now, something else. These are already gone. A third of the stock, I've not even showed you the brushes yet. A third of the stock has already gone. 
Now, I was told it was the first thing that Leslie said to me the minute we sat down for a meeting. There wasn't even a hello. There was, <laughs> Adam, these are going to go. And once these have gone, these have gone. I went, what do you mean once they've gone, they've gone? And they're brushes. She went, no, the brushes will be back. But you ain't having the case again. So if you want your brushes in the standalone case, so it stands on its own, if you want the brushes with the case, this is the only time we will be doing it. Yeah, once, let's say, once, once the stocks have gone, it's while stocks last. Now, these brushes, everybody's had our round brushes. You've seen our round brushes, and they sell out time and time again because they just are amazing things. I've now got, the manufacturers are now doing them in flat for me. So they've now got the flat. So they're now, now, they are now flat. They're lovely and soft. They're beautiful. They're soft. great for washes, for doing backgrounds. There are times when oh. the round brushes are lovely, but they're good for fine work and detailed work. If you wanted to paint a canvas, say, your round brush would go nowhere. So these, and they come in an eighth, three eighths, half inch, three quarter inch, uh, an inch. So there's six, there's six of them all together. They are absolutely beautiful for your flat brushes that you're getting in there. And you want the case as well, and you've got extra storage. So if you've got the round brushes, they fit in beautifully. Or if you want to use it for your, your spatulas and things like that, they yep. would also fit uh, yep. in there. It's a standalone case, as I said. It's sta the stand is on the bottom. I'll show you. It zips closed. We will go through it in more detail. But for £18.98, um, the brushes will be coming back. But once the cases have gone, the cases have gone to get them while you can. 50% of the initial stock has already gone. 50% of the initial stock of the brushes has now already gone. 244059 is your item number, saving of four pounds on this one, which sort of works out. You gain the case for sort of free, uh, if it works out. Uh, 1898 is what we're looking at for that one. Now, canvases, I said they would be gonna be busy, which works well with your brushes. You see, these shows aren't just thrown together. Uh, <laughs> canvases, now you are getting four canvases. Mm. I've only got three, because Leslie stole the other one. Uh, you are getting, <laughs> but these are a nice size canvas this is something that i always say about the the white page syndrome when you get an a4 new journal yeah. you're scared to use the a4 yeah. page for the sheer fact you think well if i mess it up it's a big old page how do i fill yeah. that the same with, with scrapbooking when people 12 by 12s when yeah. they brought out eight by eights and six by sixes people thought oh i could cope with that canvases are the same and i like the dl shape as you know i'm very i'm, I'm quite promoting the dl shape and, beautiful size. and I these i thought oh you don't get these very often these are quite rare these are nice. They're six by twelve. They're beautiful little they're size. Absolutely, just a perfect size. Not too big for you to work, but still enough to, to to get your creative going. And they'll hang up. You could do two or three together, and I it wouldn't overpower you all. If you got the houses last time, Leslie were here, these would work beautifully with yeah. those houses because yes. you've got the ones that work well with the fish as well because I see them in bathrooms I've got a set of canvases in my bathroom um, and they're beach huts and things like that um, and it is it's the picture that we originally did that's yes. currently in my bathroom yeah. uh, but you've got your canvas that's already in there when I first started uh, you get your three canvases then we get we sort of get added extras to build up your decoupage. This is like a beautiful little decoupage kit that we're talking about uh, let's go with the sort of the paper that's in here at the moment this is fine Paper. Now, yeah. what is fine paper? It's a cross between a rice paper and a decoupage paper. So it's very, very thin. Very it is thin. Very, very thin. You can Literally. stamp on it and you, you can then wet, wet it and tear it. And as soon as you wet it, it starts to fibre and become stronger, you know, like paper does. Okay. But you can't put it through your printer. You, we can only print on it industrially. You can't put it through your own printer. It'll, because it's so fine, the heat just makes it ruckle, you know, like ruckle up. Uh, but it's great for stamping on, it's great for putting, stamping, you know, so a few shells or something, or pass, you know, one of the, um, the uh, small mermaids, yes. and then decoupaging it onto your canvas so it blends in. That'd be nice. You know, because sometimes stamping on canvas, you want more of a clear image so you can do it. There's also some napkins in there, blank napkins. That's the thing. Now, these are three ply, and you can stamp on every one, everything, so you're actually getting five, but each has got like three, three layers. sheets, so there's like 15 sheets there. So that's good as well, because obviously with the canvas, it's like working on the watercolour card. And you I'm get gonna, that sort of yeah. watercolourness on it. And I'm going to show you how to emboss on, on a napkins. Canvas? No, on napkins. On a, nap on a napkin? Yes. Well, I never stop it. You're teasing me. <laughs> Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. A third of the stock has already gone. Uh, remember, you're getting four canvases. You're getting your napkins, and you're getting the super fine paper uh, that's in there as well. Nine nine three two zero seven is your item number. Worth a little go on this one. Eleven ninety-nine. You can't go wrong. Stocking up for. Um, I've got to say, Christmas, uh, it's there. These are perfect giftables. Uh, your paintbrushes, perfect giftables. Uh, your canvases, a nice little set together. Something else that's a nice little set is this. This is our Verse Magic. Now, we had a busy ink show this morning. This is on the same lines. This is your Verse Magic. So remember, Verse Magic gives you that chalky effect. 
or why do we want the chalky feathers? Remember, we're going under the sea. Now, look at the colourways that you have got here to what you were talking about. The fish, the mermaid. Then you've also got this beautiful, and it is stunning, textured card that you've got on here. It's sort of like you get 220 G. It is 220 GSM. It's sort of got um, a linen look yeah, to it. Yeah. And the reason I put it on with this is because you've got shells in there, you've got fish in there. You stamp on this, you'll get that little bit of texture. So it gives you that, it looks like a shell. You know how a shell has texture yeah. and how fish have got scales. So it kind of gives you that little, when you paint it and colour it, it kind of brings the texture out. So it's better than just flat. And there is. it's great for cutting out. I've got a whole little bundle here which I've cut, stamped and cut out on for my canvas. Yeah. You'll it, see, they're brilliant. It's worth having a little go again like the, for these sorts of prizes and you're getting full Versa Magics and in there as well. We're going to paint with the Versa Magics. Oh, we're going to paint with... So now, oh, we didn't even say that's one. So now you can paint with the Versa Magics. Remember, look at the colours. You have literally got... They are the colours of the ocean. £10.99. Oasis Green. And it's oh. limited. Once this is gone... Once this is gone, this is gone, a third of the time. Right, this is gone, got, this is like limited edition. Yes. So this is, we're hearing it first, limited edition. Once this is gone, this will not be bought back. 10.99, is your item number. 50% of the stock has now already gone. 10.99, come on, it's worth having a little go, isn't it? Uh, something else that's worth having a little go. Uh, these are the, f I've not seen these before from a chocolate baroque. The, the acrylic, uh, the acrylic box. This is a brand new bundle uh, because this one here, uh, you originally had to get it separately, but now we've put it in part of the bundle as well. Um, this is absolutely stunning little set of acrylic block for £10.99 with a saving of £3 on this. It's a set of four. 457085 is your item number. I'm going to ask the question because it's worth knowing, isn't it? So the mermaid, I'm guessing, is the biggest stamp that we've got yeah. in, our, in our big collection. Does that fit on the biggest plate? Absolutely. So it, Perfect. So it fits perfectly onto the biggest plate. So you're thinking, oh, okay, so that all fits onto there. Then you've got your little ones that you could go for if you're going for the inks. You could use a sort of your acrylic block if you're on your go to use as your water palette brush yes, if you wanted to. Yes, absolutely, yes. And uh, they've all got chocolate baroque uh, except for the long strip. Now, the long one came only as part of the vertical stamps when we brought them out. You couldn't buy that on its own at oh, all. So this is the first time so we've been able to get it in a bundle. It's the first time we've been able to get it. Uh, it's great for, like, for single sentiments or for you know, long, thin, easy bits and pieces that you need. Uh, it's also great. You can do the acrylic block and then put that long, thin strip straight onto your card and create like a little... A little border? Yes. Now we've got borders, £10 so and 99 all the engraved with chocolate baroque in. I like the chocolate And then the very, little, the very now long, narrow one just has CB in because obviously chocolate baroque would have taken up too much of the... I like, I, I like the... Look at this. Look, 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 look. So it's all and look, engraved. All the corners are rounded for safety so they're, they're nice to handle. What more could I say? Have a look. 10.99. Come on. 10.99 for a set of acrylic block. Um, I'm just being told. Gone. Sold out. I told you. Limited edition. I'm afraid I'm going to be using them. <laughs> uh, so they have, they have literally gone 10.99. Oh, I'm not even going to tell you the price. It's pointless. Uh, I'm going to throw them over there on another counter. Uh, they have gone. <laughs> they have now sold out. Well done if you got them. It's going to be one of these shows. I feel it now. If you like it, get it. Um, I'm just going to bring you details quickly, and then we're going to go straight down to demo, because I know I'm, I'm running over as it is. Uh, £14.99. 627185 is your item number. We bought you these back in April. Now, these are... A stunning little set of stamps. You think, well, why are they stunning? For the sheer fact, they so work well with the fish, but they also work well with any other your collection. You know that little card that you always make and you need an added extra? This is your added extra. You've got your splats, you've got your cracks on there, you've got that sort of bubble wrap, you've got your make your mark, you've got your coffee cup rings as well. I love these big bubbles. This one here, you imagine doing that as either a spotlight with your stamp or sitting the mermaid in it. Like yeah. a little hoop, like you'd see at a show or something like that, like the Moulin Rouge uh, that you've got. And you've also got, I think this is sellotape, if I remember correctly. Yes, it was sellotape on an ink pad. Uh, but look, it, you've got that perfect mark. So save you doing it yourself, the marks have been done for you. It's full of textures and full of goodness. £14.99, six two seven one eight five is your item number. Uh, I've got to show you the brushes again. Uh, the, oh, here we go. These brushes, they've, de they've gone... Ross is now, in, now telling me they're back on extended delivery uh, from the 14th of June. So we've now, we've now been told, so we've rang, okay, so we rang David in Chocolate Baroque and he said we've got no more cases. So we can have, this is the last I've got of the cases. 
But so if you want it, if you want your brushes with the case, this is this is the only time I can do it for you now. To be honest, I I thought the first time around was it. It's not. We've managed to get a handful more. If you want the case this time, eighteen pounds and ninety eight pence. It's on extended delivery from the fourteenth. Yeah. And now Ross, my producer, is now telling me that will be it. But there's no more cases after this. The so next time we see these will literally just be the brushes on their own. Two four four zero five nine is your item number. Superb little case with a set of flat uh, little brushes in there, and you get a full set of brushes as well. Uh, it's worth having a go. £18.98. Right, are we all ready? Let's go right. for some demonstrations. What are we up to? Well, I think we're going to show you just how the bridge case works quickly if yeah, they're yeah, going that quickly. Goes again. So it comes already zipped up for you, so like that. It's a nice, comfortable thing to work with. It's uh, It slots nicely into your bag or whatever your cross stash is. So that's how it comes. So we unzip it, and you'll notice at the side here, it's got two lots of poppers. Okay. They're not just there for decorative purposes. Okay, so let's open it up, and there you go, look at that. So there's all my new brushes here, okay, and they fit these beautifully. Just fit in there nicely, it keeps them all nice. And you've still got room to put more brushes in. You've got two extra pockets on the front here. I've got pockets down the front. Bits and pieces. These are my round brushes here. These are the round ones that we Chocolate Brock always had, and you see how they make a good set together. You can tell, actually, which have been well used and which no, are the brand. Can, you these have literally <laughs> only just come into us. They only came into us the Friday before bank holiday. Oh my word! So, so pff, it was that close. Last week, <laughs> yes. a week today, seven days yeah, today. Yeah. So, so once you've got them like that, so if you want to use it as it stood, you undo the bottom popper and the top popper, like so. Okay. You fold it. Don't be frightened. It will bend. It's meant to. You fold it, and when it's brand new, bear in mind that obviously it's been closed for a while, so okay. it. It's, give it a little press. Give it a press. And then you hook that popper onto the bottom one, like so. And there you go, your brushes. Oh, I love it. I really, really do love it. Isn't that just so easy? And then obviously, once you've done it, and I mean, it's great, because then you can see what brush you want. You know, you know, and you can just pull your brush out there and then. Also, it's a great place to stand your brushes to dry them before you put them away. Yeah, now that's a good idea. Do you not just clip it to the bottom bit? You can clip it to the bottom oh, bit as well. There's so many possibilities. Do it either way. Uh, a third a third of the extended stock already gone with your brushes. Once it's gone with the case, the case is gone. The brushes you'll see again, but the case you will not. Get it while you can. Uh, ca uh, the canvases, let's just about to use the canvas is now limited stock. Oh, right. The canvas is now Stop. limited okay. stock. We better get a wiggle on because okay. uh, they're about to go. Right, okay. So... The fine paper you've got. I don't know if people know, I think I've said this before, but paper actually has a warp and a weft. Does it? Like fabric. Oh. So, if you take, you need to find out which way. One way, if you find which way that it runs, okay, if it runs long ways, I have to think, warp is down and weft's across, I think, is that right? Do you know, I, I can never know. remember. I never knew paper had a warp However, and a weft. on a loom, the up and down gref, uh, strands, this paper, I happen to know, runs top to bottom. Usually it does run from the long on the longest and the, the shortest piece is different. So it tears, literally look at that. So easy. Oh. However, if it's on the other side and you try and tear it, watch what happens. Oh, you don't get a straight line. You can't because you're going across the grain of the paper. Ah, oh, so it's ripping the grain. Makes sense. Some are the other way, but it's very rare. Usually, especially on an Air Force sheet, it runs from top to bottom along the long length. I like that. I never knew okay. that. So, I want to tear this again. And look at that. You just... That looks very easy. Very, yeah. very satisfying. Yes. <laughs> so, so, I'm now going to scrunch that up. Oh. Is that because you're scrunching up because we're sold out? <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, oh, we've sold, sold out. out. Sorry, it's now that. sold out. It's back on extended delivery. Oh. Uh, 14th of June once again. That, that, that once again, I can't get any more after that for Oh, now. is that gone once again? Yeah. I, I may be able to bring back in the future, but what stocks but are available, today. it'll be it. Okay, so that once it's gone, it's gone for today now. So We're if you want still your canvases, having problems with supplies and stuff. I'm sorry, no, people. Fine. I do try my best. If you want it now, get it in quick. Brushes and oh limited God. stock. Will we, will, will we get to a demo? Uh, brushes, <laughs> limited stock is what we're looking at now. Limited stock for your right. brushes on the second lot. Once they've gone, they've gone. Right, so take some Mod Podge. Don't use these good brushes for glue. They're not milk for glue. You okay. need something with a harder, a firmer bristle oh. to get the glue into, you know, and these are so fine. They're beautiful soft. They are actually fine art brushes. So, Mod Podge. 
and I'm going oh, far too much on there, Leslie, good grief. So I'm just going to Mod Podge along the bottom of my canvas randomly. Bit at the sides because he wanted to sit inside and a little bit at the bottom. And it's no thought to this whatsoever. It's just like that. Okay, and I'm going to take my first piece of paper and I'm just going to add it. So much, you know, this is kind of because this is the seabed. Okay. And the one thing, oh, talking about the seabed, the actual um, shells that are on the seashell collage look lovely under the sea as well. Yeah. You well, know? I'll show you some samples in a minute. They are absolutely beautiful. They all are, though. Okay. And the, the seashell never dates. No. Never dates. No. So I'm just stripping off, and this, because of this, because this is fine paper, you couldn't do this as copy paper. It's too thick, too bulky. Yeah, I suppose. So, could you do? I'm guessing we're going to colour this as well. But could you yes. colour the paper first? You could, and if you then wanted do it to. this way once it's dry. Yeah, if you wanted to, yes. But it does become more tough once you've added water to it. So, so you're better off mind. to have the flexibility. That's a bit long, Leslie. And I think my Mod Podge may have dried a bit under the heat. The, the lights down here, it's quite warm. So just, uh, there we go. There, that's it. So that's oh, kind of, sort of. I do have, you know, the one I've done earlier bit thing, but I wanted to show you how this works and how pa this paper works. So there, look, there's my bottom of my, there's a C. Oh, the Isle of Wight. There you go. Then what I would do is, I would actually let that dry, but I'm just going to show you now a couple of things before I move on to the main array, so to speak. Because I can guarantee that the time, thief of time in here, <laughs> isn't no. it? No. Okay, so this is where... It's where our brushes come in. Brushes come in. And I'm using Distress Ox... Uh, fertilised Amber. F fossilised. I always say fertilised. Fossilised Amber. I've said it again. The next few people yeah. to put the, uh, check out the brushes will get them now. Now look how much colour. That's taken all that colour straight away. It really has. Okay. You can see okay. they're super fine as well from the way they're getting into all the nooks and crannies. Yeah. I need to put some more down. But you see how that's mopped up all that colour straight away. Now, as I said, I don't want to spend too long on this bit because you, I think you get the drift of where I'm going. Cause and I everything's can, about to sell out. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> right. Just going to throw that so, in there. Sorry, I'm going across out the way. So, I would colour a bit more of that. Yeah. Okay. So, leave that there. Now then, here we go with these. Well, these then, if you've got the first marks, these have sold out. Yeah. But uh, I'll be, I, I won't be using them for long. <laughs> Something else that's now gone oh. is the brushes technically sold well out. Well done. You won't be disappointed. That case is wonderful. Well done if you but, got those. Uh, I per literally, I got, there's no more stock, I'm afraid, at all, ever. That, and as far as I'm aware, I've been ever? told. I've found told that I don't be able to get the oh. case again at all. You're now part of a limited edition club. Possibly. So, taking my lightest colour here, which is called uh, um, Aspen Mist, and putting straight onto the canvas... Nice colour as well. And then I'm taking my big wash brush, this my biggest one, the inch one, a bit of water. Now remember, not, not this. this hour, but no doubt in the near future, the brushes will be back just without the case. So if you're thinking, well, this is all well and good, Lizzie, but I haven't got my hands on any brushes. Yeah. The brushes will be back, yeah. but they will be on their own. So oh, there we go. So that's the first one look. And I would actually, just very quickly, because I don't want to add a... Uh, what you'd never do is never introduce an ink pad to water. Oh. It ruins it. So I'm just... Okay. So then take the next colour, which this one is called uh, Aqua Splash. Aqua Splash. That sounds like a good park, doesn't it? Isn't that a nice colour look? Where are you off to? Aqua Splash. <laughs> Okay. But this rep kind of, I thought putting this kind of this seashore collection colour, it's called, it's called um, seashore 
the actual collection itself oh. of the, of the um, sort of right itself. Pad. But I thought, yeah, you know what? And you could also, I'm, I'm painting with it now, but you could also put some on your glass mat, pick it up with your finer brushes, and actually paint with it paint as with well. It. Oh, you see. Well, I don't know if you've got these. These were the limited edition, they have sold out. But you could do this with your distress as well, if you yes. wanted to. Yeah, any, or any dye, a dye based one. Any dye -based I like thing. these because they do go chalky, and you've kind of got more of that undersea kind of floaty effect. It gives you effect. that, yeah, that sort of chalky mist. You know, and they blend together so well. And as you know, I mean, all, there's no colours, just one flat colour. So the sea is not just. No, it's not just blue, is it? There's no. so many colours to the sea. Yeah. So, so that's those two. So then I'm going to go in for Oasis Green. Oasis Green. Okay, so that's. Like that. Straight onto the canvas though, no messing. See, this brush, you couldn't do this with any of the round brushes. Remember, we've still got, have we still got canvases? Uh, we've still got canvases. Uh, you are getting four canvases and the super fan paper. And you're also getting the uh, napkins as well from the 14th of this month. Not long to wait at all. I'm using one of the four because I opened my box this morning and thought, ah! I'm missing something, I'm so missing a I very kindly asked permission of our lovely floor manager, Ben, if he would mind if I actually stole something off the counter this morning. Ben said, no, it's yours anyway. And, uh, <laughs> and then I'm just going to add some of the blue look at the bottom. What would you and have done if Ben said no? Uh, I'd have to start it from where I was. Oh. <laughs> Already <laughs> half done. And that's called, surprise enough, Ocean Depth, ocean the deeper, depth. darker blue. I love that wash. I look at that for a wash. That is literally like the sea, isn't it? And then don't be afraid to blend it into your sand, technically, at the bottom. And I think that just, from the light all the way through, just gives you a lovely wash colour. So obviously, I'd have done more of that and you allow that to dry. So you can see how well they work. I do. And that... On that canvas as well, it really, really, really works well. So we move from that one to one that I had a little bit more time to play on. There we go, look. Oh, look at that. And I've got, that now is quite solid once it's dry. It's beautiful. That's nice as it is, though. Just look at that as it is. Do you want me to, if I do that, look, how's that? Does that help? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I've Jimmy, that's our... Look at that. Now that could be rocks. You could have done. It, you could have made that into done it darker, yeah. grey colours and things, uh, and made it into a rocker formation. And that could have been sea and sky. A little cliff edge. You could put your houses on there. You could put your little beach yeah. huts on there if you wanted yes. to as well. Yeah. It's, I think it's just such a lovely, it's a nice, nice little, wash. little, um, little size. It's a nice size canvas as well to do as an image. Yeah. So oh. take that. Now then, here we go. So this is the textured card that came with your. I'll just stamp one so you can see how it looks. Okay, and let's not forget the stamps, bless them, because they are the star of the show. Well, they are. Now, the, um, we've still got the acrylic blocks as well on the show. Now, we haven't got this textured card. Uh, uh, it so, did sell out. Um, I wanted to do some fishes. 40% of our main bundle of the stamps have already gone. I adore this collection. There is something about the seaside I have fallen in love with. It is a weekly trip. But my, well, it was uh, fortnightly, me and Mole go uh, to the uh, seaside. We go every two weeks They're with the same routine. But there's something about being oh, next to the I sea. I love the sea. Do you know, I even like it when it's rough, you know, when it's really crashing waves. Yeah, right. I think it, it's amazing. There's something about the noise and there's something there about the atmosphere. Look. That is beautiful. Look at the detail in that. And then if we take from the other side, because they all work, if you take the, um, the lovely, sort of what I call wavy, this now, what, what I would do is I would paint this. So what I did when I've got the bits I've cut out, I actually used one of the chalky inks to paint, paint the background them. here, then stamped with the green over the top. And you get that lovely um, sea, looks like it's under the nice. sea. So you don't have to cut it out too finely. This it, is the sort of collection, though, if you are on a budget and you haven't got many colours, this is the perfect thing to do. Because the sheer fact, if you are using some of your versifying things like that that move with your waters, just stamping out the fish and pulling the colour out from the edge yeah. with your water brush. Yes. This would work really, absolutely, really well absolutely, with. Yeah. Or if you've got marker paint and the marker brushes, yeah. it takes nothing to put a couple of dabs in and then just pull them out with your, your, your brush. 
And all the hard work's been put in, because all the, that's what I love about Chocolate Bright. You may have seen it on my, um, my social media. I had some of the butterfly stamps. Look at that. But well, the detail is there for you. The yeah. detail is done. The light and dark, the yeah. shading is yeah. done for you. And the texture's there. I'm going to just do, just do one of the shells so you can see that as well. So if you but are if you worried do... about shading and colouring, because I never, knew, I never knew where to put shading, uh, the shading's done. Leslie's yeah. done it all for you. So all you have to do is just go slightly darker where the, the, where the hash marking's in. And you, that's, where you, that's your darker area for your colour. So this is why I put the textured card on, because it just picks up... Not, it doesn't interfere with your image, but it just gives you that little bit of depth to a... There, that's, I should have done it darker. That's the wrong colour for camera. Sorry. Yes, we can see that. But you could, again, you've got that texture. And once you actually paint it into that, which I have done with some of these, you get that extra texture. You can Look take pencil, of course, it takes pencils, lovely. Beautiful. Uh, well done, though. We're just teasing you now, really, because it's sold out. So, but at least you know what to do with it. So, I've laboriously done all these, and I'm not going to put them, because I've got to get, I've got loads of other things. So, this is just show you how you can create your own little. I'm not going to stick them down, but I've done a variety of stuff. So, there's the one look from the... Um, that's nice. That's from the Something Fishy, the DL one. And then I've got a variety here, look, which I've done. You see on the blue card, so it minks in. See, you can, I mean, that will go behind there if you wanted, look. And then you can put this one here. The beautiful thing about these little ones. Oh, and what I have done. Oh, have you ever painted with stickles? I've never, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, stickles are these lovely little things in the bottle. I think, I, I think I've part my job then often to go, oh yes, of course I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> no. So <laughs> this is like this is like glitter in glue. Okay. So you, you put it on things and of course the glitter's fine. The, the glue is, uh, is clear. When it dries, oh, just leaves the, the glitter behind. But you can paint with it. Well, I never. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> so, put some on your... I'm guessing we've got these on the website being the craft store that we are. There we go. So can you see that there? Look how... Oh, that's I nice, like... Okay. So taking one of my finer brushes here Does and it... taking one of these that I've already cut out. You'll find stickles on the craft store .com. Right, there's this one, look. If we've and not got stickles, how else could we achieve this? Uh, again, uh, if you wanted to, you could use a clear embossing powder over the top of when you've coloured. Okay and use a crystalline um, embossing powder, which dries clear, so you'd have like the crystalline effect ah, over the top. top. So it'd be shim with this, you can be sort of more, more um, selective. So you add water to your glue. Okay? I like this. And then you paint over the fins of your fish. Oh, this is, okay, I'm with you now. This is like glitter glue. Yes, that's right. Like the kid, that you're getting like kids' um, yeah. things. But you paint with it, so you don't have to wait for it to dry because you've taken the stickiness out of it with the water, and you can be more selective. You don't have to have great sort of dollops of glue everywhere. Oh my word, these are, these are amazing. You just paint, add water, look, and there, look. Imagine these on a wall. Can you see? Well, I'm just trying to get the shot. <laughs> I like it. There you go. There we go, look, we can see there. Isn't that beautiful? So, just, you know, paint with your fish, whatever you want. So, back to over here. And there's my shells. Now, you can see the texture of the shells look. So, I've done that there. I've put one there, perhaps. This is so cool, like foam tape and stuff like that. Like really yeah. build and depth. Yeah, that. Or you can use your uh, glue gun, whichever you want to do. And then I've got a, a syringe of fish here, look, to run through. And these, these curvy ones, look, you can put them, just curt look. Like that, round the... Oh, around the seaweed. So they look as if they're going round the weeds. There's oh, one that I've glitter glued earlier. That green one's doing backstroke. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's upside down, bless him. <laughs> so these come in threes, but I cut them apart. Oh, look. Going and light. you can just literally... I've got some more shells. Put some more of that in if you want. That is amazing. That literally is... And just you have it, and then if you wanted to, you could do the little silhouette mermaid. You know the oh, one that's in silhouette. Yes, just in the distance. Do it on some of your either or stamp it on your fine paper, or do it on your napkin, and then just put it and decoupage it on, and she'll be like a floating in the distance. But oh, I've got another one there that's kind of. Oh, look at it! There's something so 
little mermaid-esque about yeah. it. Which and I then adore. once that's all set, you can either leave it like that if you wanted to, or if you did it all flat, you could just actually do a spray varnish over the top just to give it a little bit of a glint. That would be amazing. How beautiful is that? Literally on the canvases uh, that we've got on the show as well. You're going to get four canvases. That could be one massive seascape. So you could do two landscape and one portrait with the mermaid yeah. in the middle. So you've got that massive seascape either side with your fish in. And then down the middle, you've got that beautiful mermaid where you could have the boat on top because you're getting the boat. I don't know why I stood back. Uh, you're getting the boat <laughs> in there. So I've been all theatrical. Uh, you get that big boat that's also in there with the seagull that's made up of shells as well. Uh, you also get the seagulls that have landed on them sort of old wooden posts that you've got that's in there. Uh, you've also got the sea wheel that's in there. I don't think they're called that, Jim. Uh, for, well, Jim, my director seems to think them wooden posts are called the groin. Yes, G-R-O-Y-N-E. Oh, they are the groin? Yes. I just, I just, thought, <laughs> I just yeah. thought someone was having fun No, no, it's spelled G-R-O-Y-N-E. Ah, there you go. Well, well, do, well done, Jim. Well done. <laughs> uh, then you've got your fish in the middle as well for you something fishy. Uh, hold that groin. Uh, you've got your two flying fish in there, and then you've also got your seaweed. Uh, then you've got the clamshell at the bottom with a little beautiful mermaid. And then this is, the, I love this one, because this one's got the seahorse in. So you've got the seahorse, and you've got that conch shell uh, that's in there. Then this is, this is the sort of the build up with that beautiful mermaid uh, with the bubbles in her hair, with the coral reef around the bottom, calling out out to all the fish but we are very busy on this all in all there is so much you can do once you get this home uh, really do have a little look first 32 pounds and 97 pence and 50 percent of the stock has already gone 50 percent of the stock and i reckon as well if you cut well if you just didn't ink up that little the silhouette that we just saw then if you didn't ink up the back of the hair it would look like a male uh, which I absolutely adore. Uh, males can have long hair too, too. It could be in a bun. Uh, £32.97, and pence. Nine three seven nine nine two is your item number. Uh, £18 is what you're saving, which means it's three for two. Now, uh, a quick, quick notice, the brushes... I'm just hearing now live updates. Uh, the couple has now bounced back. A couple of them have now bounced back. It was a technical sellout, but if you want your case with your brushes, uh, I have a few, and I don't mean I don't mean many. Uh, literally, they are about to go pretty quick. There are your brushes themselves uh, with your folded case uh, that you've already got. It's absolutely stunning, worth having a little look if I was you. £18.98, uh, they're about to go again. They really, really are about to go, so get them while you can. Your details on screen, £18.98, 244059 is your item number. Canvases, though, quickly do these, and then we're going back to Leslie. They sold out. They're back on extended delivery is what you're looking at now from the 14th. 50% of the extended stock now has already gone. £11.99, pence. Nine nine three two zero seven is your item number for this one. Uh, remember, you're getting four of the canvases. So you get four canvases, you get your super thin paper, and you also get your napkins in there as well, which you can stamp on, which we're about to see now. Let's go live to Crafty Corner as we're going stamping on a napkin. Yes. So, the napkin comes, obviously, as I say, it's a, it's a nice big size when you open it out, if you can look. Huge. It's 40 by 40 when you open it out. Oh. Um, and it's three ply, so you can just pull it apart, and you've got oh. three separate surfaces. So, I'm just going to just gently, you know, where it's milled at the edges. Okay. So, now this, unfortunately, doesn't do well for camera work. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always one of those that let's do something that, you know, they can't count, in fact, can't do. So, I've got my Versamark here, and I've got a selection of shells, which I will do the smaller ones, like so, and that one, and let's see how we go. Now, this is a bit of a tease to this afternoon. These are our round acrylic blocks, which we've got on the shelves this afternoon. So, if you so, want to get your hands on them. Yeah. We're back at one o'clock with a brand new counter. If you're thinking now, oh, I'll, I'll buy this later. I'll get it later when they're back on at one. It's a different counter at one o'clock. We're going slightly steampunk-esque at one o'clock. So I'm going to put all those on now like that. And then I'm just, it gives me quite easy. So here we go. Oops. 
So I have trouble seeing, but what I'm going to try and do is I actually have got some black card. If you bear with me, I might, that might help me. It might not. There you go, to see what you're doing, look. So, okay, so there's the mark. I'll, I'll do this quickly because I, there's a few things I want to kind of get on here. So you might, you can't see that. I know you can't. Can oh, you no, see we can. That? We can see it. There it is, look. So just randomly kind of do where you want to be and then just do another one let's take this one doesn't matter how random you are with this and if you overlap it doesn't matter either and if you only get bits it doesn't matter either it all adds to the beauty of it i like the circle stamping block yes as i say these are on this afternoon uh let's do that one something else that's on this afternoon hint hint no, no, crackle like you've oh. never seen crackle before yeah <laughs> just saying it's not and it's also it's another limited thing it will be <laughs> so once it's gone it's gone i'm going to give you the heads up now so i'm i'm not going to do any more because i've got a finished one because i'm going to talk your way through how this works love a crackle so that's that done to lid on there white embossing powder okay oh, i'm looking forward and to this on a tissue i've never seen this before <laughs> Do you have to be careful because of the heat gun? No. Because no, super fine. No, no. What you do then is you have copy paper or something underneath. Okay. Uh, just to, um, A, so you can see where you're going, but also um, just to uh, put, keep the napkin flat while you're doing it. So I'm just going to tip that off, look. Now, hopefully, what I'm going to put that to one side. God, I'm trying to do, this is where I miss having... I know, them days aren't far away, I don't think. No, feel. I mean, we've lost the screen, I'm pleased to say. The screen has gone, I'll and be able Jean to do Jean and I, Jean's voicing. on the next show, we came down together for the first time in 10 months. Oh, which geez. was really nice. Not that I don't like coming down with my husband, I do, don't get me wrong, but, you know. Now, can you see those there, look? You can have girly chats in the car, can't you? Yeah, which is just as well, because the A1 was dreadful yesterday. Oh, was it? Oh, absolutely horrendous. So I'm going to leave it on the black card because you'll see it better. Now I've got some outline here because I was trying to do it quite quickly. Don't worry about that. Again, it all adds to the... Here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that. And it's still shiny. Get all the, all the things of embossing powder. Look, just ha oops, <laughs> hold it down so it doesn't. There you go. Can you? I put the black card behind it That's so you can amazing. see it better. Look at them. How's that? Look at that. And it hasn't come through. It really has, but it's, you know, it's still as it normally would be. Yeah. Now, what I then did was I took a piece of our MDF, our squares, Mod Podge, again, over the top of that. Yep. And then you lay this down in this, you know, place where you... Oh, God, that's actually worked out quite well. <laughs> fit in. <laughs> uh, and lay it on. And just press it in. Okay. Okay. And allow it to kind of... Once it starts to get tacky, otherwise it'll tear, then you can put a light one over the top if you want to but you shouldn't need to and then when it dries it dries like that oh my word look at that and then i did the big ammonite like the ammonite and this has been painted with something that's on the show this afternoon which is another limited edition the ammonite is limited stock. and highlighted with some of the ink that's on this afternoon pure white ink oh and there look and then i've just raised that up and then that just would fit on there. Like that. That's nice. Look at that. Little sentiment on there. A little bit of little bit of rope, a little bit of string. It's yeah. just a nice little plaque. Yeah. And you've got that texture behind. That is amazing. 9.99 is limited to start with that Can one. Can I quick, go straight on? Yeah, go on. Right, right. What I want to show you next is, I'm not going to do any work with it, but I'm just going to show you how beautiful. You know, I always say a black and white image, once it's stamped, it's, 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 a, it's a sign of how good it is. I'm just going to take this mermaid... Because she is huge. There's the big block look. You can see by my hand. Yeah. 
That this tells you how big that stamp is. The stamps are bigger than the packaging, just so you know. If you like colouring, if you've got children who like colouring, this is definitely the stamp for you. It's just, you know, the detail that Sue put into this was just fantastic. And bear in mind, this is all hand-drawn. This is not generated by a computer. These are all hand-drawn. Very talented. She was, bless her. So, Look at that for an image. Just a, a little more ink, because there's quite a lot to ink up there. Okay. Turn it sideways, because she's large. And I always say with a large stamp, always turn it to be horizontal. It's much easier to work with. True. How's Judith? She's not doing so bad. She she's all got right? a, Yeah, she's looking after her, her granddaughter on a regular basis ah, and, if you don't know, you think we, and I have not seen each other since January 2020. It used to be like a little team of you that used to yeah. come down weren't they? Yeah. They used to burst through the corridors you know when you see them in the movies and there's three of them walking in front oh, they like in slow motion all three of them. <laughs> the, the, the floor rocks and everybody goes oh my People goodness People cowering in them. the corner oh no they're here they're here. <laughs> right so are we ready for the uh, reveal? <laughs> Just allow the ink to soak in because there's a lot of detail here. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Born ready. Oh, look at that. That. You imagine doing that. Do you want that? to turn it round, Jimmy? Would that help? On its own, on craft card, that is a card ready, made, just done. Oh, yeah, I'll t put it on black look. Sorry, I, I, I've just moved that, Jimmy, but I'll put it back on black look. Look, on black. I love that. And we have got some, as I say, on the show this afternoon, what I was going to do, but I haven't got time. That's our mark, make your mark bubbles look, oh. with this white ink I'm bringing this afternoon on the, the black background. card. And what I was going to do was that. Oh, yes. I like that. I like it a lot. Have uh, I got a chance for one more quick one? I can show have. you We've something. Got, how long have we got, Jim? We've got six oh, minutes. Oh, fine. I can just do this very quickly. Okay. Right. So this is also on this afternoon. This card uh, is the zing, what we call our zingy card. Okay. Uh, and this is one of the colours that's in it. It's really nice, bright, vivid colours. So let's do this one. I've got another one, but I'll do this one, because this one's quick to do. So this is our white stamping card, which is also in that pack this afternoon. And that black card is also in the pack black. this afternoon. Is that a limited edition, or is that once it's gone, it's gone? Yes. <gasps> right, although I haven't put that on. Right, let's Just quickly... Same. Brushes, where are you, Leslie? It helps if you work quickly. I know I'm using the colours that I already had that you can't use, but... No, that's fine. Uh, if I was you and you're thinking, oh, I want this, I want this now, um, I'd definitely have a look at this afternoon's show. They're already on the website because I've already prepped for it, so I know they're there. Uh, have a look at this afternoon's show and get in, strike while the arms hot. The early bird gets the worm, as it were. Second mouse gets the cheese. So I'm just using the combination of some of the inks and a brush look. And on our card, you get that lovely misty effect cloudy effect that's nice and then just take some of the darker and not a lot because it's it's quite a strong color that i just want to get enough to and i blend it along here like that look so it's very pretty there look so there's my little ski there's my little scape little Whoa. seascape already look you can read my mind. <laughs> my, <laughs> my director has just said something there, which is really what's going to happen. But I'm going to take that ship because I find that that ship is so useful. You wouldn't think something like that. No, it is, though. Like, for these sorts of mop-ups and these sort of quick cards that you want to make. Versafine, or if you want to, another good one, you can use the VersaClair. Because this is a solid stamp, VersaClair sticks sometimes better than VersaFine oh. can, especially if your VersaFine's a bit more dry, this VersaClair. Now, it's a solid stamp, so brush your ink pad over it to get it what I call seasoned, and then and you get then you'll capture all the ink. All the ink. Oh, new little tip. Now, you Love can have this galleon. straight up, or you can have it on a jaunty angle like this, so. Let's do it in a bit of a jaunty angle, eh? Because you've got the waves crashing as well, it doesn't really matter where you have it, because then waves yeah. are just going to... And I should have done that sideways as well, but it should be all right. Do you know what? There we go. Here we 
go. We let the ink absorb into the card. Especially when it's a solid block. Because there's a lot more to absorb. And it's going into a chalk-based ink, remember? Yes, that's true. It's got to sit on. It's got to make its way through like sort of two items, doesn't it, before it yeah. sticks? Oh, look at that. And then that with our card look. So that I'm, so that's what our card is only one sixty, but it makes a lovely card look. Our black card on the top, like so. So that goes in there, and that goes on there. For a little sentiment, note, and little sentiment I did another one, side. which I did some colouring in. So there's one, and I love the seabirds. So that's the same principle look. There you go, there you go. Seabirds, and I've just coloured them in with a bit of pencil. That's nice. You can make a set of those and make them like a gift. Well, even a set of th you do a set of three of those and then put them on the wall. Yeah. They're beautiful for the yeah. wall. Uh, this whole sentiment, it's a sentiment set that's never going to date. It's a set that's never going to go out of fashion. We're always going to have the seaside. We're always going to look upon the sea and look at the boats and think, wonder what's on the other side of that. doesn't matter what uh, age you are, whether you're two or you're 92. The seaside, the sea, the birds and the undersea has always been magical because it's a place that some people will never, ever go. Which now means you can create your own under the sea world to do whatever you want to do. Let's quickly go through the stamps uh, one more time for you. Uh, all the stamps are bigger than you're actually seeing here. Uh, in this bundle I'm showing you, they've all come mounted, so the hard work has been done for you. If you've got your stamp platforms or anything like that, just take your foam mat out of uh, because they're already mounted for you. You've got your sea urchins in there. You see, you've got your conch shells. You've got your ship that we saw. Then we've also got all the fish. So many fish that's in there. It's unbelievable uh, that you got. You could turn them into flying fish. You've got clown fish that's in there. Uh, you've also got your seaweed uh, that's on the bottom. And then you've got your standard fish, you've also got your open clown with the pearls in, and then you've got this beautiful, stunning mermaid with a mermaid silhouette that's in the background that you can do today for £32.97. Uh, remember, it is working out to be three for two is what you're looking at on this. Once you've got them, you've got them. Um, you've got a massive saving of £18, which is one of the stamps on its own. You can work this out from the website. And if you are lingering to thinking, I'll get them this afternoon, don't worry about it. They, it's a different show. I've got a totally different show for you at one o'clock. It's not... It's nothing that I've got on this counter, let me put it that way. It's a brand new counter. Uh, thank you, Leslie, my love. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who's bought, and also thank you to our design team for doing an absolutely magnificent job with these stamps. It is. We haven't very, seen a quarter of what they've done. but It's been, been a very busy show, but you can it? always tell a good stamp set from the amount of cards that I've got. Join me on my Facebook Live next time and I'll be showing those. Nothing else to say? <laughs> It is indeed. We had so many samples to get through. We had so many sellouts. Join me at one o'clock, though. Up next, though, crafty individuals. Oh, yeah, our Catherine's counting. I don't know what. Then we're going ink pad crazy with our Paola. <laughs> Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Hi, I'm Ali from Alice Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. So make sure you don't miss out. Come and sew with me. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. 
My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hello, it is lovely to have your company here at the craft store. Yes, it's Crafty Individuals, and we're actually counting down if you're wondering what the words should have been on the menu. Of course, I'm not on my own. We have got Jean here. Of course, Jean is behind Crafty Individuals. Let's say good morning to Jean right now. Lovely to see you, Jean. Yes, and you. Nice to work with you again. And you it's been too. A while. <laughs> you, I, you know, I always enjoy your shows, and I'm not surprised that we've had actually sales before we've gone live on what we've got here. Busy already. Wait until you see the samples as well. Design team, you are incredible. We've got some brand new exclusive stamps. These are exclusive here to us. The brand new ones are exclusive to the Craft Channel for a little bit of time, actually. So let's have a look at what we've got on offer. Now, we're starting with a pick and mix. Now, it's choosing any four from the eight stamps that we've got here. We have got other options for you, but we're starting with the pick and mix. Let's have a look at the first design. Counting toadstools. Now, Jean... There is a reason why it's counting down. Do you want to tell us? Uh, yes, it's the five new ones are mostly based on numbers. So they're from old tide timetables and old sun and moon when they're changing round and all that sort of thing. Very, very old tables. Um, so, yes, I uh, thought it would be good to be counting down. And I'm loving this one. It works so well, doesn't it? And, of course, these are mounted stamps for you as well. Red rubber, already mounted for you. You can see good thick cushioning there. So ready to go if you like your mounted stamps. So that's our... Um, that's, that's the wolf, that that's one, isn't wolf. it? Where yeah. is it? Where's the shroom? There it is. It's <laughs> over the other side. There it is. There it is. You can see that makes a bit more sense. Over a quarter of the stock has already gone on this particular design. Yeah. So that's your counting toaster. So I'm going to put that behind that one so I don't get mixed up. Right, the next one is the red breast. Let's make sure I pick this one up. Now, Jean, I did say to you before the show, I really like this one because you look at the imagery there on the package and it's absolutely beautiful. But do you know what? It doesn't have to be seasonal does it no um lots of the ladies have uh, done it as a sparrow or a blue tit um, you can just alter it to suit your needs and also you can change the holly to flowers um, again the ladies have uh, have done that quite a lot so that uh, really shows all the different there's a few on the front that have uh, got flowers on but there I think are. there should be some just more there. Just looking at these wonderful yeah. samples at the back yes. actually, just so I can show you two side by side so you can actually see the difference. We're looking at one of the seasonal ones there, one with the holly on, but if I show you a different sample and also another one with the blossoms on, doesn't that change it completely? It, it looks like a completely different stamp doesn't it? It and, really uh, does. But it's beautifully drawn by a lady called Maria Kitano and uh, her drawings are absolutely superb. And it's delightful to have eight of her designs all together today. So They are beautiful. And uh, as you said, it, it's a great Christmas card, but it's also very useful for many other things other than definitely, Christmas. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. So we still keep going with those options, of course, when we're only seeing two. The next one, this is Shrewsbury Biscuit. What is a Shrewsbury Biscuit? Well, they're from Shrewsbury, as it happens. <laughs> And uh, they're very tasty. They're sort of a little bit like... Um, they are shortbread aren't they? Shortbread, yeah, yeah, a little bit like shortbread. Have got any fruit in? N don't think so, no, no, not the ones I've seen. And I think that they sprinkle a bit of sugar on top quite often. Oh, that might be what I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah, the so, sugar. If anybody's in Shrewsbury, let us know exactly the recipe for a Shrewsbury biscuit. There's your stamp again. I've got so many more samples. We will show you more of these as we go along, but we want to go through these options. Right, moving along again. 
we have our seagull counting seagull now here's a popular one looks very proud stood there doesn't he on his he's, little perch i think he's probably his my favorite i love him is it well he's so useful but for any seaside design you're doing you can put him at the front and you've got an immediate immediate focal point you know he's so he's just so cool i know a lot of people don't like seagulls but they are quirky aren't they? they're very cheeky little to monkeys they are very cheeky <laughs> and again you can see the beautiful etching on the stamps you can expect that always from crafty individuals quarter of the stock of the seagull has already gone then at the bottom we can have a look at the hair and the moon so let me just make sure i've got the hair this is where it gets a little bit more difficult there we are uh, here we are isn't that magnificent as well you can really see that is a hair as well Jim, yes, because and sometimes it, we get confused between hairs and rabbits yes yeah but to me that is hair. definitely a hair yes got the long legs hasn't yeah. it and uh he's he's just lovely he's a love a lot of people love hairs don't they they're very very popular animals they are um, indeed and of course he gazes at the moon because that's what they do Certainly hairs does. isn't it <laughs> yeah and something else that's always a popular one as well when it comes to the birds and that's the kingfisher is that one coming up next yeah look at this beautiful absolutely gorgeous and of course you can go to town with the colors on him that's uh, oh, one yeah. of our mo must be our most colorful birds isn't it one i would have thought ours. so so you can go mad with your metallics and your you know your that's a really bright blues yes, and yeah. yellow metallic and golds and, you, and yeah oh all my favorite colors together gorgeous such a stunning design once again lots of detail in there you know whether you just want to stamp as they are or use those colors you've got those options everything is going to work so perfectly then we've got another moon but it's the wolf and the moon now he really is howling isn't he is he? howling yes he's a, look at he's that a, he's a real howling wolf that one but he's rather lovely i rather like him I think he's magnificent. And again, when we come and look at the samples we've got here in the studio, absolutely stunning. We will promise you we'll see much more of the samples. I haven't really shown much of them at all yet. I think it's important for you to see what you're getting with the stamps as well. Uh, as you can see, each and every one, just as a reminder, if you've just joined us, it's already mounted for you. Um, exclusive with the new designs, remember, here at the craft store as well. Now, the final one counting down so we've got lots of numbers in this one Jean. we have and it's probably my at the moment i would say it's our most useful stamp you know it's sometimes you design things and you're not 100 percent sure how they'll work out because you've never used yeah. them but i love this <laughs> i can see why this one is so useful it's uh, even if you just have a little touch of it in yeah. a corner somewhere it's, yeah uh, it's just so versatile and so it's useful. one of those great stamps isn't it if you're, if you're a little bit afraid of white space and they've got that little bit of an area and you think you know it just needs a bit of something as you say just a small amount in a corner would yeah. be great but as an overall background as well perfect great choices you've got there a pick and mix of any four for 25 pounds and 98 pence you are saving four pounds there one one zero 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 seven now if you can't decide we do have an option where you can go for all eight now the four pounds that is carried over or it will be carried over from the pick and mix of any four we're going to give you an extra saving on top of three pounds so in total that is a seven pound saving you've got flexi on this as well most of you are choosing to shop this way I'm not surprised because how can you possibly choose we're gonna have a good look at some samples now as well item number seven nine five seven two one you know for freedom members it gets even better because you've got a further ten percent saving so on on top of the saving you've already got you've got another seven pounds and 90 pence marvelous isn't it that's something for that four pounds remember so it does total up now we've got all sorts of samples here jean we're just looking at the front of the counter your design team you know i can see so names clever. helen we've got yeah. doris i think is in there as well did i see a Sarah? Dora. yeah dora, dora that's yeah. the one Dora, one of the cards from Dora, I did hold up. Sandra, we've got as well. I will have a look at some more names as we go through, but just magnificent work. Look at the hair there with the moon. Yeah, that's we... lovely, Lynn, and uh, that's uh, just a beautiful card when you see it from the side because it's all metallic in the background. It's really, oh, and she, Lynn's done that book as well, which is really cool <laughs> that you've got hold of now. Oh, I will show the book. We'll just have a good look at the ones on the front of the counter. The yeah. colour work in these stamps, you know, that the design team have created, actually. Before I go too fast and show the... I'll show you the front cover, but I've had a little sneaky peek in there. Uh, this really is a lovely sample. <laughs> so, so look, you can see... So that is that your favourite stamp, then? Yes. 
I think so. Is that it, and the seagull. Are yeah. Just, are just... Amazing. So, is every page yet? Look, there we've got the kingfisher. Oh, and there's a little bit of information about them as well. So you could do one of these books with your children. Oh, wow. It would make a great this, uh, knowledge book as would, well. It would, wouldn't it? Mm. This shows how much the design team enjoy working with the stamps as well because to go to this sort of effort and to do such a marvellous job, look at the wolf there. I know, it's beautiful, that, isn't it? So good against the green. Oh, and the shrooms as well. And the shroom beautiful. that Malcolm said, it'll never sell, Jean, a, a mushroom. <laughs> Why would anybody buy that? I said, well, they're very popular, you know. We they, had quite a disagreement about it. They're <laughs> proven very popular this morning, that's for sure. Look at that, the work that's gone into there. Well done, Lynn. Another gorgeous sample there. And it just goes on and on and on. In fact, I've just spotted this one. Who did this one, Jean? That's um, Sally. Sally Holmes, she did a journal page. Journaling's very popular at the moment, so uh, Sally thought she'd uh, put a couple of the items into that. So we've got some images later on, so... Uh, yeah, watch out for the images. Yes, yeah, so now, she's combined them together. Look, I love... This is the Shrewsbury Biscuit as well, isn't it? It that is, one yes, there? yeah. Beautiful. Is that a bit of a recipe there? No, it's not, but it could be. It could <laughs> Definitely, be, you see. Yeah. <laughs> Very busy for the collection of Ole. Almost a third of the stock has gone. We're only 10 minutes into the show. You were shopping ahead of us. Please don't miss out on these. You have got that saving carried forward from the Pick and Mix of Four. You've got those extra savings on top, 795 721. I do hope I can get to show you more samples as well because there's an incredible amount of there's work gone into these. There's a ton of these. samples, yeah. There really, really is. I always feel guilty, actually that I can't show absolutely everything, but of course we've also got demonstration time as well. There is another pick and mix actually while I'm here as well. Um, we have a pick and mix of any two, so you know, there's something for every budget. This is what I like about when Jean comes here, she gives something for everyone. So only 14 99 you can choose any two of those stamps, 205434. So maybe you have got a firm favorite or two, and this is the way you're going to go. Maybe it is because your budget won't allow any more at the moment. You know, it's entirely up to you, but we catering for everyone 205 434 is the item number now we have a limited edition bundle for you as well i have checked and once this is gone it's gone so grab yours right now now we've got all sorts in here jean i'm going to start actually with right in the middle if i may We've got the vintage pack in there. I'm absolutely loving this. And, of course, this works so well with the it stamps, goes, with It the goes numbers. with everything else, yeah. And a little bit of that. It's got, they've got foxing around the edges. You can see how old some of the papers are. They're from old falling apart books that I managed to get hold of. And um, it's repurposing. It's, yeah, it's just a good thing to do, isn't it? Repurpose. And I love the postage stamps and things. And those, oh, yes, that's... Uh, I love that. That's rather a sweet one as well. That's very old from a French, a French collection, I think. Not sure, not quite sure what they use them for, but uh, I love, love them. These, Jean. <laughs> I absolutely love these and the stamps as well. Do you know I used to collect stamps? I've no well, idea. Well, stamps what are great them. for collage work and great for your journals. You can just pick out a little bit of colour that you've used in your yeah. uh, your mix and. Uh, just put a little pop in it. It's Amazing. Just... And that's just one little part of this collection because we've also got for you, let's have a look at these, the weathered sheets here. Now these are lovely to work with. Lots of colours in here as well, Jean. So you're not, you know, you haven't got black and white. You haven't just got the blues or the weathered blue and the whites. You've got, as you can see here, the greens in there. You've got rust in there. There's purples as well. I think I've got the selection here. So rather than destroy what's in front of me, Yes, there's this just about fine. everything you can think of. In, uh, and this is our third collection of these because they've, they've sold so well and everybody likes them. And uh, the colours are just perfect. They're just the same as the colours that went to the printers, you know. So Ooh, it, it's, it's just a lovely combination of colours. And, they, you know, all these stamps work really well over these. If you use a bit of stairs on, you can stamp them straight onto the items or use a bit of gesso sort of... Um, watered down a little bit and make yourself a little area and then stamp directly onto them uh, and the numbers that was off a skip yeah so there's beauty wherever you yep. you might go very you... very true even so... if they're upside down <laughs> yes. they're beautiful aren't they look <laughs> at that and talking of stays on as well of course we've got the ink shells on today and paula's got some stays on in the starter bubble. yes stays on very that. good for these because they're, they're slightly glossy but uh, yeah they stamp well in stays on 
They re oh, absolutely gorgeous. You've got 30 sheets there. I'm not going to go through every single one individually because I still keep going because there's still lots more to show you. I am going, shall we go to the six by sixes? Because you're getting two six by six paper pads here. So this price is absolutely ridiculous. I, we have checked. Um, we can't give you any more when this bundle is gone. We've got some decent stocks, but you're buying this in your droves because how much has gone? Nearly a third of the stock has gone already. It's only been on the screen for about three minutes, but you can see how these are going to work so beautifully. You've got shells in there. Do you know, this is just one of the pads. The colours, again, are gorgeous. These are uncoated, Jean, as well, aren't they? So you yes, can go very easy, very easy over the to top use. easily. Yeah. 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 yeah, and they work with the shiny papers as well, and uh, you've got a bit of matte and a bit of shiny going on. And that looks really good. It just finishes off your card for you if uh, you've got different textures in it. And these should all work you know, you have no problem making them work with uh, with the stamps or uh, and the images that are to come yet that you t to show yet. That's a, a one from uh, photographs all taken in Seville of all different These mosaic tiles and gorgeous. yeah, yeah, they're good fun. But even you seagulls and things work over them if you think about the colours. You know, he'll sit it's very beautiful. nicely on it, and Absolutely you talk still would sit very nicely on it. So yeah. they work with everything. And it keeps going. I've still not shown you everything there, but I did save something till last because, well, these are photographs taken by your partner, Malcolm, aren't they? It is, they? yes. And um, Malcolm's photographs have always been very popular on Facebook. We get more likes for Malcolm's photographs than we do for any of my crafting. So <laughs> we decided to bring some more of them. We have done sheets previously, but this is a completely different format. And this is the first time anybody's seen these. Look at um, these. This is stunning. They're printed onto beautiful. I mean, it's, it's quite this an expensive thick. way to print because it's really nice, uh, slightly textured card. It's yeah, almost like watercolour it. paper. The um, beautiful colours that are coming through. You can see it's quality that these are printed. Yes, they're really, and, really thick. And it's come out really well again in the colour schemes. They're, they're, they're just very useful. And they're great. I've brought them out really as journaling photos because wow. you can concentrate on your backgrounds and um, just pop them in the foreground to just finish your, your piece off. Yeah. So there's no worry about stamping and the colours and all that sort of thing. You can just use them directly. So they're a good bit of fun. See, this is what a great partnership is about. You've got Malcolm there who takes the most amazing photographs and is so popular on social media. Not great at knowing which stamp's going to sell the best out. That's why we have Jean as the other half of the partnership. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So busy on this bundle. Only fourteen ninety nine, and over half of the stock has gone. If it's gone, it's gone. Don't miss out on it. Two seven zero nine seven one. Now, without further ado, I think we'll head over to Jean for the first demonstration. I'm so looking forward to this. Jean, what have you got for us? I am going to use uh, one of the seaside papers from the seaside books and um, I am going to use my lovely favourite seagull and my lovely favourite counting stamp oh, uh, to use. So um, as, as we said there's lots of different images in here but I'm, I've picked one out and what I've done is prepared it a little bit and cut it down slightly. So I've got it here because I want to put it on a is it seven by seven card, something like that anyway. So as you can see, I've just I've just trimmed it down a little bit and I'm going to, first of all, you can play again with these. They don't have to be just as they are, which sometimes you f even I, you forget what other things you can do yeah. with, with your stamps and whatnot. So you can turn these into your own. It doesn't, you know, you start off with something, but you make it your own. Um, by adding little bits and pieces. Of course. I mean, straight away, Jean, you look at that and it, you, you can see there's a lot going on there in the background. And I think that's where people do sort of, or can't see past that because they see it's quite busy. Um, you know, there's various different colours and textures in there. But you certainly can, as you say, make it your own. You can and make it your add own, yes. In so yeah. many different ways. Yeah. So I've got a couple of these. I know they, they're on, um, on the craft store. Uh, Pretty gets grissy. One of my ladies asked me to get these in because she loved them. So you can start off by putting a bit of these on. You know, you don't... Ooh, wrong way around, Jean. <laughs> um, 
I'll put my glasses on then I can see what I'm doing, can't I? I always forget those. So I've got a unicorn one here and oh, just, uh, I think, I wonder if I should start with a bit of water. I might just give it a bit of water to start off with. Providing my water containers around, and where on earth has that gone? Oh, I feel like I've got a water spray. I have, I have definitely got two here. It's got on the shelf underneath it. You've got some boxes on the shelves. I have, but I don't think it's in there. I should, no. It should be in my... Um... Oh. While you're looking, actually... Yeah, just um, let me find Jean, that. Well, just going to give a bit of a recap, because two-thirds of that wonderful paper pack has now gone. You've seen everything you get in there again. So the two six by sixes, 30 A5 sheets you're getting in there as well. You've got the ephemera, the vintage pack. Um, yeah, it's flying out the door. 14 dollars I think Jean's Yes, I knew it was there it. somewhere. Why can't you see things for looking sometimes? Well, to be fair, I was looking, kind of <laughs> glancing from afar and looking for something much bigger than you found. Yeah, it's only a tiny one. <laughs> I have got several of them with me somewhere because uh, they are small. But anyway, it's just a little water thing. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of wet to just start off with. Okay. And then, uh, oh, and it's moving there. So then you just want to tap a little bit. I've got two colours here. And they are very, very bright and uh, beautiful. Okay. So let's start with that one. And they've already started to move around there. And when oh, it dries, you just that. get a little bit more uh, metallic when it all yeah. dries off. So then I've got another colour as well. So you can pop this maybe down here. This is... Uh, Mermaid. We can see it dancing there, the uh, mica in there. Yes, this is, uh, this is a mermaid one, so that has an explosion of colour as well. So you can see that all moving around. I'm just going to... Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? It is, and when it dries, it's very, very metallic. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that off so it dries a bit quicker, and then you're just going to get a little taste of it in the background. And I'll dry that off before I start on the stamping. And Jean, it you did actually spritz that quite a lot, that, because you went in, then with the powder, so oh, it takes again, quite a bit of, yes. Yeah, and yeah. you can see, obviously you're going to see that little bit of movement with the paper initially as it takes the moisture in, but yeah, uh, yeah it's holding very, very well then. We can see the lovely effect coming through. Yes, I haven't had any trouble with them when I've done anything like this, so... They curl up a bit, but then they go flat again when you dry them, yeah. so. Really pretty colours in that paper as well, and you have really added to it with those uh, powders. It is, it just gives it a nice, a nice finish off. So, that's probably okay now. And of course, when you glue it down, it goes flatter than ever. But yeah. can you see? I don't know whether you can yeah, see. Yeah, no, we can see. It Maybe just if, adds if a little bit to, of. Oh, we caught it then. I was going to yeah. say, if you hold it to the camera at the front, it, it would, but we can catch it there. Oh, we'll see it now. Give it yeah. a bit. There we are. It just adds another dimension to it. Oh, you can see the so. gold coming through in the yeah. mermaid one. Yeah. So it's nice for the seaside, you know. Beautiful. You do look at the waves and think there's all sorts of colours going on in them, don't you? So. Next, I'm going to use my lovely numbers stamp. Just take it out of its container. And just a reminder that all the stamps are pre-mounted for you as well. You don't have to buy that separately. You don't have to cut them out yourself. They're already done for you. So I'm going to use a, a bit of stairs on. I didn't use stairs on for a long time, but I've got right back into it again now because it does dry quick and you can use it on everything. So it's, uh, it is a very useful... It is, and yeah, we're Paula's back at eleven as well. She does have it on. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, I noticed that. Kit, isn't yeah. it? It's a great little start kit. Yeah. Actually, so on. I'm just going to put that up at the top there, just a little bit of stamping. So you can see, you know, instantly that changes it again it to does. your. 
you know, everybody's loving this so much, Jean, if I may do a little bit of an update, because when it comes to the paper pack, including the papers, of course, that Jean is using there, we've got limited stock. We cannot get these back. We're down to single figures. There is supposed to be another show at 2 o'clock. I don't know if there's going to be anything left. 14 99 Grab this now. Be very, very quick. You need to be fastest fingers first on this one. Somebody's going to miss out. 2 7 0 9 7 1. Okay, so I'll just uh, put a slight bit more stamping on it and then we'll get on with the... Actually, if I'd used the other stamping block, it wouldn't be hanging off the end, but it doesn't seem to matter. It all goes in and works together. Yeah, and as you were saying earlier, if you just want to do a little bit of stamping around the edge or something, you don't even need a stamping block at all, do you? No, you just no, that's right. Yeah. So I'll just cover that over a second. Now, what I'm going to do next is my seagull and i do love him i do i really love this seagull <laughs> he's uh just have you uh, given him a name or is he just seagull no i've just called him seagull actually no i didn't think <laughs> about uh, names for him so any suggestions please we'll uh we'll give him a name percy springs to mind but i have percy, no idea yeah. why <laughs> So I'm um, going to use a suggestion of Gully from the No, oh, Gully's a good one. Gallery. Yes, I like that. Yeah, very good. So I'm going to stamp in and him then. and then I'm going to emboss him. So you'll see how how nicely he stamps. So again I'm using the stairs on and I'm going to add some clear embossing oh, to nice. it. So I just put plenty on. Make sure we get a good image hopefully okay so this is our stamping card which we've had on loads of times on the shows um, so I'm just going to go to one edge with that and give it a good press down make sure where you leave it a little while don't pull it straight back up because that's when you won't get a good image you can use your stamping platforms with it I've still never used a stamping platform. Have you tried a stamping platform? Yeah, I, I love stamping platforms. Yes, platform. well, you can go over with other colours, both. can't you? Yeah, so. I find it. I wouldn't want to be without it now, to be fair. Yes, yeah. So let's give him a good pressing, and hopefully we've got a nice image. Oh, so see how that. nicely he stamps. He's a beaut. Don't forget, with the 6 by 6s in the paper kit as well, we had lots of shells, didn't we? We had those beautiful Oh, yes, colours. you can cut them out and, yeah. You don't have to keep everything just as it is. I, I, one of the sheets has got lots of shells around it, so I do um, use that a lot, just cutting them out and putting them in the foreground of things. Now, all I'm going to concentrate on with this is the actual seagull himself. However, I've embossed the whole lot, so that's, uh, that's fine. Okay. We are seriously, seriously limited on that paper bundle. Gosh. I mean, seriously. In fact, am I getting an update? Yes, it's just gone. Really? It's just got, yeah, it's just sold oh, out. I can't just sold that. out. Well done. Cool. Make sure, if you haven't fully checked your basket out, you do to secure that. If anything bounces back, we'll let you know, but I doubt that it will uh, because, you know, that's it. Well done, those that got it. You're going to love that. Thank you very much, everybody, for liking them. Very lucky. I mean, it is a lovely set. It, oh, it really is. Um, and the images are just really nice to use, you know, for quick, if you, they're great for journaling, but they're great for quick cards as well, you know, you, you just pop an image on top and it's sorted. So now, so what I'm going to do with the seagull is uh, just, I'm not going to do it on here because I've already cut one out, but I'll colour him a little bit first and he's very easy to colour because he's um, mostly white, isn't he, a seagull? We've got more name suggestions for our seagull. Oh, good, good. Yeah, see if you like these. These have come from Angela, who was enjoying the demos. Um, Sammy Seagull. Sammy Seagull, Or Stanley. Yes. Oh, Stanley's Stanley. good. I like Quite Stanley. I like Stanley. And the S goes with the S Seagull, doesn't yeah. it? So Stanley kind of suits him, He does, he does. And he's got a bit of a moody sort of face. Yeah. If you look at him, he's a, bit, a little bit grumpy. Sorry to all the Stanleys who are watching. We don't think you're all moody. <laughs> But it does, it does suit him. It does suit him, yes, yeah, Stanley, yes. I might uh, stick with Stanley that one, Seagull. actually. So all you need to do with him, really, is give him a sort of pinky-orangey beak, yeah. perhaps. And very weirdly, which I hadn't realised before doing him, 
um, they have they don't have whites of the eyes they have yellow which Do is you know, a bit I have freaky noticed that. and yeah. I haven't noticed it and I think Sally's her images came in first and she'd done it I thought, has it got a yellow eye? I've got a lovely sample here actually. And, uh, oh, this is indeed he does have a he Janine's does have a yellow, a yellow eye. eye as well. So it's quite spooky that, isn't it? It is. Do you know, I knew because I once let you know when the seagulls come after your chips and things, Yes, yeah. If you stare at them, they back off. Oh right. Okay, give them yeah, eye contact. So you've got to give them the dead eye. You've got yeah. to, yeah. You've got to have a stare off. The trouble is, you don't always know where they're coming from. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, I'm sure I've said this story before, but we were in Brighton one time, and um, there was some Chinese, great big Chinese group, just tourists, you know, having a nice holiday, and one of them was eating a big fish and chips just walking about and the seagull came from behind him and just swooped down over his shoulder and just took it all <laughs> and he was he just couldn't believe it and of course the whole group just fell around laughing you see that's when you need eyes in the, the back, back of, of your head, head absolutely because yeah, you can't give them eye contact yeah. then if you don't even know they're there do you they are crafty little devils aren't they <laughs> little monkeys they are yes <laughs> So you don't need to do huge amounts to this. Um, I'll do a bit of red in there. Because you've got uh, probably your wooden sign here, so you can just add little touches of colour here and there. And um, maybe put a little bit of what works quite well in his body is a little bit of blue sort of because they're so white sometimes they're sort of bluey white yeah so here where there's a bit of shading just add a little touch of blue always makes it a really nice thing to do and the shading's all there for you so you just you know work around the edges and then if you want to just wash it out a little bit you can just weaken the colour so you can use See, your distressing or you your crayons. You show so perfectly, Jean, how this is achievable by everyone. Oh, it's just so achievable. Um, yeah, it does you, you soon, won't have it, any problems with this well. stamp at all, and anything goes. So well, like uh, the blue in the uh, in the wood effect as well. Yes, yeah. I'll put a little bit of We've had another email. This this has come from Janet. Janet's enjoying the show as well. Oh, lovely to have your email, Hello, Janet. Janet. <laughs> uh, Janet has a lot of stamps from you as well. Oh, she all loves right. craft individuals. Um, yeah, Gulliver is Janet's. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Gulliver for the I like it. It's well. Gulliver's Travels. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah, that is a good name. So what was the other S one? Stanley. Stanley, that's it. Yeah. So Stanley or Gulliver. Maybe we should do a a competition to see maybe we should. how many of each support yeah, which who name votes? Who, who votes we're still getting other suggestions coming in as well we might be able to top them <laughs> top the ones we've got anyway so that's about all he takes really i've given him sort of orangey legs that works so i think well. some of them have orange legs but i think sometimes they're black as well aren't they yeah. and a bit of a pinky orangey beak and his yellow eye and his yellow eye makes it his eye really stand out and it's just a trifle spooky, isn't it, having a yellow whites of your eyes? Well, yeah. I, well, <laughs> not if you're a seagull, but <laughs> but I know what you're saying. But it is true. And if you look at images, or you you do stare those seagull, seagulls out. Just be careful. Do you know, it's actually a long time since I've had chips and had to face the seagulls. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, but I have done it in my time. Uh, it is magnificent. It really, really is. Do you know? I can see so many more. I'm just going to pick up yes, a handful. Do, do. Um, I've got to do this because these are just, just wonderful. Because we're working with, whether it's Gulliver or Stanley, I don't know. Um, we've got Janine here. We've got a sample from Helen there as well. All of these, so, so different. One from Sandra here. Look Isn't at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. That is amazing. That's one of our other stamps with it. And look at the waves. She's oh, done wow. the most amazing waves. I don't know what she's done them with, but I love it. It's dimensional. That is, that is fabulous. This one hasn't got a name on it, and it's using. No, it's I mine. Know, that's is it, is it? Oh, that's yours. So no name. It's jeans. But you've used the papers that we've sold I've out of. But it just proves right. how well it works. Yeah. Uh, we've got one there from Don, Dina. Is that Dina? 
And, uh, yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's just a seagull as well. Now, seagull, of course, is one of our set of eight. And this is so, so popular. Would you? There is supposed to be another hour at 2 o'clock. We sold out of already the paper pack. 60% of the big collection of all eight of these stamps is already gone. You have got more saving than you've seen on the screen because if you're going for the pick and mix of four, you've already got a saving on those. That's carried over, you know. Yeah, we'll show you. There it is. So four pounds saving carried over from the, ch the pick and mix of any four. You can go for that. If you want four of them, if you've got four favorites, or again, it's down to budget, you can do that. You're getting that saving. But for all eight, this is how most of you are collecting these. I'm not surprised. Uh, they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I do want to show more samples as well. 48 pounds and 96 pence, unless you're a Freedom member, you've got a bigger saving. On top of that four pounds carried over, you've got another seven pounds and 90 pence. Uh, that is yours as well to take off. And of course, we've got that flex for it is another why not deal that means of course even if you're joining the club today you are still making savings there's our shrewsbury biscuit how pretty is that that is absolutely Amazing, beautiful yeah. I, there's just something about teacups i mean i know it's about the biscuit there but it's not really is it it's about the teacup and those daisies as well there of course that beautiful bird i did bring these in early in fact i'm going to change this around a little bit because we've got more samples to show you look isn't that gorgeous the blossom there again of course the stamp itself comes with the holly if i bring this one in this is one of sally's you can see if you want to keep it seasonal you certainly can do we're counting down with nature here so you know the relevance with the numbers is contained in each and every one of these stamps another one of the robin there that doesn't have to be a robin of course it just goes on and on and on if i may just grab something else i just want to show this one as well because we've got the the fungi or the the sh mushrooms or tulsos whatever you want to call them but look the bird sat on top there and that background works so well so you've got all those options again not a number in sight on that one Jean. No, so no. there is so many ways of breaking these yeah, down great as, as well. landscapes yeah they work really Love well it. in a whole landscape that's so. one of dina's as well just beautiful and you know we've got gift bags we've got cards glow got home decor pieces it just goes on item number seven nine five seven two one if you are going for the collection of eight yes counting down with nature's beauty the complete collection these are absolutely timeless pieces as well Jean. you're going to grab these over and over again i love the fact the one that is the numbers on its own, that background that you've used in the first demonstration as well, that is there because that is it's going to lend itself to absolutely anything that you want to do. Whether you wanted to put a modern twist on things, whether you want to go really grungy, whether you want you know, to go vivid, whether you want to keep it very muted, whether you just want to stamp. We're just coming up to that moon look with the howling wolf. Isn't that another glorious sample? I love that. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's Sandra again. She does the most amazing scenes. Beautiful. And look at the detail in that. Incredible. You are going to love these when you get them home. 795721. Do not miss out. We are so, so busy. Now, we do also have a pick and mix of any two as well. Now, the toadstool and the seagull are both limited stock. So, any of the pick and mixes, is that for any of the pick and mixes that they're limited? Or just on the two, just on the two. So if you're only going for the pick and mix of any two, be very quick if you want those particular two. It's only 14 205 434 Of course, with the pick and mix of any four, you've still got the choice of those. And also the collection of all eight, you are definitely going to get those as well. Beautiful. Now, Jean, I know we want everybody wants to see more from you, so... Yes, my, lo you, my lovely seagull. I actually prefer the one I've coloured in today than I do the one I've already cut out. But anyway, <laughs> I've cut him out and I've left the bit between his legs because I thought I'd just show you. I mean, you, you may well have discovered this yourself, but I often use a knife. But if you just want to use fine scissors and you want to cut that bit out, just literally go around his leg like that because you're going to stick it down again. Oh, of course. So well, it's, it's just an easy way. Yeah, it gives yeah. more perspective to the whole body, doesn't it? it does. His legs look like they're behind more. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut that little bit of white out there, out the way. And uh, then he'll go back together afterwards. Just be careful not to cut his whole leg off. That's the only thing. Uh, so I tend to just pull the last little bit yeah. like that. So that I don't cut oh, his leg off. Oh, I thought so you he'll go, but no, it's, it's just somewhere. It's a way of doing it without having to get a knife in there. 
Right. You can just do it with okay. your scissors, yep. you know, your little scissors. So the smaller the better, really. Well, little if you just have a little scissors. accident and chop the legs off all together, oh, you can you, just you stick them back on. It's, it's not a problem. Yeah. I've done it many a time, but uh, yes, it's fine. So now what I'm going to do with this is I've cut myself some just die cut circles. We've, most of us have got some sort of circles in our kit, I think. And I'm just going to put a few of these on here and there. So I'll just use a little bit of glue. My glue was working, oh yes. I use blue tack on the, the nozzle now. I read it somewhere and it actually keeps it really well, the Ooh, glue. Oh, this tacky stuff available, but I've never heard that. Yeah. That's, that's one to take home with me. That, uh, yeah, just a little bit of blue tack just stops it from all clogging up. That's interesting. I can see how that would work, actually. Yeah, it does. It. It, 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 I've not had any problems with it since I've done it. So. Top tip from Jean. <laughs> yes. Right, let's see if I can turn that round. There we are. So I've just got three little circles just to make it a bit interesting. And I don't know if, if you've noticed, but in that counting down, the counting one, um, there's circles in the background as well. I just put some circles in it. And uh, so you can play on the circle theme, which a lot of the, the team have done, played on circles with the samples. So I'm just going to scatter those around. I don't know where the time goes on this because I, I had two, <laughs> I had two demos to go through, but uh, it goes quite quickly, doesn't it? Always. It really does. Do you know when we have new guests in and they're, they're worrying and you know nerves setting and it's understandable. We've all been there. But you say just it'll be gone in a flash. <laughs> yes, you don't and believe how quick it all goes, do you? It just goes in a jiffy. Right, so um, the other thing that I did, because I've got the sample out on the, the front of this one actually, is I'm going to just cut a piece of the card again and just put some of the numbers on it. So just for speed here, I'll just uh, use a knife. And I'm going to use the number stamp again let me birdie off. Yeah, we can see those circles you were talking about easily. Yes, the circles are they're, they're just a nice thing, circles. I like hearts and I like circles yeah. and uh, there's something very pleasing about them, isn't there? Definitely. So let's just... I think my favourite things are, I like circles and I love the splatters. Yeah, splatters are lovely, aren't they? Mm. <coughs> Yes, I know Chocolate Baroque, I've got a nice splatter stamp that I use quite a lot. Now what I'm going to do is just put this on the top so I can sort of pick out the numbers I want in it. Okay. So you can always do your stamping sort of upside down sometimes. If uh, So I just oh, want nice. it sort of vaguely in the background there. And then just use a little bit of colour over the top. Hopefully it won't move. I haven't dried it off, but let's hope for the best. Again, if you're not sure what inks to use, do make sure you tune in at 11 o'clock and watch Paula because she's explaining all. I know. Some great she's, inks on offer. All that would work uh, beautifully with your stamps. Yeah, she's, uh, she's very good at it all. It goes in, in one ear with me and out the other. Leslie remembers them all. She's really good on hot on stuff like that. But with me, it just goes in one ear and out the other and it never <laughs> returns. I haven't a clue which is pigment or... <laughs> I just use them. I just <laughs> well, it no seems to be idea. working. It's, if it's pot luck, then you're doing yeah. very well. <laughs> so I might just give that a little touch of. I've got a little tiny black ink pad here, which is quite useful for this. I can't believe how much of this I've still got to do, and it's what how it's already quarter to. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to pop that along there. So I'm going to, it, it, it's pretty much the size of the stamp is this bit, so yeah. you can just cut your bottom bits off. Try and get it straight. Okay, let's glue that down. And I'm just 
just going to put that along there. So again, you're making it your own. So you lose quite a lot of the background that was there, but that's all part and parcel of the, it's all about building the crafting those experience. Yes. Now, the layers other thing I did with these is get some twine of some sort and make oh, like little circles. Things. So I was going to do one for you, but I don't think we'd have time. So what I'll do is I'll just... This is any sort of twine will do. So you could just go for a natural colour. I've got this rather funky one that's made from old saris, I believe. Oh, wow. Um, which is rather fun. And it's, so it's got colour in. But you can use anything. You've got strings fine. So it's just a case of coiling that round. So now. you'll just coil that round. And then I've got a, a, a piece of card there. Glue, glue it in the middle and then just work ah. round with your glue like that. Yeah. And um, you'll end up with some more of those. So really, I wanted three of those on here, but I'll just okay. stick well, a couple you, of them. If you want to make the third one up, Jean, we can have a, a, a little, little bit catch of a break. up. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you can make that. We can certainly did that, which was a, another great tip. It is a why not deal that we've got an offer, of course, with the stamp collection, all eight. The brand new stamps that are in this collection as well, exclusive here at the craft store. You can't get them anywhere else. Jean hasn't even got them on her own website yet. Uh, great savings as well. You're going for the pick and mix of four. There is a four pound saving carried over. We're giving you savings on top of that. In fact, as a Freedom member, this is what makes it a why not deal. You are saving an extra seven pounds and 90 pence. Now, if you're not a Freedom member yet, we can tell you how to join. It's worth it because you're still making those savings. Let's give you a reminder. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Oh, thank you, Leone. Yes, do join if you're going for that bundle and you're saving further savings. I'm going to show you some more samples, actually, because I feel really guilty that the design team have put so much effort in. I can't possibly show every single one, but we'll go through a few more. Ones that I didn't pick up earlier. So, of course, you've got your mushrooms there or your toastals. This one was, did we say limited stock on the pick and mix of any two on this one? We'll just check in that fit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's hanging on by a thread, this one. This is on the pick and mix of any two. You've got different options. There's a pick and mix of any four. Oh, I was going to move on to a different design here, but these are all so nice, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Um, do you know what? I'm feeling the kingfisher's been a little bit left out, though. Let's have a look at the kingfisher next. This one's by Dina. Next one by Helen. You see, again, completely different. When you look at the backgrounds, the way these have been put together, you know, the colours that have been used, the mediums that have been used. Lynn there, done a lovely job of layering up. This next one, really pretty one of Sandra's again there. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. And then, of course, we have the Howling Wolf. I mean, we're talking home decor again. We're talking cards. It's not just the wolf that has a moon as well, of course. We've also got the hair. I love that. Oh, done that one. That's one of Sandra's again. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, oh, that's nice as well. One of Dina's. Look, I've just brought the Kingfisher back and so I love it on the craft card. Really, really nice. Can't leave the wolf out. There he is. Beautiful and in complete comparison when it comes to colour. And, you know, you might already have wolf stamps because you can mix them with other things that you've got there as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The shrew oops, shrewder biscuit, the seagull. Home decor pieces again, they're all here as part of that big collection. Um, Jean, I've not asked you about the the angel policy this hour. Oh, Have yes, we made we, to sell? Yes, we uh, yes, by all means enjoy enjoy as long as it's handmade, it's perfectly acceptable. And Ooh. you can sell them and uh, Something like this, then yeah. a set of coasters, or even individual coasters, or personalised. Yeah, the coasters the are well. a really good idea, aren't they? Very yeah, nice. I love that it works really well. There as well, beautiful. Yes. 
absolutely gorgeous. 795721 is your item number, of course. Right, back to you, Jean. Okay, I finished that uh, little one off there, and uh, I've just gone round in circles and glued it down as I went. So let's just put that off to one side a little bit. And this one... So this is the one I've just finished, which needs to get a handle on his glue, because it takes a minute or two for the glue to... Oh, That's I know what I need to do That's a great idea, putting the bit of card on the back so it doesn't unravel as you go. Yes, yes, but well, it just helps keep it in place. Right, I've also put a little bit of the string and knotted it at both ends. Well, not quite at the end, so you can see... Oh, I like that effect. ...that there. So again, use it with anything, string, um, or any coloured item. It's not going to stick for me right now. It's trying to do everything too quickly. Anyway, that'll stick there. And then this one, I'm going to pop just here. I'll stick it again okay, a bit in a minute. Those colours are working beautifully together. And then we've got our seagull, which is just going to go on here. Oh, look at that. So what I've done with the other one that I made is uh, cut a couple of bits of this and made his body a little bit fatter. So we can just stick that on there. Yeah, but with the stamp, you could multi-stamp and cut those layers out. Then you could take the legs away and sort of build the body out or shape yeah, them with a ball Yeah, absolutely. Tool. There's lots of things you could do with this, but just for, for this one, I shall just quickly put those on. And then you can just glue around the other bits. Oh, mate, she wants to make shrink plastic Stanleys. Or is it Gulliver's? He would, <laughs> yes, he, wouldn't, he would be good in shrink plastic. I haven't tried him in shrink plastic, actually. You see, I like the thought of you could use it as a focal point on a card and then have little embellishments in the shrink plastic. You could, yeah, yeah, be really good. So then his body sort of nice and fat now because they're often quite well fed i think seagulls i think aren't they're they? very well fed <laughs> they're like pigeons they're very well fed yes too. they seem Talking to manage pigeons, fine i met a very crazy pigeon this morning <laughs> well i was driving to As work you do. early hours of the morning and it's there in the road i came to a standstill do you know, it was a bit like it was a bit like the seagulls but the opposite way around it was just staring at me didn't fly off i did stare back i was just about to toot my horn I do you know what? Do you really want to get run over? Do we really want pigeon pie for tea? No, just move out of the way. It's very cheeky, aren't they? Very cheeky. It, it moved eventually. I had to stand still for a, a little while, you know. It's just, monkey. It's not like the birds of the old days. You just scatter as soon as they saw you now. They're so Oh, brave yes, they're and, much cheekier yeah. these days. And it used to be just in places like Brighton that they got, with the public being there a lot, that they used that they used to steal things, but they're stealing them from up north now as well, you know. <gasps> We're getting it all in Whitby too and all, all over oh, the place. Yeah. They're just proper cheeky monkeys. Right, so then... About five minutes left, Jean. I'm just finishing off my card here. So you can go around with a little bit of your black again, just to edge it, which is the finishing touches that make things, really, but... Uh, it's amazing how that little bit of ink really sort of brings that alive even more. Yeah. It's a great tip as well if you've got no black card and you can't button layer it. Yes, absolutely. So I've got a couple of layers here and I'm putting it onto white. Now I'm just going to use my spray here. So excuse the, the rattle, but for speed I'm going to just glue it with a bit of spray. So that I'm going to lay up onto white because that's a rather nice contrast. Oh, that looks brilliant. And of course everything goes flat when you stick it down. Oh, great for your little albums, great for your scrapbook as well. And then you know, we've a little bit I've of glue. Seen this album gone. 
just to go back to the shrink plastic as well, you could do the seagull as you've just done it, Jean, there, and then do again just the little boards, the little wooden bits, and have those as embellishments separately. Indeed you could, yes. you could lose the top bit of the post to cut away the feet if you wanted to use those separately. Yeah, absolutely. They can all be uh, cut apart and oh, used in different ways. Oh, that's perfection. So then it goes on to the card. And there we are. Wow. So wow. he does look rather sweet, doesn't he? That looks absolutely amazing. It really does. And all started with one piece of paper from a bundle that sold out very quickly, <laughs> I've got to add. But if you grab that or you've got something similar, it just shows how Gina's built up in layers with the stamps. You know, we've got all those wonderful stamps. If you're going for the big collection, of course, the seagull is included in there. The counting down numbers is in there as well. All eight for a great price because a saving carried over. We'll show you the breakdown again because, you know, this is so wor well worth getting. There's something for everybody, something for every season, something for every occasion, male, female, any age, it doesn't matter. Now, for any two, if you are going for the pick and mix of any two, it's just 14 205434 You've still got all the options there at the moment, although we are very limited on a couple of them now, so you need to be very quick if you're just going for the two. If you're going for a pick and mix of any four, now we're just looking at the stamps still. Look at the detail in these. You're saving a £4 uh, saving on this one. £25.98 is your price, 110007. But most people, and I'm not surprised, you are going for the full set. Do you know, it's hard to choose a favourite. There's something, as I say, for all occasions. That £4 is carried over for you, and you've got another £3 on top. Unless you are a Freedom member or you're joining today, and then you will save an extra £7.90. That is delivered. So you can take off that postage as well. 795721 is the item number for the full collection. Let's just go through those designs individually again, because if you are going for any of the pick and mixes, it's really worth looking at all the detail in these. So the first one we've got there, I love this. This is Toastal, counting Toastals there. You can see that number reference in each one. That's where the counting comes from. Moving across, we have oh, the beautiful red breast, and we've seen from the samples how you could take away the holly, you could add blossom, you could hide that in different ways, take out the bird individually. It's certainly not just a seasonal stamp. Then, of course, our shrewsbury biscuit. Oh, I right fancy a shortbread now. Uh, <laughs> me too, with a bit of sugar on top. <laughs> it's my favourite biscuit, a shortbread. Yeah, shrewsbury just sounds even better. Beautiful. I need a cup of tea in that teacup, though, as well. Mm. It's got to be a china teacup. There's the seagull. If we decide on a name, maybe at two o'clock, we might definitely have decided on a name. Then underneath there, we have, of course, the one that Jean's put together that she is so proud of. I'm not surprised. This is our counting down. Very, very useful indeed. Then we have the wolf and the moon. This is the howling wolf. Look at that. Wonderful. Do you know, just as a stamped image on its own without any colour, it looks amazing. And then we have the kingfisher. The great one, again, looks perfect as it is, but if you want an excuse to get out those shimmery paints or those wonderful metallic colours, then he's a great option. Or, of course, you get him included in the collection. And there we have the hair. It was definitely a hair. There's no doubt about that at all. He's wonderful as well. Wonderful. All of them. Brilliant stamps. 795 721. Just a reminder as well that they are all red rubber, deeply etched, all pre-mounted for you as well. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to go for the, you know, the cushioning separately. You don't have to spend time sticking those on. Uh, everything is ready to go for you. Jean, thank you so, so much. What a lovely, lovely show. And You're back at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Yes, back uh, here again. <laughs> I think we're going to lose a fair more bit of stock in between the shows. Not on the paper pack kit because that's gone, but on the stamps. So make sure you check those baskets out and don't miss out. See you soon. Oh, yes, the lady who can tell us all about those different inks. Jean, you might have to listen to this one. She's coming up next. It's Paula, then Heartfelt Creations at 12, and then back with Leslie at 1. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order. 
which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. A very good morning to you. I hope you're well. It's 11 o'clock, which means we're going to have another look. Oh, that's me, by the way. That was, that was me. Me off the telly. Uh, but we're going to have a look. Uh, we're going back to inks. Now, if you caught us at 7 o'clock, we went all the way back to basics. And we're sort of going to do the same again, but we're going to add it with a, some new ideas thrown into the mix as well. What am I talking about? We are talking about an ink range. Now, we've all got ink pads. We've all got ink pads at home. And, they, and sometimes you look at them and you go, oh, what's the difference? What's the difference between this one and what's the difference between all the ones that I've got in front of me? What's the difference between the stays on that, that you sold the other day and there was about 30,000 colours of stays on that you want me? Now, now, all of a sudden, I've got memento in different pick and mixes and different bundles. Give me 15 minutes of your time and I'll explain everything to you. Everything will be explained to you. And I'm not alone. She's the queen of the ink pad range she is what she doesn't know is not worth knowing to be honest not worth and she's very big in japan we've now found out uh, it's our paula <laughs> oh you're saying that the people in japan are very small no and i'm just saying you're very no, no, i think you're very big as in <laughs> oh no you're now just digging a hole i didn't mean it like that at all <laughs> no, I know. I just got I just to make meant, a You joke. have a big following in Japan. I know, I know. But I just, I just, I just had to do that. I had to oh. do that. Oh, oh, oh. I got very warm. Uh, so, okay. tell me. Oh. Sukuniko. Uh, by the way. Yeah, not Kiritaki, that's something else. Pen. <laughs> Uh, of course, is uh, you know the moon cat, uh, and you can see in the logo there. Over there, you can see the moon cat in there. I love that. Anyway, what are they are? They are the manufacturers of amazing inks, and they were uh, so they have been going on since the 1950s. Oh. But then in the 1980s, they were the first ones to bring pigment into an ink pad. So they are the ones that have developed a lot of different types of inks with pigments and and, and dyes as well as different oil based and water based and alcohol based. So we are going to talk about them. We are indeed. So let me give you the first bundle and then we will break it down for you. So what we're talking about now is this little, this, it's not a little set at all, it's a, it's a set with, uh, that really gives you a big punch is what I'm trying to say. £14.99 and you're thinking, well £14.99, they're going to be little sample pots, aren't they? They're going to be like little tester pots. They're going to they're gonna have a little, little, little bit of ink in and then they're not really going to work. They really are. No, these are full sets. These are what you would go and buy from any normal retail store or online, okay? If you go to that big... Uh, 
uh, river site. These are the sizes that you are paying for, but I've now put them in a bundle for you. So you're getting things like your Versamark. Now, Versamark, what do you do with Versamark? Well, this is sort of your, your, sort of your bleaching that you get in there. This is sort of your watermark that you're going to create. And it also works with your embossing powders. Don't worry, we will go in more in details if you don't know what I'm talking about. Then you've got Versafine and Versacolor. Well, I thought they were the same things until I did the show this morning. And I've now one lasts longer than the other. When I say lasts, I mean it stays on the page for longer. It stays wetter for longer, which gives you more time to do second and third and fourth generation. If you're doing things like watercolours, you're going to need something like this as well. Then you've got things like stays on. Well, what's stays on now? A black ink's a black ink, isn't it? No. Stays on is things that you can go onto card, glossy card, vellum, wood, leather, uh, metal. You can go on glass, shrink plastic. And that's going to work on all those other necessities. Then you've also got your Brilliance, and then you've got your Versa Magic. Now, your Brilliance is a brilliant, brilliant ink pad, and we'll go into more detail. But then you've got your Versa Magic is more like your chalkiness that you get there. But each one of them is black. Each one of them is a valued set. And you ask any crafter, stop a crafter in the street, I dare you, uh, <laughs> stop a crafter in the street and say, I've got a little bundle for you. It's a various set of ink pads and they're all black. Would you like them? They will bite your hand off. For £14.99, you can do stuff like this. But you, it's true, in fact, you've got a set here that can now go on any surface and, and you can because of course you have got a stays on so it's for non first surfaces uh, and of course you have got a versafine in here so you have got the brilliance you have in here a mix of inks that also for coloring with different mediums so you have of course uh, different ones in there now that you can see there that's using uh, brilliance you can see the sharp black there it's a very deep black it's, it's a kind of matte finish in there as well and then we have a Versa Magic, which is that, uh, the, ooh, Versa Magic, uh, that's Versa Color. Uh, so you can see Versa, flowers are always a good idea. That one has along with Versa Magic, which is a little bit more chalkiness. It's hard to kind of sometimes to see it on a screen, but trust me, it does kind of rise uh, as well with that. Now we have Jet Black Saison that not only dries on any surface, but also is perfect for watercolor inking. Then you are getting Versa Color, which is perfect for embossing with clear embossing powder. And of course, Versa Mark, which is that clear embossing pad. Uh, now, shall we show a little bit about why it's such a good one to have the pigment and dye base? And we were talking this morning, I think you like the analogy of a smoothie and the wine. I did like the smoothie and the wine analogy at 7. That's just me in general, though. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's a good breakfast, that one. <laughs> Not. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, right. Now, of course, where we are talking about pigment and dye, the best analogy, um, I think we described it, it was because, uh, what's the difference? Well, basically, think about your dyes as wine. It's, it comes from grapes, right? But of course, once it's, it's completely colors, the whole liquid, it always is uh, that color. So you just drop it over the carpet and it soaks in. There is no residue on the top. It just kind of color pours in and it dries pre pretty quickly. Don't try that at home, but you know what happens sometimes. No, it's true. That's so it, your dye is like the red wine on the cream carpet. Yeah. Absorbs straight in. And absorbs into the underlay underneath. Yes. So that's our dye. So yeah, pig, how would we describe pigment? Pigments as a smoothie. So also you could have a grape a smoothie, but of course it has the pulp in there. So it has got the surfaces. So if you drop a smoothie, what happens is, yes, some soaks in, but there is that kind of coats of the pulp, that's powders in there. Now, if you think about it, it takes longer to dry, so then you kind of scoop it up. But also as pigment, it means that it will slow, uh, it will dry slower onto surfaces. So hence why you can bring in your embossing powders. So you can move it round more. So or you, you can, yeah, it'll stay wet, so it will hold things up as well. And that is the perfect analogy. So your pigment is your smoothie that sits on the top of the carpet. Mm -hmm. And you know when you scoop it up, it just goes for miles. You just keep scooping. You can just, it's like that. That is your pigments, which means now you could add other things on top of to that pigment powders, like your embossing powders and things like that. So you could add another smoothie and pour it straight on top, and everything will sit on top of your carpet. But with red wine, if you drop red wine onto that cream carpet, it absorbs straight in. You haven't even got time to go and get the kitchen towel because it's already in there. It's absorbed into your cream carpet, which is your cardstock. And that's the easiest way to describe what you're going to do. Yeah. 
So now we've got the difference between pigment and dye. Uh, yeah, and of course, uh, that, if, you, if you stay with that dye analogy, also it, think about it. The uh, smoothie, you cannot see through it. It's opaque. True. And the wine, you can see a little bit through it. Is that, and that happens as well with the dye and the pigment, oh, right? So that is important because, of course, when we go to kind of we want to, to have a sharper black, a more opaque well, like this is why we go for more of a pigment base than a dye base, right? Then we have we had to talk about alcohol or solvent base, oil or water, and this is when, of course, um, this is what it makes them uh, even more slower drying or faster drying. So, also. This is when we look at if you are coloring in, and I know you are really into coloring in, and at the minute you're using water-based. Yes, I am. So what you don't want to use is a water-based product. Why? Because water and water blends perfectly together. You want opposites or kind of opposites attract or opposites kind of like oil and, and water don't blend. So that kind of is what you want. So if you want water-based, you go for solvent or oil to stamp in and then color in with water. Vice versa, if you have got an alcohol or solvent-based pen, you don't want to have a solvent because it will blend perfectly. So what you want is to have the stamp in with, with water because that means that it will not, it will not smudge the lines, if that makes sense. So then here we have dye-based Day based alcohol there, so, so that will go bundle. here. This is the bundle, the details are on the screen at the moment, so this is what we're going to go through now to tell you where it is. So, stays on, we could use with our watercolours. Yep. A stays on with our watercolours. the other way around. Oil based pigment, so we are going to put the Versafine here because it's pigment and it's oil there. Then we have got, uh, then we have the Brilliance water based pigment, so it's pigment, water based, Versa Magic. Of course, they have got different finish. You can see that it's a little bit black. And then we have got the pigment, and I will put it here because the Versa color is the slowest dry and pigmenting. It kind of stay wet for a long time, which means that you have got the time to do the embossing, but also to do, like you said, four, fifth generation of stamping. And now, you see them like this, but also I have, we have got, uh, we have put uh, the boards on our um, Facebooks, and then you have, so you will have the rememory of everything in here, including, for instance, stays on pigment, so it's solvent, but of course it's pigment. So there are other inks in as well in the market, so I put them in here. So this is a kind of a, kind of an, a way to remember. Now, there is one other thing I wanted to mention. Some of the water base are permanent and some of them aren't. So for instance, these stress are not permanent, so you have got more movability in them. However, permamento is a permanent, so once it's dry, it's dry, it's not water reactive, even though it's water based. Okay. okay. So you can download them, as we mentioned, on your Adam Humphreys. Yeah, um, Adam Humphreys on the craft store. I've just uploaded them onto mine. I know Paola has them on hers as well, and they're also on Paola's blog. Yeah. So, Ren, w but also, the, one of the inks that we're getting in this one is the Barca Mark. It's one of my favorite ink pads. It's a clear ink, but it's a sticky ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp into, um, you know, an it's an so acrylic stamp. Versa Mark, obviously, was designed for um, embossing powders, I'm guessing, because that's what everyone uses well, it for. Well, funnily enough, it was just designed, and you can see it there, uh, that it was designed as a water-based uh, emboss, uh, you know, um, water-based no, actually, it's not water-based. It's um, like oil-based. a watermark. A watermark, exactly. But then it stays a sticky long enough that you can then bring embossing powders or you can bring in mica powders as well. So this is not embossing powders. This is mica powders. So you can see in here that then with a dry brush, you can bring it in and look at this. That's nice. And you've got all the detail there as well. Look at that. And there it is. Look at that. Look at that. And you can see that there are some letters in there. And that, because my capella is much finer, so therefore you will get more detail than if you're embossing as well. But if you wanted to do, like for instance, here I have got like a patchwork of cards. So as long as your card is porous, what you can bring, I'm going to go for a solid, more solid stamp because I kind of just, just want it to do. As, uh, I'm going to go for the star because we like the stars, don't we? And then we are going to put with the verse mark and then a kind of the same ink into, can you see? The watermark effect in here. So if we left it to dry, it will take a little bit to dry, but you can see that it's exactly the same stamp, the same ink, but I'm just using, and it has that beautiful watermark subtle. It's one of those inks 
that is one of that once that you have it, you are going to use it for your embossing powders, mica powders, chalks as well. The ah. chalks as well will, you know, the, the pigments, the loose pigments. Look at that. I just love the simple effect of this. It's just subtle, but it just intensifies. And it really what makes a beautiful background just on its own. And that's literally just the Versamark um, on its own. You haven't got, if you're not thinking, if you're thinking, oh, well, Versamark's just for, for my inks and I have to emboss and I haven't got a heat gun or anything like that. Literally, you haven't got to. If you let it dry, this is what you're going to achieve. And this is all done with Versamark. It's not done with different greys and blacks and second and third generation. This is literally just Versify, Versamark no. ink on its own and left to dry. How beautiful is that? So that's just one of the bundles. So that's the Versamark ticks. So that's one ink yeah. pad that does two jobs. You've got your embossing about 50% of the bundles now already gone. 50% already gone. So you've got your Versamark. You can use it with your embossing powders or we can use it to get that watermark, right? Where are we moving yep. to next? Uh, so we have Versafine. Is my Versafine uh, is the original Versafine. It's my go-to for um, words, for stamping, quick and easy, very sharp black. It takes uh, about, I would say, about a minute or two minutes to dry. So two minutes, I would say. So you still have got time to emboss uh, embossing powder, but you don't have to look at that, look at that. Very sharp black. Oh, that it's perfect, lady. It's just, and of course, it is a texture card, and I stamp there perfectly in here. So this is one that is just for fine detail, but pigment, so it gives you that sort of richness black. And of course, if you want to watercolor and you don't want to use a stays on it, you want to, this is the one to go as well if you want to watercolor in here. Then what else we have? Well, we have got. Um, we have got brilliance, um, brilliance black in here. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to color wood because look at this. We did this in this morning. Look how beautiful and solid black that is. And it's not absorbed in or anything like no. that. It's still the same black. Because it's the pigment. Remember, it's a smoothie, so it has it sits a on the surface. Look at that. Look, you just and I love the fact that you have the sponge dab, so you can just dab it in. And it's super juicy. Now, of course, if you do direct to, to like I'm doing direct to wood, of course, it will, um, you know, consume yeah. the, the ink. But it's one of those ones that if you want a beautiful black, this is a really, and it, of course, it has a shine because it's wet, but it will dry matte into it. This, this is one of those ones. But also, is the best ink, Brilliance is the best ink design um, for a uh, vellum or parchment so okay. if you have got so this one is the one that we did early on so you can see it has dry that. perfectly and it's a sharp black now you can use a stays on onto vellum as well but of course vellum uh, um, stays on is dry, so it doesn't have that opacity into it so it has got a little bit more of the transparency so this is uh, brilliance onto parchment it dries beautifully into it then we are getting versa magic and i did this early on but i wanted to do it again so you can see it so um versa magic is a design pigment water base so you can also do it directly onto wood but it has a more of a chalky finish now hopefully it will show um here so when i put it in you can see that i have gone twice in and then I'm gonna go uh, well I put the pill and then I saw it a pale paint and then I'm gonna go with brilliance so just to show the difference into the black can you see how that hey, look at the difference that you got in the intensity much, of the black that is brilliance and I only dab it once I think and you can see that this is a uh, versa magic so it has a more of a softer black sort of like a chalky like yes, a chalk, chalky. like a chalk black when you run chalk down a chalkboard and you get that sort of yes. sort of misses bits but it doesn't miss bits on purpose if that makes sense you sort of get that look to it compared Absolutely. to the brilliance so now also black. another thing that I always keep forgetting to mention versa magic is the ink that it was designed as well you know that Japanese papers and, and rice papers are very fine and things like this. So, of course, sometimes ink, most of the inks will, they are so rich that kind of bleed through the yeah. ink. Well, not bleed, but you know, kind of, sort you of can see through, them. This is the one that if you have got very like notebook paper, this is the one that is designed for not 
like you cannot really see it from the other side. This oh. is the one that they kind of designed. That's what Sukuniko designed it for as well, too, for those finer papers. Obviously, if it's vellum, it will show through, but it doesn't seep through. It's, it's yeah, kind you of don't get the same image the on the back, image. the same image. as crisp. Now, the other, re the, other pa the other ink that we wanted to see is Versacolor that you also get in. Now, this is the as lowest drawing pigment ink that I have ever seen and it was the original one and this is really good if you know that you want to use embossing powder directly so what I do is ink my stamp stamp it up you have it there and then what is my embossing powder here I'm gonna put some clear and we mentioned that early on but I want to repeat myself uh, just because it's an important fact now if you are brand new you would think well why don't you use a black embossing powder? But one of the things that they always tell you is that black embossing powder, of course, if you haven't used, um, you know, like there might be a little speckle of black embossing powder. And that, of course, that once you melt it, is there permanently. If you stamp in black and then you use clear embossing powder, Can then you see. have the glossiness, but of course, you don't get any mistakes like that because it's normally you have to go with your antistatic bag yeah. and, and powders I can't, I can't everywhere. Be and, no. I'm not, I'm not Phil Martin. Sorry, <laughs> Phil, if you're watching, I know you, you are a professional. I'm not when it comes you to so but look, look at that. Lots. Look at this, how gorgeous that is. It, look at the gloss. But also, I haven't re inked it, I haven't re inked it, but look at that. Still, I get how many impressions I get because it is this is a very slow drawing very rich ink that of course look at this I'm still getting print so if you want to use for for instance cardio if you like your uh, you know mini stamps packs and things like that and you want to do multiple generation stamping this is the color to go for because it will give you those you know like you said 13 generation stamping well, it's actually 34 you've just done. Oh! I just can't. I've I literally got them on my fingers now, just in case I forgot. Uh, it was 34. Because uh, I knew I didn't know when I was coming back. Uh, 34. Okay, so it was 30, 34 generations from the same time. But then, I reckon it would be slightly more because we stopped to emboss. Yeah. So we stopped to emboss. If you're going straight in with stamping, I reckon you're sort of pushing the 34, 35, 36 mark very easily. And it's still visible. You can still see. Yeah, it's subtle, don't get me wrong. It's not going to be in your face like your first punch. But it's going to be that subtle mark that you've got. But that is what you're getting. 50% of the bundle now has already gone. 14 pounds and 99 pence. 436442 is your item number. Uh, we've seen all the big ones so far. This is the main one. Your stays on. Stays on is one of those that until you think it, you think, oh yeah, that works now. I've tried it with uh, with all my other. I mean, it doesn't really work. It maybe stays on because stays on thing sticks to things like your card. It sticks to things like your glossy cards, uh, your vellum, your parchment that's in there. It will go into wood, MDF. It will stick on your leather. It will stick on your glass, metal, even polymer clay that yep. you've got. There. It's more or less. It's everything in one. It, well, it stays on. It's in the name. Cle <laughs> clever little sausages, isn't they? That yeah. should have been my editorial. Just, it stays on. It stays on, and, and non-gloss, uh, no, you know, non-gloss surfaces as well as glossy surfaces. Now I have got here um, a buckle. Um, now, of course, you can ink your stamps in there with your stays on, and I bring my um, my element to it just because, of course, it's a little bit of a slidey surface. But look at that. Look at this. And now it's it now it still is wet, of course, obviously on glossy That's surfaces fine. takes a little bit of time, but this we did earlier this morning and it's completely dry. And now of course um on and regular surfaces like paper or glossy surfaces will dry instantly because it's the fastest drying ink that I have ever used. Um because it's solvent base and dye base, but you kind of go in and look at that. Nothing. Now, of course, uh, we mentioned that if you want to color in with watercolors, this is one of the best ways to do it because then you can just bring in your Ecoline, for instance, or I have got here, um, yeah, so Ecoline, and you can see that there is no, no smudging whatsoever. So this is a watercolor pen? Yeah, watercolor pen. 
and then that. But you couldn't it. use your alcohol pen for this because no. it would bleed, wouldn't it? Well, I'm going to show you as well because that was a good point. So if I use my alcohol marker, can you see? I sort of, you sort of get mud. Yeah. Can you see how the li lines li li with it here? If I do again with the Ecoline uh, pen, what it is, or I'm going to use this one, which is a water brush one. So here, the water doesn't move any of the lines. Here with alcohol, more with alcohol, can you see how it's it darkened here? Yeah. It has kind of blended. So that's what we what we want to have the perfect coloring in. So when we are using alcohol markers, we use either Memento or uh, uh, Versafine. But when we want to use, oh, so did I say it right? Yeah. Uh, alcohol markers we use uh, memento yeah anyway so that makes sense it made sense yeah. to me okay fine good uh, oh it's me again uh, so, uh, so uh, i was getting gross uh, so it is everything is there for you everything in that kit for whether you watercolor whether you use alcohol pens whether you like to emboss whether you just like to do watermarks and you want to do something different You've got everything in that kit. For 14 pounds and 99 pence we're now two-thirds of the stock has already gone uh, look, I think I think the pennies just dropped that you can do so much more with this when you get it home. And it's also if um, I say I talk about crafters a lot because obviously that's what we do. But if if you could go for two of these, you're looking at 28, uh, call it 15, 30 quid, 30 pounds a day. He's going to get you two sets. Well, why do I need two sets? Well, maybe you need one for on the go and one for at home. Maybe you need one upstairs and one downstairs. Maybe you've got a craft room and you just you've got a bag. But it's always handy to have. It's always handy to have a decent set of black ink pads. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. Our Lorraine's emailed in. Uh, she says uh, she doesn't. Even, does she not say hello? Oh, she says hello. Hi, Paolo. I just straight in with a question. Uh, Ross went straight in with a question. I thought, oh, uh, she's got to go on. If I was stamping onto vellum or acetate and wanted a heat emboss. Which one would I use? <gasps> oh, that's a good question. Good question. Uh, right. So on acetate, oh, on acetate, uh, you can use a stazon because a stazon dries. It takes a while to dry onto um, onto um, acetate. So you have got time to stamp onto it. But for instance, I'm going to show you. Actually, can I do a, a little it. technique? Let's, let's go. Let's because so it's going to be a little wind. bit different to what you are asking. But I'm going to show you with a stazon. Here I have a raised image, right? No. Uh, you can see, like, I rub it in there, and this is a stazon, so you can see that kind of wipes off because, obviously, it's still wet. So you could put your embossing powder over it. Uh, this is not, um, by the way, this is not heat-proof heat uh, acetate, so I cannot emboss it, but I just wanted to show you that this will stay wherever there was the ink. Can you see there? Yeah, so that's what, what. So you could then emboss it if it was a heat-proof acetate. However, uh, the other thing that you can do with the stazon is it still is wet because, of course, on glossy surface will dry, but it takes some time because obviously it needs to. Stays on. But you can dab your pigment powders of mica because. And then you let it dry, you let it set, and then in about two hours, I will brush it off, and then you will have much more contrast. Oh. So on acetate, I would recommend a stazon, actually, because it kind of stays wet long enough to do it. Now, on parchment, uh, you still can use any of, the, I wouldn't use a stazon because it will dry quickly. I would use any of the others, uh, but especially, well, brilliance will dry naturally, but you know, any of them, you can use them on vellum if you are going to hit emboss. If you're not going to hit emboss, I would just use Brilliance on vellum. There you go, Lorraine. I hope that answers your question for you. Any more questions, keep them coming. She also says you're, a, you're an inking genius. Oh, well, no. I genuinely thought she said blinking. She didn't. She said inking. Okay. You're an inking genius. <laughs> That's just you. You are just an, you are amazing at this. Oh. Uh, but... Uh, I hope that answers your question. If it's not, email, re email the question and uh, we'll just change the words around. Uh, so, 14 pounds, oh, that's the same question, just reword it. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence, 436442 is your item number. That's for your all black collection. Nice little collection there. We've got more on the show. Let's press on, shall we? Let's go to our next one. This is the brilliant set. Now, this set is amazing because, once again, it's something slightly different that I've not seen before. 
50% of the stock has already gone here. We always talk about black ink pads and how amazing black is, but now you are getting a pigment ink pad, brilliant, in moonlight white. You also get your galaxy gold in there. You also get your starlight silver. You, oh, I love that starlight silver. You wait till we use these. Uh, Platinum Planet, we've worked out it sounds like a pizza place. And then you also get your uh, pearl sky blue is what you're looking at these. Now, these are your brilliance. Once again, they are pigment inks, but it's the white one that sells it for me in this. Oh, it does. Now, what I'm going to show you is, actually, I'm going to start with the gold. I'm going to go against your, your the Galaxy Gold. Oh, but Galaxy bowling Gold. Bowling Alley. That's when it, Galaxy Gold bowling. bowling Alley. Where are you off to? Oh, I'm off to the Galaxy Gold. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm using it. Yeah, doesn't it sound like a, yeah. a oh. Starlight Silver, which would be the diner inside. It sounds like a discotheque. Ooh, Look at me, I, oh, check yeah. me out my discotheque. Yeah, bowling, that's the thing. Pizza place, then you go to the bowling, bowling alley. Then we and we then, finish the night. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh. And then, uh, star, oh, then per, um, per la, sky blue for breakfast. Oh. Yeah. Sounds like a beautiful date, doesn't it? And, right, here we have, look at that gold. Look at the gold that's onto nice. black. Look at that gold seagull. Oh, oh, now no. we're talking. Oh, that is just yeah. gorgeous, isn't it? I just love it onto black. I just love the way that you can build it in. And then we have, they kind of wipe it off, and then we are going to put some of the Platinum Planet, which is the pizza place, right? Platinum Planet, well, for pizza. Yep. By the way, this has got nothing to do, this is just what I decided this morning. Yeah, <laughs> just absolutely. <so> you know. <laughs> what pizza would you have? Uh, I had a pepperoni last night. Ooh, but look pepperoni. how gorgeous pepperoni. the opacity and the metallic nature. Look at that. That sounds good anyway. I could eat a pizza right now. I couldn't yeah. be bothered to cook. Yeah. I but didn't feel too You good. can see there. I love, I love the. I That's love nice. It. Look at this. Sorry, Jimmy, I'm making you work hard. And, uh, he works like, hard for his money. The yeah, he Tina does. Turner. You know. Uh, there. <laughs> I can't repeat that. <laughs> no, right, so, um, yeah, I'm kind of like just like, no, he wasn't rude, he was really, really Well, easy. it depends how you take it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right, I'm going to do the white. The white, I'm going to just go in. Look at that white. Look at that white. It's not pearlescent. It's a beautiful, beautiful... Now, can we contaminate the white bringing the show back? Yes, you can. I mean, you can in the sense of the surface at the very top. Okay, so it doesn't you, It doesn't drop in, in because they're, how they are designed, they are designed to know. However, because if you contaminate the top, you will transfer some of it. So it's very important with the white to try to stay as much as possible uh, with clean stamps, not bring them in. So just, just make sure, because it's water-based, uh, just a uh, cloth, probably cleaner than mine, uh, you know, and then just wipe it up with some water and that will clean them perfectly in here. The only uh, ink pad that you maybe need to clean it uh, differently is a stays on because it's sold and so it will dry. However, I wouldn't use a stays on cleaner on um, a clear stamps. That's the only thing that I would say. I would just wipe it up with water straight away and that kind of gets rid of any color ink, although it might stain, but it doesn't Transfer. Makes sense, makes right. sense. But you can see, can you see the opacity? I just like this demo because it shows how good that white is onto black. <laughs> it does. You got really excited. <laughs> How good it is good. It is good. Oh, no, you know, I sound angry. Oh, <laughs> no, it's so good. But that get passionate is what you get. This is Spanish This is what you get for being up. a blinking, inking genius, <laughs> is what you are. At £12.45, 85% of the so good brilliant colorways that you are getting here. 849-814 is your item number. We're now limited stock. We are limited stock, but he's brilliantly good. Uh, get it while you can. 1248, if it was me, I'd be going for two of these. I know I'm not here to spend your money, but uh, for 24, 25 pounds, I think it works out. Uh, you are gonna get two of the whites as well, and you're gonna get two of all the others. So that is basically two sets. There you go. It is about to go. Um, we're approaching a technical sellout now. 849814. Check out your baskets if you've got it in your baskets. It's now technically sold out. Congratulations if you got it. Uh, check the baskets out. If you've got it in your basket now, uh, definitely check it out because we have sold out and it will only sit there for another 9 minutes and 30 seconds before it goes back on the shelf. Okay, it only sits in the basket for 10 minutes and then it goes back on the shelf automatically. So if you've got it in, uh, definitely worth having a go at that. Right then.
Now, these little beauties. Now, I've got a set of these at home, and they are the most amazing colours that you're getting. You are getting all six of them. Uh, that is a full set uh, that's there. So it is all of the colourways that you are getting. For the sheer fact, the colours that you are getting in here are things like... I can't see them on there. Uh, we are getting things like habanero. Oh, habanero. Uh, Deep Lagoon, uh, in Perth, Imperial Purple, Olympia Green, Smoky Grey is my favourite of all colours. And this one, and the sepia that you get there. These two here are amazing. And I don't think, how, I never thought I'd say that in all my years on TV. Like, how, how can these be amazing? The grey gives you that look like if you stamp in it, I stamp all my images in it, and then it looks like, and then I go around in like a pencil or a, or a black pen, and it looks like I've coloured it. It looks like I can draw. Oh, it, it makes does. me feel like an artist. Yes. I wear oh, a beret artists. and everything. You look good in a beret. I don't look good in hats. Oh, I look no, like, I I look like Where's Wally. Do you remember Where's Wally? Or Where's Wildo, depending on where you're from. <laughs> I look, literally, I don't suit a hat at all. Really? No, no, oh. It's all like uh, a little peak cap. No. I look like Joss William. Or Pee Wee Herman, just a little bit. Oh, well, anyway. Anyway, okay. let me digress. Let's get back to ink. Okay, so, first of all, I kind of want, I was trying to picture you what is ha a Wally, and you said, oh. of, yeah. Anyway. It's the stripes. Uh, right. <laughs> there we are. have the smoky grey. Oh, yeah, have I, only, I only wear the hat when I'm stamping. Just the hat, nothing else. The, the, the artist. Uh -huh. In my artist. Right, so we have the Versafine. Now, this is this original Versafine colours, uh, as well as the black, of course, that is in the smaller bundle. You can see here the smoky grey that is absolutely gorgeous kind of grey in here. Now, if you wanted to, can see it. In, it's, it, they are all kind of vintage inspired colors. So you have uh, vintage uh, sepia as well, which was one for years and years and years. It was my go-to brown That's because nice. it's a beautiful brown in here, but you can see the tonal element. Now, if you wanted to go like kind of color in, you know, you can see how gorgeous that kind of gets incredibly vintage, incredibly softer colors. And look at that. And then you can bring in your water blender in as well. And you can see that the Versafine does not bleed with water. And that is because, of course, Versafine is oil-based. So that we have a very nice color there. Now I'm going to go switch to another stamp because I wanted something a little bit solid so you can see the different colors. Well, you call it Habanero. I call it Habanero for Havana in Cuba. So uh, it's, it's the kind of, um, you know, uh, Havanero is either from, from the city of uh, Havana or Havana, or also the cigars. Oh, Havana, Havana Unana. Uh, well, you can say, yeah, exactly. But you can see, look at the beautiful uh, that kind is of That stunning orange. Habanero. Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Na, 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 na. And then we have the uh, purple in so here. Na, 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 na. Look at that oh, that's gorgeous. Nice. So you have those colors. Now, can you see the richness of these colors? I love them. This is one of my all-time favorite color ink pads. I had, I bought about three or four of these ones because look at this. Now, I'm using an acrylic stamp because you, I wanted to show you the transfer of color. Look, I'm going to lift it up because the luminosity of that blue is just gorgeous. And then we are going to show you the last color in here, which is Olympia Green. So can you see that we have a very... Oh, I didn't stamp that very well, did I? There's, there's this part-timer here demonstrating, so... <laughs> then Never. You can see... Oh... The, please don't 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 think I'm like that. The stamping was awful, but you can see the ink is absolutely gold colors. So all of them are very vintagey colors. Now, if you wanted to, you could have stamped all that, and then of course just sp sprinkle some um, embossing powder clear, and see it still is wet. So we have got a couple of minutes to do this, and then bring in our embossing uh, heat gun, and then of course we will see all those different colors through with just using one embossing embossing uh, color, uh, ink, uh, powder. So we have that. Okay, you can see there. Look at that. Oh. No. So they're clear. 
so you have got this, this ability. But also what I love about it is that you don't have to. So in the time, so about three minutes completely dry. But if you want to use it with embossing powders, you still can. So it gives you a lot of versatility for it the really does, And if you're thinking, oh, it takes a long time to dry, and I want to go, by the time you've done it in your stamping platform, you've took it out of your platform, put it aside, you've moved your platform to one side, you've got all your colours ready, it's dry. By the time you bring it back in, it's already there. A nice set of little colours, £10 and £99. We're very busy for these now. These are your six Versafine small pads. Now, they may be small, but... By Jove, they pack a punch. They really do. Jo don't be fooled by their little sizes. These are full. They're so juicy. They are really, really juicy inks. They're going to last you a long, long time. Obviously, it depends on how much time you stamp with them, uh, but they really do last you a long time. Two thirds of the stock now here has already gone. If you like your watercoloring and things like that, this is the colours to be going for. Right then, 180556 is your item number for that one, £10.99. Then we've got m m Memento. M Memento. Uh, now, a nice set of colourways that you're getting in these mementos. I like these colourways a lot because you get so many colours that's in there. Uh, you're getting things like Toffee Crunch, Love Letter. Morocco. Very disappointed with Morocco when I went. Very disappointed. I went on the ships and we docked in and there was nothing there. Oh, well, then you didn't go to the right port. Nothing there. I wanted to be like Casablanca. I wanted to be like the movies. Yeah. Mm. Nothing. I was going to say something else then. Nothing. Yeah. Um, well. You have to go to Marrakesh. Marrakesh. I wanted to. First is right. Magnus, Rio, um, uh, 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 which I couldn't go too far because I had French Rabat. bowls on the top deck at 12. Oh, I see. So I couldn't go too far. I had to organise French bowls. Oh, then I we see. had crazy golf. Try doing that on a ship. So, um, <laughs> not the best. Uh, where did we get to? Sorry. Marrakesh. We got peanut brittle. Um, Morocco. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot of colours, let's put it that way. There's 12 of them, I'm not going to throw them all. Uh, 20 pounds and 35 pence is what you're looking at. Um, pistachio, I love a pistachio, but I don't like the, I don't like the shells. Ooh. Can, yeah, I like them because, them, yeah, because otherwise you go, well, I go nuts for nuts, so therefore... <laughs> we've, I've heard. <laughs> I, read it, I read it somewhere. Now, 20... <laughs> <laughs> How do we use these, Paula? How do we use them? Nuts for nuts. Well, I never. <laughs> I meant that I could start eating nuts. That you do. <laughs> Paula's nuts for nuts. Nuts for the nuts. Oh, this is a crazy show. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, momentum. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I love the nuts. Oh, nut. Like the cookie monster for ink, isn't you? Oh, cookies! Oh, Sarah. Oh, my mental. All right, all right. Oh, this is took a turn, isn't it? This is took a turn. <laughs> okay, Memento. Uh, it's a great ink to use with your uh, alcohol markers, but also just to ink actually your stamps. And now, of course, we have. <laughs> <laughs> we can make a solid ink set. Look at look. You can see it there. I'm uh, trying to uh, help Jimmy, but it's, it's just thinking about nuts still. Well, <laughs> that's how Jimmy. <laughs> then you can see the solid. Now, dye-based inks onto solid acrylic, that work, it sometimes doesn't work, but with Memento, they do work very well. So then you can go for olive grove because you have got the pistachio, you have got some nuts and some olives. That makes a nice picnic. Oh. And then we kind of darken them as well. Like that. You can see there, the building that intensity there. Now, you also get northern pine, so not, well, a little, oh, that's, uh, and then, of course, we're going to darken it this. Sorry, kind of go in here. So I'm going to go in. It's not, sorry, I'm making Jimmy really difficult this hour. It's like kind of, there we have it. There. And then we're going to put it here. And then kind of press it down. You can see the... And then oh, like that. that. So you can have build those colors as well. Now, one of the things, memento, instantly dry, almost instant. Like it takes like two seconds to dry on two. So yeah, look at that. So therefore, you can then go in with your um, 
for so, instance, outline stamps. So these are the sort of ones that if you, uh, so yeah, like the stamps you've got now to sort of build your own ones. Yes. These are sort of do like the colouring in. Absolutely. Yeah. So basically, Memento for me is a colouring uh, ink pad for what uh, alcohol markers. But as I'm doing the as well is for those layers that done like instant dry. Like I don't want to smudge. I want to have a solid colour. Look at this. And Look you can that. build those ones. And if I wanted to, for instance, I'm going to turn this around. Uh, and then you can see it here. I'm just turning the paper. So I'm going to take uh, the northern pine, so the darker color. And then I'm going to take, remember, memento is water based, so I can bring in my alcohol markers. So I'm going to go with a couple of uh, uh, alcohol markers that I have got here. So press it down. Theory, well, you should let it dry a couple of seconds to make sure that it's sipped in, but then you can bring in alcohol markers and can you see the lines stay there even Look the tiny that. dots they do not so again if you want no line coloring it's great to have this collection because you are getting of course the uh, amazing different colors to do no line coloring in here so then you can bring in a darker uh, green can you see how the lines start disappearing yeah. but that but they disappear Optically, and the lines are still there because they are. I'm not blending them in, but they are getting that sort of softer. If I had done it in black, it would be much sharper um, contrast between the coloring in and those leaves. So this is a great set if you want to exper experience the joy of um, no line coloring or just very subtle colors in there. And look at that. So you can do that straight away. So you could do that, for instance, if you have got a flower. You can then go in, so that we have got a flower in there, so I'm going to put it in there. So we can do it. Shall we do it with a little bit of Morocco? We oh, yes. A little bit, of, yeah. And then there. And then I'm going to go, oh, what's that? It's beautiful. And the Rika Bali, oh, you know, you need to go back to Morocco. And then, it's not there. The, the color, I'm talking about oh, CBC Morocco. Oh, I thought they were colors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, that was on Morocco. Nice. No, that I'm using love letter. Love you know, letter. Love, love letter oh. there. You can see they're absolutely stunning. And of course, I can bring in again my watercolor mark, uh, my alcohol markers, and that will create again that sort of no line coloring element because the lines no, the lines will disappear a little bit because I'm using similar colors. But still, I know. Can you see there? I mean, that's terrible coloring for me, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm not very good today, am I? It's staying it within the lines, but you can see it. But again, this is this is the no uh, no um, no line coloring because then you can bring in the warmer tones in there, and they will disappear. But you know where to layer the color there. You know where to put that. It there works you really well, and you're getting twelve different colors. Uh, in here for twenty pounds and thirty five pence uh, four two seven five nine nine is your item number if you 're liking these, you may like sort of this is your versa magic that we 're looking at now now Leslie had these earlier in and they flew out the door obviously in different colors. But you have sort of got those sea colours in there because you've got things like the green that you've got in there, you've got the light blue and the light green. Now your Versa Magic, you get nine pads for fifteen forty nine. You're getting four pieces, uh, the pastel set, and five dewdrop ink pads uh, that you're getting in there. Uh, look at the colourways that you're getting. Um, I like Versa Magic because that gives you sort of that chalky, sort of a chalky look, like like you're using chalk paint. It, as it does were. absolutely. It has that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> you're right. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. This is my my. I thought it isn't. <laughs> it's such a joke. Don't worry. I'm fine. Uh, um, what, do, what you have in here is, of course, that chalk and has that as pigment water base. Uh, so you have absolutely glorious colors as well. I love the softness of this. Now, they take a little bit longer to dry than, I say, Versify, uh, Versify, uh, but still you will get a lovely color as well. Uh, now, I'm going I'm to go for... I'm going to go for... Um, Gonna go for this color, which is sea breeze, and then gonna stamp into it. Okay, and then put it into black. Look at that. 
Oh, look at that. Even so you can see the, the you like you were saying, the chocolate. You still get a true colour on black, because like yeah. normally black dulls everything down. Absolutely. Now, of course, if I go in with a similar colour, it will be a, quite, um, you know, a little bit kind of similar, but you still can see the blue. So I'm going to go for a different one. Because if I had gone for maybe the turquoise blue, grey gem, that will be within the same realm. So you want to go for a little bit of different okay. colour in here. I'd definitely start checking out your baskets now if I was you. If you've got anything that's in there, we've only got about nine minutes left of this hour before we say goodbye. That look at that though. Look at that. Look at this. But of course you can do the same thing. I'm like, let me put them onto white card. And this definitely will have that softer look, especially if you want to do the nautical scenes that Leslie was doing. These will have that sort of, you know, the, the, the white foam from the waist, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. That kind of look really works. But look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at that again. It does have that chalkiness in there. I really love these inks. It's one of those ones that I don't think we use them as much as we should because it's just, we kind of sometimes we, we kind of go to our Versa Fine and things like this, but they are absolutely gorgeous. And they also, Leslie was saying they blend really well. Yes, they do. If you walk them down, you can blend them together. Look at That's that. Cute. I love the chalking. It's that green that is just such a pretty color. Let me put some as well, uh, one of the flowers in there because we have, and I'm using acrylic stamps just to show you um, that you can use your acrylic stamps with these uh, beautiful inks. You also are getting the pink grateful, uh, grapefruit. And then look at that. That softness and that richness of colour. It it's, so, it's so subtle but so works. That's, it does really work. And this will dry about, I would say, it takes a little bit of a while. So you can see there, but it will dry maybe at the end of like about 10 minutes or so. You will, so if you wanted to emboss it, you can emboss it. Or if you wanted to add an accent of um, mica, for instance, you can then come in and say, I just want, let me get up a finer brush. And then kind you of even go get a white in here though, which is yeah. nice in this set. It's a softer white than the moonlight white. But you can see a cheeky big of my car. There. There. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it is literally a case of say what we hear. That's all we're here. We're doing that literally to say what we hear in areas. Um, it is, but you are getting white in there. You are getting aloe vera as well. Uh, I love the aloe vera colour. It's that beautiful pastel green that you're getting in there. But remember, you get each one of these is like. Um, it's like when you're doing a child's nursery or a child's bedroom, you want them soft, subtle colours to come in. That is these colours. These are pastels in an ink form that do all the hard work for you. £15 and £49. 423661 is your item number. Then last but no means least, uh, we've just got the brights. We sold out. We tried and tried and tried. Well, I think we tried um, to get them. Uh, and they said, no, we can't have any more. We sort of, man, someone made a phone call, uh, we think. I think they sent her a page or a pigeon. Uh, but I've still got the brights available uh, on the show. Now, the more I look at these, I was thinking about these while me and Paula were sitting in the green room. And I was looking at the, the more it looks at them, I thought, there is so much you can do with them, with the, the cottage ivy that you've got there. You've got that beautiful green, so for your green foliage and things around the outside. Then you've got that rhubarb stalk, so you've got that sort of subtle red hint to it. Not as vibrant as rhubarb that you would think, but you've still got that sort of vintage look with the rhubarb. Then you've got uh, grape jelly that's in there, which is a beautiful purple. Uh, color. I like the teal as well, the teal zeal that you've got in there. Absolutely love this color for sort of seascapes and things like that. And then last but no means least, you also have the rosebud that's in there. Uh, a beautiful subtle pink that runs through. Are these the sort of inks, mementos, that we can stamp on our glass mat and paint with and pick up with a paintbrush? Or do they dry too quick? Permanent as okay, well, so, these are so, so kind ones. of a, you, you, these ones are ones that are water based but permanent and also. But what you can do is, for instance, well, you know, I, I wanted to do just a, a demo, just a quick demo, just to show that uh, when what, you know, to come back to the beginning, you know, when we were talking about opacity, the dye base are, yes. uh, are not uh, translucent and pigment are opaque, just to show to the proof is in the pudding, right? So I'm stamping with uh, pink and it disappears. Oh, yeah. Whether compared to pigment, where is the pigment that we use with the brilliance, for instance, stands out. 
Ah. So this is not for black ink. However, this is when you have got a stencil, for instance. So I have got a stencil here. So I'm going to just put it in there. And then, of course, what we are going to do is um, I'm going to bring in my, uh, my brush in here and kind of gone in so then of course that what it does is of course you can bring it in and then I've kind of got another color here oh, there we go and then I'm gonna go in with the rhubarb stock now by the way dye base inks they dry very quickly so make sure to put your lids back on this is what I need the um, uh, John Lawood. Uh, by the way, John or Sam, if you are watching, I forgot my, um, you know, the stamp to, um, the press to impress with the, the plate so you can hold the stencils. And I was like, no, I forgot it at home. This is so much better. Anyway, so you can see there. They will be watching. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, they immediately dry. dry. So this, because it's permanent, I can then go in with other colors. I could go in also with my brayer if I wanted to. So for instance, if I wanted to go in then go in and then add a little bit of distress as well color in this but that's not distress ink so that's memento because that means that I can now throw water in and it won't move because it's permanent you see there is so much you can do when you get these home it doesn't matter what the collection you're going for each collection has a job to do uh, i've only got the brights left 18 pounds and 45 pence 872245 is your item number you are looking at for those and a nice little price for five good size like full-on size uh, ink pads is what you're getting there but i think the star of the show is uh original bundle a uh, black bundle, you get your Versa Mark, you get your Versa Fine, you get your Versa Color, you get your Stays on in there, you get your Brilliance, and you're also getting your Versa Magic as well. All of these four, all of these colors for £14.99. Three quarters of the stock has already gone here. There is so much you can do when you get this collection home. You've got something for everyone that's in there. Maybe you're going to buy them as a gift, one for yourself and one for somebody else because trust me, they will not be disappointed. The boards you can download from Paola's Facebook site or even my work one, uh, Adam Humphreys on the craft store. Uh, you, they're all on there for you. So if you can't remember anything we've told you over the last hour, you can watch the show back again on Rewind, um, or you can rewatch 7 a.m. as well. Uh, but the boards are on the websites now, so jump to all those if you want to get a hold of the boards. But 436442 is the item number you are going to need for this one. Uh, right then, let's go quickly over to Paula. Um, what you got to show me in a uh, minute? Well, just quickly with Versamark embossing powder. So I'm going to kind of stamp uh, this splatter of, uh, you know, it's just a splatter. Then you just kind of put it onto black card. Then I kind of we just put it embossing powder over the top. Just a quicker one, but it's just like kind of, it's, that's my favorite ink pad to kind of emboss in here. So then kind of go in, just see should have heated my heat again beforehand but hey ho look at that look at how gorgeous the embossing look I just love embossing powder isn't it just so amazing and of course Versamark you are getting it in here so you have a pad. look at that you can see there the melted so you can see the difference there but of course you this is one of Actually, you are getting six in ink pads in here, including the full size of a Stazon. There's so much you can do with a Stazon as well. I, it's, uh, for me, it's one of the unsung heroes of the stamping, in, in stamping um, kind of world. Because look at this one. This one that we did at the very top onto, uh, you know, this frosty uh, pl uh, plastic. Look at that. It's completely dry. There it is. Now, you have, of course, different materials um, that you can use it onto. You can use it onto card and then color it with water-based colors. You can use it onto glass, glossy cards, you can see there. Then you can use it onto parchment and vellum, but you can see the difference that it's a little bit more translucent, the ink, then onto uh, a mudaf, like um, uh, Jimmy and Leonie calls it, uh, a wood, onto leather as well. Then you have got polymer clay as well, and to metal, so your aluminium, and to glass as well, it will has dried, and to shrink plastic is a phenomenal, and to acetate is a just a brilliant ink, and, and the bundle is fabulous.
It is. Get in your hands. Get your hands on it now. Start checking out your baskets. If I was you, I don't want you to miss out on these little deals. These shows are few and far between. Uh, so really get your hands on when you can. We've only got 25 seconds left. Thank you, Paolo, my love. Thank you. It's been an absolutely brilliant I've day. I've had a I lovely lo hour. Oh, fabulous. We are loved. I You've love been it. really good. <laughs> Really good. <laughs> good. She's been good. <laughs> she's been good. Uh, get a handful of nuts and she's away for the afternoon. Horses for courses, wherever she does in her own time's <laughs> up to work. I'll see you in an hour's time. Don't you go anywhere. Here we go again. Heartfelt Creations climbing up next. Then Chocolate Barak stamp your. I wonder what she's going to stamp on. Oh. Who knows? Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012. I'm never really sure. At one point, we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Yes, I can officially say a very good afternoon to you. This is our second live hour today for the one day special. Of course, it's all about heartfelt. We have got the lovely Nikki with us as well. So I'm going to be saying good afternoon to Nikki. Good afternoon. Hello. You made one or two little promises earlier. What we're going to see. I this did. Hour. I can't remember what they were. No. <laughs> oh, no. That Scrap was hours page. ago. Scrapbook scrap page. I am going to be doing a scrapbook page. Yes. Something oh. very different. I've entered one of them for, not on demos, for few years oh wow oh, yeah. stay with us then now we've had a very very busy time when it comes to the collection we've got an offer 70 percent of the stock is now gone it was busy earlier today you know it was busy at launch it continues to be busy we've got a great collection for you as well let's have a look at this i know nick is going to show us the paper pad again at demo area because it's easy to see it and we can really talk through everything but you have got the 12 by 12 paper pad you can see those beautiful beautiful designs in there we've also got 10 dies we've got 10 stamps for you as well and we've got the flower shaping mold now this does carry quite hefty savings as well actually there is a smaller bundle we'll come back to that but it does carry a saving that is carried over 
As a non-freedom member, you're getting an extra £28 there. But as a freedom member, this is where it gets really, really exciting, you are saving £38.89 on top of that saving that's carried over from the, the Essentials Bundle, which is a £5 saving. And it still gets better because, of course, we've got Flexi for you. Not two. But I believe it's three. There it is. Three payments of £32.68. It's definitely a why not deal. And you're getting so much for your money, Nikki, aren't you? So There's much. There's a lot of value in here. The thing is with Heartfelt, they bring us the paper pad which is absolutely gorgeous yeah. and we've got lots of elements in there that we can then use with the stamps that coordinate with the dies. But with this one we have got that amazing mould. We certainly have. I'm going to show you the mould as well now. Just to let you know about the dispatch date from the 14th of June. This is the mould that you're getting in with the collection. Now, you can get this individually. It's worth £21.99. But if you think about the savings, especially as a Freedom member, you're getting this for absolutely nothing and still having pounds left over. So you can put that towards something else. I think because we're going to see the uh, paper pad with Nikki and more of the stamps and dies, if I just show one or two samples while I'm here so you can really appreciate what you're getting I mean when it comes to the dies and the stamps obviously with the paper pad you can die cut elements there as well but then you can stamp your own images the little birds I just find them so sweet they're also included in stamps and dies you've got the trellis there that cuts out so perfectly absolutely beautiful we're talking about the clematis of course as the featured flower Nikki, we said this earlier, but the size of these flowers is just absolutely right. They are. They're absolutely perfect for your smaller cards, but then you can use them on your larger cards and really cascade those um, clematis, like this one here. Look, just down that corner. But then, as I say, they're great for your scrapbooking. They're great for, ho um, scrape. they're great <laughs> for home decor, too. Look at the I love on that. that is I gorgeous. Do love the sparkle. Love the colouring on that yeah, one as well. Beautiful. Do you know you can keep it quite simple using elements from the paper pad and just simple flowers. You can of course go a little bit more elaborate if you so wish, as we've seen with some of the samples there. That is so pretty, isn't it? And then of course the scrapbook page of is also there. Now you haven't got any images in there, Nikki, but obviously I you haven't. would do that. You would normally put your images in there. But I think this this collection is I'm, I'm just thinking any occasion birthdays weddings anniversaries yeah it is just a really really pretty and generic i think as well very generic yeah collection definitely i agree with you totally so take advantage of the three flexes take advantage of the freedom price as well join today if you're not already a member and uh, yes they will be yours as well 436 367 is the item number now I did mention about a smaller bundle with a, a saving of five pounds so we know budgets vary if you want to go for the paper pad and also the stamp and the die set that are right next to the paper pad you're seeing there so you can see those beautiful clematis you've got those flowers you can go for that essentials collection it does carry that five pound saving it's just 46 pounds and 97 pence and we can still split this down two payments of 23 pounds and 49 pence nine six eight four eight zero now i've been promising look at the paper pad and you really need to see this so nikki can we have a look at that right now we can so the paper pad i always say is the basically the core of the collection you're going to want to get this home, home, you're going to want to sit down, have a coffee, a cup of tea and just take a look through it because not only do you get an idea on the colours that you could use alongside your clematis flowers but also the building up of your card. So if you wanted to just use that panel and make a card, you could replicate what yeah. you've got on there. The actual fence on that image is actually from the tulip collection. So if you do have the tulip collection, that will work really well. So if I just pull this down, we have got 12 designs, two of each, and they are actually double-sided. So the fact that they're double-sided and you've got two of each, you've got a choice. You've got more panels here, just six cards. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually five, isn't it? Two, yeah, five cards on there. Easy to create, easy to replicate as well. So if you wanted to use like this panel here, you could just put some flowers on, add a sentiment, add a little bit of glitter and you're good to go. But you also have got your tabs down the side, which I love because rather than heartfelt giving us our sentiment, so we have to choose, we can now choose what we want on those sentiments. So we've all got plenty of stamps that we could use on there to stamp that. 
but then you've got that great that beautiful, long um, trellis there and what I love about the trellis you've got the trellis in the stamp pad I'm sorry the stamps and the dies that coordinate with this yeah. but you can also elongate yeah. that as well to replicate what we've got there on that page then we've got our smaller panels, so these are great for your little, um, your note lip pay, um, cards. You could use these in your journaling, in your mini albums. We discussed mini albums earlier, didn't we? we did, and we said yeah. heartfelt papers are so good for your mini albums. Then of course you've got this one's that perfect. So efficient. this is actually the one that I'm going to be using uh, for the scrapbook layout that I'll be doing later on in the show. But as you can see. Um, the colours are absolutely gorgeous. They really are pretty. Spring, summer, like we said, yeah. clematis, to be honest, are basically flowering all year round. You get different varieties. So I think apart from sort of like real midwinter, they won't, they don't flower. But the rest of the rest of the year, they are yeah. actually flowering. I always seem to they? remember at my previous home. I had one that flowered in February, so that was a, ner a very an early, early one. one. Yeah, yeah, we discovered earlier that there's over 200 varieties. But also, don't just think about clematis. We've said how you can build these up, you can mm. make your other flowers as well. Yes. Even to a point of they look very much like poinsettias if you want to Yeah, there's the so many other flowers that you can create with them. And that's what I love what Heartfelt do. So they've given us the stamps. So if we just go on the page here, I'll just t go over to the one that I'm looking at. There we go. We'll go back to the others in a second. So they've given us the idea. So yes, you can clearly see that they are yeah. acclimators. But if you colour them in a different way, you form them in a different way, put them in your mould slightly different, use them in a different mould as yeah, well. That's really, that's really point. worth um, worth doing. Then you can create lots of other flowers. But what is nice about what they've done is they give us the pages that then coordinate with our dies. I mean, just look at that. If you wanted to do some die cutting, um, but you didn't have time to stamp and colour, You've got the images here to do it. I've got some tape on that one and it does not want to go down. There we go. So you could literally just cut these out and you've got them ready to go. Ready to put on a card, ready to glitter up. Yep. You can add um, dimension with them as well using your flower shaping tool. But also you do have, like we just saw on this page, you do have your flowers. So. If we can get a demo in, um, if we've got a few minutes left at the end of the show, I will show you that these work just as well in your flower shaping mould okay. as the ones that you can um, colour and do by hand um, with your own you colours. You really have got the best So you've got everything, everything in here. You really have. You've got your six by sixes. You've got your smaller panels. There you can see, look, you've got some more strips there that you can stamp your sentiments on. And they've got a little pretty little edging around them as well. Oh really really pretty and then of course you've got your colors on the back which aren't just plain colors they've got a beautiful pattern on there but you can use these for your matting layering it is really stunning i think where are we we're in we're in june now aren't we yeah it's not i've got scary. to say up to yet this is one of my favorites of the year is it it is but i do love my purples and my pinks um, but yeah, it has to be one of my favourites. And then the last one, look, you've got all your tags there. You've got some sentiment tags here that you can add sentiments to. You could um, even add, even write on them by hand. Yeah. You don't have to That's, stamp on yeah, them. Of course. You could yeah, do it by hand, but you've anyway. got all those elements. And you're getting two pages. And that's what I love yeah, about two it. Two pages got two of everything, of haven't you? Yeah. But is two pages enough? Because you can also go for the extra paper pad or if you're going for that individually, but many of you are adding that into your baskets along with the collection. So you've got plenty. Bottom of the screen, if you're looking for the details. And I'm not going to hand back to Nikki until I remind you that you also get the bag included with the collection as well. It's all those little things that make the difference. You've got the inspiration sheet, so it gives you a project to create with as well. Do you know, if you're collecting, maybe a family putting together and buying this as a gift for someone, that 
is a great way for a new crafter. Maybe you've clubbed together, they've got a little die cutting machine, you've got the stamps, you've got the dies. Everything in that bag, it's a gift on its own, isn't it? 436367 is the item number. Remember, if you become a Freedom member, your saving goes up. On top of the £5 that's carried over from the essentials, we're giving you another £38.89 off the whole collection. And that is delivered free to your door, of course. Now, do watch out for the end of call as well. There's lots of lovely stamens and all sorts in there, so do check those out because there's no added postage, even if you're not a Freedom member for those. But, Nikki, I can see you've got your flower shaping mould I have mold got there. the flower shaping mould out, and this is a really, really good mould. If I just lift that up, you can see how deep that embossed area has gone into that mould. That, there is, yeah, so, it is very, very deep. I'd say that's... You know, the depth of the actual base of the mould alone mm. looks like it's about 10 millimetres a centimetre. Yeah. And that will go Definitely. to the bottom, really. Yeah, and it works so well. I would probably say this takes 98% of your work out of your flower shaping. So I'm popping these in all face down. So you can pop them in the other way, which means that the leaves will go... I'm sorry, the petals will... Um, be formed the um, other way. I'll tell you what, we'll keep that one that way and then we'll put these ones down. You've got spaces for your leaves as well. Yeah. And you can put more than one layer on. So if I just grab. Well, you've got nine. Is it, I think there. nine individual spaces for flowers mm. there and then the four yeah. leaves. Yeah, but then so if you can get multiples. You've basically got three of each size. So yeah. three medium, three large, and three small spaces. So what I'm going to do is just lightly spritz with water. That is just plain water out the tap. Okay. And then I'm just going to pop that extra little flower in there just to show you how good that works. And then I'm just going to pop the top on. And it has okay. got feet, so if I just hold that up, if you can see, look, can you see where them feet, they don't close yeah. completely because obviously you're putting cardstock yeah, in there. Yeah, you've got the pressure on, yeah. And you, you need the pressure. So it doesn't close completely and then I'm using the Spellbinders Platinum so which means that I won't need my big plate so if you're wondering is my machine going to take a mold if you have I would generally say anyway yeah. if you have a big plate like this and your clear plates or your white plates they may be I would say it will go through your machine but if you're not a hundred percent sure just to make that clear as well, Nikki, when you say those big plates, you mean the, the depth of that plate. The depth, these will yes. fit in an A5 machine, won't they? So they as long will, as yes. You've got it's the, the wider the, opening. Yeah, it's yeah. the depth that you need to be looking at. So basically, if you're not 100% sure, head over to Heartfelt's website and they have a full list of all the machines. And you know, I can name more machines that it will go, they will go through than they won't go through basically I think a lot of machines yeah. nowadays aren't they especially a lot of the newer ones yeah. have got that wide mouth but it works on pressure so what I've done is I've added a shim to mine and in actual fact I probably could have got away with an extra shim but just don't force your machine if you're really having to go through and it's really yeah. hard to turn your handle or you've got an electronic machine and it just isn't taking it that means you've got too many shims in there. And the reason I like to use the shim is because the more pressure, the better more the results, detail. the yeah. more detail you're getting. So just look at this, okay? Nothing else involved yet. Just look how absolutely gorgeous they have turned out, look. Beautiful. And I can see what you mean about turning the petals of the flower heads different ways so you get the yeah. different looks. So that one is going down yeah. and this one is going up. Look. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. So the next step would be, we will still use our flower shaping mat. Okay. We and have that available as well. This, this actual flower shaping kit, the deluxe flower shaping kit, is actually really, really useful. So um, I'm just shaping that in like that but can you see how to be honest I don't need to do anything else to it now because that perfect, is the magnolia however there are um, not magnolia sorry the clematis we did magnolia last month I'm still <laughs> I'm still in last month I don't know where this time's gone 
Um, but if you wanted to do a little bit more shaping, there is a variety that kind of really points. So all you need to do, look, is just squeeze those ends and you get more of a star effect look. But I haven't hardly done anything to it again. Is the mould has done most of the work it for has, me. It has, hasn't it? I'm thinking, is it a jasmine flower that's kind of a star shape as well? A white, a white It is jasmine. a white one. So again, think, yeah. of, think of other flowers that you, you know, that you could use these with. But again, this one look, which I put in the machine the other way, completely different flower. I love it. But of course, to finish them off, to really finish your flowers off, you are going to want to put a centre in there. Now, we did say that on the end of call, so when you go through checkout, you will see lots and lots of stamens, all different ones. You've got some, if we can just take a look at this one. One minute, I'll put a couple more there so you can have, oh, an actual fat. I've got a bunch of them, look. So we've got oh, some so like this one. Varieties that is, yes, so there's lots of different ones. These are on wires. These are really useful. In actual fact, I will use three of those. Well, that's two. <laughs> There's three. So I'm going to take three of the ones that are on wire. And they've kind of got a little glittery effect on them as well. And then I'm just going to take one of the wires from the stems and just twist that around to hold that together. And then I'm going to take probably three or four. Let's take four of the smaller pearl ones. So not sure what these ones are actually called on there but they are the smaller ones out of the pearls and i'm taking them just twisted them together a little bit to hold them together and then i'm going to pop that on there like that in actual fact we're going to pop them up oh, a little I bit see more what you're doing. okay so all the varieties and all the different varieties of the clematis. Yeah, we can actually show those. So remember, when you go to check out your baskets, that's where you will find them. There's loads to choose from. Some great bundles here. You can see you've got small, you've got medium, uh, various different varieties there as well. Um, great prices because you're getting a lot for your money there with no extra postage. That's regardless whether you're a Freedom member or not. Just add those into your basket. You can go for more than one if you wish as well. They're really worth having, aren't they, Nikki? They, they are because they are so useful. They absolutely transform your flower so I've just taken that wire and just twisted that round to hold those stamens together and now I've got a really pretty center so if we think about the clematis and what I tend to do is there's a lovely um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to mention it it begins with P and you just put the name of whatever it is you're looking for and dozens and dozens and hundreds actually pictures come up and that's what I use for my um, when I'm making flowers. So I'm allowed to say it. So yeah, so Pinterest, it basically is, has got so much, um, not just information about the flowers, but also different varieties. So when I was um, doing my research on the clematis, I realized that the actual stamens of the flowers were just as pretty yeah. and extravagant as the actual flower themselves. And they are, all are so different. So when I was um, putting my um, cards together and making my flowers, it was like quite fun on how many different ways I can, oh, sorry, I've just run out of glue, how many different ways that I can use um, different centers to make all my flowers different. So I'm just going to layer this up. So this is what we call a double clematis okay. and it's pretty just like that and you could add just a yellow center in there if you wanted if you didn't want to put anything in at all and that looks pretty okay but you just wait until you see what happens when I pop this in so I'm going to trim that like that and it is quite thick you could wire them up if you've got some florist wires to make that a little bit thinner but what I'm going to do is I now need to make a hole in the center of this flower. So because I want to make it quite big, I'm using my knife and just taking it in. And do you know what is great? And I don't understand how they've done it. I'm using my, my mat, but it doesn't was, actually put I a hole in I was slightly worried the, about you would, that. You would think, <laughs> you would think, wouldn't you, that I would have put a hole in there. But look, no, I've got glue on it, but no <laughs> hole. Okay. 
Yes, the idea is that you move your mat away when you're gluing. Top tip. <laughs> However, it's a top tip that I never do. And I've probably got about 20 flower shaping mats. And every now and again, I think, I'm going to start a new one. And not make the same mistake. And I'm not going to do it. And it prob <laughs> I probably last about two days. And then I forget. But I kind of s speed craft. Because I make so many cards and flowers. Look at that already. And then what I'm going to do is just hold that. Take some tweezers. And just hold that and just pull that and there you have wow. a gorgeous center and as I say so I I'm right in saying that mold does 98% of my work that because is beautiful. look at that if I just turn that upside down you can see the detail in there stunning and whether it's an individual flower or so course, many cascading. different if I just can I just show you just a yeah. few of different ones so you've got the different stamens in different ones. This one is one I did on the earlier show. I might actually be able to have time to show you again how to do a similar centre. There's one very similar again. With just Lovely. smaller ones. Again, just changing the centres makes it's just, a It just makes all the difference to your flowers. And then, of course, if you're stamping them out, you can go with, stamens. Yeah, they are lovely, aren't They're they? Pretty. You can go with whatever colours you want. I'm uh, loving yeah, the absolutely. green tinted ones that I've seen as well. Yes. Or make multiple colour flowers. We'll be back with Nick in a little while. Let's have a bit of a recap here. Over 70% of the stock of the whole collection has now gone. It is the I Want It All collection, and you certainly do want it all. Now, remember, you have got, of course, the 12 by 12 paper pad. You're getting individually, if you count up the dies, there's 10 dies, there's 10 stamps. You've got the flower shaping mold as well. That individual is worth $21.99. You can get that, but do you know what? Part of this bundle, you're not paying for that at all, and you've still got change spare, and quite a bit of it, I've got to say. We're having a good look at everything there. Now, the essentials would be the smaller kit there is also including the same paper pad. You can get the first die set and the first stamp set that we've just seen. It carries that five pound saving, which we're carrying over into the big collection. So the savings you're seeing on the screen are on top of that five pounds. So as Freedom members, you're getting an extra 38 pounds and 89 pence. That is delivered to your door, postage and packaging. That's all taken care of. 436-367 is the item number. Now, we've got lots of samples dotted around the back of the studio. We've got a few more here as well. This was actually a card that Nikki was making earlier. I absolutely adore the little birds. They're there in the paper pad. You'll find them multiples of times, but you've got the stamps, you've got the dies for those as well. This card here is absolutely stunning. This is by Lynn. I mean, how beautiful is that? I mean, if you've got a photograph even, it doesn't even have to be the paper pad there, but using the flowers, whether you cut them directly from the paper pad, because you've got two sheets of each of those die cut sheets, and there's three different variations, I think, of those, or if you're using your own stamped images and choosing your own colors it doesn't matter everything works so beautifully that is gorgeous as well just to bring in the detail again a little bit further I don't want to pull this card to bits but the die that you've got here cuts out the little holes the little sections in between the trellis but keeps the flowers that are there as well. You couldn't do that by hand. You really couldn't. If you wanted to do it with a craft knife, it would literally take you hours. Again, you've got the stamps, you've got the elements in the paper pad, and I adore that. Keeping it quite simple with the flowers on there, but using the birds, and of course the birdhouse, a stamped version there. Just a few, a few ways of, can I just show this one? So this is, it's just because I love the colors of this one so much. <coughs> The greens and the purples together. They look so real, Nick. They do, don't they? And I love, they've used one of the borders just at the top. Can you see? Yeah. At the top of that yeah, diamond. This bit. But they've coloured the centres in like a, it's either a very, very dark purple or black. It's just beautiful. I love that. That is stunning. 436367, I say, if you want to go for the full collection. Now, we will get back to Nikki. I think she's got lots more to show us. Yeah, we've still not seen the promise, have we? Is that where we're going next? The we are going page. there next. Yay. Yes, so we are going to do a scrapbook page. But first of all, I've got all my elements kind of ready. So I've got one of the smaller... Well, actually, I've got two. Two of the smaller sprays. Then I've got one of the straight ones. And I just need to colour in this one. I have already started it. So they are really easy to colour. I... 
love heartfelt stamps because they just give you enough detail. So if you're speed colouring like I am, which I tend to do anyway, um, you can really get them done really quickly. So I'm just using my watercoloured pens. Now, we said earlier as well, Nikki, for anyone that doesn't know, the team behind Heartfelt, the owners of the company, are crafters through and through. They are. Yeah, so yes. everything is absolutely thought about. And just pointing out there, you've got the arch of the flowers. You've got the straight element there. And then you've got the, you know, a larger arch as yeah. well. So that's the smaller one. But you have got one slightly bigger. So you've got, you know, they've given us all the elements. But they've also given us the elements, when you look at them, that are going to work alongside other collections, yeah. particularly the gateway dies that we brought out. Yes. Um, I think we brought three sets out in the last few months, and they work so well with that because they have got the arch on there. So, you know, they don't just bring a collection out or just don't bring something out, and then it goes in the drawer and you think, right, okay, made ten cards with that, don't need that anymore. Each collection works so well with each other. So I'm just adding just purple on the petals of my clematis and just really not even thinking about it, look, just getting the colour down there. Then once I've done that, I'm going in with a slightly different shade of purple and I'm just going along where the artist has put that shading along the centre of the petals. Okay, so just quickly add that there because some of these will actually be slightly covered once I put the scrapbook layout together. So I'm not worried about putting too much detail in there as such. And then I'm just going in and blending oh, nice. with that lighter colour. Of course, you can use your inks to colour. We've got the daubers on the show. The daubers will work absolutely well with the, um, these. I use the daubers for all of the, the main flowers, so the larger three-dimensional flowers. I did use my daubers. Now I see them back in stock. I know I, it wasn't, I don't think it was the last show, but fairly recently, we did sell out with those. We didn't have them available. I think available. we've been selling out on nearly yeah. every... Yeah, on well, um, every... Um, it's worth stocking up, show, isn't it? So, there you go. So I've got two of the straight ones, two curved ones, and of course we have that gorgeous oh, I love that. Um, birdhouse. For some reason I was going to call it doll's house, but <laughs> it's a very extravagant doll's house. So next thing is I'm going to take my page that I want to do my scrapbook layout with. Now again, another nice thing about um, the fact that you've got two of each is you can do a double spread, double page spread. Yeah, so if you just pass yeah. me that one there, if we can. So Don't forget this the full is collection details on the screen. Oh, I'm dropping your samples. So <laughs> this is the one that I did previously. So as you can see, you can do your double page, double page spread. Okay, which is. Something that I didn't have a clue what I was talking about when I first started scrapbooking, but then worked out it means that when you've got a double page in your scrapbook, they kind of match or coordinate together. So with this one, I'm doing it slightly different. So I'm ah, putting you, it's my cursor. It's like you're mirroring what you've done. Yes. So you're setting the arches in the opposite so direction. The arches would obviously have your photographs in. Yep. And all I'm doing as well is I am just using elements from my, my from, from basically the Clematis collection. Obviously, if you've got other elements that you want to put on there, you may have pearls that you want to put on, diamantes or you know, ribbons. That idea as well with the arches, Nick, that would look really nice if you'd got a photograph in one of them and a nice poem or a sentiment a, in the other. Yes. It would, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, especially if it was a wedding. Maybe if you can write your own poetry. How nice would that be? So there's my photos. Okay. Blank. You look amazing then, in those photos. <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my two arches and I'm just going to basically just add a couple of strips of foam and they will go on top of one another. 
one there, which I don't think is quite in the middle, and but one there. Okay, so they sit, beautiful. this is what I was saying, they work so well yeah. with a lot of other heartfelt elements that we have. And then I've got the two on the bottom. As I say, scrapbooking is really, really easy. A lot of people are kind of scared because you've got so much space to cover. But if you've got a pretty paper like this, a lot of the work has been done for me. So I've got all the flowers down here. If I wanted, I could cascade all my three-dimensional um, clematis all the way around there. But what I am going to do is I haven't got... you're just complimenting what's already being given to yeah, you. Yeah, so you've basically... Yeah, that's a lovely way of putting it. So I couldn't think of a word there. So I've got lots of different flowers oh, here. So I'm just going to grab them. So that it won't match exactly because I'm putting slightly different flowers on. So where's... Oh, there it is. Forgot I the... the green. The green colour that you've got there, that limey green again. It just works so beautifully with it the does, purple. It does, doesn't it? I'm... I think actually there is a clematis that is a greeny colour. And there, I think there is. There is, isn't there? My mum had one actually. Uh, yes, there definitely is one. The thing with clematis is they don't actually stay in flower that long, do they? They start dying off pretty quick. But you've always got them um, regrowing, haven't you? Yeah. So they'll start think, dying off. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not a professional gardener or anything, but I think if you prune them correctly, you'll get much better flowers. That's probably where I've here. always gone wrong. Then. Yeah, I think you have to cut them right down. I don't know if it's the same with all varieties, but I know my mum had some beautiful clematis and she used to cut them down. I think in February she used to trim them down. I know in my new garden I've got one just coming out in flower, so I have no idea what colour it's going to. Not oh. co coming out in flower, it's just sort of like growing. It's spreading all over the summer house. It's, um, it's like, OK, I wonder what colour you're going to be. Do you know what I want now? I want to grow one up my birdhouse. The way that I've seen it in the paper pad. What was that, sorry? I want a clematis growing up my birdhouse. Up your birdhouse. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> Just keep your gardener away from it. <laughs> <laughs> you might be watching now, Nikki. I better keep yes. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so, just going to pop some lilac-y coloured flowers I'm loving there. the lift it gives and with that colour And then I've got well. those green ones, which um, we were just talking about. And again, I've gone with the colours that are on the, um, on the papers. And it just cascading my flowers. I don't know where we're going to put that one now. Because to be perfectly honest, I haven't got as many as the other ones. So we'll have a lilac one. So this is one of the smaller ones. So this is the smallest of the um, flowers. We'll put that one down there. And then I've got a green one, so I need to put... Yeah, even if you kept that white and a little bit there. of glitter for a wedding or, you know, an off-white for the flowers as well to represent, you know... As I say, there's so much more that I could do with it. I'm just basically just giving you an idea on how you can use your papers other than just making cards. And I haven't even got any leaves on here yet. Don't forget we have got the clematis leaves yeah. so you could pop a few leaves on as oh, well really going to bring the colors together whoops dropping all my glue everywhere can be a jewel drop don't worry about that and little yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then just lift that up slightly but how quick is that and not you know we forget scrapbooking can make nice presents as well we can give a beautiful scrapbook to somebody we could collect photos of the grandchildren over the year yeah. if you've hopefully this year you will be seeing your grandchildren definitely I'd look at but framing then these. you could give something like that and you could put a sentiment on there as well oh all it Obviously. needs is we're going to do like lots of stamping birds, Nikki that's what I think oh yes I haven't got any birds I'll put some birds on while you go away. <laughs> whilst oh, you beautiful. go Stunning. Products. that is just one idea now I can tell you three quarters of the stock has now gone we are very very busy I mean there's final calls still to come will we still have any stock left by then we will see now of course I've got to keep repeating for those I am I do apologize to be much from the beginning but we do get people joining us right throughout the hour as well so I want to remind you that there's already a five pound 
pounds saving carried over from the essentials bundle before we give you the extra saving that's on the screen. If you are a Freedom member, you are saving an extra thirty-eight pounds and eighty-nine pence. That would make it four pounds saving. So that would be uh, forty-two pounds eighty-nine then. Yeah. So. I keep referring back to the sh uh, flower shaping mold. That's twenty-one ninety-nine on its own. So you've you've got masses of money left over. Maybe you want to add in an extra paper pad. Maybe you want to add in something like yeah, the flower shaping kit could also go in there. The dub, as we've mentioned, we've got storage available. We've got foam. We've got all those things. You can split the cost of everything if you're using the flexi buy option, and you can split this three ways if you're going for this collection. So. We will show you the three payments. If you're a Freedom member, it's £32.68 today. Just a reminder, dispatched from the 14th of June. So you pay one instalment now, another next month, and then one the following month as well. So you can really spread the cost. 436-367 is the item number. Now, we've got loads more finished samples. At the back of the set, I'm just going to wander across myself, actually, and we'll have a little look because, do you know, whether you're keeping it very simple, whether you're going to be very elaborate, watch out for the little birds. Because Nicky's have flown away. I just love them. I adore them. We can see the colours there, the pinks, the purples, the greens that have been used. Mixing your ink colours together, there's a very, very pretty one that we're just getting in shot. Now, I'm just going to put my finger above it because uh, the pink and the green together, again, they look so natural, so realistic. You can work with one layer of those flowers. You can make the double layers. You can make buds out of these. You can curl them. You can shape them in so many different ways. Don't just just look at them as one flower. You've got so many options. I adore as well this pretty little card in front here and the lilacs again. I mean those gorgeous little flowers there with a bit of glitter on them. As I say, you can be very elaborate. You can keep it simple. You can work with previous collections. You can work with the dyes that you've got. I can't think of any of the heartfelt dyes that I've ever seen that aren't going to work with this. You know, whether it's the gates, whether it's those beautiful lacy effects, whether it's borders. You've got, of course, the cascading effect that you can build. You've got the arches. You've got the straight elements of the clematis as well in the dyes and the stamps. It just goes on and on and on and don't forget you know I always forgot we'd got the leaves when Nikki was demonstrating there and I'm a big believer that your flowers never look finished without the leaves but they looked so pretty that cascade across the 12 by 12 sheet there but when Nikki brought the leaves in and as you can see on this particular sample here as well how the green pulls everything together it brightens it up if you want to go with that bright green you can keep it quite muted you could go very vintage with these colors as well because of course with the stamps and dyes you've absolutely no rules when it comes to the colours that you use. The paper pad does sort of carry a lot of the lilacs and the purples and the greens. There's pinks in there as well. But, you know, you can still add your inks, your embossing powders, your other colours over the top. And, of course, watch out for those stamens at the end of call because you can change everything once again. Gorgeous samples, absolutely beautiful. Well done, design team, as always. You worked so hard. Uh, Nikki, I can see you're colouring in some of the trellis there. I'm so glad you've gone for that one, actually, well, you, to show us. This is the one that you liked, isn't it? I love it. I just think it's, it's such, such a lovely piece. I know you couldn't cut that out successfully by hand. It, you'd have to no. use a craft knife to take all those little... It, there's little extra bits in between, and it would take such a long time. But the dye does the work for you. I particularly like that one, and I said it earlier, because I think I can see that in the foreground of something, maybe on a shadow box or a tunnel card, you know, so you can see yes. something in the background, and it gives you a framework at the front. And like I said, you could, if I just grab another one, I haven't got one coloured, but we can see, so you could add another one, you could put that one upside down even, either, yeah. either because it doesn't matter, because you're going to be putting some flowers on it anyway. And then you would hide that bit where it joins, or so that you would put them across really like pretty. that, so yeah. you could go You've along. Got so many options. And elongate it. So there's a lot of other ways that you can actually use it. And in actual fact, if you are new to crafting, and you're probably thinking, yeah, I love the collection, it's pretty, I just don't know where to start. There is an inspiration sheet yeah. in the collection that you will get with the full details of everything that's used. All of the um, inks that are used in there, which dyes they've used in it. And we do have the card, and it's that one right over in the corner. Just over there, look. Can you oh, see? Oh, 
Oh, I've... can so, I go and get that? So can we I go can and get it. We can take a look. So, as I say, you know, if you are new to crafting, don't be afraid um, to to go for the collection because you've got everything in here to create this one. Look, and the little birds are on there as well. Oh, isn't that Love gorgeous? It. Beautiful. There's all the instructions, of course. This is why I said this makes such a lovely gift. I know, I know we've done it as a family. You know, we've clubbed together to buy our mum something, you know, if it's something that's been a little bit more expensive. If you've got a family member that crafts and maybe can't afford to go for a full collection but would love it, I think there's no better way of gifting somebody for a birthday. The family get together and get something that someone will really, really appreciate. And this is just going to be the gift that keeps on giving because once you've got the dies, once you've got the stamps, you know, it's endless what you're going to achieve with it. Yeah, and the thing is, the only thing that you really have to rebuy is the paper pan. Yeah. Because everything else um, you're going to have basically forever. And like we said, just look at the flowers that I've just created, the flowers that I've just used on that scrapbook layout. If you had to buy the packets, which we did years ago, if you remember, they were quite expensive, they were, weren't they? Were they were very expensive. You know, like they were um, sort of like the, they were... Well, I can't think what they were made out of now. Mulberry paper, yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah. Kind of mulberry paper. But yeah, you're talking maybe six flowers for about three ninety nine, and there were. I would be looking expensive. at my cards and I'd be thinking, right, how much has that cost me? How long did it take me? I'm yeah. not putting any flowers on it, basically. You know, the truth <laughs> is as well. When I had my shop, I used to love all those flowers, and I didn't actually buy them in a stock for the shop because they were so expensive. But just to buy yes. them, trade. So when the markups on it, it was like, who's going to pay that? And this has ho opened up a whole new world. The fact that we can, with the uh, flower shaping mold, I mean, it's incredible the detail you get there. You don't have to use it, but when you do, you're going to see a big difference, aren't you? Oh, a big, big difference. It's like with this card here that I'm just going to put together. So this is a really nice sort of slim, smallish card. It's not a big card, um, but it's, an, it's a nice size, and it takes the trellis really really well so there's my backing paper then I've got some lilac so I've just got some foam tape on there and then just pop that on so you've just got a little bit of that green and then I'm going to take the trellis and I I am going to if I can find my scissors actually what now you've turned that, that over, over we can really see the you can detail see the detail you can out. see all those little bits yeah. the only thing I would suggest is when you finish die cutting out just make sure you've poked out all the little bits because sometimes they get bits stuck in there okay and that's really when you're really going to see the detail so basically I'm just making sure I don't cover up any of those do you know, if you put holes. little hinges on the corner and use four of those, that would make a lovely little tea light holder. It would. Yes. Yeah, that would. Anything with you little, little holes. Yeah. tea party in the garden, afternoon tea for someone. It How would. pretty would that look? In fact, can you imagine the whole table decorated with these flowers? You know, and you've got your little cake stand and your, your proper china yeah. mugs. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know, I'm it's taking inspiration, tea. actually, from <laughs> Jean's show earlier. We've got the Shrewsbury Biscuit stamp but it was a beautiful little teacup and it had flowers sort of on the saucer you could do that you know for all your friends or family that are visiting put a little flower it's on each of the saucers party. i think i'm a bit romantic at heart you i know, think you I? are yeah. definitely do you know what i've just noticed i've missed a little bit of trellis and that will bug me even though i probably know i might cover it up so we'll just add a bit of gray in there okay but that's just show goes to prove how much detail is in the card now i've got a lot of flowers here Okay, but they're all single ones, and I haven't put um, lots and lots of stamens in the centre, but the stamens work. They're just finishing off, and I know I'm covering up where I've coloured. That doesn't want to sit. Come on. Sit. There we go. But let me just move that out of the way, and then... Yeah, so I know I've just taken all my time to colour, and that would just look pretty just with the trellis on its own, but just adding these flowers is really going to bring that to life. 
And if you're gifting this to someone, I mean, they must look at that and think, you know, you've really taken some care and attention over that. They're going to really it appreciate is, your time. I don't know anyone that doesn't appreciate a card with handmade flowers on. No. I mean, just look at them. They look so realistic. I'm just going to stop with the pink ones because I've got some tiny ones and all I've done is use some flower soft in the centre of these ones. Okay. I'm not going to put too many, I'm just going to do it slightly different than the one that we just looked at at the back. Just putting the pink and the purple together and I haven't got any leaves done for this one so it's going to look slightly different as well but I think it's really nice as well because when you're making a card but you want to replicate it but doing it slightly different but using the same kind of layout just put that one in there and if you've got any of that fine florist way you could make those little tendrils and tuck you in could, as well couldn't you? yeah as i say there's so much you can do with it and then just add that sentiment at the top and then we'll put a couple of flowers up there as oh well. one of those flowers just on a place name as well on the table would look pretty, yeah. wouldn't it? As I say, weddings. I can yeah. see this Your being used for weddings. Or you could do, you could have a, maybe a, a glass vase or one of those sort of fishbowl type ones would look really nice and have the clematis all climbed yes. up the side of the glass. Oh, you could and just some um, see fairy that. lights in it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, look look at how. That is beautiful. I've got that put together. So slightly Gorgeous. different to the one we just looked at. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Well, over three quarters of the whole collection is now gone. Well, the whole stock of the collection, I should say. Not your collection. If you're buying it, you get everything that's in front of me here because that includes that paper pad. You can see you've got all those different designs in there. You've got two sheets of everything. Is it four, 24 different designs and two sheets of each and it's 48? It is. Yeah. Um, it's 12 designs, two of each, 24 but sheets. The double but it's sided, double -sided. Aren't they? So it's kind of, yeah, yeah. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then. I've got to remind you about the essentials again because the first two, so that's the stamp set at the bottom and also the die there, along with that paper pad is your essentials collection. That's the one with the £5 savings. So if you're going for that, that's what you're going to get. But that £5 saving, if you're going for the I want it all, is carried over. That's where we find that extra saving there. Let's have a look at the details again for the big collection because this is where most of you are spending your money. Not only are you going to get what I've just mentioned there, but you're going to get everything else as well. So if you count it up there are 10 different dies there are 10 different stamps and we're not talking minuscule dies and stamps here. we're talking really good size really fabulous and the fact that the packaging that you can keep everything in there as well and um, store it all beautifully you're getting the bag included but of course you're also getting that all-important flower shaping mold which does make such a difference those savings carried over that five pound there we will give you that as a freedom member 38.89 extra on top of that as you're saving and the flexi buy over three payments for you all under item number 436367 now i've mentioned storage and you do get the storage panels with those stamps but have you seen the storage folders themselves i know we've been busy on these actually lots of you collect these uh, these are just wonderful let me just open this up so you can see it properly there is a magnetic clasp in fact there's two in there they're kind of hidden away but it holds everything beautifully you can see you've got your your d rings in there as well now these will house not only your stamps but also your dies as well if you've got the appropriate panels and you can go for one of these for each collection you can store other things in if you want you get the carry handle as Nikki said earlier on today you know hopefully classes will start again soon you'll be able to take these along the fact that you've got that magnetic class means that that's not going to flop open nothing's going to fall out but they look so pretty from every which way you've got the back you've got the spine you've got the front and you've got the other side as well. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? And you've probably already got, if you've been collecting, the flowers that you can see represented on the storage as well. So everything's in keeping. 374-418 is the item number. And you can have as many of those as you want while ever we've got the stock, of course. Nikki, back to you. We've got right. time for another demo just as we can. Just to please you. Oh, can you, see you what found I've a turned? little bird. I found this three oh, on there. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I knew I'd got some somewhere. I 
So you can tell me that natural off. sort of blush on the, the tummies. Have you put that on separate? Is that that's done with the dauber. Is it? But you have got Doesn't them in the paper pad, don't forget. Oh, so, so you've stamped those and coloured them yourself? and coloured them. I thought you'd taken those yeah. from the paper pad. No, that's just done beautiful. with the daubers. Oh, you've been so, yeah, day. So I've finished that one off. And now I'm going to show you a different centre. So if you missed the earlier show, obviously this looks pretty. Yeah, it, it looks, looks nice, doesn't pretty. it? But let's make a centre. So I've got a strip of yellow card. And I did say earlier, I would probably be inclined to use some something like some nail scissors or some, uh, what do you call the scissors that you use for fussy cutting out? They've got a name. Oh, like the squizzer ones? Yeah. Or some, There's tweezery type scissors. You think of Just it? go along. Just you try not fine, to go down. Oh, the fine scissors, because you're really using sort of a quilling technique, aren't you? Yeah. Then? That's what it basically... And don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so start again, but I will use that bit because I can, can add it on. reattach that. <laughs> I can reattach it. So you don't want to go all the way down. Just go... And I'm literally just going basically, I think, the width of my scissor blades. So I'm literally... Just try not to go down <laughs> too far this time. <laughs> Just cut it along. When I first did it, I think when I, f I thought, right, I know what I'm going to do. I think I did it about four attempts, and I thought, come on, Nikki, there's got to be. <laughs> but as I say, most of my craft stuff's actually packed away. So I used to do stainless like this with air dry clay, and that was great because oh, if you cut yeah. too far, you could just stick it back together easily. You didn't need any glue, just the clay. I'm just going to keep going for a second. There we go. That will do. And then I'm going to take my flower shaping kit, and I'm taking the flower curling part. Okay. So because it's magnetic, I can just take that end out and pop that end in. Really easy and quick, wasn't Very it? Very quick. And then... I can take. Of course, in the box as well, you've then, got the storage compartment to hold all those interchangeable heads. Yeah, so you can see exactly no what you've got. No excuse for losing any. Make sure you put. And them what back. I found is, if you keep it on your tool, like that, because it is quite fiddly, especially if you've got nails on. Just add your little bit of glue, just a tiny little bit. I'm not even squeezing the glue gun. And just wrap that round and there you've got a center not finished yet though I've got some um, some of the smaller pearls that I've put together I'm gonna pop them in and then just trim that and add some glue so that doesn't fall out and just go around it a little bit just to hold yeah. it all together and then once that's all done on the end of the other end, I've got my um, piercing tool. And you can just pull that out. Use the side of your piercing tool as well. You can use your nails if you're lucky enough to have long nails. Uh, definitely the piercing tool for me then. I can't keep my, look I at can't that. Look. my nails. They just snap off constantly. Yeah, I don't do growing nails it's much easier to stick them on and then I'm just going to add that to the center of my flower once that's in then you can have a little bit more um, play with that paper and just pull it out a little bit more look yeah I like it when you open out the stamens and then it makes open it look more realistic out. you can do them longer you can do them shorter just to give it a different look but just look at that. That is so pretty. Do you know, on the petals on the clematis, you've got that natural crinkle on the edge, which is accentuated by the moulding yeah. tool as well. As I say, the moulds do most of the work for that me. That's pretty. That would look lovely in your hair. Oh, thank you. It would. Yeah. You yes, could make you hair could. accessories, especially with the foam. We've not even mm. mentioned it yet. Don't forget, we have got other items as well. We don't get time to show absolutely everything. So do check out the website. Uh, 
big collection. This is where most of you are spending your money and why wouldn't you? It is the I Want It All collection. The fact that we've got the Flexi for you, the fact that we've got amazing savings, especially as Freedom members. Do consider joining if you're not already a member. If you're buying the collection because you will still make further savings, just give it a go for a month. You can always opt out afterwards. We're looking at all the different dies, the different stamps. Everything corresponds. You can see the top row, we've got the dies. The bottom row, we've got the stamps. We have, of course, we've seen the paper pad with Nikki being used throughout and we had a good look through that at the beginning of the show and we've also got that all important flower shaping mold which you can do multiple flowers and leaves in one pass absolutely gorgeous well we're almost at the end of another show aren't we uh nick is back at four o'clock for one final hour and just as i'm saying goodbye i'm going to bring in one two more of the samples again oh that little bird's there again look i just love yeah, the birds i've I'm so in love like with these flowers. One. It's the I, colours. I that's that's beautiful, so me it? for those colours. Absolutely beautiful. They're all stunning. Look at that. That could almost be my little cottage where I live. Not quite, but we're getting there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need an arch like that, though. Do you know, I've got an arch in my garden that's not <laughs> erected yet. I need to do that and grow, grow clematis up it, like the you bird do. table. Yeah. There Maybe I need to make them out of paper. Maybe I need to go for the collection first of all. 436-367 is the number. Check those baskets out. Don't miss out. Over three quarters of the stock has now gone. Now my head's at home, you see, decorating the arch. Oh, I shouldn't do these shows. It sets me <laughs> off. Uh, Nikki, thank you so, thank so much. You. Another it's lovely been hour. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, good luck at four o'clock. Thank you One very much. More final. Any idea what you're going to be doing? Making clematis flowers. Amazing. I have no idea. It's nothing gods. better than that. Stay yeah. with us for more shows this afternoon, of course, and see Nikki back up for the menus coming up. Yes, the ladies part lizards here. It's chocolate baroque. Stamp your no idea. Craft individuals counting down, I think that is. And Leo of London Fabrics. Oh, they're gorgeous as well. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, 
purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Yes, indeed. A very good afternoon to you. It's time to strut your punky stuff. Yes, indeed. Look at all of these beautiful finished samples from the amazing design team that do so well at bringing them to you. Obviously, I can't show them all. I physically don't have the time in the hour to bring them all to you. But just look at what you can do when you get these home. It's all about the cogs. It's all about the gears. You can go steampunk or you can go sort of Victorian era with these I sort of feel with this there is so much you can do when you get these home you've also got the beautiful sentiments in there as well like everyone loves a finger me bob everyone loves a finger me bob or uge me flip one of those uh, love art you can be creating all of these when you get home from the big name of chocolate baroque is what we are looking at for this one but what we're currently looking at at the moment is a brand new set. Once again, it's a new bundle bought to you today. Now, once again, they are all mounted stamps is what we are looking at. They are all mounted. Now, we all know with Chocolate Brock, you can go mounted or unmounted. Uh, all of you always go for the mounted stamp. So that's why we've bought you the mounted in the bundle. If you want them unmounted, you can get them individually on the website. But you are looking at a big A4 stamp in there as well with so many different elements that run all the way through it. And I'm not alone. I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's meant to be your aggression for punishment, <laughs> aren't they? Well, I need to work on these intros. Uh, and Leslie's here as well from Chocolate Barat. Hi, good afternoon um, again. <laughs> what a collection this is again. Yeah, it is, it's a different one again. But, it, but when you say steampunk, people tend to think, oh, grungy, sort of scruffy, dirty kind of things. This is nothing like that. It's quirky and it's got the steampunk element, but you can make it as grungy or as bright, colourful and... I don't mean pretty, but do you know what I mean? But no, it, it, they, the minute you say, because the minute anyone says steampunk, you go, oh, it's all like Victorians, chimney sweeps, black, dark colours, dark greys, things like that. It's black. But it doesn't have to be no. if you don't want it. Look at the colours uh, that we've got some here. I'll show you some of these. Um, otherwise, I'll get shot. So, uh, look <laughs> no, at all won't. the beautiful uh, samples that we've got here. There are so, so many. And this is a testament of a decent stamp set. You always know when you get a nice stamp set from the amount of samples that you've got. And look how different every single one is. From literally, from the beautiful plane, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, you can go plain and simple if yep. you wanted to. Yep. You can then work your way up to cards like this. How beautiful are these? They are absolutely stunning and you can be doing this too. For t and it's on Flexi. It's on flexible payments of two, uh, two, two flexible payments. How it's, uh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting and excited. I've just, I've just uh, seen the saving on the screen. And that's 22 Sorry. quid. Isn't that, what would the A4, out of curiosity now, what would the A4 alone cost If me? you were to buy the A4, which is on its own today, okay. if you want to buy the mounted A4 on the show today, it's twenty one ninety nine. Oh my word. So you're saving for twenty one ninety. dollars so basically we're getting the large A4 for free? Yeah. So you're getting the A4 for that. free in that saving. So each of these A5s are costing you seventeen ninety nine in theory. That's what we're paying for here. Which is what you would normally pay for them, but you're getting the big one as well. But you're getting the big one thrown in. This is a deal and a half. Now, give me some of your time, because uh, we'll see. I know to look at it, you go, well, I don't really know what I'd do with those. I've showed you some samples. I've got loads more to show you as well. Uh, 638130 is your item number. 20% uh, of the stock <laughs> already gone here. Um, there's loads more you can do with this as well. Loads more you can do now. These, the next about four things I'm about to show you, once they've gone, they've gone. 20% of the stock has already gone here already. Um, what are these, Leslie? Tell me what these they are. These are uh, high quality inks. Sorry to chip in, Leslie. 40% of the stock has already okay, gone they are here already. They're high quality inks. Do if anybody knows the inks, these are called Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay India inks. These are true mm -hmm. fine art inks. 50% of the stock okay, already you've gone. You've got a sepia, you've got a black, and you've got a white like you'll never believe. Because oh, a lot of whites beautiful. fade into paper. You saw me do the white with a stamp this morning. 
that's how good it is. You saw me doing the white over the ammonite, over already colours. It goes amazing. You can paint onto pa you know, paper, card. Uh, I'm going to be doing it onto MDF if I get around to it. 55% of the stocks now already gone. These are flying out the door. It's, it's got its own These bulb in its dropper, in the, in the actual rubber dropper, in the lid that's built in. Okay. And all you need to do is to gently do that with them to wake them up. Don't give them loads of bubbles. Uh, just to mix the colour because they are an ink that's kind of got a, a, a dye, but a, it's a pigment, but it's got like a grain in it. 60% of the stock's okay. already gone. And it's, they are just, fat, you can wash with them, but what, what the beautiful thing about it is once they're dry, they are literally, they're waterproof, they are light, fruit, light fast proof. So if you did them on home deco, they won't fade, easy for me to say. <laughs> yes. oh. Uh, they're just... Oh, so they won't fade it, so they're going to say... So this one here is using the sepia and the white. This yeah. is from the small And a little bit beautiful. goes such a long way because so they're actually thicker than the normal oh, ink. If you put it... If I were to drop some... Look, I'm going to just drop some on here so you can see. Literally, a little is going to go an awful so there's long the bulb way. This, there's the, the dropper, look. Oh, we're on the overhead. Now, you know how an ink... Look at that. It stands in a pool like that, look. Oh, yeah. It's thicker. It doesn't... It's, that's not spreading out. No, it's... it's a, it's worth getting hold of, 15 pounds, add, 97 pence. You can add water to it and make it a wash. It's just the most incredible stuff. Um, I wish I could have brought more. Ah, we're limited stock there, Leslie. We're limited stock. <laughs> limited stock already. We're green on screen. Uh, we knew they were going to go. <laughs> we knew they were going to go. We said we said this this morning. Um, and once they've gone, they're technically sold out. Well done. If any bounce back, I will let you know. Uh, technical sellout for that one. Something else, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, and a third of the stock has already gone is a crackle. Um, now, this is amazing, amazing stuff. You also get the brush included as well yes, in the kit. Yes, and that is one of our new brushes that go, these are the big wash brushes, which are the same family as oh. our smaller ones we had on this morning. They're so soft. Yeah, but sometimes you need a wide brush, to, when you, especially if you're doing crackle and furniture and home deco stuff, you need a wider brush. Oh. And that is just, it's such a wonderful brush for um, doing this sort of thing. What we forgot to do, Leslie, because we were gossiping before we came on air, is tell our producer what we're actually about to do. Yes. So, uh, £13.49 on this one, and our director. Um, Leslie's going to apply this now, because this needs time to dry, okay? I don't know if that works out the cameras, all right. Um, but Leslie needs the, the, the crackle to dry. So, uh, talk me around the crackle, Leslie. So, right. you've painted your MDF I've first. already painted one of our MDF DL pieces with a grey acrylic. Plain matte grey acrylic. Okay. okay. So this is, it's a wide top. This is, this normally on its own, if you try and buy this, ten ninety nine on its own a pot. Okay. And then you get the brush as well. Now look at that. And the point of this, the beauty about this is, look, dip it in there. And I can do almost a whole with one go. So we've got a point paint. Then we put our crackle on. Now can we force dry crackle or do we let it dry no, naturally? No, we'll let it dry naturally. So we let this dry so naturally. So you actually want a thin coat. You don't want to make... This is not the bit that you make thick. This is just a thin, even coat that I'm... And, of course, with a big brush, you see, you get that lovely sweep. Look. That's a nice sweep. Just, I'm just seeing the thing. Yeah, that's all covered. Take it off there just so it doesn't stick. And that just needs to dry. Okay, so we'll let that dry. We'll be back to that later. Once that's dry, we can put the... So you go paint, crackle, then you put your paint on top. Uh, but to get hold of your crackle, this is a medium uh, crackle, is what we're going to be using here. It's an amazing little pot. How, many, how much has already gone? Already over half the stock. Over half the stock. Once this is gone, it is gone. It's another one of those items. Once it's gone, it has gone. £13.49. A saving of £3.50. 293752 is your item number. Two thirds of the stock has already gone for your crackle. It's going to be one of these shows, I feel. Once again, it's going to be on three quarters of the stock now has already gone. And we have a vast amount of stock. I really do. 80% now of the stock has already <laughs> gone. If I stand here, it's now limited stock. I know, I'm just going to stand here till it sells out. I'm not moving on because I don't have to come back to it. So, uh, single figures is what I'm down to now. 293752 is your item number. <laughs> £13.49. It's limited start. We're green on screen, which means you are keen. Uh, we've got less than five left, which means we've got four. Uh, we've got less than five left is what we've got. And it's technically sold out. Uh, and it has got... Sold. Uh, there you go. The it has now all gone. There's <laughs> both things already gone. They'll be moving next time we come down. We will bring the brush back again, but we won't get crack that crackle again at that price, I'm afraid. So the crackle won't be back. The brush, you're in for a treat. It's coming back. The crackle, 
it won't be coming back for a while. Uh, something else that price. <laughs> that's once it's gone, it's gone. So I'd get in quick now. It works out to be like fastest fingers first in this place. Is your paper collection now? Your paper collection, this is a beautiful set of papers. Now, give me the backstory because we've seen these papers before, haven't yeah, these we? These are designer papers. I designed all of these, okay? And we brought them out as a paper pack in their own right. So the one you're seeing on the screen now was called Chic Script. There's 12 sheets of that, four different designs, main designs, and then each one has got a colour coordinate and a strip and then a plain colour. So if you wonder what colour is going to go with that, if you have a problem with colours, all the black, black, what I call the block colour has been picked out for you. Okay, so there's one each of those. So the, the full collection set is 12. There was 36, but the 12 makes up like the full design set. Yeah. So everybody is going to get one full set of that. So you'll all get a full set of those. Then this is where the contents will vary all yes. coming because you will either get a blues or a pink. Now, either or, you're not going to be disappointed. These are stunning. So these are the pinks. They're, they're the blues. These are the blues. Yeah, I knew they're I'd the blues. Wrong. Yeah. Uh, so these are the blues that we're looking They've at They've got now. pinks in them, but they're more of a blue hue if you put them together than the others. They so are... you get the plain one, and you get the one that's already got butterfly or some other attraction on it. So that one has got that beautiful, it looks like clouds. And then you've then got the you plain, get the plain version. Look, so you, get the, you get the one with the work on, yes. and then you get the plain one in, in there as well. Plain. So you'll either get this set, yeah. or you will get the pink set, which is this set that I've got here. Uh, now, obviously, you will get the first set that I've just shown you. Everyone's going to get them, but these are the ones that will change, okay? So you will either get... So you see uh, why they're more pinks and reds, blues though? And it's sort of like a late-night sky, like the sunsets yeah. we've been having lately. Yeah. You've been watching Spring Watch. Uh, love these. Absolutely love. Not only do you get them, though, oh, you don't just get a set of papers. You get a book. This is amazing. This is a beautiful, beautiful journal. Now, the pages in this seem really, really thick. Yeah. They're 170 GSM cartridge, the cartridge paper. So it's cartridge paper. Cartridge paper. 46 pages, so that's 92 sides. It's case bound, completely made in Britain. Uh, and it's, you know, all done here in this country. And it's case bound, so it's a proper solid it's journal. Proper, and the beauty, yeah. it's 19, the pages are 19 centimetres square. And the papers are 20 centimetres square. Oh, so these are going to fit on, if you wanted to fit them on, you can stick your pages onto. Yeah. Uh, there is your book all ready to yeah. go. You cannot go wrong. Absolutely amazing. Uh, three quarters of the stock has already gone. <laughs> for a loan, just for the book. Yeah. Just for the book yeah. alone, and I would be getting this for. The reason why it is limited is because once these papers are gone in this particular, that, that's it, they're gone. They've already been discontinued. They're not, there's been no reprints oh, so anymore. So this is a case of once they've it. gone, it's gone. Yes, there's no more of those. They are now become kind of... Limited can't, stock. Can't that's what they've become. Limited <laughs> stock. That's where we are now. Technically oh, sold gosh. out. Um, another one to get off the counter Shall when we disappear. Shall we sing and dance? Um, you'll be... Uh, oh, this is, this is going to work. Now, we saw these in the previous show. Now, yours will be clear. Mine's got a little film on uh, because they are acrylic. These are your circle acrylic blocks we're looking at at the moment. Uh, you're getting a set of four, but you even go down to the smallest of the dinkiest of sizes. Yeah. Even those small stamps that are normally a big acrylic box too chunky and you want to just put little delicate flowers on. You've got everything runs in here. Now, as I said, there is a little film on them on both sides because it is acrylic. Uh, you just simply peel that off. Are these limited stock as well? Not just yet, but they're, go they're going that way. Uh, uh, and nine they're just pence so lovely in your hand. They're so comfortable. And 99 pence. Uh, these are beautiful. I've never really seen circular ones before, but you can really get in. And they've still got that little bit of flexibility. Yes, you can't they see have. what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, but they've got that little bit of flexibility. Once you've got your stamp on there, they are going to bend, but you know you're not going to snap them. But sometimes, if you've got something that you prefer a circular, because sometimes it doesn't work on a rectangular or a square block. No, it's true. And especially the link, you saw me this morning using them. I could line up several stamps on these little ones and have them just ready to go. It is well, it's also nice as well if you're doing curves. Yeah. It's, I know it's, you can, it's, I find, maybe it's just me, I find it hard doing curves on a square block. Yeah. For the sheer fact, you can't really work out where it goes. With this, you've got that perfect circle every single especially time. Especially if you're wanting to do something like this one. Yeah, cards like this. And I just, sorry folks, I'm, I'm going off piece here. I, I am sorry. That one quarter of that is on the actual steampunk butterfly. That's nice. And you use this circular block and you would be able to do, or you might use a stamping platform, it depends what you've got. But that, that is just one quarter and Tracy 
has matched it all up and made. It is nice. You need the blocks as well, though. You get any, uh, the size are 11, 8, 5, and 3.5 and centimetres is what we're looking at for £9.99. 063668 is your item number for this one. Uh, then we've got your make your marks. We saw this earlier. It was very, very busy earlier. I asked for it to be put back on uh, this show as well. We had a few messages going, will it be on the latest show? Because you said it's a different counter. We've put it back on this show because you can now do uh, things like these. How beautiful is that? That's from our Barbara, from our Babs. Not grey, the other one. Uh, 14 pounds, that's nice. They're just using the matey marks uh, that you've got there. Also using the smaller and the butterflies that we're getting in this set as well. How nice is that? But all of the, the background has been done using some of the matey marks. So there's one there that looks like a lightning bolt, uh, you know, that's what it, which was used this morning. The when one of the ships, somebody used it. One of the girls like used it like bolt. a lightning bolt on the, in the sky. It's worth having a little look at. £14.99. 627185 is your item number for your make your mark that you are looking at. Then last but no means least, now we saw this, Leslie using this this morning. This is our Zingy card pack uh, that we're talking about here. Uh, this is beautiful, beautiful card stock. Uh, beautiful colours as well. You're getting 60 sheets in total is what you are getting. Look at the colourways uh, that you are getting here. Absolutely stunning. From the brightest of oranges to the leafiest of greens that you've got in there. Also, so you saw, oh, look at that little cheeky one popped in. Uh, sort of the mint that you've got in there as well. Then you've got the two blues for the sky. Then obviously you've got your standard black and your white for your mats and your layers. It's worth having a look at this. 60 sheets for 12.99. It's worth having a go. 874330 is your item number on this one. £12.99, 60 sheets, and they vary between 160 and 300 GSM. Uh, 874330 is your item number. You know what? The quickest and the easiest thing to do? Jump to the website. You'll see everything on the website for you. You'll see all our bundle on there as well, our brand new configuration of the bundles. You'll see all the stamps individually as well. Maybe you want to go unmounted. Maybe you're an unmounted sign about, uh, sort of crafter. You can do that as well because they are on there, but they are not in a bundle because the majority of people go for the mounted stamps. Uh, be careful though because things have sold out. The crackle has already gone. Uh, the inks have already gone. Uh, we knew the crackle was going to go. We've still got a demo or not. We're not even demoing it. Uh, we've got the acrylic blocks uh, to use as well. Uh, and you've got your make your marks mounted or unmounted. And then we've got your cardstock as well. Your zingy pack of cards. 160 to 300 GSM with 60 sheets in total. Worth having a little look at right then. Whew. I've got stitch. Using the stamps. Oh, excuse me. From the um, Punky Romance. Okay. The big, 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 big set. Let's do it so, then. So, <clears throat> I'm going to first stain my background uh, with the inks. If we don't have inks, because they've sold out, what else could we use? You could use uh, other inks. So, you could use um, one of your dye based inks. You could have used your uh, pigment ink if you wanted to. Uh, you could put paper on if you wanted to. Okay. You know, you can cover this with all... It's even like raw. I mean, it's even good, you know, as it is. Just as it are. You mm. know, you don't have to... Uh, I'm just thinking, obviously, because these have now sold out. Yeah. But yes, um, you could use, uh, so I'm just going to. So remember, if you want to get these stamps as well, the stamps are what we're talking yeah. about, £35.95. We're approaching half the stock of the stamps, already gone. And we've got a flexi, £17. So, now I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use um, my, um, because these are also kind of a stain, I wouldn't use the new brushes that we had on this morning. Okay. Um, again, and, and not use them for something like um, acrylic paint. As I said, they are fine brushes, more for you know your washes and your watercolours and stuff. Um, so I'm just staining this, and it doesn't take long to dry. And then I'm going to show you how you can use your ink pads to create some really good effects with the stamps. So there we go. So if you've bought that, there you go, you can see. Right, just force dry it. Yes, I shouldn't base my demos around things that are good. <laughs> you no, something? But you never thing. know, do you? you? You know, thank you if you've bought it. You won't be disappointed with any of it, I have to say. It's, uh... So this um, Punky Romance, there's so many different things on here. You've got like a, almost like a thistle head with a clock in the center. 
Yeah, I love that. I think that, and you've also got like little wings in here yeah, as well. Yeah, you've got that lovely clocks and cogs together, which make a fantastic background stamp to stamp over papers and things. I you love, know? I love the little clocks that you've got in there. Then you've got these flowers in there as well. Then you've got the beautiful pocket watch. Yes. Um, and and theory, you've, if you're going for the yeah. bundle, this is free. This is got, like a giveaway. Yeah, it is. You've got the heart with wings and mounted as well. And it's mounted. I must admit, I saw that and I nearly fell over. Uh, and then you've got this very interesting one at the bottom, like which is one. this almost like a part of an engine, but with butterflies on it. Oh, I think that would be nice on an envelope, oh, which I've got somewhere. Let me... Um, here it is. I think well, there are some envelopes. Huh? Oh, yes, that's... Uh, yes. While, we, while you dry... Yes, I won't be let long. Let me quickly show done. you this. Uh, who's this by? This by our Tracy. Tracy. Uh, this is using the stamps that you've got there as well. Uh, so you've got the cards on the inside. So you've got all the little cards that you've got here. So they're absolutely beautiful, uh, the cards are. But then our Trace has also done the envelopes as well. So now you've got all the envelopes in there that match beautifully in. Uh, beautiful work, um, absolutely stunning. And there is so much you can do, and it's all down to your own taste in it. You can make it as punky as you want to make it. Yeah, you can make it as pretty as you want to make it. You know, Very it true. really is. As you say, it's down to yourself what you want to do. Right, and what you're up to. Right. So that big, if you bought the big blocks today, well, I think we still have, might have, still have some of the big blocks left. Okay. But there's the big, that makes a fantastic background stamp, this. It's, uh, really this would be nice in your sort of like Versa Magic and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use the Versa Claire as well. Because it's oil based, it'll cling okay. to that MDF and the inks. Look at this. So, and it's kind of. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut the flowers off, you know. No, I like one there, part of the cogs. I quite like the idea of having like the sort of like the pretty with the kind of a bit more. In, oops. Something's fainted. I don't think we ever we ever talk about it. How do you cut? Obviously, because the stamps all come together. What do we use to cut them? Is it a knife? Is it a pair of scissors? Pair do you go scissors. in at an angle? Good pair of sharp scissors. Okay. Okay. You cut straight on. Never cut under like that, sort of at an angle. Either way, either an acute or an obtuse angle, because what you're doing is you're undercutting the stamp and undercutting the mount. Okay. So straight on, and I cut as you can see quite close. If you make a mistake, you can always just wipe away the excess. I've just over enthusiastic there. But I cut quite close. If you're not sure, if you only, if you cut, you know, three millimetres around the outside, it won't affect because you can always just take a damp cloth and just take Not off any excess yet. ink. Makes sense. Um, and you can cut into the shape, so sometimes it can be a good guide to know where the top... So, for instance, with the heart look, I actually cut the heart shape, so I know on that one... You know that's the top. There it is. Okay. Makes sense. But very good question. Now, I, it's something we never really cover. Like, no. I, cause I never, I don't cut mine because I'm scared to cut them. Yeah, you know. Um, but it's, it's sometimes, well, do you cut it with a knife? Do you have to cut it with a yeah. scalpel, something no, like that? No, no, you're better with scissors. Fabulous. Okay. Oh, right. Nice. So uh, there we go. So, like, okay. So I'm, I'm going to use this for a background. So I'm, I don't want to press on too hardy because I'm going to stamp over the top of this. So I, I kind of want it to be in the background, not the focal point. But look how close that is. Can you, can you, sorry, is that a bit dark? Yeah, now we can see it. There you go. That's look. nice. And I'm going to go for a second generation. So I'm not going to re-ink. I'm going to do that. And as I say, I'm not pressing on too light, too heavily. There you go. Look. So that's my background. Done. Again, quick dry. Because it's an oil based, it does take a bit longer to dry. As you found out this morning, with uh, you've been doing oil based versus. Yeah, well, I've, I've learned so much this morning. Yeah. About inks. So, there we go. Right, so now I'm going to move that one. And I'm going to take this lovely one, as I say, which is the. with the clocks, the. Uh, what I call the dandelion head with a clock in the centre. Oh, okay. Okay. And again, I'm going to use the Claire. And this is only one set. We've only used two stamps so far. And this is from the A4 set. There's another uh, two stamp sets uh, in there. You've got your two A5. Yeah, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 on this one alone. And th they're all good size stamps. Yeah, if you can there's one or two workers in it, but the majority of them are decent size stamps. There's 44 images all in all. And then you obviously, there's 44, including your sentiments as well. Right. So. It's a nice little sentiment. Right. A penny farthing for your thoughts. <laughs> oh, 
I love them. Be adventurous, dream, travel, uh, imagine. You've got afternoonified as well. Afternoonified, which, Leslie tells me, is a real word in the Victorian era. Yeah. She was there, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> you and Phil Martin. What did Phil do to deserve that? Uh, bless him. When he's not here, I can take the beer. When he's here, he scares me. Right. Right. Well, you can't see what I've done on there, but I've, I've got one I finished earlier, but I'm going to try in there because I am kind of rushing this a bit. But you always have to clean your stamps as well, do you find? Yes. You don't have to because sometimes if you use stays on, unless you use a stays on cleaner, which could be a bit abrasive on stamps, okay. it doesn't affect the image. But, you know, if you like to... The one thing that you do have to do, if you've used Distress Oxides... On your stamps, they leave and Versa Magic uh, ones. Yeah. They leave a slight film. Okay. Because of the base of them, and then it makes your next stamps not stamp as clear and they look a bit chalky. Because it's got its residue coming over from yeah. that. Makes sense. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm now actually going to well, I'm going to use the love. I love this love because it's made up of cons of. Um, like cogs and stuff as well. It is. It, it, there, it's and like little screws set. and nuts. And it's uh, it's all to, the, the, the font is actually distressed itself. It's so. Absolutely beautiful. It's it sort of reminds me if you've ever seen the West End show Wicked. It's sort of the opening scenes of that. Yes. Or the Wizard of Oz. That sort of you yeah. Know, like yeah. When they go after the when they're in the Emerald City. Yeah. The cogs and the gears. So so don't worry if you think oh but my ink hasn't covered all that. It's because where it's been distressed, that's actually made up a series of dots. Ah. And not solid rubber to give it that effect. Give it the effect. I like this effect. Right, so that goes there. I suppose because they're gears and cogs and things, the circled um, templates would be really good for this. Yes, yeah, I mean, the this, you know, this, yeah, these, you know, that, for example, there, look. Straight yeah, you away. See, straight on, and you know what you're going to do with it. Yeah. And your, and your pocket watch fits beautifully on the bigger one and, and it's just thing, it, it's really something well. cool to handle right there's the word love which you can't actually see very well at the moment all will become she says hopefully clear in a minute well i trust you i trust you oh thank you <laughs> right so now i'm going to take my distress oxide i'm actually just going to give that a quick waft again because this works if the inks underneath are dry Get that off there. The details on the screen for this circle acrylic blocks. Remember, you get a set of four, 11, uh, 8, and 5, and a 3.5 centimetre as well for £9.99. pence. Right, I'm going to actually now, she says, hopefully. Is that dry? I'm still a bit tacky. Just bear with me a minute. So. Uh, the stamps, 60% oh my goodness, of your stamps wow. of the bundle Thank you, everybody, now is already so gone. 60% of the mounted bundle has now gone. £35.97. We're, £35 we're always so grateful for everybody, you know, supporting her channel and supporting us. It's what? just... Oh, sorry. Craft store. Bzzz. Well, we were doing so well. We were doing so well. <laughs> That's the naughty step for me. <laughs> so well. We'll see you back in three months. <laughs> And flexi pay on this as well, which is yeah. amazing. So that's, and if you want to make sure, yeah, that's dry. It's also warm, so just let it cool down a little bit and get it to, right. So I'm now going to use the same stamps, but I'm using a distress oxide, and it's important that you use an oxide because okay. oxides work differently to the dis normal dye inks. Normal dye inks. Um, just soak into card or you can paint with them etc with the oxides they're a, they're a hybrid so they're mm -hmm. sort of a cross between a pigment and a dye and they do oxide with water but they also leave that chalky finish hence the reason I say clean your stamps off you in between that? and brushes as well or rollers or brayers or if you bray or anything you will leave that kind of film behind as soon as it meets water okay so this is peacock feathers And this is where I 
You should be able to get, she says. I've done this several times, it's worked every time, but not live on TV. Well, this is gonna be this is gonna be the <laughs> test. So do we hold it on this as well to let it absorb in once again, like the same yeah. as we would with paper and cardstock? Yeah, especially because you've got an oil-based ink underneath. And what happens is the oxide should cling to the oil. Okay. Should. I like that. Emphasis on the word. So sure. can we just wait till I do the, the love one as well? So, um, and then you can see the full effect. Of course we can. So it has worked. So I'll just do the love one next. Yeah. So the actual, you know, oil and water and that kind of thing. Yeah, they don't make. So to get this full effect. Details on the screen at the moment are for the big collection. Very busy for that collection as well. Uh, £17.99 across two flexible payments uh, is what you're looking at for this one at the moment. With a £22 saving, uh, £22 saving, which means you're getting that A4 for free, which means it's £17.99 for this one and £17.99 for this one is what you're looking at. And if you're buying for Flexi, you're paying for one A5 today and one A5 in a month's time. But the best thing about Flexi, I'll send it all to you straight away. There's no waiting for this. So two flexible payments of £17.99, pence, six, three, eight, one, three, zero is your item number worth having a little look if I was you. Very busy. When I have stamped this to get this effect, I've actually moved the stamp slightly to one side and up a bit. Okay. It has. And there you get, can you see that? Look at that. You've got the shadow, shadow effect. That's nice. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. And that's because the oxide is clinging to the oil base underneath. So you see you've got a shadow there. Oh, turn it the right way around, Leslie. Yeah, yeah. you can see the, uh, the shadow yeah. at the top of the, L, uh, the V's and the L's and the E's. And as you said, you thought it looked like leather, didn't you? It does. It lit genuinely looks like leather. I think that was the, and the then paints. I've and coloured, the literally, I've coloured a little bit of, um, of twine with... Um, String, you know, a bit of string with um, with the same dioxide, uh, and then you know, as easy as that. Look at that! And I think that is quite a nice gift for somebody, isn't that lovely? It really is, especially with Father's Day coming up as well. Worth having a little look at uh, these one right then. We'll give you a quick recap and we'll set up for another demonstration. Uh, right then, we are talking your two, three stamp sets is what you're looking at, but two thirds of the stock has already gone. We have so much of the stamps. Let's look at the stamps in closer details and I'll show you some samples uh, in a moment as well. Uh, look at these. So you've got your sort of, these are your steampunk butterflies that you've got there. You've got a large um, butterfly in the middle made up of cogs and your gears. Then you've got your, that stained glass window is beautiful. And that's the one that the card that Leslie showed you that you do a full sort of mandala uh, with it if you take it all the way around and stamp it another three times. Uh, then you go to your large A4 uh, that we've got on there. This is your punky romance. I love that love and I sort of love, I love that bottom one in the corner. There's something about it, then the pocket watches can be used for so many occasions, the hands of time, time of love, things like that. Then you've got the flowers with your clocks in, uh, then you've got your clocks and your gears, then you've got your heart with the wings. But you just cut that out and do, just use the cogs and the wings together, or use the wings on their own. And then you've got all your words. A little bit of sentiments in here, a penny, a penny farthing for your thoughts, these are your punky expressions. Um, I love them, I take my hat off to you. Dream it, create it. Take the time to, Eureka, breathe, make time, uh, travel. Old friends take a long time to grow. And it's so true. It's so, so true, especially with everything that's going on. I think people have really found out who their true friends were over lockdown. Um, for people that have got in contact and sent them little notelets and sent them little cards. And it's the little things uh, that you can do uh, to show them. Uh, samples that look like this. Barbara, again, very busy today, Barbara, you have been. Look at that. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I and is that just stamped? Like it's beautiful, isn't it? I think there's a bit of pencil work on this. Sorry, yeah. I was looking. Yes, she was using, we had them on the show last time. 
I've started to do colouring pencils, oh, just in greys and blacks. Oh, these are beautiful. Uh, look at some of these. These are absolutely uh, beautiful, beautiful samples uh, that we're looking at at the moment. And you can do so much with them. I'm whizzing through them because I'm running short of time. Uh, but you sort of get the gist. You can stop and pause whenever you want to see your sample. Uh, £17.99 across two flexible payments is what you're looking at. 638130 is your item number. Come with me, though because we've got the acrylic circles as well on the show. Uh, your half the stock of your acrylic circles now have all ready gone. 063668 is your item number for this one. £9.99 for all four sizes. You get size 11 centimetres, 8 centimetres, 5 centimetres and 3.5 centimetres as well. For your acrylic box, 063668 is your item number. Then we've got your Make Your Marks. Uh, I love these ones because there's so much you can do with the mind. You've got things like your bubble wrap and you've got your crack in there. But if you used this earlier, uh, we use this for lightning forks. Then you've got your circles. So imagine doing the butterflies in the circles that you've got or even going around with your archway. Uh, that you've got all the word love just going through the middle. Uh, there is so much that you can achieve. Cards that look a little bit like this. Once again, Barbara's. I think she's on royalty. Uh, then you get Andy's as well. That's nice using the, uh, the cracks in the background, using the butterflies, adding some embellishments of cogs and using the sentiments that you're getting in there as well. Uh, so much you can do with this when you get it home. 627185 is your item number 14.99. And then we've got your Zingy card stock as well. Now this is uh, it's more like a staple, I would say. You go from 300 to 160. GSM, what a memory. Uh, you've got there 60 sheets in total. Press yourself in. 60 sheets in total is what you're getting here. And it is a staple to your collection, isn't it? It's good for matching and layering. As you saw this morning, I used the darker blue to make an actual card, you know, card back. Yeah, this one. Yes. It die, as I said, die cuts beautifully. And you don't get that fibrous effect when you die cut with it. It cuts clean. It's really nice. It's beautiful stuff. And it also doesn't add weight to your card. And if you want to match, those colours will work beautifully with the papers in the journal. Yes, they would. You know, really, really well. If then you you've got our, our normal white stamping card, which is 300, super smooth, which you've seen again. I was stamping with that this morning. You yep. can paint on it, you can colour on it, you can pencil on it, etc. And then our true black, which is black, you tear it and it's black to the core. Black to the core, and that's what we like uh, for the sheer fact. You know, if you're going to die cut with them, you know they're going to be through and through and through. £12.99 is what you're looking at. Jump to the website, you'll find everything on there. Uh, all the stamps individually as well. If your budget will only stretch to individuals, uh, you've got all the stamps on there individually. So it's worth having a little look. And you've also got unmounted on the website as well. Uh, all the W's, the craftstore.com is what we're looking at for this one. Right then. Definitely Stop. the craft store. Definitely the craft store. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of the craft store, let's get back to Crafty Corner. Seamless link. Right. Uh, uh, for more. <laughs> Deborah, what are you up to this time? Well, I don't know. I'm allowed to finish this off or not. Let me ask. Because I'm going to be using crackle. other stamps with it. Okay, if you're going to fuse the stamps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go to the one that's dry, but I just want to show you this and then I can go to one that I've already done. So that's dry. It's okay. got to make sure it's dry. And don't force dry it with a hairdryer or a hairdryer. Well, a hairdryer or. A heat gun. And this is where it comes into its own. Pal has left me a heat gun. God bless her. Has she? I've never had one before. Oh. She left me one. You'll have fun Maybe. with that. So, quite a bit of paint on, and that'll become obvious in a minute why. Oh. Now with this, the thicker the paint, right, the bigger the cracks. Don't overwork it. Don't go backwards and forwards like that. Very gently kind of touch the paint. Caress. Yes. Caress the surface. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can see it going already, look. See, if it's starting here, look. It's already starting to crack. Well done if you got this crackle. It has now sold out. I've probably, do, I've probably gone a little bit mad there. I'll just put that to one side for the minute. But if you can see, it is already starting to. And I don't want to overwork it anymore. Can you see Look now how that. that is already starting to... Uh, it's already going. It's one of those things. It's kind of instant. Sometimes with crackle, you have to kind of sit and wait. Is it, will it, it won't it do it? And you kind of keep going back at it and looking at it and you've got a very fine vein in it. But this is just instant crackle and I'm doing nowhere good with this at all. 
Right. So the, will we be getting the cracker again at some point? Yeah, but it probably will be more, It probably won't be at this kind of deal. Oh. Uh, that's why I said it was a one-off because I got an extremely good deal on this, and uh, they only happen once in a flood. It's worth it. Well done. If you've got a look at that now, though, right? look at the crackles in that. Isn't that just amazing? And it'll keep on going. So once it's done its thing, I also want to explain something else as well. Okay. That's with a brush. Oh yeah. You can put it on with a sponge, oh. and if you put it on with a sponge, I don't know if you can. Um, we've got fantastic camera work. Can you see there, that's there, look, how fine that crackle is? Well done, Hannah. That's because it's been patted on with a sponge. Oh, so it's a fine Now, that was the crackle. black ink from the, the India ink. That sold out as well. Which sold out. And then I've put the um, crackle over the top, the glaze, the, the crackle medium, left it to dry, and I only wanted that bit. I didn't want to do it all, because I wanted kind of the contrasts. So I put it on with a sponge, and it's only done fine hairline cracks which if you want that effect, that's how you get like that effect. That. And I don't well. have to put anything else on here. About 48 hours, that'll gone off and it won't crack now. Okay, that's nice. You know. Good to know, though. Or well done if you got you it. Can get that effect, look. Look at that. It's like a weathered, like a weathered fence panel. Yeah. So, I'll use this one because this one's dry. I mean, that's okay. starting to dry, but the longer you leave it to dry, it will just keep on cracking and pulling away from the surface. And it's just this on um, home deco, you know, to do it on, say, That's the top of the... Like yeah, that. it's brilliant. Well, well done if you got it. It has now sold out. And we are literally right. just teasing you now. Right. Just teasing you. Well, I'm going to stop now because it's not fair. Right, Don't so this is one of the papers... Oh, God, they sold out as well, haven't they, the journal? They're the papers that are sold out as well, Leslie. You're doing well today. We're doing well. Right, We've please, can I stamp on them with a stamp, stamp from the stamp Steampunk Butterfly? Just stamp. That's all I've got left. This is just delicious because... All the cogs that make up this, the wheels and everything, it's just, as I say, Sue's brain, the way her mind worked, was just amazing. So, now this, I'm actually going to emboss. So I'm actually using the VersaFine itself. VersaFine Claire will emboss as well if it's wet enough. But I'm just doing the normal VersaFine here. So this would stamp on any of the papers. This would look lovely on some of that bright card. It stamps beautifully, yeah, it that card. Absolutely and then, gorgeous. And once again, very easy to cut out, I feel, yes. even though you've got the detail in there. Yeah. So, you know, pick wherever you want it to be. Let's put it across there this time. That is beautiful. I have got something else to show you as well, using the paper oh. and the card. It's sold out. I apparently appear to be covered in white acrylic paint because everything I'm touching at the moment is going white. Now, even on patterned paper, look at that. That's nice. Isn't that good? And then just to give it a bit more definition. Again, these are a nice weight to stamp on and to cut out. So if you've bought those, well done. I say you can create your own scrapbook, you can journal with them, whatever you like. The details of the stamps are currently on screen at the moment. £35, 97 pence, saving of £22. And remember, there's two flexible payments on this as well of £17.99. pence. Uh, we are approaching 80%. Will it be the stock or will it be the clock before wow. the end of the hour? And I'll just do it from underneath. People say, is there a difference? And yes, there is, actually. If you want a more smooth effect, you do it from underneath. Oh. If you drive from the top, the heat forces the powder set particles apart and you get that pitted effect. You get a grainy effect. So just So will this collection work with collections on the horizon? Which that's what the papers? No, the the stamp collection. Yes. Will it work with other things that are coming in the chocolate baroque range? Yeah, always does. Always does. I know the answer to that anyway because you showed me earlier. <laughs> Yeah, there's some, you, you've seen the... I know what's coming up and they are amazing. They will work really, really well with what, Sorry, you, what you're up. about. What's coming up, <laughs> these will work amazingly with. They really, really well. Obviously, I can't tell you. So I'm look how signed. beautiful that is now. How, how, even on the pattern paper, how well that's stamped. Thank you. Fantastic camera, camera, camera work. Thank you. So we go from that... It's the first day. You'd never know, would you? <laughs> you know, honestly. We go from that, and I cut my outlook. There you go. And it oh, cuts. that! Look at that now. 
Isn't that beautiful? I like the papers behind as well. It really works. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, 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 you know, we tend to not stamp on pattern papers very often because we think, oh, you can't see. But even with all the detail in that stamp, you've got that background just to give you a bit of depth. I like it. And if you don't like colouring or if you're unsure of your colouring or you're just new and starting out, stamping on a paper that's got sort of patterns in it and different colours in it helps you. No, it really does. Even your mop-up pages, yeah, I find. Absolutely. Just Andrew did, mop -ups. and I don't know where they are now, Andrew did some where he actually used um, uh, what not eco-friendly uh, wipe. But then he actually dried it out and used it in one of his cards. I can't remember which one it was now, unfortunately. Um, uh, there's a wipe in it. I'll, yeah. keep, I'll keep looking. Yeah. So then what I've done is I've die cut some circles, okay? And the one's obviously from the pattern paper. And these two are, again, from mop-ups that I've done on some of our cardstock. Okay. Because I just thought they were. And then these I created in our one-day special when I showed you how to create your own little little washi labels oh yeah with stamps and i thought you know what you don't throw anything away let's just add because these are self-adhesive labels so you just peel them off and i thought why don't we just add i'm hoping to bring these labels back again because they're so useful for stamping you know you can put one where you like let's put one there and as you ask, see, when are you back? Uh, it'll be next, it'll be the first Friday in July, whatever date that first is. Friday in July. So let's just tear a bit of that. We'll put that bit on there, look. So these work like your washi tape, but they're, they're tinier. Second of July, you're back. Is that when I'm back? That's when you're back. There you go. So that bit there, look. And then I've got that bit for another time. Just to add a bit of interest. I now have, and this is where my glue will or possibly will not work, so bear with. No, nope. it's saying, I don't want to, Leslie. So, when in doubt, Mod Podge works beautifully as a glue as well. Fingers, because I actually only want to stick the body down. So, you see, you can get so much into this just on the back. That's nice. So imagine doing these in like shrink and things like that would work so yes, well for embellishment. Absolutely. And the crackle just gives it that kind of, so it's kind of like a, a sort of shabby chic and a sort of a steamy pump, but not in the, the regular sense. You've only got 10 minutes left. Where does it go? Do you know, thief of time when you come in here. Where does this hour go on? Yeah. So now I'm going to take, oh, I shouldn't have done that because I need to stick these down. I'm going to use one of the sentiments. Okay. So let's see, what should we put on there? Should we put... Remember the sentiments come in the kit as well. You're getting the full bundle uh, is what you're talking about. So you're getting that beautiful A4 is there, you're getting the, uh, the A5. And you also like get the sentiments in there as well. Uh, yeah. All of these... For £35.97, and pounds, well, I never. And you see, or I could do you two flexible payments of £17.99 as well. 638130 is your item number for this one with a £22 saving, which means you're getting that large A4 for free. Now, again, using my round blocks because that just fits in there perfectly and it's nicely behind. Because sometimes that, if you only had a big block, you can rock it. It's difficult to control. You Whereas you can much more look, control it. Yeah. Start rocking. yeah. Says she, he'll probably rock it now, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so this is heart, heart, heart and soul. What's she call me? From our funky expressions. <laughs> heart and, and soul. Acrylic blocks, 9 99 If you want the zesty card, the details are at the bottom of the screen now for the card stock, 60 sheets. You get the super smooth of the white, and then you get the black yeah. as well, and you get every other colour that you're going to need. So, it just, and sometimes around on a circle it's easier to get it central because you just use the circle as the the kind block. of your guide. So, let's just take a bit of, a little bit on the back. So, that there. Do you know what? I'm going to do it at an angle. I'm going to go at a jaunty angle, as they say. I love a jaunty angle. Oops. That wasn't quite dry, so 
fingerprints are optional. And then I had a bit that I cut, uh oh, here we go. A bit that I cut out the paper. It picks up the colour in that there. Like so. That's nice. And then. And if I'd, if you wanted to, you could always put another little word or something in there if you wanted. So the, foot, the fingerprint. And that, I think, is just a nice little bit of. You can be creating yours. 638130 is your item number. Two flexible payments of £17 and 99 pence is what you're looking at for this one. Uh, it's worth having a little look at the stamps. Let's have a little look yeah. at the stamps, uh, yeah. shall we? Let's have a little look at the stamps. Uh, so you've got the stamps here. Uh, they're all mounted for you as well, which means you've got that mounted plate. Uh, so whether you're using your stamp platform or anything like that, you just take the foam pad out of your stamp platform and then you are good to go. You're going to get perfect. So you've got a steampunk butterfly, uh, first of all, with those beautiful corners uh, that you're going to A5. Then you've got your punky romance in there, which is on your A4, which is, in, which is the one you're really getting for free. Uh, out of all these, uh, sort of that harlequin design with the butterflies uh, flying into the background and you've got the love heart in there with the cogs and the wheels. Uh, then you've got your spunky expressions uh, also on the show. So many of this in there. Uh, a penny farthing for your thoughts, but then you can you can change that. So you can, don't don't ink up farthing and just put a penny for your thoughts. There's so much you can do uh, with all of these when you get them home, and you can get them home for two flexible payments of seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence, twenty two pounds saving. I've got one more pile to get through of finished samples, and I've done them all. <laughs> Then no one can win, Jimmy, then, but they've not seen them. Uh, so, uh, here's your finished samples. I've managed to scram them in. Uh, look at these. They are absolutely uh, stunning. Using them as flowers. Then you've also got your love. That's nice. I like that one a lot as well with the love, sort of the age look that you got in there. I also like this one as well. Uh, then a little bit of foamed up. That's got some work into that, Lloyd. He's really built up that. Look at that. Uh, then last but no means least, we've got so many more cards, oh we've only got five more minutes, uh, let me whiz through these for you. Uh, stunning, stunning cards, time and time again, everyone has been sent the same set of stamps but every single card that I have here is completely, completely different. There is so many uh, to get through, uh, let me show you one more because these two are amazing. Look at these, look at that, how beautiful is that? Just using that corner over and over again that you've got in there for your pages as well. Uh, you can be creating, that's all my samples done. Uh, that's, you can be creating these as well for £17.99 across two flex payments. Should we go for another quick demo? Should we fit another one in? Go on then, as yeah. you've got about five minutes. Okay, so again, this is one of our MDF ATC size that I've used here. And I've already covered it with some of the paper that you got out of the journal. Okay, it's sold out. And used the um, uh, sanding block to sand it down. So I have got the cogs background here from the Steampunk Butterfly. And that's just a nice size to add a little bit of interest to the background. Okay. So, but this time, there we go. I'm not going to emboss it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. And I just kind of okay. Have you seen the weather outside now? It's teeming down. Is it? Teeming down. Well, it was. Good gosh. You said before, didn't you, the weather was changing? Yeah, I thought, thought. It was gonna be, I thought it was going to be on so the turn. So there you go. Look, how's that just for that, that little bit of background there? Doesn't that just make a lot of That's difference? That's nice. Okay. So that, even that, just sitting and colouring that in with your, your golds and your silvers. Yeah. The pens that you don't use that often. Yes. Because you've got that distressed look, though, it's not Stamp really... Stamp it under craft card to get a totally different... That's the thing, that's my... I like Stamp that it and emboss it in white on craft card. Oh, that is a ready-made card. That is a quick and simple card. That Absolutely. Is yeah. You imagine doing that big corner on craft card. Right, nice. so what I'm going to do now is, uh, she said, losing her block. Take that one off. So this is the tulip, or rose, furled rose, depending on which one. I think it's a furled rose, actually. And what I would do is, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to show you the bits and pieces, but I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'd stamp it once onto there, which I will, that's dry. So I'm going to stamp it there. 
like so. You can't see it at the moment, but that's not that's not that's not an issue. It's just to give me something to attach to. So then stamp it on bits of your so whatever you want to do. So I don't know, stamp the head there. You can stamp the leaf, you know, in a different colour. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then just want to show you how good this card is to stamp on. It's it's a lovely card for stamping as well as anything else. And again, this is great if you want to use just your, your um, monochrome pencils, greys and blacks. Oh, and your colour card, the colour card does all the work for you. Yeah. So then, how crisp is that? Look at that. And all the colour cards, exactly the same. It's all that lovely crisp effect. That's so then nice. after doing that, I ended up with bits. So there's one I cut a piece out of, look. I've got here. Of course, they never want to come out. There we go. So I've used the green look for the leaf. Yeah. That is some blue out of one of these. There's the orange itself, and then I've done the other pattern bit there. So I'm going to pattern piece this onto my background here, so it now becomes a little bit more obvious. All right, we've got a minute and a half. Oh gosh, right. I go as quick as I can. She says. Let's see how I can. We'll keep watching you, Brad's giving the details one more time. If you want your three stamp sets, uh, 638130 is your item number. £17.99 across two flexible payments is what you're looking at for this, which means you are getting the A4 for free is what you were looking at. £22 saving on this. Uh, this is the last show for Chocolate Baroque today, and they're not back until July 1st, July the 2nd is when they're back, will be their next show with something totally, totally different. So it's worth having a little look at if I was you. If you've got it in your basket, start checking out your baskets as well. I don't want you to miss out. You've seen all my samples uh, for this show. I have no more samples oh, to on, show you. Um, they are very, very busy at the moment, so do check out your baskets if I was you. Uh, we've got 45 seconds left. I'm nearly there. Last bit. Look at this. There you go. So you've got the patterned leaf look, the stalk, Patent head and the plane. It's worth having a go. Thank you, Leslie. You're a star. An absolute Thank you. star. Thanks, everybody. See? Leslie, she's done now. She's done for the day. She's all crapped out. <laughs> uh, don't you go anywhere. Start checking out your baskets if I was you as well. Because uh, you are you're gonna really enjoy these. You really, really will. There's so many possibilities uh, that you can do with them. Uh, thank you, Leslie, once Thank's again. Uh, Thanks, thank you for you. I will see you bright and breezy tomorrow morning, seven o'clock. I'll see you then. I wonder what she's sprinkling that glitter onto. She never puts any glue down. Uh, Crafty Individuals is coming up next. Then Leo of London Fabric. You do not want to miss that show. The set looks phenomenal. Hi, I'm Pat. And Mark. From Totally Patched. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head, so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things.
I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Good afternoon. Ah, oh, now you are looking at some of the most exquisite, beautiful samples using the stamps by crafty individuals. We've got seagulls, we've got toadstools, we've got all sorts of an array of beautiful, beautiful imagery for you. Isn't this gorgeous? Isn't it so lovely to colour in? But don't worry, if you're not that good at colouring, just stamp and emboss and just enjoy. However, having said that, when you look at these beautiful images, all the shading has been done for you so that you know where to put the light, the dark colours. But they're so beautiful. Just look at that beautiful bunny. He's gorgeous. And then we come on to, here he is, here he is, here he is. Here's our hair. There he is. With the moon in the background. Isn't he absolutely stunning? He looks so wistful, doesn't he? And then there's a gorgeous box frame. There he is that he's sat in. Uh, of course, you can see we've got the toadstools surrounding them. They're absolutely beautiful. So, without further ado, I like the C in the I for crafty individuals. Let me introduce you to Jean. Good morning, Jean. Good or, morning. No, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, yes, what time you fooled me is. there. You fooled me there. Having said that, you were on earlier. What time? Uh, 10. 10. 10 11, yep. Excellent. Yep. Um, so if you do want to go on to Rewind, have a little look for Jean's demos. Uh, I can tell you during the 10 o'clock show, we were very busy and we sold out of the beautiful um, papers that we had on the show. Apologies, we can't get any more. And some of these stamps are looking very, very vulnerable. Now with these stamps, we've got some beautiful images, but what we also want to tell you is that exclusive to us here at the craft store, they are coming to you mounted because you don't do them mounted normally, we do you? Don't. We sell unmounted stamps only. Yes. Yeah. So, so for we us, do them just for you. Nice. And I've got the deformed index finger to prove it. Because you have to cut them all out and it's quite it's quite hard work cutting oh, through you. rubber and backing. It is a little bit, especially when you've got loads to cut out. There <laughs> yes. you go. So you can see that they're mounted already for you. But look at that. The red rubber deeply etched so that you get a really, really lovely impression. Right. So that is your first option, which is your fabulous toadstool. There we are. Uh, the next one that we can see is the red breast. Um, and what you've done, I notice, with a lot of these images is you've got script in the background, almost like a book yes, page. Yes, this one's from, from a very, very old book. I think the date's on it somewhere. Oh, wow. OK. Uh, is it 1887, right down in the bottom oh, corner? Oh, yes, I can that see was, that. Uh, that was the date of the book about the red breast. So they called him the red breast apart from rather than Robin in those right. days. So, uh, yeah, but he can be anything you want him to be. He doesn't have to be a Robin. Oh, and I love that. There's lots of samples to show him as different things. Yeah. And not just a Robin. Yeah, you can just use your imagination. Or you can start your early Christmas cards now. I've started, Jean. Have I've started. You? Well, I'm very impressed. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't. No, bless you. Bless you. Don't worry. Still get them done. Still <laughs> lots of time. OK, then the next image that we've got. Um, here we've got our beautiful teacup. Isn't that stunning? So it's called actually Shrewsbury Brisket. Why is that, Jean? Do you know? Pence Shrewsbury Biscuits, because that's how much they were in the days when really? I had that recipe. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I love all the history behind these. Oh, yes, so they're uh, kind of like shortbread. I've learnt a bit more about it today because our team have been discussing them. In fact, they've even put a recipe on Messenger. So I think I might even be making oh, some later. Nice. Can you ship so them are, into here? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> they've uh, got lemon in them, apparently, and oh. shortbread. Uh, they like shortbread 
and they've got like a sprinkle of sugar on top, I yeah. think, and often fruit in them. Nice. Or you can put chocolate chips in. Oh, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Right then, um, so the next one then, are we coming down to the... Oh, now he's been very popular. Now, our seagull is very, very vulnerable, as is that toadstool. Oh, now it is limited on the pick and mix. What we've got on screen, by the way, is you're choosing any four. There are other options, but we'll go through that in a sec. But we just want you to see the beautiful designs Oh, uh, see, friendly seagulls, that's what we like, not the ones like down in Brighton. I think he looks a bit evil, actually. He's oh, got, you reckon? He's got a bit of a glint in his eye, that one, I think. Yeah, I think oh, he's... Uh, he's I spied think he's, the chips. He's spied something he's after there, yes. Yeah, we had a few names for him this morning. Was it Sydney and... That would make sense. Yeah. Uh, oh. Stanley? Stanley, the seagull, yes. Uh, there was a few more, and I, they've gone now, of course. Gulliver, apparently. Gulliver, that's it. Yeah. Gulliver Gull. Yes. I like that. That's I the one that. I was trying to think of. Oh, look at this shadow box. Isn't it fabulous? Yes, they're uh, studio-like shadow box because you have them oh. on here sometimes. And, uh, yeah, they, they'll go on a, a card because they're only light when mm -hmm. they're made. So, yeah, they're good. Beautiful. Then we've got the hair and the moon. There's something quite magical, I think, about hairs because you rarely see them. No. Or at least for me, anyway. No, that's right. Yeah. I think you have to be up at quite early in the morning and I think you can... Some friends of ours took some pictures of them, um, sort of jumping around on the fields. So probably late at night or early in the morning might be the best bet. I don't suppose they like people much, so... <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I love how energetic they are when you do see them. Like you said, they're yeah, all hopping yeah, about. Yeah. But that particular hair, I just think he looks so magical with the moon in the background. He's gorgeous. Yes, I've got a big statue of one in my back garden. A moon-gazing hair that oh. Malcolm got me years ago. And, uh, yeah, they are lovely. Yeah, yeah, pride of place. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous, look at this. Yes. Right, then, the next stamp that we've got... This one is the Kingfisher. Uh, once more, there's something just so... In fact, I'm going to say ele eloquent about them. Yes, they're, yeah. they're beautiful birds, aren't they? And mm. uh, I still haven't seen one in reality. A lot of people have. You have to be really eagle-eyed, I think, to spot them, but you get a flash of colour in front of your eyes, apparently. Must make sure I see one of those before I get much older. Oh, bless you. Here we go. Look at this. This has been coloured fantastically. That is just beautiful. Look at those colours. Yeah, you and can have great fun with the colour mm. scheme on those. Yes. Yeah, and again, you can do whatever you want with them. And metallics look good on oh, them. Yes, you know, I'm a fan of Go metallics. Go to town on metallics. Even these pens that you like. I know, the hybrids, they're on this. <laughs> OK, uh, then, moving along. Ah, we've got the howling wolf. Ooh. He's right. He's, yeah, he's, he's proper really, howling. Yeah, yeah, he is, isn't yeah. he? He's quite fierce. Yes, but we've got some nice uh, landscape cards made yeah. with him so you can incorporate him into a landscape you know and uh, that's one of Isabel's in France and uh, she's put those little tote stools with him beautiful and, uh, a little word or two yeah always oh yes that's the uh, the next one coming up is uh, one of Sandra's scenes I love how she's done the moon there with white embossing powder it's and absolutely the, uh, stunning the white trees it really stands out doesn't he very magical, yeah. nice. And then the last uh, stamp set that we've got, here it is. So this one is counting down. So this one's a little bit different in the collection, isn't it? It's kind of different, and yet it all relates together because that's yes. got some of the dates that are in the red breast, the robin stamp. It's also tied tables. Oh, so right, that is goes it? with the seagull. Oh, I need that. <laughs> I like them to all interlink, you yeah. see. So even if I'm the only one who knows that, uh -huh. I'm telling you all now anyway. Yeah. So, um, and the other bit is a navigation um, about the sun and the moon. And I thought that went quite well with the hairs and mm. the uh, tote stool. So, yes, they're, they're kind of all drawn together with that one, actually. Beautiful. And then it's got circles within it as well. So you've got the moon circles. So it does all... Absolutely. It does all blend in, actually. Yeah. Lots and lots of detail in these. Right then, so what we've got on screen for you is um, a pick and mix of choosing any four. Uh, and you've got a £4 saving on that. And again, I just want you to bear that £4 saving in mind because it will carry over to the complete collection. So if you can't decide, you can get all eight of them. And then you are saving a further £3. However, Freedom members... 
you're saving even more. So that's four pounds from the any four, and then you've got another seven pounds and was that ninety? I think ninety pence saving. Lovely, and even better. See, we try and make it as affordable as possible for you. You can spread the cost two payments of twenty-two pounds and three pence. Item number is seven nine five seven two one. Love this. Look at this on the candle. Is that easy to do, Jean? It's very easy to do. Yes, it's and, and he's very effective, and it looks great at Halloween. I have to say. Mm. So if you got that on your doorstep. Yeah. Something. It does does make a good Halloween uh, candle. That I one. like that idea. Love mm. that because you know I really like Halloween as well. <laughs> Beautiful. Again, look at these samples. Aren't they stunning? So one way to the beach, one way to the boats, and there's our seagull. And here he is again. Oh, that's one of Dora's, ah. and uh, she's drawn the other seagulls well, next actually... to it. So you can incorporate your own drawings too if you if you feel the feel the mood. So yeah, it's a beauty that one. And that's oh, nice. from Sally of the old. Uh, Fungi again there. Fungi. <laughs> I love that. Absolutely beautiful. Still looking at all these samples. It's quite nice actually we're looking at the samples at the front because sometimes yeah, you forget sometimes about those. Yeah, sometimes you miss those. Yes, yes. that's right. So. so this is gorgeous. Yeah. Decoupaging up that lovely butterfly. Um, and that's kind of got a nice sort of vintage feel to it, it because is, of the colours. Yes. quite earthy, isn't it? That's as well. a good word. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And then here's another one of our fabulous toadstool. There it is. And again, you can see that how that background ties in really well, like you said. I'm going to be making that one next, actually, that particular Wonderful. card. So. And nice. so you can see how you can bring out some of the numbers as well and just do them separately and then pop them onto it. So. Excellent. All righty then. Um, so we've got some other things that you might want to add to your baskets. Now, if you do have a smaller budget, we have got a pick and mix where you can just choose any two. Um, and that is for 14 99 I have to say that's very reasonable, actually, considering all the detail that's in um, all of these beautiful stamps. And they are so stunning. Oh, OK. Now, on this option of Pick and Mix Any 2, the Toadstool has now sold out. This means you can only get it in the set of four or the complete collection. So that's a good favourite of yours. Now, that is also the same for the Seagull. That one is also sold out in the pick and mix of any two. Uh, so do go for your set of four or your set of eight. But for now, we do have the other ones available. We've got that lovely... What No, what did we call that one? The shortbread one? Eight pence, eight pence shrewsbury biscuits. That's it. Love that. <laughs> it's really nice because it transports you back in time, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. Now, if you've got any of Jean's previous collections, then of course you know what I'm going to say, because we love seeing your pictures. If you want to see your artwork on the TV, then send your pictures to studio at thecraftstore.com uh, or you can pop it onto Facebook. Right then, Jean, which are you going to play with today? Yes, I'm going to play with the tote stool uh, and make a card with it. Um, before I do, I just I meant to mention this this morning, but we do have a leaflet that we'll send out with everybody's goods which just has a few colour ideas oh, and things on, on that's it. That's lovely. Uh, so that's, I just thought I'd mention that because I keep forgetting about that. But it's useful for inspiration. a few inspirational mm. pieces, yes. And the other thing is, this morning I was going to do a journal page, but we didn't get very far. So I thought I would just bring this one in because I did do one with the wolf. And I did the wolf in tissue paper, just on here. And... Uh, and I used some of the postage stamps and things, so you can incorporate quite a lot into it. So I thought I'd just mention that because journaling is very popular, you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd mention the journaling there. Okie doke. So let's get on with our mushroom tote stool shroom. That's oh, the thing. Just going to call it that. Shroom, yes. Not mushroom so, in here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm uh, going to do is that card that was over there now I am going to use because I've already cut these uh, two of the sheets from this morning but yep. obviously you can make your own backgrounds with it as well so you don't if you haven't got got those mm -hmm. then uh, you can make your own backgrounds too so I am just going to mount them up and then I'll do the uh, stamping so what I did was use some uh, photo corners just for a change to put the um, the, uh, these are all photos, so it's a sort of photo photo corner with the photos. So I'm just going to do those very quick because I know they're not available anymore. Okay. Oh, I see. These were the ones that sold out? Yes. Ah. Yeah. So I'll just spray mount it. Then I'm going to pop these on just for a little bit of a change. And I'll just mount that up and then we can get on with the shroom there. <laughs> 
So I used to play with photo corners a lot, but... Uh, you forget about things, And then don't you, you forget about things, yeah. and they were stuck away in a drawer, and I thought, oh, do you know, they're nice, those. Yeah. I'll get them out again. So, uh, I are they actual them. embellishments, or you've made them? No, they are photo corners for oh, photographing. I okay. think, well, I can't even remember where they came from now, but, uh, yeah, they were very popular at one point. So let's just adhere that to there. And then... As I said to people this morning, you can stamp on today. So if you get your numbers stamped, we can just add a wee bit of stamping on that. And you could uh, obviously stamp this if you make your own backgrounds as well. So that's not a problem. So you don't want it absolutely perfect when you're just doing a bit of background stamping. So let's just get a little bit going on there. And that will probably do for that. Using my good old stairs on, I'll just cover that up again. And then the other one was one of the other. Now, where's my black? I'm just going to go around that with a little bit of black just to make the edges stand out a bit. And then we'll get stamping the shroom. Perhaps we need a name for the shroom as well. If he's got a bit of a personality, people put little faces on them and all Do sorts. Do they? What, the they? mushrooms? That's yeah. cute. <laughs> That's a bit like Alice in Wonderland isn't it it? Is, and whatnot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just... Uh, Right, with the one I'm going to do next, I did use masking fluid with it, but I'll stamp it first. Okay. And then you can see how it stamps. So this is our own stamping card that we have had, had on here lots of times before. Good stuff. Can we still find it on the website or are we uh, out at the moment? Oh, do you know? I don't know. Oh, I haven't okay. checked. Maybe, maybe. I know there's quite a lot on the website. Yes, because so. you can shop by brand, so you can have a little yeah. look. And... Uh, so I'll just put my shroom onto a... There's something very pleasing about saying shroom. Shroom is a lovely word, actually. <laughs> yeah, it just rolls off the tongue, it does. doesn't it? Shroom. So again, I'm just using the stairs on because I've got quite into it, as I said at the moment. I used to use it years ago, then didn't use it for years. And yeah. Now I'm back with it again because it does literally stamp onto anything. Yeah, it's great stuff, isn't it? And it does stay on. <laughs> it does what it says on the back, <laughs> exactly. indeed. What was the uh, inspiration behind this collection? Well, it's a, it's all drawing, hand drawings, uh, hand done drawings by a, a lady called Maria Kitano. Uh huh. Um, and um, yeah, she did quite a lot of stamps for us, and uh, these were the last of the few we've got still. Oh, I see. So okay. we put them with some of her older ones as well because yeah. they all they all work together. Nice. So, so yes, I'm just going to stamp stamp this out onto the um okay we're just coming to it yep onto the uh the card here and i'm not going to emboss it this time although you could emboss it with a bit of clear yes yeah yes i was doing that with the the seagull this morning because it does make them stand out really well yeah it does doesn't it, it gives it a nice little glossy finish yeah so let it let it get into your card before mm -hmm. you Sometimes people just go like that and they expect it to be perfect, yeah. but it does take a little bit of... Ah, oh, detail, detail. But you get loads of detail on mm. it. And, um, yes, yeah, so then what I did, I dried that. And then what I did, because you, obviously you have to wait for it to dry. Yes. What I did was put some masking fluid... Okay. ...just onto the your shroom, onto both of them, a little bit in the grasses at the bottom. Okay. And uh, then that has to dry as well. Yes. And what I would do if you do use masking or masking fluid or masking film, because um, obviously you can get the stuff you stamp onto and mask over with as well. So you can use whatever method suits you best. But when you do it, if you kind of keep it within the lines rather than have extra on the outside. OK. Uh, because when you do your background, that'll end up as a white line round it. Yeah. So yeah. it's better if you have it sort of finishing within the lines. Mm -hmm. um, even a little bit shorter the lines is better than, than over the lines. So that's just something that's worth remembering. So now I'm going to spray. Now my masking fluid has dried. Okay, good stuff. I'm going to add a little bit of spray. Now, what colour shall I use? I brought a lot of colours because I was going to do a journal page this morning, but that didn't happen. So <laughs> When you get home, maybe. Yes. So, uh, now this one leaks a bit for some reason. Hang on a sec. If 
before I get it all over me as well. Okay, so now you can just go ahead with your your other colours and get a few extra bobbles. Oh, nice, yeah. And then go on with another colour, perhaps. Let's use a bit of speckled egg. Oh, these will go nicely together, these. They're nice, nice colours, yes. So let's have a bit of that on there. Uh, I wonder if I should put anything else on. I might do a bit of this brighter one. to finish it off yep put a bit of that up there oh nice dots oh yeah <laughs> oh that looks a bit psychedelic yeah a magic mushroom there i know right <laughs> right what i'll do is i'll just pat a little bit of this off okay um i'll dry it a bit and then i'll pat it off i think I say, that last color though it does look nice it makes it stand it. out doesn't yeah. it and let's move a bit of that off there as well I have to get a wet thing for that. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we've popped on screen the pick and mix of any four. Um, it's a, a really lovely collection that you can go for. You can also go for the set of eight, but at the moment, sets of four are the most popular. Oh, Meg's just asking me which four I'd go for. Right, so definitely the mushroom. Oh, the total, sorry, yes. Uh, then... Oh, hang on, just pull out again. Uh, um, I love the hair. I think I'm going to have to go for the seagull. And now oh, the last one. Uh, yeah, I love the seagull. I'm torn between the one with the cup and I'm torn between the um, lovely other bird, the um, kingfisher. Oh, decisions. I think I'll go... Oh, no, well, I'm just going to have to go for all eight and then that's it, isn't it? I can't decide. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing to do, because they all interlink, and the numbers would go with the older ones as well, just the same. It's all uh, sort of tied in yeah. with each other, so... It's all good, that's the thing. It's all yep. good. So I've dried that off, I think. Okay. Um, I'm just going to make sure, because your masking fluid needs to be dry. I have learned over the years, before you actually rub it off, so that's worked out pretty well that actually with those drip drips on there that's uh, worked quite it nicely has, i really like that so now the thing to do is to to rub it off so this is where stays on's good to get as well because it, you don't rub any of that off with it masking fluid is i mean it's so it's such a clever product isn't it it is yeah. yes yeah uh -huh. i see look i love that because then you see that Contrast. It's even nice as it is, yeah. just um, I am pulling a little bit of the ink in because it's not obviously not bone dry. It's all right. This is where you, uh, if you're at home, make sure everything's bone dry before you take anything off because you do get quite a dramatic effect mm. of the, the white against the background. Yeah, then. that's it. Dr bit of drama. We bit like of that. drama, absolutely. So, see if I can get this off. The thinner you put it on as well, the better, really, because yeah. it's less... less Would you use an eraser to get uh, it off? Do you know, I don't know. I've never tried, actually. I just wondered. I don't think I've even brought one with me to try. You might be able to. But then, obviously, you can go in with nice, bright colours on it. Nice. Um, against the background, yeah. which you wouldn't have been able to do if you'd spread the whole thing. So. That's right. Um, I'm going to do a quick stock update, yes, Jean, do. because yep. our whole set of eight, we are now 65% of the stock gone. Uh, this is Jean's last hour, so do check out your baskets. They are such beautiful stamps. The detail is exquisite. I love that you've also got that sort of wordy background, like from old books and things in, in some of them. And then you've got the pure background there. We've got our Mr. Wolf, who I know is Jimmy's favourite favourite, and I think Meg's. Um, and then we've got your Kingfisher, and you've got your beautiful hair, who's so wistful. Now, if you're a Freedom member, you get a really good old saving there, because you've got four pounds carried over from the sets of four, and then you've got um, a further 10% off the price on screen, if that makes sense. Lovely. So you can spread the cost as well uh, on Flexibuy, two payments of, it'll swizzle around in a minute, 
but your item number is 795721. There you go. If you're a Freedom member, two payments of £22 and three pence. But it is busy out there, so please do get onto the website at thecraftstore.com. That is your fastest way to order. How are you getting on, Jean? Okay, yes. Meanwhile, back at the... <laughs> back at the ranch. Back at the mushroom. Um, yes, I'm just going to give him some colour and then add a, a little bit of metallic there because he goes rather well with a bit of metallic. This is our mushroom. And I'll just go for his traditional um, coloured top, which is sort of orangey-red with white bits on it. It does look nice, the white little dots on it. Uh, they do look nice if you dimensionalise those as well. Okay. Um, so you might need some pearls or yeah, some... something like that. I haven't. I'm not going to do that now because it takes ages to dry again. Yeah. But uh, you can do that, and it does look nice if you do that. I think Dean has done it in some of her Actually, designs. Well, I'll have to so. find some. So let's go for the red first, anyway, and make that a bit fun. Because that's the lovely thing about these, is mm. if you have some really bright colours yeah. going on in them. And just build it up nice and red. I notice on a lot of the samples, actually, that the design team have teamed up lots of the stamps together. Yes, yes, and made scenes and things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's good fun to do. And uh, you see lots of possibilities in lots of stamps when you start thinking of them mm. working together like that. Absolutely. So you can add to your fun by trying to make yourself some nice scenes. And one of the ladies has made a book, so we were saying it'd be nice. It's a nice thing to do with your children is put together a, a book of nature sort of thing. What one of them within there? Is it right at the bottom? No, mm. no, no, no. Somewhere. Oh, it is, is it this one? No. Got it. Oh, I don't know where it is now, oh, but we showed I'll, it this I'll morning. I'll try and find it. Yes, I'm sure it'll be in there somewhere. Okay, okay. Um, And that looks really good because it's a good thing you can do when the kids are off school and things is make your own little information book. Oh, is it this one? Yes, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shall I show it? Yeah, do. Oh, a little book of nature. This is gorgeous. Oh, this is so beautiful. Who's done this? This is by Lynn. Lynn. Yeah. Lynn, this is fab. Look at this. Oh. So she's put a bit of factual information in there yeah. as well. So that just. Wow, really... this is beautiful artwork. This really is. Oh. So don't just think of it all as cards. You can do no. so many other things with Canvases, them. Canvases, your mm. scrapbooking, journals, yeah. as we've seen, obviously. Yeah. That's beautiful. That The scenery is just stunning. How are you getting on, Jean? I'm getting on. I'm getting there. So let's. Uh, do this bit now with a little bit of, I think it's quite nice, and a bit with a bit of grey and a bit of yellow. I mean, you can do it, they don't have to be there. You've got artistic license, we'll allow you some artistic license so you don't have to colour it. One lady's done it in pink and it really looks nice. Yeah, psychedelic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, just play around with it and and see what looks the best. And mm. um, what's your angel policy, Jean? Uh, yes, we've, we're uh, a typical angel company, so you can use it to uh, use our designs for any handmade cards that that's you want gorgeous. to sell or whatever. Yeah. Um, just don't reproduce them, that's all. Yeah. So it's uh, pretty flexible on most things there. Right, we'll do a little bit of a stalk here again. I'm just going to sort of do it bluey grey. And really, it doesn't take much colouring in at all. No, it doesn't. You know, you, you, you've done it in a jiffy, really. And then it's we'll gorgeous. add a, a little bit of green to those grasses at the bottom. Yeah, just make them pop. Yeah. And then I'll put some a few more numbers on it, I think. A few what, sorry, numbers? Numbers, yes. So I'm quite fond of the, on the sheet, I'm quite fond of that. Where it's got 48 there, and these you can sort of stamp them separately and cut them out and pop them on as a little bit of nonsense. Okay, nonsense. <laughs> we love a bit of nonsense. A bit of nonsense, you can't go wrong. Right, so I'm going to take my, my stamp and just leave it on there and um, my stays on. And then with your old bits, you know, we all end up with all little sorts of bits. little bits and pieces. Yeah. I'm just going to 
pick out that number for instance and maybe that one there and it's just a bit of fun if you pick those up and you can do it this way around so you can see what you're doing and make sure you get it yep or you could stamp the whole thing and then use lots of little bits so we've got the 48 there now so and then let's get those other numbers on there so there we are cool take that off there just dry that off a minute ah oh, well good timing then Jean <laughs> uh, because you know I'll pick a mix set of four now Okay, right. The Toadstool and the Seagull, these are clearly your favourites, are both limited stock. Now, you can't get them in the pick and mix of any two, and quite soon you're not going to be able to get them in the pick and mix of four. So you do need to be really quick. I mean, they are fabulous. They're definitely two that I would go for. Um, I just love I just love the idea of toadstools, again, because I always see pixies and fairies to do with them. And then the Seagull, well, I've got to go for that, haven't I, living down in Brighton. I'm still going to go with this as a friendly one, though, and not the one that nicked the sandwich out of my hand. <laughs> they really naughty in Brighton. They are. I don't know where they get it from. <laughs> uh, but you've also got, of course, if you're going to pick any four, you can go for um, the beautiful little red breast. We've got the one with the teacup, which I, can't, I don't know why I can't get the name in my head. Shrewsbury biscuit. Thank you, Shrewsbury biscuit. I don't know why that doesn't stick. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, the Shrewsbury biscuit. And then we've also got the hare, the kingfisher, uh, the fabulous wolf, and that gorgeous background. So you're picking any four uh, for £25 and 98 pence. One, one, zero, 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 seven. But if you would like to go for all eight, because if, like me, you cannot decide, and they do all work beautifully together, then here are the details on screen. So you can see you get a further £3 saving on top of the £4 saving. However, if you are a Freedom member, we've shaved a little bit more off, so you get that £4 saving, but instead a £7.90 saving on top of that. It's £44.06, pence, or if you're going to spread the cost, £22.03. and three pence into instalments okay we are now three quarters of the stock gone it's extremely busy do check out your baskets if you would like these beautiful stamps 795 721 back to right. you Jean. Yeah. so i'm just going to cut these little numbers out really quickly and um, they're very easy to cut out just follow the circle around yes a nice easy shape that's what we like yep yeah. and uh, you can leave a little bit of the background around it as well And then just use a little bit of glue and we'll just pop that, bring my image back into the middle because I kind of wander off. Right, so I'll put that maybe somewhere up there and it's just a bit of fun really. Yeah. Uh, the same with these numbers, they don't have any particular meaning. Um, may I show some samples? Of course, that yep. Bit? Lovely. Um, so we've got, here's our Mr. Oh my gosh, there's some brilliant samples here. Here we go. So here's our Mr. Siegel. There he is. He's got the deck chairs there. He might sit on one himself. You go, but you can see there's the same idea that Jean's doing, adding those. And then look at this one. Hang on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This one's by Lynn. Apologies, I don't know who did this one. But this one's by Lynn and she's really gone to town adding some... Um, uh, look, some texture, some little um, shells and some little pebbles. That's really cool. And um, bear with me. Let's go over to here. Shrewsbury shortbread. I've remembered it now. This one is by Helen. Look at that. All the beautiful colours are fantastic. Uh, and this one is by Dina. That's lovely. So she's got a couple there. Tea for two. That's a tea for two. And then the next set. Just trying to find some ones maybe you didn't see earlier. Will we find samples on Facebook or anything? Uh, yes, you'll see lots of samples on Facebook and I do Facebook lives on a Wednesday Good afternoon stuff. and I shall be showing them some more samples and uh, some another demo or two on them because we didn't get through. I only did, managed to do one demo this morning. So uh, I've got some demos left so they can watch Good some stuff. more with it that sounds on there. Good. Now, I have more news for you because the Toadstool and the Seagull, I said it was busy, um, they have now sold out on the pick and mix of four. So they've now gone. So you can only now get them in the complete collection of all eight. 
gosh, but that is now over 80% of the stock gone on that full collection. Um, you've got half an hour remaining of this show. Do pop it into your basket. Check out. Lovely. Where are we at then, Jean? Right. So for, so you can, if, if you can see this, you can see how I think these, these pens are, because this is where I first saw them on here. I think Leonie liked them, didn't oh, yeah. she? And I don't know, can you see the the uh, the metallic on there? Because they're so nice. Mm, beautiful. And it's lovely to pop it in with the, the reds. Do you wiggle it towards it? Towards the camera, I think? Yeah, that's it. There, Perfect. just in there. So uh, it really looks nice when you look at, look up at it closely, um, and you, then you can just put a little bit of silver as well on the on the stalk if you like a little bit of scribble, and they're great from for doodling round the edges these as well, because doodling round the edges of your cards are very popular as well, aren't they? At the moment, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to now give it a little bit of. A finish off round the edge in a bit of a a black little stamp pad just to pick it out a little bit and then I shall spray it and pop it on here I do spray because it's quick I like quick So I've also got, I've cut out a little bit of black card, just so it stands out a bit. Oh yeah. And that just makes such a difference if you pop a little bit of that behind or another colour that goes with your items. Let's try and get it in the middle-ish. That looks really effective. Yeah, and then you could put those on again if you wanted to. Yeah. I'll, ju I'll just stick it down this time. So this is where we're headed. We're just going to have a look at the finished piece. It's good, isn't it? It's really nice. Yeah. Lovely. So I just want those numbers to show. So I shall just do it just above those numbers. And then I have got a sentiment somewhere, but I don't know where I've put it. Um, which I did put on the one that's on out on there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, a little die with a special on it or something like that it's uh, fine it's out somewhere in no we were just lot. on it actually were we <laughs> yeah yeah we can find it Day yeah, yeah so you can i see just popped special. a little special on it as well and uh there you go it's fabulous oh, so we can get another demo in we can get another demo in excellent yeah. stuff now oh my gosh right our complete set of eight has now gone limited we are limited stock will oh, it golly. last only got 25 minutes in fact less than that before the end of the hour so if you want to go for the full collection you know what i'm going to say fastest fingers first and green is on the screen there you go um right are you happy to go straight yeah. on yes i've got another Excellent. i'm going to do the teacup next okay -doke. so in the same vein i will again stamp it so you can see it uh, it does stamp as it looks yes Seeing as that's what stamping's all about. <laughs> and don't forget at home, um, they're mounted, these stamps, and that is exclusive to us for 10 days um, because Jean doesn't normally do the mounted stamps, but they are mounted. I'll, I'll quickly show you one of these again so that you can see. You just, and they've all been, and have you cut them all? Yes. Do we get them cut? Yes. Gosh, that's nice of you. And actually these, some, we do sort of plates of things, so there's lots to cut out. Yeah. So we don't cut all those out, we just cut around it. But yeah. these are mostly all a scene within a scene. So yeah. they're already done for you. You can just take them out the packet that's and great. stick them straight on. Well, you have to peel them. Yeah. The, uh, the back off. The back off first. Yeah. And then stick them straight down so they're... Uh, they're ready to use. Okay. Ready to go. We have news. You had to be quick. The complete set of eight that has now sold out. Thank you. Technically sold out. So all the stock is in baskets. If any happen to bounce back, we'll let you know. But we can do for you the uh, pick a mix of any four, should you wish. Okay. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just putting plenty on. Again, of my stairs on, and um, again I shall put it down this end of the the piece of stamping card and again just press it all over and hold it in the same position and don't and a, a good thing about stairs on is it does slightly stick to the card so it helps for you not to move it you yeah. know so that you don't accidentally move it 
So I'll press plenty in the middle or use your stamping platform okay. and hopefully that'll do with it. So there's Boom. your lovely, um, the lovely teacup and uh, it's, yeah, the, even every little line in there came out well Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, beautiful. So it's uh, very easy to use. So then again, same as the other one, I have done one and added the masking fluid again. So before I peel the masking fluid off, I shall add some colour again. And I think we'll go with a bit of sort of bluey colours this time. A bit less, a bit less yellow and more, more blue. So I'm using speckled egg again there. Is that a bit of a favourite? I like speckled egg, yes. There's a new one called sa uh, salvaged as well. Have I got that one? Yes, I have. There's a, there's Did one you treat yourself to the that new that ones on. then? Yes, I'll put that on it as well, I think. So, let's put a bit of that on too, because it's a nice blue. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we were just trying to remove some of the samples that have sold out. <laughs> oh, dear. So, <laughs> the magic of TV, we yes. just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> so I might just put a tiny bit of yellow on this one. I've gone mostly for blues, but let's add a little bit of yellow. Because I was thinking yellow and blue. Oh, I know what I need to do as well, because I'm going to do the background that colour. Is this bright blue. So let's have a bit of... Very blue, blue. Oh, yeah. There. Nice. I might stop at that, actually. And um, I'm going to pat that off and then I'll dry that. So if sure. you want to... Shall I show more samples? Yes. That yeah. would be nice. Yeah. yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just sneakily trying to um, sort out the, um, the pack shop, obviously, because now we've lost a couple of the beautiful samples uh, or stamps, I should say. Right, I want to show this. I love this. Look at this beautiful little gift bag. And inside, it's actually got oh, tea. Yes, um, Leslie and I to eat on the way home. Oh, oh I see. So you're I thought sorted. I'd leave them in for now because yes. the ladies, the lady that did it, packed them with little goodies. You see, oh, I love little, little biscuits little and things. So I thought, because it looks nice popping out the top, it's gorgeous. Uh, I'd leave it like that, and then we'll eat it on the way home. Nice. <laughs> this is a wonderful thinking of your gift, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So pretty. Yes. Um, I've got to show this. This is super cool. Can you imagine what you could charge? You know when you go past oh, the phone yes, stand? Oh, yes, fantastic, you know, that, isn't it? It's gorgeous. That's just brilliant. I love it. That's, I'd love to have that as my phone yeah, case. Yeah, Dean has done that. And in fact, I bought one of the phone cases so I could do the same myself. Yeah, have I done it? it? Not yet. You've got to make time. Watch make this time. space. That yes. is super cool, that one. Uh, then we've got our fabulous kingfisher. Look, he's been embossed, so then he really stands out, doesn't he? Because he sort of catches the light, that sort of glossy finish. Um, we've got our fabulous hair here. Isn't he gorgeous? Stunning, stunning. What else? What else? Look, this one's all been decoupaged up. So pretty. And so here, you know, um, the doesn't robins have to be the become breakfast. something else. Yeah. Yes. Is it a blue tit actually? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Blue tit colours. Nice. He is. He's lovely, isn't he? Mm, what else? What else? Now I know we've run out of the mushroom, but. This is an example of how, if you did get the whole complete collection, they'll all totally work together. They're having a nice little chat, aren't they? Gorgeous. What else have we got? What else? Look. So, oh, look, a coaster. Using the teacup. Oh, I really like all the these coasters. The coaster's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And there's another couple of ceramic coasters Ooh. there as well. Let me see if I can yes, find Yes, they're them. in that end in one this that, pile? that Helen did. Wow. There's two, diff two in different colours, but they work together as wow, well. Wow, look at that. Look how thick that is. Look at that. That's wonderful. Let me see if I can find the second one. Do, do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's here. It's just slightly different colours. It's so nice. I love all these samples. You've got a fab design team. How many people are on it? Can you, can you remember? I think there's ten. Oh, that's or good Or thereabouts, then. yes. Because it's so nice when you get a, um, a design a variety. team. variety, yes. Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all different. Yeah. They that's are cool. indeed. Uh, <laughs> um, he said, um, Jimmy just said that the seagulls coming down to get the, sc the scones. Oh, you said scones. I say scones. <laughs> yes. Scones or scone, whichever you fancy. Yeah. How are you getting on there? Yes, it I'm all good. Dried? We'll get back to this now. Cool. I'm hoping this is dry enough to rub off because it really does have to be bone dry. 
My fingers are getting a bit sore now. It does oh, make the fingers you. sore as you go along. That's why I was wondering if you could use an eraser. You might be able yeah. to. You could probably put something over your finger, I would imagine, mm -hmm. and rub it off anywhere. But the finger works well, I have to say. <laughs> to change digits yes <laughs> wear it out my yeah. fingers are already worn out with all the cutting i do bless you because <laughs> there's a lot of stamps to cut out there is a lot of stamps malcolm does a lot as well it's not I just me to do it, that's all. yeah he leaves me with the complicated ones oh the ones that take a bit of well i've put i've made them complicated by trying to get so many on one sheet yeah so um the most complicated, you know, we have some that are really most complicated because uh, I've put lots on a sheet so that we don't waste anything. But uh, then given myself a, an interesting job of trying to get cut them out. Indeed. So that's always fun. Malt likes the easier ones. Right, so there's my cup. Yep. In uh, With blues and yellows around it which I think looks quite nice so now I'm going to colour it in blue and yellow. Oh it's a bit of tones. Yeah. Yeah. And I might just leave the daisies white. Um, so let's just try and stick to those colours. Wet my brush there. There we are. So, is using watercolours your favourite thing? Your favourite medium? Um, I don't mind trying anything really. Yeah. I like acrylics the best, really. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I did a lot of painting with acrylics, and I do like those. But I suppose on a smaller scale, mm -hmm. uh, the watercolours do work really well. Yeah. So I'm going to give these little. Oh, I haven't taken the the masking fluid because I put masking fluid on those two extra daisies as well. So I'll just take that off too. Yep. That looks better. I thought it looked like there was something missing. So we'll give those a bit of yellow in the middle and then let's go. No, I think I'll do blue around the edge. So take a bit of the darker blue and give it a bit of a rim. And of course you can just have really nice playtime colouring this in. Yeah, 100%. They're easy. All this set are quite easy to colour in. Uh -huh. Some stamps are a little bit harder than others, but this one's a really easy one. Oh, and that's so nice. That, yeah, that blue really lifts yes. it, doesn't it? Yeah. Now it's looking really 3D, even just yeah. by going around the edge. That's right. So we'll put a little bit of blue on the handle. And a little bit of blue on this bottom edge. Whenever I see blue cups, I just think, you know, the china. I know, a willow pattern, sort of. Yeah. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? And blue and white does look really nice together. Mm. My mum's got some beautiful china sets that were sort of handed down. Oh, yes, they and did in those days, didn't yeah. they? That's what you got as wedding presents and things. Yeah, yes, and in fact, I think one of them was. Yes, yes. yeah. yeah. Um, and if you broke one, my mum used to go to a market stall that had yeah. uh, the different ones, but you wouldn't though. be able to get them now. No, no. I, there is one that that was broken, and we tried so hard to find it. Yes. It's disgusting when you yeah. just one piece because you need a full set. You do, yes, yeah. So let's just pop a bit of blue in there. Yeah, the designer is so good with the shading. Shading, the shading is yeah. great. And it, amazingly, it comes out really well on the stamps as well. It does, it does. So that's good because sometimes you lose all these fine, tiny mm. lines. But the way we do it, yeah. um, we get as much detail as we possibly can into everything. How did you find the artist? Um, she got in touch with us at one point. Okay. Because she knew Malcolm liked crows. So she did... Um, like a Halloweeny crow for us, and then she did some other ones for us. So that oh, was that's really great. Good. Yeah, she lives. I think I don't know where she's. She moves around quite a lot in Europe. So right. I think she's German. Um, but she does. She does tend to move around. So I'm not quite sure. She did tell me where she was now, but I'm not 100% sure where it was. 
So let's just put a bit of yellow on there. And I might just call that done on there yeah, and I'll sure. do a background now if uh, we've yep, got we've any got, time we've left. We've got uh, eight minutes. Yep. So I've cut out a background that that'll work on and I'm going to spray that, seeing as I'm into spraying today. You are. <laughs> you do get in the mood, well, don't you? Well, you do, yes. Absolutely. And it's nice and quick and nice to do, yeah. you know. So. It's like I flit around between... Um, like making my gift boxes, then I go into the cars, then I go back to my cross stitch, yes. and then embroidery. Well, I'm doing a bit of crocheting at the moment. Oh, are you? What are you making? Oh, it's just a blanket, but um, it's nice to have a blanket on your settee or something, isn't 100%. it? So, um, uh, it's very plain because I can't be bothered with <laughs> following <laughs> patterns. So I'm just going to do it quite plain this one. But I'm enjoying it. I find That's it very good. relaxing. Just sitting there yeah. well, sometimes. Well, Catherine can't sit still. She says that she's got to always have something in her hand. So always she's on crocheting the away at night. She's <laughs> yeah. brilliant, though, isn't she? Brilliant. Well, she'll follow patterns and things, does she? Well, she makes them. Oh, do, oh does she? Yeah. Yes, of course she does, because she does those little yeah. creatures, doesn't yeah. she? Let's move that out of the way a bit. Now, I'm using a white spray here, which is one by Cadence, because you can't get many white sprays, mm. but actually it's quite useful. So if you ever see a white Ooh, yeah, spray... Like that. You can get some quite nice effects with it and it just tones everything down a bit. My tissue is getting very well worn now. I'll just take a little bit off. Yep. That could be a sky at night. Yep. So I might just dry this off and leave it as that ready to assemble. Okay, so, don't while you're drying then. Yep. Shall I show you more samples? Yep. Look at this one. I don't think you've seen this one yet. So here's our beautiful Kingfisher. This is this one's by Helen. I think they may have been stamped onto acetate, possibly. They look really good. Such a lovely set of colours. Here's another beautiful one. This one is by, I think this is by Dora. There you go. Yeah. Dora. Look at that scene. That's exquisite. Let's go to our, oh, this is nice. This is a triptych with our hair and our wolfie. That one's another one by Dora. And here's another one with the hair. Oh, the hair is um, really, really busy at the moment now as well. Remember, we have ha have had two sellouts. We've lost the mushrooms and we've lost the uh, seagull. Oh, yeah, and of course, we've the complete set sold out. Look at that. That's moody, isn't it? Like, that's really cool. Twilight. The wolves are out. Oh. <laughs> that was a very feeble howl, I have to say. Yeah. Oh, right, we're asking Ben what his favourite four would be. Oh, favourite four. Ben's our floor manager. <laughs> oh, did they think they thought I said favourite floor? <laughs> Ben's our favourite floor. There you go. The which one? Kingfisher? Teacup, Sentiments and the Wolf. There you go. That's Ben's favourite. <laughs> Would you fancy a Shrewsbury biscuit with your teacup? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, you, can't, you can't beat a bit of shortbread, can you? <laughs> right. I'm I'm, I fancy some now. <laughs> yes, I know. Look, I've got some in there somewhere. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do, so I've just left that pretty bluey, and that's going to sit over the top there. But I'm going to add my numbers first, because it all goes together. Right, I better get my stamp stand back again. We've got five minutes, Jean. Yeah, so we're good to go. Let's get it all over me. I've well. <laughs> got inky fingers. <laughs> to give those a good wash. Put me through the washing machine, I think. Well, put yourself through the yes. washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of cats that have been put through tumble oh, dryers. Oh, no, bless. That's not very nice, is no. it? No. Awful. So yes, have disclaimer, to, do not do that. If you've got a cat, make sure it's not sat in something. No, they get anywhere, <laughs> they don't they? They get everywhere. Yeah, I used to have a, quite a lot of cats, so it's a dog now. Right, so I'm just going to put some numbers on this. It doesn't matter with this one if it doesn't all stamp out. It's not like you... Your, um, your other one. Yeah. I'll put a bit more on Do you know, there, my cat, when she was a little little one, um, <laughs> I found out I'd accidentally, because, you know, they you turn your back and they do... <laughs> yeah. Sorry to say, I hope this doesn't look... But basically, I was... <laughs> 
I'd opened up my knicker drawer. <laughs> yeah. Knickers in. Turned my back to shut the drawer. Anyway, couldn't find her for half an hour. Oh, oh crikey. No. Thinking that she got Asleep out the door. in there. She's just, she's just curled up on my knickers. <laughs> Luckily, they were clean. Thanks. Uh, All right, back to you. <laughs> Random facts. Yes. Right. Little, little insight on your life you. there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so yes so now i'm going to mount this one oh, i might put a bit of that black around the edge again just okay. to darken the edges and of course you can go in with nice metallics again if you want to yep to make it uh, it's nice with a bit of gold in the middle Ooh, of the yes. um always of the daisies if we've got any time left i'll do that so that just sort of finishes that edge off. Okay. Let's spray that on. So that I've cut out a, a little bit of darker blue card. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now so that again, really it shows up well. It really ties in with the blue around it. It does. The, yes. Yeah, really nice. So I'll pop that on there. I think dirty fingers, Jane. Very dirty fingers. Ah, oh, sorry, you've not transferred it. It's all good. <laughs> so then I'll spray the back of that. Pop that on there, somewhere in the middle. Yep. You could put some washi tape or whatever on on with this as well if you wanted to. Just brighten it up a little bit. Nice. What have I got here? Maybe I'll pop oh, you've got some washi tape. I've got okay. some little thin ones, so I'll pop, put a little bit of thin, thin one on. Just maybe down that edge. Just try and get them straight. There we are. Yep, lovely. So that just adds a bit of yeah interest, isn't it? A bit of interest. Mm -hmm. So you could go on with that, do another one that way, or a yep. little bit coming in there and cut the edges off or get a bigger one and tie it there put it in half or something okay and then this is my card it's going to go on to fabulous which is here so let's spray that this is a nice little it could be a thank you card oh yes it'd be, or it could be a... now that we can meet up it yes. could be hey do you fancy going for a, a nice you know cream tea or something and people do like nice handmade cards you know oh, it's, a, yeah. it's a nice thing to do just for anybody that you you're happy with about anything people are usually quite touched one of my ladies that comes to the class said yeah she she has to do all her family she's got a big family yeah uh, oh, i said i'd say hello to my class by the way hello oh, class lovely. how many people join um there was there's been about eight about 10 recently that's great yeah, yeah but we've only just started again you see we didn't yes. do it for a year because the hall was completely shut yeah so it's nice to get back and yeah. see them again and uh Yes, Sheila, this one, her family always expect yeah. a handmade card, so she can't get away ever with that. <laughs> so she's you. got a big family, so there's plenty to do all the time. <laughs> Excellent. Do you want to quickly, we've got 20 seconds, do you want to just hold it to cam yes. near the camera? Yeah. Yeah, perfect, and we'll come to that. Am I holding it in the right direction? Oh, yeah, that's yes. all good. Yeah, so perfect. there we are. So with a little bit of metallic on, it would look really nice, or a little bit of glitter or something. Excellent. Just thank you very much, Yes, Jean. thank you for Yeah, that would really lift me. We'll see you again very shortly. Yes. Or uh, very two soon. Months. Two, two months. months. Two months, is it? Okay, yeah. we'll see you then. Right, make sure you're checking out your baskets. More coming up after this short break. Fabulous. We've got Leo. Leo of London Fabrics, and they are gorgeous. And can I say... He's looking very, very dapper. Oh, he's giving me a little shimmy. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. So make sure you don't miss out. Come and sew with me. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque. 
and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to the Craft Store, it's great to have you company. Uh, my name is Janice and we are live all the way through until 10pm tonight. It's exciting isn't it? A day full of crafting but we don't stop at 10 o'clock. No, we go on to repeat throughout the night. So whatever time you get up, if you can't sleep or if you're coming in late from your shift works or maybe you're in Europe or America and you're all at different times to us here, there's always going to be some inspiration for you on the craft store. We have got an incredible show lined up. I'm so excited. I've got goosebumps. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, if you love your fabric, if you love journaling, let's bring those two worlds together right now. When you get... Your bundle home, my goodness, when you open the box, you will be sat there for hours just taking a look at the fabric, at the papers, at the ephemera that's included. You've also got sewing kits as well to help you along the way with some beautiful lace to boot. Oh my word. Just looking at the fabric and the pictures that you have in here and the beautiful, gorgeous creatures that are upon some of the fabric as well, you are going to be in curiosity heaven. Now I've got very special guests lined up for you. A guest that's turned crafting into their career. Let me introduce you to the fabulous Lewis. It's Leo of London. Hello. How are you, Lewis? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Wow, what a set. <laughs> what a set to walk into at work today. This is incredible. And you've designed all of this, haven't you? Yeah, so me and my assistant, we've been busy at work. Um, Hannah, she's been amazing help with me, and we've just cracked on and try to make it as cool as possible. Well, you certainly have. You certainly have. And that flair goes through to your designs as well. And this is something that you've turned from a passion yeah. into a business. So tell us a little bit about that journey. Yeah, so I started off um, set dressing here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was headhunted to become a designer. Uh, from then, I worked for a different company. I was still designing to come on shopping TV and different stores. And then from then, I came home for, up from Newcastle, back down here. Um, to start designing again for me. Well, do you know I'm what? Done. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. <laughs> and all of the fabric that you see has been designed, researched and put together by yourself, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm really passionate with uh, vintage and antiques anyway at home. Um, so some of these elements, as you can see, they've got the vintage illustrations uh, with the vintage kind of photographs and things like that. There's some humorous ones in there. There's some funny ones. There's some quirky ones and then there's kind of like the pretty ones like say someone's getting married there's a beautiful one with the bride on there and things like that just I really wanted to kind of stretch this as far as possible so this you, again you can use for you can go in and fussy cut and use in your um, in your journals or on your quilting or you can actually 
again, freshly cut and sew them together and start patchworking. Uh, I've got a lovely quilt there uh, that Debbie did for me. That's a beautiful um, quilt. Where she just freshly cut them in and like added different designs on them and, and popped them on. And it just, it's just beautiful. And it's so, again, it's simple, but it's really effective. Do you know what I really like? I like the stitching going around the outside yeah. because it's very organic it's very yeah, vintage absolutely. it's very raw isn't it and yeah, that's what's so absolutely fantastic that would look great on a quilt it would also look great as a wall hanging as well yeah. um, or even some blinds roman blinds oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely yeah. incredible let's take a look at what you're getting in the deal so we have got your fabric panels now you are getting two panels and they are a meter in length yes, so there's yeah. plenty for you to choose yeah. you're only seeing half yeah. of what we've got on offer and i'll take you through the full uh set in a moment's time but you can see here you've got those vintage photographs um if you were to use this just as a piece of fabric without cutting into it i think that's got lots of interest in there as well absolutely yeah and um, i know she's i actually gave her an extra sample of the, of the panel to use because she was going to make a quilt for herself and she's just going to cut into it and have all these different people and different faces and things like that so it'll be really cool i think this is lovely if you want to add some ink to it make it a technicolor if you want to embroider on it as well we've also got your fabric panel here with all of the insects on my word you've got butterflies in there you've got beetles you've got birds you've got frogs you've got toads my word isn't that fabulous you've got some toadstools as well um all of this i have checked there's none of the eight-legged insects in That's there not, unfortunately. so if you're frightened of those <laughs> you're all right but this is incredible now alongside that we've got these beautiful lace ribbons and these are absolutely beautiful aren't they Lewis? i really wanted something with this i wanted something to uh, tactile and good quality and yes we're, we're playing for that but with good quality with cotton not these 100 yes. cotton we can cut our inks on there we can go and we can really grunge it up or we can leave it as they are and I wanted that. I wanted the quality to run through into yes. the accessories that are in the kit. Yeah, you, you certainly have. And I love the colours that you've chosen as well because you've got that like off-white yeah. and then you've got that lovely cream colour. There's also a script ribbon as well, so you can chop into that. Um, maybe add the ribbon on the outside or you can use that in different ways, which is absolutely fantastic. That's your fabric. Now, let's take a look at the scrapbook papers. Now, these are something very special to yeah. you, Lewis. Tell us about these. I love um, them. So along with um, searching and going through different antique stores and different shops and finding broken books and things like that, um, there's some musical sheets in there which were actually my uncle's um, and he used to play, I think it was a saxophone um, for the army orchestra wow. and there's thousands of music sheets and they kind of sat there in this box and I thought, oh, what can I do? I've, I've been playing with them and they're yes. really great elements for me and I wanted you guys to play with them as well. There's a little bit of like my personal touch in there. Oh, isn't that lovely? Well. And a bit of history as well. Yeah. How amazing. I mean, something like that, you could, yes, tear into it, add your inks to it, but you could just frame it because it's yeah, a piece of really history cool. right there. Now, contents will vary. So not everyone will get page 78 and 58. <laughs> so it's going to be unique to you. And that's what's so very, very special. And who knows, maybe if you go onto the Facebooks and you see other people that have bought this particular kit as well, you can mix and match because you can see what number pages they have got as well oh, and maybe beautiful. together complete the tune oh isn't that romantic yeah. <laughs> uh, right we're not stopping there though because there's more for you uh, we've got some haberdashery uh, again you've got your more papers in here but we've also got some beautiful elements of haberdashery Absolutely, in here yeah so i wanted uh for this i wanted you kind of to have threads your needles uh your bits you your measuring tapes and everything there's even little scissors in there um Basically, so you could take this on the go and make a journal from home and get started. There's nothing worse when you, you get home and you've got the kit and you're like, oh, I want to get into it. Oh, I need to go and get this. Oh, I need to go and get that. The only things that aren't in there is glue. Yeah. So everything else, you can just go for it then and get cracking. Do you know what? I love that because 
you could actually put this into uh, a journaling bag yeah. and it could be something that you've got with you at all times. You know, maybe if you're going to work, for example, and you've got 20 minutes spare that you want to start stitching or doing some journaling, then you can do that. And I think that is lovely, having those extra elements in the kit because it means you don't have to remember to take anything with you. Right. And it's all vintage, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just watching you trying to keep that pack shut together. <laughs> I did very well. I did very well. I did very well. Um, <laughs> what a wonderful delight for you. 853-417 is your item number. Everything is going to be dispatched on the 8th of June, not long to wait. And you only have to pay £30, uh, £30 today. If you're free to member, there's no PMP to pay on top of that. And then £30 in a month's time. But you are getting a slice of history and a slice into that wonderful world of Lewis. Now, 10% of the stock has gone. I knew we'd busy, be busy for this because it's something different, isn't it? And when you want to craft, when you want to journal, when you want to have that curiosity in your life, you want the genuine article, and that's exactly what you've got here. Uh, do be quick, though, to check out your baskets to make sure you get hold of your bundle of curiosity. Right, now, we've got some fabric for you. These are metre pieces, my word. These are absolutely gorgeous. When I had a sneaky peek of these, when I was looking at the show coming up. First of all, I saw the butterflies. I've got a butterfly shirt on. I love butterflies. And do you know what I love about this piece of fabric, Lewis? I love the grey element in the background, but the coloured element of the butterflies, that secret garden, that's what this one's called. But it makes the butterflies 3D. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it is really cool. Uh, this one I, has been bought to you guys before, but not at a metre piece. Um, and I wanted to bring it back because it sold out and it was really good and I couldn't get it back for a long time and now we've got it back again. Again, this is all designed by myself. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I think this is lovely. I mean, what a lovely idea to make. I, I love the fact that you can put your postcards in here, your letters, uh, maybe some photos. Maybe if you're going for the curiosity bundle, mm, you could make some little notebooks really cool. and books and put the pictures in here. But doesn't the black ribbon on top of that just look even? It's almost as if you're in one of those old country houses and you're looking yeah, out the window, the lead windows. windows. Yeah. That's amazing. I do love that fabric. Uh, right, your next option along let me just pop that under there this one is mrs smith and these i mean they're beautiful they look like cornflowers are they, they are, they yes. are. there you <laughs> go you see so the story behind this one is my dear friend tina smith um we're, we're work colleagues together and she just helped me through the first pandemic um and she's got a kind heart so i wanted to do her fabric so it's a little thank you so this, and she loves blue so, <laughs> Which, so she, i did mrs smith do you know what I didn't know about cornflowers? And I don't know why I didn't know this, because it should be general knowledge. But in France, they use the cornflower instead of the poppy on Remembrance Day. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah I didn't know that. Uh, and I think that's lovely. I suppose it's, uh, it's all to do with the fields, of course, and the history. But, yeah, someone was telling me they use the, uh, the, the cornflower. Lovely, so, yeah, yeah, that is just something to think about, maybe in the designs that you've got coming up. So, you've got that one. The next one along is Mrs. Jones. Do you Mrs. know Mrs. Yeah. Jones? Oh, I do. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my nan, in fact. Is it? Yeah, oh, Mrs. how Jones. lovely. My, my mum is Bridget Jones. <laughs> mm -hmm. No way. Yeah, is she way, bit way. after the film or just <laughs> by coincidence? No, by coincidence, unfortunately <laughs> for her. Um, but this is my nan's garden. My granddad was always quite a proud gardener. Um, and there was lots of different colours in there, and I was just sitting in her garden, and I was like, oh, I want, oh, I want, oh okay, inspiration came. Um, so I'm not sure if my nan's watching, because she's not very well at the moment, but, um, yeah, it's for my nan, Mrs Aww, Jones. Mrs Jones, <laughs> well, Mrs Jones, I hope you get better soon. Uh, two little makes here, and then nice to put your scissors in. Absolutely love this fabric, it's absolutely incredible. Very on trend at the moment. Right, the next one along we have is the Emporium. And again, I think this would go, rem all of these fabrics will go with the Curiosity yeah. bundle that we've got. But this one is incredible, isn't it? Uh, with this one, again, like cutting into the elements, I've used it, um, I've tea, tea stained some of them as well. So when you tea stain the fabrics, I found like they were taking on a whole new, another life to them again. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, it's like, it goes even further. Yes. Uh, but English paper piecing with this as well is absolutely great. Um, I think with the cushion you've got there, actually. Is this tea stained? It is. My yeah, that's word. coffee stained, actually. Uh, and that? that's just English paper pieces snipping in. And that was my leftovers. Um, really? And just going wow. in and just bringing this whole new pattern, different element to it. 
Isn't that incredible? I love that. Wow. Well, um, it looks antique, yeah. doesn't it? Instantly. It looks like it's been in the family for years. That is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> now, we've got some backing fabric coming up, and the backing fabric on there looks brilliant. So if you're thinking, oh, yeah, a cushion would be a good idea, do a little bit of tea staining, we do have this fabric coming up. Now, uh, once these, is it all the fabrics, once they've gone, they've gone? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, <laughs> so you better make your choices. £19.99 pence for a metre of cotton printed fabric, all designed by Lewis, and I'm sure you'll agree, very, very talented young man. I'll say, young man, um, incredible. Right, we do have some beautiful fabrics now to complement your patterned fabrics and some really nice earthy colours for you. The first one is your stone grey. Greys are really popular at the moment, aren't yes. they? So Yeah, so, and that's what I wanted to do as well, because that grey as well goes really nice with the black and white prints. Yes. And with the butterfly, the backings on that as well. And that's kind of like my staple. I have that always. In, do you? Yeah, I love it. It's a nice tone of grey, it really yeah. is. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, and you're getting a metre of, of, of this, cotton, yeah. which so is it's beautiful. really good quality cotton. Yeah. yeah, and that makes a difference, doesn't it? It really does. When when we're working, and like I've always said this, with our pieces, we spent days and hours making them. We want them to last. We don't want it, to, and we want to feel it and be cosy up with it whenever we yeah. get it out Christmas and it's warm and cosy. And that's really important to my company that we have quality for you guys that are back at home. Yeah, it does make a difference, it really does. Right, the next one along is a leaf moss. And again, what a sensational green this is. This is my favourite, favourite. Is it? <laughs> yeah. And that's the green it is, yeah, that was on the back, back of the cushion. Let me just show you that there. So it goes really well with that tea stain effect, but also would just go beautifully with Mrs. Jones, as you can see just there, because that's been used as a backing. Um, and they are absolutely perfect together, aren't they? They are, yeah. It's like they were made to go together. Yeah, yeah. gorgeous. Next one along is painter's blue i like this shade of blue isn't that lovely it's just subtle isn't it it's yeah. gentle it's not and i find with this shade of blue it goes with a lot of different things you could use it with mrs jones with the butterflies look amazing with it as well yeah it certainly um, would and it brings out different elements in it as well because it's just a nice subtle kind of blue sky type of thing yeah, yeah love that and then the final one we've got for you is your antique elements again Four beautiful, oh no, sorry, antique, antique cloth. cloth yeah. um, four beautiful, beautiful colours here in your fabric. You choose, you decide. You get one metre cotton fabric there for £13.99. Pets, top quality, 237535. Can I ask a question, uh, Lewis? If we're making and creating to sell, is that yeah. going to be okay? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You can make and sell. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's going to put your price tag up a little bit, having that <laughs> luxurious finish to your fabrics. Right, we've also got some half meters as well available for you. Um, we'll bring the details up on the screen for your half meters, because this is something that might be... Yes, I do have them here. I did actually move them. Can I just grab them? Okay, so your half meter fabrics. Uh, you've got three different options. Which one should we start with? I'll start with this one then. Okay, this is your antique elements. Let me just open this out for you so you can see this because there's a lot of different elements on here that you can snip into. But also, I mean, if you were to make like a bolster cushion or something out oh, of that, yeah. With all of, those, really cool. it, all of that interest on there, And Lewis. again, you could go in with your inks and you could highlight certain things and say if you've got, you wanted the sun more prominent, you could go in and ink that up and make that stand out or you can embroider on this fabric as well it is really good quality fabric so it's gonna it's gonna stand that embroidery and whatever you kind of throw at it i'm just mesmerized by the images here it's, <laughs> it's almost like you know like the old newspaper print mm -hmm. the detail that you're getting in here is uh, quite astonishing really and instantly looks vintage yeah right from yeah. the word go um you can see they're just coming in on the is that a griffin it is the griffin the teddy bear there uh, you've got the armour, you've got an owl in there, you've got the angel, you've got the dinosaurs, absolutely incredible. Uh, and then you've got all the elements of the brain, which is interesting in itself, isn't it? And then you've got everything but the brain, so you've got the skull. Just <laughs> <there>. <laughs> um, absolutely incredible. Look at that, and you've got your palmistry as well. How interesting. And that one, where are we? Just here, this one. Look at that. I like that. I know it's a bit morbid, but I do like that. It is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit like tarot cards. Love. Actually, it's a little bit like me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> 
It is, it's true. Uh, right, so that's your first half metre. The next one along, let me see, what, I'll bring up the butterflies and the insects, the next one along, because I just want to get this. This is your vintage illustrations. Let me get this the right way for you. Yep, that way. Look at this. Wow. So you've got lots of different colours in here. You've got lots of different insects. You've got lots of uh, frogs and toads in here. Is this something that you're interested in, Lewis? Yeah, I absolutely love it. I collect antiques anyway. Um, and I love the illustrations. I think they're beautiful. And a lot of the times I get a lot of my inspiration from vintage illustrations. Um, so when I'm designing it, normally I normally go to like the Victorian kind of illustrations straight yeah. away. Um, and when I was kind of started junk journaling, it was things that I was like, oh, I want, oh, I want a butterfly here, or I want a bird here, or I want a bug here, and things like that. And I just thought, why not do a panel that works, and things that I was missing in my kind of designs. Just beautiful, aren't they? And like you say, they're all illustrations as well, not photographs, which makes it even more intriguing and interesting as well. £14.99. And, and the last one to show you is that remarkable family album take a look at this let me just pop this out on here for you because there are so many different um images so many different genders as well i think the term is gender benders in here which oh. is marvelous i love this <laughs> so there's something that everyone can identify Absolutely, with yeah you've done a remarkable job with this um, and these are actual people so these are this is what i love about it there actually were people um but there's different kind of elements that you could make stuff for halloween there's a wedding get dress there um there's couples, there's of all different kind of uh, sexualities, there's people dressed up, there's funny faces, there's families, there's show people. So again, it crosses over, like for any kind of, you're making a card for someone, it crosses over as a quick, easy element to use on a card, a birthday card, a wedding card, happy Aren't moving day. Aren't they just <laughs> wonderful? They really are. And again, every single image has some history behind it. Uh, once these are gone, they are gone. Don't miss out. Look at that. Where's that one? <laughs> again, me in the morning. Or maybe me the night before the morning. Uh, £14.99, 353195 is your item number. Wow, what a feast for your eyes. Don't miss out. Do check out your baskets and make sure you get what you want before we to sell out. Right, so what are we going to take a look at first, our Lewis? Uh, I think I'm going to have a play with my journal, if that's okay. Um, I have been kind of playing with this already. Um, so these are kind of using, again, that's using the secret garden um, elements. And this is using the photo panels. So I'm kind of show you um, in a moment one of the photos that this has just been embroidered on and stuck down. But I just think that looks so cool and it's so tactile to touch. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, and there's different textures. I think at the moment, texture is a real big thing. Yes. In our homes, in our clothes, it's really coming across, especially in craft as well with mixed media. Um, and just using these different elements and fussy cutting around. I wanted to kind of show you this first before I started getting, getting into there because it's been great fun for me. I've just, and it got to a point where I was like, I need, to, where's my journal? Oh, where's, <laughs> where's my journal? I've got five minutes, I need to play. <laughs> so it's been great fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly get to this page. This is a page I left free. So this is Mrs. Smith as a nice backing fabric then. But again, you can't help but touch it. Yeah, it's It's beautiful. one of those, ooh. Uh, can I just tell everyone at home, 20% yeah. of the stock oh, of so the Curiosity much. Bundle has gone. 20% of you have checked out your baskets already. Lots more in allocation, as we call it. That means people are choosing to go for it, but you do need to check out your basket. If you watch the demonstrations, and I will let you get back to Lewis in a moment's time, but if you watch the demonstrations and think, oh, I'll check out in a moment's time or I'll go and put the kettle on, I've got it in my basket. It'll only stay there for 10 minutes, I'm afraid. If you take any longer to check out, it'll come out and someone else will get it, so we don't want that to happen. Right. Back to this. Okay, I should have done this while you were talking, so I do apologise. I'm just going to thread a needle quickly because I'm, I'm going to do some embroidery on the on the fabrics, which is quite. This is what I like about it being on fabrics, because I think with an image, some of the times they're like precious photos, and we don't want to ruin that precious photo. Um, whereas with a fabric, we can go in, we can ink it, we can sew on it, we can embellish it, we can add so many different things towards it, and we're not we're not kind of damaging something that's precious say an old family photo yeah i like that 
I love the idea of putting them together on a quilt and I love the sample yeah. we've got here in the studio with the different stitching. Um, it just adds it to that element because you've got so many different images as well. Uh, no two will, um, items that you make will ever be the same because they're just incredible. Whether it's a quilt, whether you could be cutting out the larger images and making that as your soft journal would be a lovely idea. Or even making clothing, you know, let's not stop at that. Make some clothing, go for your extra uh, wow. metres of fabric or make bags as well like you've got there, Lewis. Yeah, absolutely. So this is, again, this is scraps that I had left over. Um, but it's now going to be a beach bag or a bag to go crafting with. Um, and this is all the different elements. This is all my different fabrics that kind of all yeah. bundled into one. But because of the quality, I know it's going to be lasting yeah. for ages for me. Um, so, yeah, I just thought that's quite fun. And it's using the different elements, like your ribbons in there as well. Um, and a lot of people just think ribbons for, like, adding to paper and, or tying a gift with. But no, you can actually sew with this because it's such great quality. Um, and with the one you've got there, that's actually been pieced together to make a, an iPad to cover or other tablets are available. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, we've got queues now on the phones. Uh, oh. Queues on the phones. So the best way to order, if you have the website, head to the website. You'll be able to select the items yourself and check out your basket. You can tick Flexi Buy if you're going to divide the cost into two months. It's interest-free payment as well, so it makes it affordable. But we'll send everything out at the same time on the 8th of June. Oh, you lucky, lucky people. It's going to be an apps. It's going to be like Christmas. Christmas Day uh, <laughs> when you receive your bundle through the post. 853-417-5999. But of Ken, you can divide the cost into two. A quarter of the stock has gone now. It's 20% oh, wow. just a few moments ago. So you are checking out your baskets, which is brilliant. Remember, you do need to check out rather than missing out. Right, sorry. Lewis. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so you allowed me to do some threading anyway, so that's fine. So I'm going to start um, going over some of these dresses. I mean, I like them, but I want to make them a bit quirkier. Um, so we're just going to go in and sew over the top. I'm, I like hand sewing, especially if you've got a cup of tea, watch a bit of TV. Ooh, yeah. You can go in and start Quite prepping mindful, all your isn't it? Yeah, and it's relaxing, isn't it, at the moment, especially with the world that's going on outside. We can just turn off for a few moments and craft away, which is, after all, what we kind of want to do. So I'm just going to add some zigzags down her dress to kind of building a bit of 3D elements and make it a bit of fun. Again, you can go in with what either colours threads you want or any kind of beads or embellishments or ink. You could go in and paint their dresses if you want and add lace to them um, that are in the kits. I'm just going to do a couple of zigzags. I think any element top. with any kind of like decoupage to it as well, just building oh, up. Maybe yeah. you've got some faux flowers to add and really get that vintage vibe going on. I know you yeah. have so much fun. And lots of people upcycling as well and, and using fabric to upcycle. Imagine if you've got like an old footstool, for example, the interest that you can add to that by going for the fabrics we've got on the show. I did say though with the fabrics, when they've gone, they've gone. And we have sold out of one of the half meters. I'm afraid the vintage illustrations has now technically gone and sold out. So the only way to get hold of that fabulous piece of fabric is in the bundle that we've got available for you so that has now gone and sold out i did say when it's gone it's gone and it has that's how busy we are so the only way to get that fabulous fabric now is within the bundle but it is great value for money especially when you're getting history included in that so your fabric you've got your lace you've got your haberdashery in there as well and your ephemera excellent value for money and it's unique and it's bespoke and it's fantastic and it's just for you. Two payments of £30, 853-417 is your item number four. That. So I'm afraid that's not coming back. And the only way to get it now is in that bundle. Yeah, people are Thank loving the fabric. Much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I've just done a couple of lines there. I'm going to do one more for luck. And then we'll get her stuck. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> And I go quiet because I go off myself and then I'm like, oh, are oh, you on TV, Lewis? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, it, it is nice. And you're quite right. When you've got something that you enjoy doing that just takes you away for a moment. Yeah, absolutely. You, you do get to a point where you're like, oh, where is my journal? Like, I've, I've just been <laughs> doing some doodling over the past couple of days. And I've actually brought it to work and I never really do that. Yeah. But you do. You know, when you're into something, you don't want to stop doing it. You just want to carry on and you can't let work get in the way so bring it along with you <laughs> or maybe uh, on journeys lewis you know look, people are still catching the train now they're allowed oh, to go yeah. back on 
to public transport. So it's something that just takes you away or, or in the beautiful weather that we're having at the moment. Absolutely. And kind of, I think with that, like you said, put in a little cloth bag and just keep there and just, you could tuck in and nick little elements. As soon as I got these panels, I cut them up. Do you? And I, I cut them up and I wanted, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to stick that there and I wanted to stick that there. Yeah. And me, me and my friend Hannah, we've literally non-stop been, oh, and this here, oh, and this here. And we're getting really excited about the different elements which is great fun. This is what, exactly what I want you guys to do as well, to have fun with it. I love that. Um, here's a purse made up uh, of smaller pieces of the fabric. So remember, you know, if you're doing big projects and you've got smaller elements that you've got, you can still put them all together. This is um, a combination of your Curiosity bundle and some of the half meters that we've got. That, look at that, that's a card making. So again, don't throw away any of your pieces of fabric. You might just have a small piece left like this thinking, what shall I do with it? Add it to a card like this, or this could be a journal cover, for example. It's a great idea. It really, really is. So lots of different elements and aspects that you can use with your crafting, whether you've got de decoupage glue, for example, whether you're adding it to cards or whether you're using it to journal books as well. I've got some more news. I've got some more news on the half metre fabric. Of Oh, we're limited stock. Oh. Well, that's good. I thought we'd sold out then, but we're <laughs> limited stock, which means we've only got a few left. But if you do want to go for, let me just pop that on there very carefully, your antique elements. It's absolutely extraordinary. I love this. I love this. It's like Saturday afternoon television when you were a kid. You used to watch all those different black and white movies. <laughs> uh, £14.99 for your half metre panels. Uh, we have sold out of one, but we still have the antique elements left, but only a few. Uh, pop those into your basket. This will go a long, long way because there's lots and lots of elements that you can cut out if you want to or just use it. As, as one panel. It's absolutely fascinating. You wait till you get that home and see what's on there. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, but I did need to tell you that we're limited stock on that. Right, back to you, Lewis. Okay, so I've just finished doing a little bit of detailing on her dress there. Um, and I'm going to go in. I was like, oh, I like the blue, but I want to kind of bring in the red on her on the dress. Um, so I'm going to go in with the secret garden. I'm going to nick a butterfly, which is just on the edge there, kind of come in across. I'm just going to quickly fussy cut that around. Um, on the butterfly there, and then we'll get these stuck in. But uh, it's just playing, isn't it? And it's just having that fun. And you kind of, with my fabrics, I like it that people become the designer themselves, and they can add the elements and add the colours. So there's a lot, lot of the original ones I did were just black and white. Yes. And I wanted that. I wanted people to have fun. I wanted people to kind of splash colour at them and make them their own um, so I think that's really important as crafters we like to get messy don't we we yeah. like to kind of get our fingers dirty and get in and have a play so yeah so I'm just gonna I kind of like that there and I've got some different elements I'm gonna add in I think my glue gun's nice and hot now so that'd be cool so I'm just gonna spray these in so this is just a spray adhesive um, I'm gonna spray on there Now, I like the way you've covered that spray can as well. And this is something else <laughs> that you can do with your fabric because it could be, sometimes, you know, they can be hard to grip. You know, if they're shiny. Yeah. yeah. Whereas if you add uh, a grip with fabric to your crafting items, it just makes it something different and something inspirational to use. Perhaps a cover for a, a drink bottle would be good. Oh, that would be really yeah. cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Saw it here first. <laughs> 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 okay, so let me get some of my elements. I've got these, you're going to get some elements as well in your kits. Ah, there it is. I did get it out. I'm going to add some keys to this. My lovely um, friend Hannah lent me a glue gun because I've lost mine. So it's nice and hot and pink. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just going to add some different elements to it. So you're going to get keys and different bits and bobs in your kits. Um, but just have a play. That's what, the kind of the, there's tickets in there. There's old cigarette pictures in there. Um, little bits like that and just constantly adding it to it and bringing it and you'll find you'll find that your page will start to develop and you'll and as you play with it i keep coming back to them like, oh i could just put that there or i could just or oh, that could do with a butterfly or that, this could do with a scrabble letter yeah. or or i could add that, rip that sewing kit up and put the front of that sewing kit on there and that's what i've been doing it's been constant like oh i, oh, I could that. just add this and just add that I just love Great the fun. vintage elements of, of everything. And uh, you've got that lovely ephemera in there, the lovely cigarette packet cards, and the tickets as well. I wonder where the tickets 
are four in the set that you get home. That will be interesting to see. <laughs> that will be interesting to see. I think what... they're left to them ones, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. <laughs> what, the tickets themselves? Yeah, left oh. to bus tickets. Oh, let me... I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to have a look at this. <laughs> I knew there was something. Yeah. Oh, Newark, Newark, Newark. Nottingham. Nottingham. Newark, Nottingham. Look at there that. There was the Leicester ones the other day. Pull front course. Pull front course. Oh, I think that's a... I think that's, um, how much was it? Let's have a look. How much was it? <laughs> oh, it is Leicester City Transport. What were we doing advertising Nottingham then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, they are Leicester tickets. Look at that. Oh, that's made me smile. Three and a half, um, old money. What was old money? Three and a half, not pence. It was the old, anyway, in old money. Uh, look at that. Issued without... That's fantastic. Look at that. I'm going to put that back because that's, that's what you're going to get. Uh, we've had another sellout. We've had another sell. Oh, oh right. Okay. We've had another sell. Uh, sellament. I'm making my own words up here. <laughs> the half meter. Is it the elements? Oh, in the half meter. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It is. Yes. I have. Sorry. I've left it down here. Let me grab it. <laughs> sorry. 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 My fault. It's gone. It's gone. So I don't know why I'm showing it you because I'm just trying to tease you. Look. It's gone. And sold out. <laughs> wow. So that's another sellout. Another sellout. Oh, well done. I'll, when I say well done, it's not competition or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I always say, well done, everyone. Well done. <laughs> I say well done to everything. Um, but yeah, that's now um, sold out. So mm, doing, doing well, Lewis. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys like them. I'm actually just nicking some bits off set because I was like, oh, I like them leaves. <laughs> <laughs> when we're talking. So I'm actually going to spray, um, spray these in as well. That's all right. You put them there. You can take them away. <laughs> yeah. They are mine, I promise. So it's just building, it's the point of building it up and adding all the different elements to it. And I kind of like the fact that it's like wild and just like the set. There's a lot of... Um, different elements. We had great fun. I wanted I wanted quite a wild set this time. And you and certainly we went, did that. Um, absolute crazy at the antiques there. <laughs> it's amazing. Where did you get all of this from? Just Make, on, well, your, on your, on, like on your travels? On travels. It's wow. been antique fairs. Well, there's and... even an old ruler. Or ru <laughs> now there's the debate. A rule. <laughs> it's an old rule. Look at that. Looking glass manufacturers. Who's that? Taylor and Son. Now that is fabulous, isn't it? Again from Nottingham. Wow. There's just loads of different elements there, and like with this, it's been using like like the old Scrabble things in there, and that's that's like an old photo, family photo frame. Wow! But you could just use that, and yeah, there's loads of different bits and bobs, oh, or even just stick one of the fa fabric elements in a frame. There's a little frame there that I just put like a couple of gentlemen in it. Oh, the one, yeah, a couple of. See, something like that, even though it's not your own family, it's something that's adding interest. Yeah. It's a story, isn't it? I mean, it's very decorative. You could have it in your kitchen, you could have it in your lounge area, maybe pop it on the wall or on a sideboard. Maybe you've got some vintage furniture at home. Maybe you've been doing some upcycling through the uh, pandemic and everybody's staying at home and you've been uh, getting things off, off um, online social media market style places. There you go, that's covered that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and doing lots of upcycling. You've had a chance to just have a peruse of what other designers are doing online as well. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. I love it. I really, really do. Uh, let's head back to Lewis to see how he's getting on with his project. Still having a little bit of a play. I kind of like this, but I don't really know where to go after there. So, hmm, I might get some inks out and get a bit inky and messy. Oh, yeah. Because that's the best way. Whilst you it? get your inks out, yeah. I didn't think I'd be saying that on a... <laughs> yeah. On a Friday afternoon, <laughs> whilst you get your inks out, <laughs> let's have a look at the secret garden in your meter pieces. The secret garden, it's gone limited stock, has it? Oh, my days. This really is beautiful. You're going to absolutely adore this when you get it home. Look at the kaleidoscope of butterflies that you've got on here. And that lovely grey detail of the leaf in the background. You can see that it's like a newspaper print. There's so much detail in there that you can highlight with some ink if you want to. Or just leave it as it is because you've got those beautiful colours of the butterflies. I think there's some moths in there as well. There is, yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful. I'm not surprised it's gone limited, which means we only have a few left. So if you do want that, pop it into your basket make sure you check out but if you want one of the others let's take you through the remaining three that we've got for you mrs smith is also limited mrs smith those beautiful cornflowers that is absolutely gorgeous lots of cornflowers will be coming out 
in the British countryside. Uh, so it's quite apt to buy this now to add it to projects because it's really nice to have things in your home that you see out of your home on your walks. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Mrs. Jones, named after Lewis's grandma, uh, approaching limited stock. Again, another wonderful design with all of the, the flowers of the meadows. Absolutely gorgeous. It really, really is. And you could just sit there for hours just taking a look at all the different flowers, the different colours in there, and maybe pick the colours out with different fabric as well. So you can make purses, bags, even clothes with this. Uh, 19.99 for your half metre fabric. Your Emporium, well, we're limited stock for this. We've been very, very busy for this. And again, all of those wonderful images on there. Probably you've got some stamps at home that you've been stamping to look just like this. Well, now you've got your fabric to go as well. If you're into your vintage and your steampunk elements, this is going to be absolutely fantastic for you. 686704. We've had a sellout. The secret garden has gone. Aww. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> Well, that's gone and sold out. We'll have to remove that from your eyes. Uh, right, a uh, very busy show today. One we haven't seen yet is a lace bundle. You might want to add this, actually, to your baskets. Beautiful vintage lace. And it's only £15.99. 315133 is your item number. Beautiful lace. I wonder if some of that's from Nottingham. Oh, could Might be. be. I think yeah. it's from France, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ooh, again, <laughs> each and every piece of lace will tell a story. Uh, right, whatever is in your baskets, do make sure you check out. We're having a busy show. Remember, we've got that wonderful bundle of curiosity for you. Uh, and we've got the wonderful Lewis from Leo of London with us here in the studio. <laughs> uh, I just want to show you some of that lace. It's going to be all different kind of elements in there, so it will vary. Yes. Um, again, it's that really nice quality of lace there. Um, I used some of it in the booklets um, already in there. Um, when you again, you can ink that's took ink on that fine. You can really ink grunge it up and ink it up. I'm just going to see if there's any more in there. I think I used some the other day. Might have been on a sample somewhere. Um, but yeah, you can really ink it up and grunge it up, or you can just use it as it is. It is beautiful, really beautiful quality lace. Yeah, it's lovely. I like adding. I like adding colour to the fabrics that you've got and also yeah. colour to the laces. And if you can think of any natural way of dyeing them, like the tea staining, for example, people use coffee as well, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So some of it I've been doing coffee stain, tea staining. You get kind of different results each time. Uh, with coffee staining, you can go really harsh and kind of do darker bits and smaller bits. Um, but like with that one, that was just, uh, I think I was tea stain for that one. Yeah, it's remarkable. So isn't quite it? a lighter yeah. colour. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. Maybe use some of your food colourings as well. You know, and think about dyeing your fabrics and just adding elements of colour as well to really, really make it look vintage, which is lovely. Um, so if you want to go for your curiosity bundle, half the stock has gone. We've been very, very busy. You get your half metre bundles. <laughs> beautiful designs with all the different pictures imagine all the different characters these are real people from age gone by you've got your lace included in there and you've got that beautiful fabric panel half meter that's sold out individually but it is in the curiosity bundle you've got those lovely gorgeous of pieces of ephemera those vintage maps those old uh, book pages, no two packages will be the same. And then you've got the musical pages which are from Lucy's uncle as well that used to play. We believe it was the clarinet in the army. How amazing is that to get those home? Then you've got your bundles of ephemera. So you've got your old vintage tickets. Some of those are from Leicester buses. I can't believe that. How amazing <laughs> is that? You've got your little scissors in there, your measuring tape. So you've got your sewing kit, your vintage sewing kit, vintage style sewing kit to take with you. It it means you've got it with you. This could be your journey pack. This could be the, your go-to pack. Maybe if the kids are watching television, you're using this to build up your different vintage style elements. Absolutely incredible. Whether you're making cards, whether you're making purses, soft crafts, for example, there's something in here to suit all of those elements and all of those needs. We'll divide the cost into two payments, but we'll send it all out at the same time on the 8th of June. But it's only £30 today and £30 in a month's time. The details on your screen are for the lace bundle, which is also very, very busy. You might want to add that to your bundle of curiosity. If you do, by the way, 
or your curiosity bundle. If you do, you can divide the cost of that into two. So it makes it a really good way of buying and dividing the cost. 853-417 is your item number. Right, let's head back to Lewis. What have you got there? Okay, so I thought I was going to show you kind of like some scrap. Um, I've been calling it junk patching, patchworking okay. kind of thing. Um, so it's basically my leftovers that aren't leftovers that I've wanted to use. Yes. Um, so this is from the family album panel, um, lovely gentleman then, and this is from the bundle that you'll be getting as well um, on the Curiosity bundle. And I'm just going to start patchworking them together, but randomly <laughs> sewing them together and building up an element like a quilt or you can make a, a backing for a waistcoat or things like that. And what's really nice about all these fabrics, Lewis, is that, like you say, you can just randomly put them together because yeah, they've got they that work. vintage style. They work. Yeah, absolutely. And they just work seamlessly together. And if you kind of have that element of, like, vintage kind of element, or if you're not into vintage, you can modernise them and yeah, add yeah. colours to them, make a bit like Andy Warhol, like, pop, pop art. That's a good idea. Pop my scissors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to snip that there and slowly start to grow this out. So I'm going to get some Mrs. Smith. I wonder if that gentleman in that image there ever thought that in years to come <laughs> he'd be on the television, on the craft store. Being sewn. Be <laughs> being, being stitched up. <laughs> I mean, we could carry on with that one, but I think I'll stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing though, isn't it? And I love though, I love the photographs that you've, you've, you've researched and you've got together because each one is, has a unique characteristic about it. Each one has something different to offer. Um, I mean, look at, look at that one. <laughs> I love that. It's just brilliant, isn't it? There's a it? great sample here, actually, um, that says beauty is only half, the, only half the story. And it's just using... Oh, One of the faces on there, <laughs> and that, and you could, if a friend's feeling a bit down, oh. you could just send that to, do you know what I mean, and just have yeah. a bit of fun. Yeah, definitely. And I wanted to kind of put those quirky, different quirky images in there for you to kind of have a bit of fun with. Yeah, you've certainly done that. Now, we're busy on the phones. We've got four-minute queue, so again, the best way to order is the website. You, you can still watch it and order from the website. Uh, but if you are on the phones because you don't have the website to go to, it's fine. We will get to you. The guys are working hard up in the call centre to take your call. So uh, just be patient and we'll get through to you. Um, now, I've got some news on the half metre piece. Is that of the photos? Sorry, I, I wasn't asking you guys at home, <laughs> just randomly. Is that of the photos? <laughs> You're there at home going, yes, Janice. <laughs> uh, right, sorry, I'll just... And a conversation with my producer. We are limited stock if you want to go for those marvellous collage of photos. It really is extraordinary. Maybe you identify with somebody in the images. Maybe one of your family members uh, reminds you of one of the images. Or maybe you've got a project in mind for several of those images. But we are limited stock now for your half metre piece. £14.99. Uh, if people are going for two of the half metre pieces, they will be cut in half metre pieces, won't they? they Oh, yes, Excellent. they come as panels, yeah. Excellent. So they'll be coming to you as panels. So busy for that one. Make sure you check out your baskets and get that. I don't want to be telling you it's sold out if you still want it. Uh, let's get back to Lewis. Okay, so I'm just building up this element here. So this is how, like, you can kind of start building up. I'm just going to chop that off because that's got some glue on it and that I don't want on there anymore. <laughs> I've just noticed one of the uh, photographs on here. Can anyone tell me what's different about this one? I know it's different. Can, can anyone tell yeah. me? <laughs> what's missing? <laughs> oh, God. I thought I thought that was a head there. I thought she was leaning forward. She's not got a head. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Look out for little things like that in your fabric panels. You could send that to someone and say you were off your head last night. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to, like I said, just building this up. Again, this is quite cool. Cushion front or tote bag. Just going in with the bits you've not used for your main elements. Now, we've had an email in from Anne. Anne has emailed in. Thank you for emailing in, Anne. She's just bought the fabulous Curiosity Bundle. Thank and she you. says, what a great concoct... Hang on. <laughs> Concoff oh, I couldn't say it now. Concoction? Cacophony. Oh, cacophony. Cacophony of fabrics we have. 
Thank you and so much, And stunning design. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Anne. Okay, so I'm literally playing on air. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I'm just going to add that on the bottom. And you see how it just starts growing before your eyes? Yeah, I love and that. And this is not using much of your kit, really, already. Yeah. Do you know and what I like about it as well? You've got some of the plain fabric in there. Yeah. And you've not been afraid to add quite a large piece of it. Because that in itself, I think, is a feature because of the beautiful colour and quality of fabric. So even if you've got plain fabric and you're using quite a big piece of that within your designs, it's still going to look fabulous because it's quality and that's all the difference. Now, with your um, metre fabrics, you've got a choice of four colours. Um, and it's £13.99 pence per metre. 237535 is your item number. Um, and we've got some gorgeous, gorgeous colours for you all with vintage in mind. Now, I've just found me and Jane in the, in, on the fabric. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Well, it would be me, I can't speak for Jane, but that, that, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> I went, I went to a ball once and I and I wore a, a tux. Oh, did you? Because yeah, I didn't want to wear a dress. I didn't know what else to wear. I think a wear. woman in tux looks really chic. So, yeah, yeah I thought, really well, nice. I'll wear a tux. <laughs> I was the talk of the ball. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Very good. Very nice. I think I would be that one there. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, a, with a glass in my hand. That's Jane looking at me going, you've had too much again, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Right, and see, I'm playing, sorry. I always do this. I'm just going to build this up. So this, again, I might make a cushion for now, this one. I'm not sure. In fact, if people message me on Facebook yeah. and tell me what to make out of it, I'll make it and I'll send it to you guys. Oh, <laughs> how amazing. How amazing. Because I'm not sure what, where it's going. Can we find you on Facebook? Can we share our makes with you on Facebook? Oh, please do, because that gives me more inspiration to design for you guys. So, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, Leo of London um, on Instagram, now on TikTok and Facebook. You know, mm. are you? We're on TikTok, the craft store. Yeah. Been seeing I, your, been I, watching your videos. I've been TikToking <laughs> on uh, on TikTok. Yeah, it's good fun. It's addictive though. Very addictive. Oh, very could, addictive. Could lose hours. I lose hours. Got to. Uh, I'm not going to lie. My friends can help me on that because I'm <laughs> a bit of an old man when it comes to when it comes to social media. <laughs> I'm sure they're fabulous. I'm going to go and follow you now. <laughs> well, not right now because I'm no. working, but after the show, I'm going to go and have a look. Okay, so it's build, slowly starting to build that up all around him. And like things like this, I would start adding buttons to it and different elements. You could even stamp on it and mm. things like that. It'd be really cool. I like that. And I think, I think when people craft at home, they do collages with paper and mixed media. You know what it's like, guys. You, you get a bit of rice paper and you'll put that on and then you'll add ooh, a bit of texture paste. Then you'll add a bit more paint and then maybe you'll put some uh, embossing powder on there. And you just keep going, don't you? Well, think of that but then do it in fabric, so you're crossing over your mixed media. It doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to measure, it doesn't have to be precise, you don't have to use any rules or anything like that, or rulers. Um, you can just cut, you can chop, and you can just bring it together, collage it together, have fun, and think of it like your mixed media projects, but you're using fabric instead. And in that brilliant curiosity bundle, you have got your two panels, of your fabric. I love the elements in the pictures. You're going to have so much fun with that when you get it home. Maybe you'll be cutting one out that looks like one of your members of a family or something that gives a message <laughs> to one of your friends. You've got your lace in there as well, which is beautiful. You've got your book pages, uh, and these mean so much to Lewis, and he's putting them into the bundle, so they're going to mean so much to you. You've got your music sheets from Lewis's uncle. You've got your maps in there. And you've also got your book pages in there as well. So have fun reading those. You've got your ephemera. And to add to all of that, so that you're good to go when you get your package home, when it's delivered to you, you've got your sewing kits in there as well. But no ordinary sewing kits. They are very special sewing kits with that lovely vintage element in mind. Oh, I'm just having a look at that. Western Highlands, look at that. 
even that image on the back of your sewing kit that you've got there, even the images you could possibly use in your journaling. Really like that, isn't that gorgeous? Uh, yeah, definitely. So <laughs> all the packaging, even on your sewing kits, you can use. Look at that, Robin. Isn't that beautiful? It's an old cigarette card. Look, if I turn that around, you can see that. There you go. Fabulous. Uh, right, busy for this now. If you do want to get hold of your bundle, we will divide the cost into two payments of £30. It's interest-free and it's really easy to set up. All you have to do on the website is just click on the item number and then click in the box when it says Flexi and then we'll divide the cost into two. You can also add other elements. Maybe you're going for some of the fabric we've got on the show. We'll divide the cost of that into two for you as well. Maybe you're going for the lace bundle. If you're going for the lace bundle, then you can add that to this particular bundle and divide the cost of that into two. 853417 is your item number. We have had another email in from, is it Elaine? Elaine has emailed in. She said, make a pencil case. She would Ooh, like a pencil case. Oh, I like that. Cheeky pencil yeah. case. Ooh. Cheeky pencil I'd case. I like a cheeky pencil case. Yes. That, okay, I've grown again. I've, I wanted a frog on there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's growing out and things like that. So like... See how I've picked the planes, so that plane matches that frog, ah, and, uh, yeah, and it yes. kind of like they subtly match each other. Yes. And it's the subtle greens of the Mrs. Jones matches that, and the vintage cloth matches the, the moth. And Love that. It all kind of ties in slowly, and you can build that up. You can make a massive quilt out of that if you well, want. Well, I was to just about to say again, you you don't have to make panels for no, a quilt. Yeah. You could actually just stitch it together, which is how they made quilts originally in, in ye olden yeah, days. Yeah. So now you're using um, vintage images to make quilts like they did back then with very similar images on their fabrics. Absolutely. And the thing is, for me, I like, I've said this before, if I'm doing a project, I like it to be done, look good, but not taking me like two weeks to do something that big. Whereas with this, you can just go in and use your scraps or use your massive pieces of fabric if you want to and kind of really get in and you design the elements and stuff like that. Instead of following patchwork and yeah. kind of rules and stuff like that, yeah. this is definitely the way forward for me. It's this is where I'm going to start going. <laughs> well, I've, I've just been inspired just by watching you put those panels together without necessarily measuring, just here's the colour, but knowing that one colour will bring out elements of another piece of fabric. It's a really good way of thinking about it. But before you know it, there's your quilt cover yep. and then what you could do is perhaps create an album cover and have that or maybe even a frame at the side of your bed so you've got your quilt going on with all of these wonderful images in and remember if you cut them up you can add your base fabrics like this in the background it, it makes them go even further and then with one of the pictures you've got left you could even make something for your bedside table so that it all matches I mean you know you have a look at magazines Lewis and you have a look at designers that yeah. put together those particular rooms and it could cost a fortune but now you're doing it yourself in fact, there was a programme uh, with Alan Carr, interior design programme, yeah. uh, a competition just gone by. So that's really given lots of people, because they've been at home, mm -hmm. uh, inspiration to start doing up their own homes. It has, yeah. And this is like, I mean, we, I did it, I've been doing my house up, and a lot of this stuff is from my house. It's like a jungle. Um, but it's, I think with this as well, you can go in, you can make a matching cushion to match uh, the scattered cushion to match the throw on the bed or curtains or blinds like you said earlier um, and just you becoming the designer and having a play and not costing a fortune to do it yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and be inspired by the fabric that we've got, not just for quilt making, but also maybe for making cards as well. Gift tags, for example. Uh, maybe bottle holders. Stretch this kit far and wide and use all the different pieces of ephemera and fabrics that you've got in here to build and create those wonderful designs. But you know what? You're going to be inspired. That's the main thing. When you get your fabric home, when you get your ephemera home, when you get the Curiosity Bundle home, you will be curious about it and it will inspire you 853417 is your item number and we'll divide the cost over two months for you uh, now fabric wise on the show we've still got your half meters we have sold out which one have we got left the family album that's the only one we've got left is that in the half meter that's in the half metre. We've still got your metre pieces left, so do go and have a peruse. You can still shop after the hour. And we've got those gorgeous, sumptuous plain colours as well. They are superb. If you want the right fabrics to go with your vintage style, they match absolutely perfectly. 
Lewis, 30 seconds left of the show. Thank you so Ooh. much. When are we going to see you again? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll be busy packing this off and sending this to you guys, and then I'll come back with something new. Oh, well, do you know what? <laughs> we really look forward to that, because I'm always interested in your mind and what you bring to us here at the craft store. Thank so you. thank you very much for today. Thank you very much. We'll see you very, very soon. Remember, you can see Lewis on Leo of London on Facebook and share your designs, and we can't wait to see them. Uh, check out your baskets, everyone, but don't go anywhere, because we've got more shows coming up. Right, Nikki is here with Heartfelt Creations Climbing. What's she climbing? Has anyone got her a safety net? Will she be okay? Get the blow up, get the blow up bed in case she falls. Where's she climbing? Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012. I'm never really sure. At one point, we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. four o'clock which of course means it's our final call of the one day special we have been super busy it's all about the beautiful florals it's all about the clematis thank you I you know you say clematis I say clematis all of that sort of thing anyway look at these samples aren't they absolutely beautiful now as I always say you can never have too many florals and flowers in your life and these samples are absolutely stunning they really really make a piece of artwork sing and they're so delightful so beautiful um, and we'll show you what you're gonna get in just a short while but just look at these aren't they absolutely stunning whether you are going to make wedding invitations or whether you're going to make, um, uh, it could be birthday cards, it could be all sorts really. Look at these, we've got so many samples. Um, thinking of you cards, thank you cards, could be sympathy even. Or if you're visiting somebody maybe in hospital because obviously we can't take real flowers in, it would be an absolute joy. Now, uh, a lot of you have been going for the complete collection. We do have a essentials collection couldn't think of the word but we have got the complete collection which most of you have been going for now 80% of the stock of the complete collection have now gone 
So please check out your baskets on this. I love that it even comes with the bag. I love that. Right, so we've got the stamps and dies to match. We've got the paper pad, of course, as always. And we have got the moulds, the shaping moulds, which are just perfect. Now, if you do want to go for the complete collection, um, you've got fabulous saving here. Um, we'll explain it further in just a short while because it's even better if you are a Freedom member. So, um, Nikki, how are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. Nice to see yes. you again. I love the fact that you're in Clematis colours. I ha It's as if I planned it. I, th I think you did. <laughs> Pinks and purples. Well, well, well they, they are my favourites. Yes. They are my favourites indeed. Um, so, as I said, you get stamps and dies to match. Mm. Or, as always, they're, all, they're bigger than the packaging, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, they are a really, really nice size. And you're also getting in here the stamps and dies to make the three-dimensional clematis yes the all-important bit that's it and of course you've got the mold uh, which is down there and you have got the paper pad now we do have an essential collection which is the paper pad and these two here so if you have got a smaller budget then we can accommodate now <clears throat> you've got a five pound saving on that that £5 saving will carry over to the complete collection, so just bear that in mind. If you want to go for the essentials, it's two payments of £23.49. Oh, look at this clematis, isn't it beautiful? Look at how you can create the most realistic flowers. Stunning. So there you go, stamps, dies, and you have got the paper pad. Lovely. So that £5 carries over from the essentials collection, and then... You've got a further £28 pound saving. However, if you're a Freedom member, you've got a further... Well, you, we've shaved it down even more. So you're saving £38.89. Plus, don't forget that £5 saving is also carried over. So that's over £40 worth of saving, which is awesome. You've also got um, three payments instead of two. Three payments of £32.68 if you want to spread the cost. So basically, with that saving, you're not paying for the flower shaping mould. That is cool, because that one is 20 Twenty-one ninety-nine each. There you go. Item number is 436367. Now, the dispatch date is going to be from the 14th of June, because obviously cause it's uh, coming from across the pond, as I like to say. Now, we always start with the um, paper pad, don't we, Nikki? We do. So the paper pad, I always say, is the core of the collection, and this one is no exception. It is absolutely gorgeous. Climbing clematis. So the colours, as you can see, are your purples, your pinks. You've got your matting layerings that are done here for you. And, you know, if you want to make a really quick card, but make it look like you've put a lot of effort into it, you cut one of these panels out. You, you kind of use the image as a guide to where you're going. Add a few flowers, add a sentiment, and you've got an absolutely gorgeous card. But what I love about Heartfelt is they are double-sided. Yes. So you have got 12 designs two of each which gives us 24 sheets in total but you've got your larger sheets as well as you can see there with the upside down yeah, bird don't cage worry. but you've got more panels and even just when you look at just this one page you've got five cards that you can create yeah you've got your panels down the side where you can put your sentiments you can even hand write your little sentiments if you wanted to you've got as i say beautiful larger sizes there so great for your scrapbooking great for your mini albums if you just look at this one page okay so you've got all your beautiful clematis on here but you can either make little notelet cards or you could use it for your mini albums you can make it to make um use it to make little pockets so many possibilities this one is one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. This is actually one that I created a scrapbook layout. Oh, I can see. And if I just grab the scrapbook layout, so you've got a beautiful page. It's already started off for yeah. me. I've got the panelling around the side. It's got flowers on there. But when you add, mm. just all, the only thing that is out of another collection is my sentiment and the two dies there. Okay. Obviously, I have no photos in there. But then cascading those gorgeous um, clematis... It's just really pretty, really nice and easy. And the fact that you have two of each page mm -hmm. means you can create double page layouts, which is really nice. As I say, beautiful images. You've got your cottage in there that we've had a few times in other collections as well, which means you can mix and match those collections together. You've got your little birdies there, look. You've got your um, bird cage there. And all of these images that you are seeing will be replicated in your stamps and dies. 
And talking about stamps and dies, we've also got images in the paper pad that you can cut out with your dies if you go for the full collection. So the full collection will give you the stamps and dies, and those dies will fit absolutely perfectly mm. over your images, which means we can make nice, easy, quick cards if we want to. We can use them to decoupage them up, so you can use them as a backdrop to uh, your clematis flowers that you are going to be able to make. But just looking at that, look at all those mm. images there. And this is why I say to, to everyone, you know, this is more of a paper kit than a paper pad. You've got your six by sixes in here as well. I mean, just look at all these images. Mm. I thought that was a six by six there. I'm skipping. So, so yeah, you've got more images. That is two, four, that's six pages. So you've got eight pages in total that are your images that you can die cut out. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got your greens in there. So the back of the paper, what I love about it is you've got all the papers that you can create and use mm. for your um, backing papers. In actual fact, you can even, so say your leaves, for example, you can stamp your leaves onto the green yep. and use them as your leaves. You could even stamp your flowers onto the coloured papers and use that. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different ways that you can use your paper pad. But then, as I say, you have got your six by sixes in there. So uh, if you're really into your card making, there's lots of um, designs here that you can use to create your flowers. One. So like we said, actually, it's very generic, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, I think anyone is going to love um, this collection and also for any occasion. Yeah. I mean, there's not an occasion really. Maybe Christmas. I don't know. But maybe you like clematis at Christmas. I don't know. Why not? But um, <laughs> so many occasions. And that's what I love about this collection. You've got your, um, the back two pages that you've got your tags. You've got your little tickets here. As I say, you can write your own sentiments on. But if you have been crafting for a long time, I do know that you have probably got lots yes. of sentiment stamps that will coordinate with them. So it is absolutely a stunning paper pad. In actual fact, it's one of those paper pads that I would probably say definitely go for a second one. Yes. Because um, you are definitely going to use it. Amazing. <laughs> and we can accommodate that for you because you can get them at $17.99 as your consumables. Item number is 763162. <laughs> We're going back to our complete collection. Remember, 80% of the stock gone. It is really busy, Meg is telling me. So you've got your paper pad. You've got all of those fantastic stamps and dies to match. And you have got the mould. Um, remember, £5 saving carries over from the essential. Then if you're not a Freedom member, you save an extra extra 28 pounds but if you are a freedom member even better you're saving 38.89 plus that five pounds extra saving so that is over 40 pounds worth of a saving but um it will be going back up at six o'clock i don't want you to miss out on that because that's a really big saving it is a why not deal so you might as well become a freedom member then your postage is covered also beautiful even better than that we've spread the cost for you three payments instead of two three payments of 32 pounds and 68 pence 436367 is your item number. Right, you know what? If you've got any of the other collections, you know what I'm going to say. Send in any pictures of your cards or your canvases or your 12 by 12s that is scrapbooking that you've been making to studio at thecraftstore.com. Over to you, Nikki. Right, so the mould is absolutely amazing. I really, really can't tell you enough how much work the mould has taken out of your, your, your flower shaping. Um, I've already gone ahead and stamped, coloured my, and die cut, obviously, my flowers. You've got three sizes. So this one is the larger one. Then you have the medium one. And then you have the smaller one, which is a really nice size flower. And I always say the small flowers that come in our collections are great filler flowers. Yeah. Okay, so... For these ones, I am going to put my images face down into my mould. You can do it either way to create a different effect of flower. So I'm just going to pop them all in. I've got a nice array of different colours here. And your leaves will fit in as well. You've got space to put... I mean, just look how deep that mm. is. I mean, look, yes, it's just stuff. really it's deep. You can shape. see how that is going to shape. 
So I'm just going to spritz gently. You can, of course, put more than one layer. I would say you could put maybe three layers in at a time. And you are just going to put the top back on your mould. You can't mistake where it's going to sit because you've got like feet yeah. each side there and one this side so that that's going to help hold it together. So then you are going to take your large plate from your die cutting machine. Um, and I always say, if you are new to Heartfelt and this is the first time you've seen the moulds and you're thinking, oh, I quite like the idea of that, but will it fit in my machine? Just head over to Heartfelt's Creations website and they have a full list of all the machines and all the different plates that you you can use with them because each machine is slightly different so it will use a different combination of plates so I've popped a shim in mine which is a piece of card that will help with the pressure because the more pressure the better the results yeah but you don't want to force it through your machine. So just be very, very careful when you're putting it through your machine not to put too many shims in and get carried away. So just pop my big plate back in there. And I am going to grab one that hasn't been in so we can see the results. Mm -hmm. So this one hasn't been in that's in my hand. But this one has huge difference look, at, look that. at that and if i just turn that around yeah there we go excellent very quick look. and easy easy and quick yeah. and already it's looking even just the stamped image itself when colored looks like a um a, 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 I'm, I'm getting it confused now a clematis yeah and what i love about it is if i just grab one of the stamped images so there's a stamped image there uh -huh. with clematis i would probably not every single variety but a lot of the varieties have this vein down the middle so when i've colored them in i've just gone in with my dauber really gently i'll tell you what let's just have a go with one here so you can see because i know there's a lot of crafters out there that haven't seen me color today so what i do is i put a um just a layer of color down first mm -hmm. so i've gone for like a very pale lilac and then i will go in with my darker lilac just on the tip and then i'm just going to go down that vein and then pull it like that oh yes Lovely and it rich. just picks it up and then when you pop it through the machine, you see, um, I would actually say as well, always colour the back of your flowers. Yeah. But then when you put it through the, the moulding plate, it actually picks it up even better. Absolutely gorgeous. Easy and quick. However, the real um, thing that will really help... Hang on a minute, let me just put the lid on there. Um, really um, finish off your flower is the center yeah now I always do a lot of research on my flowers um, picture wise and also do a lot of reading up about them as well yeah. so what I found is the actual stamens of the flower are just as pretty as the actual flower themselves okay, okay so when you check out at the end you will see there's lots of different stamens on um, on there and these are just a few of They're them divine okay they pretty? so you can make so many different this is just paper yeah and if we've got time towards the end of the show I will um, do another demo with that because it is very easy very quick but very effective nice and then you could just just put some a few stamens in the middle like this one look love it so pretty so many different varieties as i say these are just as important yes. as the actual flower itself nice if you want to find these when you go to check out your basket you'll see it come up as a little suggestion it's the end of call um here we go we can take a little look at the website oh there's lots of choice Nikki. Right. there is a lot of choice now the ones that i will be using i think is the top ones and some of the pearl ones as well 
and so it makes you scared. I'm just going to add them all. medium. I would just add them all. Yeah, I would. If you if your brand if you you know if your funds can, because it's really nice to have them at hand because. Yeah. You know, Heartfelt have given us the stamps and the dies to create the flower. But when you just see what I'm going to do here, so mm. I've got three stamens here. These ones are on the wire, and I do believe these are the first ones on the um, list of stamens. And then I'm taking some of the smaller, pearly type ones, and I'm going to. Just add a few. So what I'm doing is I'm all fingers and thumbs now. I'm just bending that up like that, doubling it up, yep. and then pop that the other side. I'm going to drop some because it's just all falling off. There we go. And then keep them where you want them to be. So maybe you want them to really spread out, and I think that's how I'm going to have this one. Okay. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take one of these wires like that and just twist it just to keep that together like that. And then what I do just to finish it off, if you've got some florist tape, that works just as well. But if not, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. Wait for that to cool down slightly. That one's come off, I didn't quite catch that. Once that's cooled off, you can roll that together in your fingers and it will hold all of those stamens together. Nice. But as I say, you can use florist tape as well. Yep. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim that if I can find my scissors. And I'm going to make a hole in the center of my flower that needs to be quite big and sometimes it will kind of break away some of the petals but that's fine because you can glue that glue it back so there look can you see where that's just pulled away but well, that's fine that's going to go in the center there pull that up like that and then where's that one broken there it is just hold that together like that and then just add some glue around the base of the flower. Again, just wait for it to cool off slightly. And once that's cooled off, I just get my fingers. Yep. Ah, oh. and there you have a gorgeous center. Yeah, definitely. You need those to finish it off. It looks Isn't absolutely that stunning. stunning. Yeah, yeah, stunning is the word. It is. Excellent stuff. Right then, if you are just joining us, this is your last look at the complete collection, the one day special. It's absolutely beautiful. The clematis fl flower is just a gorgeous one, isn't it? Love those colours. So what you've got in the set is, of course, your paper pad or paper kit, as Nikki likes to call it. You've got your stamps and dies to match and you've got the flower mould. I will just show you think it's important you see because they're a lot bigger than the packaging so if I hold these up there we go you can see they match perfectly so I, I really like that because nothing wrong with fussy cutting but it is nice if you can just cut them in one pass isn't it stamp and cut them marvelous so they are a lot bigger than the packaging um, let's show you some samples I don't have too many behind here but here we go let's have a little look so there's a beautiful archway isn't that stunning oh and pinks and purples of course my favorite We've got a gorgeous, gorgeous easel card. Our oh, happiness always, isn't that romantic? Nothing says I love you more than flowers, in my humble opinion. And then again, just dotting them around, you could add some glitter to them, some gel pens. Let's bring this in. Isn't that a gorgeous one? So, it, you know, you can compose it any which way that you like, but just flowers mean so much to people, don't they? And for all occasions, here you go. This is one of Nikki's scrapbook pages. Forgot that the right way. Yes, I have. With that wonderful cascade of the clematis. Absolutely stunning, stunning. Don't forget as well that your complete collection will also come with a bit of inspiration, which I always love. So it gives you a bit of inspiration to make this. Lovely, with all the instructions on the back. And I always forget to mention, but I like it. it, comes to you with the in the plastic bag. 
which is really cool. And then if you want, you could use that as a swimming bag once you've used all of your lovely goodies. There you go. Now, we are now 85% of the stock gone. Will it last? Will it last until the end of the hour or indeed six o'clock when the price will go up? If you're a Freedom member, you're actually saving over £40 because it's not just £38.89 that you're saving. You've also got that £5 saving that carries over from the Essentials collection. You can spread the cost. Um, three payments of £32.68, but we are over 85% gone. We are busy. 436367. Now, I love this. If you want something to, um, to put it in, I know a lot of people collect these. They look so professional, don't they? And they put each of their collections in there. I certainly would. Um, storage makes me very happy. There you go. You can fit your whole collection in there. Uh, you've got the binder, as you can see. It's got that magnetic clasp, like that. And, of course, the carry handle. So now we can start going to craft workshops and things. You can take it with you, just like this, very portable. Twelve ninety nine, only that much. And, of course, if you're um, getting a complete collection, it opens up your Flexi Buy Basket. So you're only paying a third of this today. There you are. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. item number is 374418. Now, we've also got the inserts for the binder, because a lot of people like this as well. You've got the magnetic sheet, so you can stamp your, um, stamp. You can pop your stamps and your dies on there. You could do, you know, stamps on one side, dies on the other. Twelve ninety nine again, very, very reasonable price, and you're getting six of those panels. 934723 is your item number. Now, if you just want the stamp panels, because we do have different ones. There you go, right, 15 of them. I didn't know there was that many, that's br brilliant. Uh, 9.99, item number is 021997. And then finally, because Nikki loves using her daubers, we've got some available, they're back in stock now because we hadn't got them for a while. 13.99 and you're getting two packs of six, so 12 in total, 069154. Now everything's going to be dispatched from the 14th of June because it is coming from the USA. Um, as always, you can call us on 01733602000 or go to thecraftstore.com. Back to you, Nikki. Right, so I've got some elements that I'm going to be using on the card that I'm going to create and I'm just finishing off colouring so I'm just blending with my light lilac colour pen on my flowers there so this is the smaller of the two um, arches so I'll just grab a bigger one there you go so you can see this is an I've coloured this um, stamped this in a light grey so what I've done is I've stamped some in black some in a light grey, some in green and some in brown. So then I've got the choice yes. um, on, on how I colour them up. So you've got the two sizes there. So I'm going for the smaller one on this one. And then I've got that really cute um, birdhouse. So I've got my colours here. So just make sure I picked up the right colours. No, no. It's going to be the last one, isn't it? It's quite bizarre because it's the one that's actually got the darkest tip. So it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> got a yeah. bit confused there. So I'm just going in and adding some colour to it. And I want it to look shabby anyway. I know that's a cheap way of saying it. But it means that I don't need to worry too much about the detail that I'm going in with. So then I'm going to go in with a dark brown. Just really using where the artist has put her shading or his shading in. Mm -hmm. Go down these little bits here. And just add a little bit along those lines. And then go back in with my lighter colour and just blend. Really easy and quick. Yeah, nice. But it's very satisfying. But very satisfying, yes. Mm. I do love my colouring. I know. I too. don't always have that much time to do it and spend hours doing it, but I still get the same satisfaction yeah. out of doing it. And then just go in and blend down here. And it just looks like I've probably spent longer than I actually have. I like to think so anyway. Yeah, it's, no, it's really effective. And then just go down, add a little bit of brown on the, what's it called? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
stand, isn't it? Oh, the stand. Oh, sorry. The stand, yeah. <laughs> I was, oh, for some reason, I was thinking stalk, and I'm thinking it's not a stalk. <laughs> and then just add that brown there. Excellent. A little bit here. And then with this, I tend to go around in circle motions. Take a bit of that dark colour off. And there you go. As I say, very easy and quick. You may have a lot more time at home than I do. Or maybe you want to make just one card and you can sit and you can really take your time mm. colouring using your alcohol markers or your pencils. I love colouring on rainy days. You. Yeah. Mm. Well, today's one. I don't, know whether, you've I know, been, right? I don't know whether you've been out. But yes, um, the weather's changed here in um, Oundle. So just add that pale colour. Now, I'm just thinking, what was the fact that Meg told me in the break about, oh right, 200 varieties mm. of clematis? There's a lot of different varieties wow. and they all flower at different times of the year. Do they? Oh. So um, you've got ones that all flower early spring um, and some that will flower late autumn. So maybe you've got um, a picture that they could set photos of their clematis in their gardens. Oh yes, if you in. have at home, that would be lovely. And what I'm going to do is just add some yellow to the centres. Yeah. I may cover some of them up. So as I say, I'm not too fussed on the amount of detail that I'm going to add on. Just mm -hmm. need to add a little bit of dark there. Come back in with my lighter green. And it always um, changes colour once it dries as well. You can see more definition once it dries. So that's my birdhouse, but I obviously need to cut my birdhouse out. Oh, good, so we do so have the dye. I'm going to take my dye. Yes, I wouldn't want to fussy cut it. <laughs> so I'm going to just pop that over. You can see how perfectly that fits over there. So I do want to just add one more piece of tape so it doesn't move in my die cutting machine. Take that shim out now. And most of these will actually go through all of your A4 or A5 die cutting machines. I think maybe some of your smaller ones as well, apart from the trellis. I would say the trellis is definitely not going to fit. It will need an A5 or A4 machine. So just look at the detail of what that's cut out. Look, all the little, all the little tendrils. Yeah, look, wow. Let's cut it all out. Very intricate. Perfectly. So now I'm going to bring my card over. So you know some of the panels that you see mm -hmm. in the paper pad? Yeah. I've actually cut one of mine out, okay. and that was using one of the Heartfelt Creations dies, and it's from the Cut Mac Create die set, and they will fit a lot of the elements in the paper pad. So I've cut that out to create an aperture. Yep. And then I've got some foam tape to lift that up. There. And then I've coloured one of the trellis in and it fits absolutely perfectly. And I'm hoping it's just going to catch. It should do. There yep. we go. Just good. catch. Perfect. The, um, oh, that's the foam tape. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that over there for a second because I just want to add my 6x6. Six six. So again, this is from the paper pad. And that is just going to go down there. And I've got a nice white edge around there. Now, what I've also got is, can you remember the gates that we had on a I few remember. weeks yeah, ago? I remember, yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I've cut off, I've actually cut both of them away. So I've cut the gate from this one in the center and cut the tops out. So I'm using the two tops and I'm going to pop them down here. So just go, oh, that, oh, I don't know what's happened there. Oh dear. And then that one is going to go down that side. 
and this one which I've got plenty of glue here now there we go so just make sure they are equal I think it's about there and then I'm going to take my trellis and put my trellis in the middle and then I'm going to take that part of that gate die okay and put that in the front there we go just make sure that's this is looking level. stunning Nikki just using your decorative dies yeah, in a different yeah. way that we've all got and then I've got my that's just wondering where I'm going with this one because I know I've got a sample around the studio somewhere but I'm just going to go with it because got to use lots of foam tape some, I love my foam tape I know. It's one of those things, it's a bit like um, if I get low with, per I always have to have plenty of perfume in. And it's the same as with my foam tape. <laughs> it's a girl thing. Right, where am I going to put this now? I can't, oh, I know, it's yeah. going to go that side. Okay. Just remember, then I've got my thank you, which is again from the collection that we brought out last month. That's and lovely, then I don't think I saw that. I've got my arch. So I will bring my glue out for this just on the ends because it's only going to catch the end. That's going to sit on the top. And then, of course, we've got our flowers. Yes. The most exciting bit. <laughs> well, it isn't. I love putting the cards together as well. Yeah. I'm just going to grab a little bit more glue just in case that runs out. So I'm going to pop one there. I think all of these Let's beautiful samples, samples using the clematis have got such a lovely sort of romantic feel to them. They have, haven't yeah, they? Just... Yeah, very romantic. Mm -hmm. Is that, are you feeling in a romantic mood today? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so just keep that there. And one up there. Gorgeous colours as well. You could, I'm just trying to kind of... Um, balance it out a little bit so yeah. it isn't too too top heavy um pop that there oh okay um so nina we'll be showing your picture very shortly but you've asked about um nikki what color what purple ink pads do you use because purple's a favorite color right so the purples that i've used for these flowers was that it's a heritage pigment ink. There we go. Oh, that's so stunning. It's the. Oh, oh, sorry. I'll let you have a look at the card. <laughs> all good. All good. <laughs> there we go. That is absolutely stunning. Okay. Go you could it. even, um, with this aperture, with the trellis behind it, put some acetate yeah. and make it into a shaker card. I love that. So, idea. as I say, there's a lot of different things you could do with it. Nice. So this is the Heritage Pigment Ink in Lilac, and it's a very, very pale lilac, and very old as well, I must say. It's, I'm, well I'm in the process of moving, Alex, so I'm finding things that I didn't think I had. It's um, bizarre. And then the darker purple on them was my Archival Ink, in. it's just called Deep Purple. So they are the two inks. But I've also done some purple flowers, which aren't these ones. I'm not sure where they are. They're here, I think, actually. I've got one. Oh, it's this one. So if you want to go for a really pale lilac, yep. this is a good one, Cool Perry. And that's the Adirondack. I can never say that. Adirondack. I know, it is a hard one to <laughs> say, actually. <laughs> Lovely cool Perry. So, yes. Thanks, but there Nikki. you go, a gorgeous cast. It is indeed gorgeous. Now, Nina, thank, thank you. you so much for sending thank your you, picture Nina. in. Here we go. Do you want to look, Nikki? Oh, oh she's... wow. Right, this is the Wild Rose collection. That's a stunning oh, card. Isn't that beautiful. Yeah. What's I love the composition it? of it, actually. Dimple. Does it say dimple? I'm not sure. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. oh. 
It's cool. Now, she said she, she has ordered the clematis um, set and the mould. Lovely, lovely. Enjoy, Aww. Nina. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Yep, to send, a, to send in your picture because we do appreciate it. We do like it. Now, as you can see, we've got some gorgeous samples at the back here. Um, flowers you just can't go wrong with them add a little bit of glitter to them have a look online because if there's over 200 different types of clematis there might be all sorts of different colors uh, but to be fair you can do whatever color you like there's no rules there's no clematis police um, but the for any occasion for weddings anniversaries there's a birthday thank you card could be sympathy card um, just to say hello but, um, and team them, as Nikki's been saying, with your other decorative dyes. And the possibilities are absolutely endless with, you know, the different versions that you can create. And just florals in your collection are an absolute must-have essential. And these ones are beautiful. Uh, now, as you can see on screen, we've got the complete collection, which the majority of you are going for. Okay. Oh my gosh, right, we have now gone limited. Who knows, is it gonna last? I don't know, there we go. Um, so green is on the screen, limited stock. It's um, going to go back up for Freedom members. You're saving over 40 pounds with that extra five pound saving that carries over from the essential collection. So do make sure you're checking out your basket. You'll be getting, of course, your paper pad, your 12 by 12, and you get two designs of each. Um, is it 24 sheets, is it's that right? 24 sheets Excellent. in total, yes. 12 designs, two of each. Then you're getting your clematis florals, the stamps and the dies to match. Then you've got those lovely archway florals and you have got, uh, it's almost like a trellis, isn't it? Plus you have got the flower shaping mold, which I just think is such a fabulous bonus so that you get really realistic florals. There you go, you can see on screen, 38 pounds and 89 pence is the saving for a freedom member but it also then you need to add on or take off if you will and a further five pounds so you're saving over 40 pounds which is just such an amazing value look that's like almost two molds isn't it because they're 21.99 each so that is a really good value plus we've got it on flexi buy and we've been able to split it into three payments instead of two so you will be paying as a Freedom member. Your first instalment will be £32.68 and, and then you've just got the next two instalments to pay. However, we will send it out to you once you've paid that first instalment. You don't have to wait three months to get this fabulous collection. It's going to be dispatched from the 14th of June because it's coming from the USA. Uh, 436367 is your item number. Uh, so Nikki, I think we've got about 20 minutes. What's your fancy? Right, so we're going to have a flick through the paper pad very quickly. So... The paper pad is absolutely gorgeous. It's got your birds in there. You've got your birdhouse in there. Obviously, you have your clematis in here as well. But it's so easy to use because you can cut these out and you've got ready-to-go cards. And yep. that's what I love about Heartfelt. They are double-sided, so you've got a choice. So if I just turn this one over, so you've got your panels on this one. Yep. Five cards or you've got the back. But even if you don't do scrapbooking, mm -hmm. okay, you could cut that up. Yeah. So you've got that as a panel, that one as a panel, the bottom one, and then you've got this plain one here that you can use as some backing paper. It's really pretty, really useful. You've got your tabs down here as well. So as I said, um, we've all got sentiment stamps. Mm. So it could be an anniversary. Yeah. It could be um, somebody's 40th birthday. It could be a 70th birthday. Indeed. So you can use your own stamps to add your sentiments. More here as well. Look, no part of this paper pad has been taken up. Even this white strip here, that is not within your paper pad. It's still 12 by oh, 12. Oh, I see. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So as I say, great for your scrapbooking. This is that's that page beautiful. that I used for the scrapbook layout that I did earlier. Um, that was in the 12 o'clock show, okay. which you can catch on Rewind, I do believe. Of course. And then, as I say, more panels there. You've got your cottage in there that you'll recognise from various other collections. Think about those other collections that are going to work really well. Mm. Do you know, one I think would work really well with this is the Wisteria collection. Oh, you yes, know, the, yes. the um, I don't think it was actually called Wisteria. 
I think the flowers were the hysteria, but I can't remember what the collection was called. There's so many to remember. But, yeah, that would work really well with this one. The fence is from the tulip collection. Collection. So think about those other elements that you've got at home yep. that are going to work really well with this collection. You've got your little birdies. Cute. And you have them. I've got one sitting here, look. You have them in stamp form as well. So you can add them to your projects. But then you've got all of the elements here that will cut out with your dies. So really easy, if you get it the right way, to cut out. Even down to the little tiny tendrils of the clematis, they will cut out with this die absolutely perfectly. So you've got all of the, if you're going to go for the one day special, mm -hmm. you will have all of the dies that will cut these images out. So you've got your trellis that will cut out. So we'll just go there. Yep. Just sit that over the top and that will cut out perfectly. And then we've got more. So that's, is that six sheets already? I think it oh, was. So, yeah. I've lost count, yeah. I've lost count. Oh, so one, two, three, four. Four sheets, and then there's so six sheets all together of elements. Then you've got your flowers as well that you can use in your mould. So if you want to make some nice, easy, quick cards, yeah. you can. And then we've got our six by sixes. We've got some more panels in there. As I say, this has given you a really good idea on what you can create. Mm. The colour scheme. I love As I that. say, you can, you can, do you know, I will have to do some research, but I'm sure yeah. there is a black clematis. Really? Or if it isn't black, oh, it Meg might be a, a very, very, very dark purple. Ooh, that is Halloween-y, that one. Yeah, halloween -y, but I'm mm -hmm. sure there is. Oh, Meg's saying, yes, you're right. Oh, so yeah. How about making a Halloween card <laughs> with some black clematis? Um, maybe, maybe I wouldn't go quite that far. And then you have the... Um, the tags there as well that you can add your sentiments on yeah but nice. yeah there is hundreds of different varieties different colors of clematis that just because your paper pad is in your purples and greens yeah but I you can those. do them in any color absolutely but i have to say i love that paper pad now we've had another picture thank you so much this is from pauline there you oh, go oh look at that wow they're beautiful wow. i love them up oh. there like that isn't that stunning Oh, yeah, and there's a cheeky gnome in there as well. Oh, he yeah, likes look. the clematis. That's <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. amazing. Gorgeous colours. Beautiful. Oh, oh, she said that's the Montana clematis. They are gorgeous. Oh, bless you. Thank you for taking the time to send your say, pictures in. I there's so in. many Thank different you. varieties. Yeah, you are yeah. going to have so much fun with this collection. You really are. Indeed. Definitely. Lovely stuff. So, again, um, your complete collection. As a Freedom member, you're saving over that £40 because not only have you got £38.89 pence saving for the complete, you've also got the £5 saving that carries over from the essentials. And we've spread the cost for you in three ways. However, we are now limited stock. I don't want you to miss out on, I mean, that's a big saving of over £40. 436367 is your item number. Um, are you all right to, to go again? We've got about 12, I, 13 minutes. I am. I've actually got a really nice quick one here. Cool. Um, so I've used one of the six by sixes from the paper pad, but I've actually cut it down to, I think, yeah, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Added my foam pads on the back. Lovely. And my card then is, I do believe, five and a half by five and a half. So I just get that nice, like, white, clean edge around it. I do like having yeah. um, my layers on my cards. Then I've got one of the heartfelt diamond dies okay. that we launched three years ago, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Maybe two years ago. It could even be five years. I have no idea. I do not know where the time is going. <laughs> but just taking off. I wonder how many collections you've actually got or gone through. Well, I've been with Heartfelt for. I did work it out the other day. Since 2011, as in doing TV work. Ten years. So, yeah, yeah, I've got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've got every collection. And then I was buying before that. Yeah. So, 
so I have a lot of collections. I've got a lot of boxes to empty. I've still got packing to do from the old house, actually. But I keep finding things. I actually it must be found. Nice, yeah. Um, oh now, what was the collection called? And it was heartfelt, and it was in the very, very old packaging. So it's going back maybe. It must be 10, 11 years wow. ago, oh and I can't remember what the collection was called. Don't worry. And it was hidden away somewhere, and and I found that, and it's it's lovely. Nice to revisit. So. It is, definitely. And the thing is, do you know, with collections like this, Alex, yeah. they are not going to go out of fashion. Yeah, 100%. It's lovely to have fashionable stamps, but sometimes, you know, you think after a year they've kind of, you know, they're not, they're not the in thing. Yeah, but with florals, day. you cannot go wrong with. No. Nope. So, added two of the... Um, Curved, I can't that's think what you call it. Arches, arches that's, yeah, that's it, that'll do. That. Arches, we got there. And then I'm going to add my um, birdhouse. I need a bit of prompting now, I don't know what's up with me. Well, you have done five shows, you know, and over then the course of the 24. Just pop that down there. As I say, a really pretty card, mm -hmm. and it, that would look pretty on its own just by adding a sentiment. If I just find. Any old sentiment, not any old sentiment, because they're heartfelt, so they're never going to be any old. That's it. But you could just put a sentiment on there, yep. and you've got a really pretty card. Oh, that's good. However, go on then. I've got flowers to. I've got flowers to put on there. How on earth can I not put my flowers on there? I don't think it'd be a Nikki card if I didn't add my three-dimensional flowers. So they are just going to sit, and I'm trying not to cover up too much of the image on that stamp mm. she says so i'm going to pop one there so i'm purposely putting them just away a little bit from that birdhouse so i'm not covering it all up and that one can go down there and just one more at the top there. And then to finish off, I will put my sentiment on, but I just want to add a bit more pink. So I'm going to go in with my, my archival magenta hue. Oh, that's nice and bright. And rather than matte and layer it, what I'm doing is just go around the edge and that's just going to bring that pink through mm. so the sentiment is actually from the wild rose collection so again mixing and matching so just add just going along the edge and that just saves having to mat and layer yeah and it just makes that pop a little bit so then finally I'm going to add my foam tape well actually not finally because I'll tell you what we're going to do we've got, we've got a little birdie yes please let's pop a little birdie little birdie just there amongst the clematis down there he doesn't want to go in the birdhouse he wants to be amongst <laughs> the, flowers. Like the flowers just lift him up slightly and there you go. You have a flower. So should we beautiful. hold that up? Yeah, yeah. There Very we go. nice. Oh, that's good. And I love the happiness always. That's such a perfect Isn't it? sentiment. Yeah. As I say, you can just make a card, just because. Yeah. Just absolutely. because you're thinking of somebody. Maybe you're visiting people for the first time in the last yes. twelve months, eighteen months, and you just want to take them a card. Absolutely. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. I think we've all been making a lot more cards over the last year, haven't we? I think we definitely have, yeah. and also. Um, it's given us time as well to maybe find a hobby mm -hmm. and find a craft or maybe going into something slightly different that's still card making, 
as I say, I, I'm trying to get back into my scrapbooking because yeah. I'm finding that I'm at home a lot more than what I used to be. Even though everywhere is open, I've decided I'm still in lockdown. I know a lot of people <laughs> are, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And how much money am I saving? I know. A lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Um, right, just to finish off then, have a look at a few more of these beautiful samples. They really are so gorgeous. And you can do those florals any colour you like. Look at that. I'm thinking of you. That's a perfect card, isn't it? Um, I, actually, I like the touches of green that are to some of the flowers. Why not? That's absolutely fine. Teaming it with all of your other dyes that you've got. They're just brilliant. And as Nikki said, they're not going to go out fashion. They're not going to date. Florals never will, if you ask me. Um, you can add so much dimension to them. You can layer them. You can decoupage them up. Don't forget that at the end of call, when you're checking out your basket, there will also be all of those beautiful, beautiful stamens. Um, and the compositions, you'll notice with the design team, you know, no two are the same, even though they're using the same flowers. In the paper pack, you've got little images like the cottages, etc. There you go. You can see there. Look at that beautiful. And then what's the next one coming onto the screen? Now, what about making them blues? Because the colours, and you're right, Nikki, you can even get the black ones because we were, Meg was having a little look online for us. Um, so you could do all sorts of different colours. Have a look online yourself at home, actually, um, because then you get a little bit of inspiration. I always do that sort of thing. Uh, gorgeous. Right then. So um, we've got a little bit of time left. And you can see in the um, complete collection, you've got the paper pad. There you go. You've got the clematis spray. You've got the one with the birdhouse. And, of course, you've got the stamps and the dies to match. Plus, don't forget, you are getting the flower shaping mould. Oh, I just love those colours. They're beautiful. And it'll come to you with the inspiration. I like that um, Heartfelt do that, actually. They give you that sheet in each yeah, set, Yeah, you've got the they? inspiration there, but also it gives you the list of all the yeah. items that they've used mm -hmm. and full details on how to make it as well. So if you're a new crafter and you're thinking... I haven't been crafting long. I really don't think I could create anything like this. Yeah. You've got the inspiration there to get you started. It's good, isn't it? Look at that. But even if you you've just sizes. been crafting for a long time, do you know, I always say, um, my friend Lorraine, we're crafting buddies, basically. You are, aren't you? Yeah. And I've actually just moved five minutes around the corner from Amazing. her, so it's even better now. But we always say it takes us a couple of cards to really get into, yes. into a collection. Mm -hmm. And when you've got that inspiration sheet, it... It just gets you into it a lot, lot quicker. Yeah, sometimes mm. it's what happens with all of us that you can lose a little bit of your crafty mojo. It just happens. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you've got that to go with it. And the paper pad as well. Don't forget to use the paper pad as an inspiration for your cards. Yeah, it is. It's very beautiful. Got a few more samples here. So, like you said, you've been getting into your scrapbooking. I have. Nice. Yes, just no photos yet. They're still packed away somewhere. 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 There you go. So there could yes. be a photo here, photo, and then it could says, be a wedding. Oh yeah. Layout, couldn't it? Hundred percent. Absolutely. Because um, it might be that your wedding has these colours. You know, the theme yes. of the, like yeah. the bridesmaids' dresses and mm -hmm. everything. That would be beautiful. I like that little sentiment. Life's beautiful moments. I just need to pop this down. Here's another one. So uh, I've kind of done it so that it's a double page layout. Yeah. I okay, so mean. this one's kind of opposite. Oh, um, I see. Same I'm just going to grab this. Opposite, if that Sorry. makes sense. <laughs> there you go. Like so. That's really pretty. That really works, doesn't it? Love that. I love yeah. the composition of that. Thank and you. then um, a few more samples. Here you go. So this one's been made into a thank you card. Don't forget those stamens, because I love yes, those. Yes, so that's very similar to the one that I've just done. Oh, yeah, the first it one. Is. I'm just looking. To, it wasn't the one that I just did. The first one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I think it was so. the first yeah. one. Lovely. Yeah. And then beautiful easel card here. Yeah, just, just think about all those other um, dies that you may have. Um, yeah. Maybe you've just purchased them just lately that you can use. Mm -hmm. And th as I say, Heartfelt, when they bring out a new collection, it will work with other collections. Absolutely. So the arches work really well, as in with this one as well. Yeah with um, that arched gateway there. Yeah, that we had on previously. Lovely. Oh, and adding a little bit of sparkle to the yeah, flowers. Yeah, we all love a little bit of sparkle. Yes, beautiful. And then this one, look. Isn't that stunning? Tag card. And those flowers are actually all from the yeah. paper pad. Oh, I right. did actually say that I was going to try and get time to do one, but I didn't. But they are from the paper pad. Okie doke, yeah. I love that you get that in yes. the paper pad, actually, yeah. so that you can die cut those. Another beautiful one, and then I've got one more. There you go. 
Now, uh, so if you're tuning in for the first time, very quickly then, because we're running out of time, you have, um, you've got options. So there is a smaller bundle, which is your essentials. That's with the paper pad, and it's these two here, your actual flowers. Again, I'll just show you the um, stamps and dies. They're much larger than the packaging. Um, it comes to you on the back of the packaging. It will actually tell you the sizes of them. So you've got two and a half inch by one and a half for the leaves, um, three by two inch for some of the florals, two and a half by two and a half, and then four by two and a half inches. So there are on there if you want to know the sizes. But if you do want to go for the complete collection, then as well as the paper pad and those two, you're going to get the rest of those beautiful florals and the uh, dies to match. Plus, you will be getting the mould. Right, we are so, so super limited. It is Fastest Fingers First for the complete collection. Um, I'll just reiterate one more time that if you are a Freedom member, you're saving over £40. It's not just the £38.89, but the £5 saving from the um, essentials carries over. Um, and of course, as a Freedom member, your postage is covered. It's what we call a why not deal. So you might as well become a Freedom member because then as well, your postage is covered for the rest of the month. We've also spread the cost for you three ways, three payments of £32.68. 436-367. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. See you again soon. A couple of weeks, are you in? Uh, yeah, it yeah. will be I a couple of weeks, I think so. Lovely jubbly. Now we've got some very, very funky stamps coming up, so please stay tuned. We are paper crafting next with Funky Fossil and later it's the launch of a brand new one day special which is So Craft uh, and then oh, we're still funky with funky needlework after that. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamp range covers a broad spectrum of imagery. We started out with architecture, fairly cute, fairly uh, folksy, very well received. This has since been broadened out into vehicles, people, basically everything works around a scenic image. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK. Most important to us at Picture This. And we have so much more to bring you. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. everyone or shall we say good evening when does afternoon become evening it's kind of early evening did you know it's national fish and chip day today yes so i i, I could say happy chip chest day to everybody uh we know we all get chip chest right 
You know, when you eat too many chips, it's like, oh, they get stuck. Anyway, uh, whether you have chip chest or not, I'm sure you're going to have a lovely night. I've got the lovely Sarah with us from Funky Fossil. How are you, Sarah? I'm, I'm well, learning things already. Yeah, National Fish and Chip Day <laughs> and, today. And chip chest. I've not come across it. You must have had chip. Everyone's not had, had chip, chip chest. chest. You know when you eat them too quick and then they get stuck, or is that just me? I'm sure well, everyone's I had chip chest. that's just you, Janice. <laughs> probably is. Probably is. I need to slow down. Uh, my goodness, what a fabulous show we've got lined up, um, Sarah. We've got some brand news today, haven't we? We do. It's, it's a, a mixed counter. We've got um, at least three of our bundles are completely new today. In fact, Excellent. some of the stamps have just been released literally this morning. Have so they're they? brand, brand new. Wow. Um, and a couple from the uh, from the last May release, which are really popular. So Superb. Sure and again. we've got that returning paper pad as well. We do. That's proven to be popular. Super you can popular. see everything on the website before we get Get there but what we do need to draw your attention to are these right here uh, my word we were busy when we had these on last time only 12 pounds and 99 pence and that's for all four nine eight five nine eight two that's your item number these are an absolute bargain Sarah well I, I think because blending brushes are an essential that, that we all need um, but if, if crafters are anything like me, it's the essentials, you, you know, you, you like the pretty things, the, the stamps and the stencils, but then the essentials, you think, oh, do I have to buy that as well? So I wanted to make them as affordable as possible, really. Yeah, and they certainly are affordable. Oh, my word. Do you know what I love about these? You can blend with a sponge, which mm. is fabulous, like makeup sponges and things like that. But these are just a little bit different because you've got all those individual brushes. I guess it's going to move the inks it around is. a lot better. It's, the, the density of the bristles mean it's very soft. And because it's got a, a dome, it's not got any kind of um, straight edges, it's great for blending. And the, the, the softness of the, of the brushes, as you say, Janice, means that it glides over your paper or over your stencil. Yeah, I was going to say, these won't get stuck in your stencils, not like your chips in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll blend beautifully. They really and will. You, you're going to demonstrate this. I will. I, I use them on pretty much everything now, so yes. Yeah. Excellent. Right. So if you want those, pop them into your basket alongside some of the other items you're going to go for on the show. 985982. Oh my goodness, very, very busy already. I love this set. Um, instantly, when we saw this in uh, preparation, I had a look at the detail that you've got in the fruit here, and it's absolutely marvellous. Tell us a bit about the designer. Well, it's uh, the designer, I can never say her name right, it's Mia Buono, I think, Mia Buono. I think I just need to say it with flair and it will come yeah, out better. give it a bit of flair. Mia Buono. Yeah, there you um, go. But uh, she, she brings a lovely kind of contour line to her illustrations, which I think just make them really eye-catching. So quite simple shapes in terms of, uh, of the, the fruits themselves, but it's that, it's that kind of detailing the dots and the contour lines inside them, which make them really contemporary and very easy to colour as well. Yeah, I love that. And you're quite right, yeah, very, very contemporary. Yeah. But also, they've got like, for me, I looked at them and thought, oh, that's, a, that's like a 1970s feel, and that's, that's quite on trend at the moment. Moment, that yeah. particular era, the late 60s, early 70s yes. designs yes. in people's homes at the moment. So why not have that crossover to your card making, but also with your fabric inks as well? True. Yeah. I mean, the, the, there's something. It's, it's the time of year, isn't it, where the the kind of zesty colours of the of the fruit really kind of. Um, appeal to us and you're right absolutely stamping them on fabric or even using some of those contour lines for stitching lines as well that's um, a, oh what really a fabulous lovely. idea and doing your zen, zen tangle dingle mm, dangling as yeah, well doodle, uh, which would be plastic. lovely <laughs> it's a great set of stamps so you've got the pear you've got the strawberry we've got the apple you've got the lemon you've got the cherry and you've got the, the kiwi, kiwi. The kiwi yeah. fruit, and you've got the great sentiments in there as well. We've also got the stencil. Now, there's something missing from that stencil. Let me just go and grab that and bring that in because you also get well, I like to call it the in and in the out. I don't know what else to call yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, the it's negative. stencil and the mask, I guess. That would be a better yeah. way of saying it, definitely, <laughs> rather than the in and out. Uh, yes, 
the um, mask and the stencil. <laughs> um, but uh, do you know what? I, again, I love the detail in that stencil. It's remarkable, isn't it? Yeah, the, uh, I, I love this. Um, this is a, a brand new stencil again. And um, I like the combination. Of, so you've got the open aperture. So for those people who like to... Uh, blend or stamp into an aperture you've got that with the with the solid pair but you've also got that mandala style overlay which fits over the top of it and uh, I'll um I don't uh, I'll do uh, something later with that yeah. I think just to show how they work together but inking over the base layer and then putting maybe texture paste over the mandala looks fab yeah, it's, it just looks magnificent. And then, of course, you've got the lemons. They could be limes. Yeah, it doesn't have oranges, to be lemons. I guess. Or oranges, oranges and lemons. Said the bells of St. Clemens, something like. Oh, it could be watermelon. No, no, not a watermelon. <laughs> Actually, not watermelon. A uh, grapefruit, possibly. Yeah, yeah maybe. I'll go with your grapefruit. Maybe. And yeah, you could. <laughs> so, sort of Jimmy, director, just said, could be a wheel. True. If you put two together. True, indeed. It could, it could. be. It could be. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show you this sample as well because I think this is lovely. Uh, and this really brings out the elements uh, of those lines together. Um, and my producer said, it does look like a little carrot. It looks like a little piggy's nose. It does, absolutely. I think this, this, it's both a combination of being quite um, whimsical but also a bit realistic as well, if you know mm. what I mean. It's, not, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, a, a crossover. But that is one that I coloured in and I was saying to you before, Janice, it wasn't I, that sometimes I'm a bit daunted by colouring in big open spaces, uh, images. Yeah. So I, what I like about these designs is it enables me to, to kind of vary the colours without feeling I've got to get perfect blends. Love that, absolutely love this. And guess what? Look at the price, twenty-one forty-nine. My word! You've got your two stencils and your set of stamps. That is a superb price, it really is. And I think something like this is is dateless. It's ageless. I really, really do. You can use it for all kinds of different designs, different cards. Your journaling as well. Yeah. And it's uh, it's it's kind of your go-to stamps. It's never going to go out of fashion. It will always be on trend. Absolutely. And if you're having a particularly bad day, it can be your five a day. So oh. you can eat chocolate and stamp I with like the fruit. Like that. Yeah, it could be a five <laughs> a day. I do like that. Uh, get healthy. Get crafting. Twenty. Not, not that we can guarantee you're going to be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 21 pounds and 49 pence 034237 is your item number absolutely love that uh, right we've got more for you and we've got another set we've got some fish funky fish though Let's and with see. it being national fish and chip day Indeed. it's a bit sad really you don't want to be eating these fish no they're, they're great so some of them, uh, some of them look uh, a bit, a little bit scary to um, to be eating, but yeah, they are. They're really just, they're so cute and um, just full of character. They are, they are real kind of um, a pleaser stamps in terms of making you smile when you when you're designing with them. Oh, I love these. Do you know what I'd use on on these as well? On the detail, on the speckly detail. If you've got any um, like glossy accents, or if you've got yes. any like little pouring mediums that turn yeah. into gems. That would look amazing, and I think in embossing powder as well, it would really bring that detail yes. out. The, I mean, uh, several of the fish have got quite big bulbous eyes, which you say with glossy accents. Haven't on them. we all? <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> Um, so you see those little fish there, if you put glossy accents on them, they really, oh, they wow. really kind of pop. Oh, they're lovely. I think pattern building with these will be uh, fabulous. Wrapping paper, gift yeah, tags. Absolutely. Um, if you're putting together any construction like boxes and things like that. Uh, pencil cases for the kids as well when they um, go back to school or go wherever they go these days to learn stuff. Who knows? Just downstairs <laughs> into the kitchen, isn't it? Um, you can have a lot, a lot of fun with these. £23.99. pence. It is a spectacular price. It really, really is. Uh, for what you're getting and yeah nothing fishy about that price just a great deal you also get the mdf porthole as well um so that's what we've got here in a sample but you see you've got your elements and you've also got the little elements that go around there so we've got without knocking anything over let's see if i can lean forward here oh 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 that looks like uh, a little sand dollar, isn't it? it yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then you've got your little um, seahorse. Oh, it's like it's like a guessing <laughs> game, isn't it? And then you've got so that two Ronnie sketch. <laughs> the um, uh, the yeah, let's pick up another one. And then Sarah, I got 
You've got the um, seaweed. Sea yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then you've got the um, uh, oh, starfish. Yeah. You, oh, oh, and um, what the, um, and the anchor? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even need to move your lips. <laughs> it did um, This is fabulous, it really is. And you've got your two stencils as well. So lots here to have fun with. And do you know what it does remind me of? It reminds me, do you remember the game when we were kids and you used to have the magnets to pull the fish up? Oh, yes. Yeah, I do. Well, you could recreate that with these stamps and oh, cut them out. Oh, that's so cool, yeah. That'd It'd be a good really idea. Uh, or if you've... i tell you what, this would be excellent in uh, shrink plastic. Yes. for making some jewellery. Bigger ones, yeah, yeah. Be lovely. Yeah, I love that. £23.99, what an absolute bargain and lots of fun to boot as well. 049066, you're definitely in the right place to get your great deal. I, just, I did that just for the hell of it a bit. That, no, oh. that didn't work out. Oh. I was say that was a tumbleweed moment, that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. Let's move on. Let's move only, on. Only squidding, Janice. <laughs> only uh, squidding. Yes, only squidding. Thank you. Well, let's go upstream. <laughs> Like a salmon. Swim, swim, swim. Uh, right. Now, this is a choice of three. It's a pick and mix, so you can choose any three. Um, I really like these, and when you have a look at them, when we get close up to see the actual images stamped out, there's lots and lots of detail and lots of different things that you can do with these, Sarah. They're, yes, they're, they're, again, they're new today, and it's the first time that we've bought A7 stamps out, and they, they came really from a, um, me wanting to be able to get textures and uh, layers into my designs, with not, not necessarily with adding bulk. So I've gone for a set of stamps which give you lots of detail, can be used in a really abstract way, um, and, yeah, just, just really kind of add that extra something to your backgrounds. Yeah, I love that. I really do. I'm just trying to see which one would be my favourite. I think I'd definitely go for the one just there with all the machinery. machinery. Yeah. It's like a blueprint, isn't it? It is. And, and, and as you say, just um, you're really amazingly detailed and so detailed that you can stamp them continuously and you don't really need to worry about lining mm. it up because That's it is just so detailed. You're not really going to yeah. lose an image, if, if you know what I mean. I think I would go for this one as well, the bark. There's yeah. something about old wood and bark that I just absolutely adore. Um, and you can, again, with your embossing powder, it's really going to pick out the detail mm. in here. And I think the third one I'd go for, I do like the script, but I think I would go for the tire tread because I was just looking at that mm. and I think to stamp that one out there the chevrons the tire tread it could be a bookcase it could be steps for example I really like that and I think a little bit of color in between would look a little bit like quite a famous designer beginning with oily well that's her first name <laughs> <laughs> do you know who I mean? I, I think I do. With that kind of style and colour. Um, again, this is another lov lovely one. Is it like... Or is it, it's almost like, would you say, like cloth? Scrunched yes, it's like, or, a, it's like a or, scratched surface, isn't yeah. it? So, I mean, I think I've called it uh, grungy because um, it reminded me almost of, of like kind of a concrete surface or something yeah, where you got yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. Um, but again, with that, the, there's so much, the, there's fine lines in it that, and I'll be showing it in a demonstration anyway, that if you stamp it over an inked background, you've all, already almost got a crackled look. Yes, um, true. Without needing to, to do an awful lot more. Oh, I think they're lovely, and I love this one as well with the letters. Just abstract, yes. it doesn't really s spell anything, but you could select certain letters if they're in there and spell something like a message to somebody you, you could I mean, you to. could you could cut out as say individual letters and it would almost be like a ransom note wouldn't it? <laughs> wow sarah <laughs> I, just, I really need to get that job <laughs> yes you could if i go missing everybody and you receive a letter <laughs> with the post with that particular text in that text you know that sarah's got me locked in a cupboard somewhere okay wow yeah send some ransom letters out <laughs> best sell i've ever heard <laughs> Uh, eight three two six nine six. <laughs> oh, allocation just doubled for that one. <laughs> uh, we are very busy though. It's a pick and mix on any three. Look at the price: thirteen pounds and forty nine pence. That's for three, uh, and the great sizes as well. Um, if you want to go for all of them, my goodness, yeah, it'll only be twenty six eighty ninety four pence, something like that. 
27 pounds yeah pretty much give or take a penny or two um so an excellent deal there for you 832-696 is your item number right we've got more for you we have got more for you if you can't choose by the way you can go for everything and we'll divide the cost into two if your basket comes to £60 or more. Now, I love taking pictures. You guys know that because uh, I'm always posting pictures of random trees on Facebook. Um, but this would really appeal to me, uh, the different style of cameras that you've got here, Sarah. It, uh, yes, uh, this is a, a, a set that we bought um, out last month yes we're in june now that we bought it last month and, I, and I, I love this one because it is almost like photography through the ages it's got your different eras of camera on it um and uh yeah the lots of fun great for people who scrapbook as well because quite often it's quite it, nice to have kind of camera images um on your scrapbook pages in terms of capturing those memories but it's yeah re a really fun that i found myself using it incredible amounts yeah, yeah. Um, do you know what I love these as well you know the old instant camera pictures look brilliant and if you've got any photographs you could always stick them behind these frames that you mm. cut out with your die cuts and then it would look retro yes I think um, I think there is a sample on there that Sam Reed has used a, a picture of her dog Poppy oh, um, but you're know. right exactly again back to the uh, potentially a scrapbooking theme is uh, it'd be great to have a camera on your page but also the the frames yeah look at that isn't that may oh i do like that isn't that beautiful? beautiful you know maybe um you had a wedding recently or a special occasion um some people have the photo booths don't they um but yes. they can be quite costly so how about you just take your regular pictures and use them with your dies that you've cut out and pop them behind there in your wedding album that's a really lovely idea yeah. and then it yeah. looked like you did spend a lot of money even though you didn't because it's all about saving money, isn't it, these days? Uh, you've got your memories there. I love that design with the black and gold, yes. which is fabulous. I um, think that is so super cute as well, with a little doggy on top of that. Lots of different samples here to show you, to give you inspiration. And as Sarah said, it's the cameras throughout the ages. Look at this one here. Isn't that fab? Isn't that I lovely? I love that one. Yeah, isn't that's that, is that you? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like our producer and director and me in the meeting. Uh, having, a, having a really fun day out. <laughs> yeah. We've all got out for the day. By the way, if you're thinking which one is Janice, that's me there. <laughs> that's our director and that's the producer. <laughs> oh, look at that. That, is, that does look like us three, actually. No, actually, <laughs> that's, that, that's the producer. He's not happy. Who have you got today? Janice. Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, that's made me laugh. You see, that's what pictures do. Uh, <laughs> there's a freedom price on here to make you smile. £23.38. That's tickled me, that has. 656019 is your item number. So, again, a great set that I think, Sarah, is it's going to be, it, it's never going to go out of fashion. Cameras, pictures, instant style pictures as well or you could just use them as a frame it doesn't have to look like a picture as such they could just be a frame yes absolutely and uh, and i actually quite often just use the in inner of the of the polaroid if you know what i mean so the the actual square aperture that comes out with the die i quite often use that as, as a square that i then stamp and design on if that makes sense yeah there's a nice sample here actually i think it's got magnets on the back yeah so you could turn that into a, a fridge magnet i like that I That's think lovely. I think we have um, the MDF frames, which are, are those um, on the um, end of call. Oh yeah, we had, we had them on the those. show. Yeah, um, and I think I recognise that stamp. Is that the stamp that we had on previously, or is it a different that one? Is, well, th that's what I was going to say about that Chevron and the A7. We've got a stencil ah, the same as it, right. and um, and it's also in our abstraction stamp yeah. set. So we've got it in different sizes, Excellent. in different formats for people. Excellent. Six five six zero one nine. Your item number. Freedom members, you don't pay any P and P on that deal. Right, another set for you, love. Uh, do you know what, I love all of them, I love all of them. Uh, but I, I love nature, as you know, and I think this is a wonderful set for you as well. Tell us about this set, Sarah, because you love this one. I do love this one, I love, I do love uh, Tina's designs, and this is her second stamp set with us, so she bought us uh, the Heartfelt Tree previously, and this time uh, it's a beautiful kind of whimsical, pensive hair, um, in, in, you know, in, in kind of the, the woodlands, and she's just got a lovely kind of clean lines in the way that she illustrates, but also lots of kind of character in, in her um, 
designs as well. So it's an absolute, you can tell so many stories with this hair in the way that you put it together and make scenes with it. It's just, uh, it's just delightful. Look so, at so, that. Yeah, so Donna, um, I remember our design team has doodled into the hair there to create that, That's, to create that look. That is beautiful. Isn't it fabulous? That is absolutely fantastic. Even if you just leave the hair um, with a, a little colour, some little love hearts on his bottom, um, it just looks so super sweet. It's a lovely, lovely image with the ears back, isn't it? It is, and, and you, know, you, you can you can uh, kind of almost fill in the blank in terms of what what uh, is gazing at, whether it's the moon, whether it's the sun, whether it's you know butterflies, etc. Um, it just it, it's already posed in such a way that there are so many combinations you can make with it. Um, how about in the winter? You see, this is, again, yes, another set that will exactly. take you through Christmas. Exactly. Through to next March when hairs are all out, you know, and very popular in card making, and then all the way through as well. But there are other stamps in that collection, like the little birdie on a tree, which is lovely and would work gorgeous with the previous dyes that we've just showed you. Uh, something you can have a lot of fun with. Maybe you can start making and creating these images um, for somebody to colour in and actually make a little colouring book for them, which would be really sweet. And you could perhaps tell a story of the hair out in the countryside with all of its friends, because it might be a he and it might be a she. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fabulous set for 26 98 You've got your dies. Let's not forget those trees that you can cut out as well. I just think these are fabulous. And um, I just wanted to show you uh, those dies. I love the fact that you can add them or separate them. Absolutely. They, they are... Uh, very versatile because as you we're talking about going through the seasons if you just use the insides the branches you've got winter trees yeah um but because they've also got a slightly kind of quirky look to them in fact the, the tall one at the end um people have used that members of the design team have used that a seaweed with the fish yeah you could do yeah um, seaweed um flowers yeah natalie we use it to make lavender oh that's um, yeah that's so lovely it, it, you say it's it's there's the, um, the line work is such that it, it leaves it open to your imagination, yeah. really. And what's nice as well, you could just chop it off just there, and that could be a corner piece for your designs. Yes. You could cut these off and then place them end to end, and that would be like an under, um, not an underscore, like a... Um, Flourish? No. A flourish, that's yeah. a good idea. A border, a border. Um, so lots and lots of different ways that you can use this. Just just that would make a fabulous piece of artwork for the for the wall. I really love that, just in the black Absolutely. and white. How amazing yeah. is that? That's a great idea for inspiration for you. And then, of course, with the hair, could be looking up at the birds, at the butterflies. You've got that gorgeous stencil, the stars, and you've got the maple leaves in there as well. Twenty six ninety eight. Again, excellent value for money when you've got those dies included as well. Uh, all you'll need is the inspiration when you get them home. One seven zero one nine six is your item number. And then finally, remember, we did say there was a returning paper pad for you. Um, and this is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. So this proved to be uh, popular last time. And it's six by six, and you've got 36 sheets in here. And there's lots of different elements in here, 12 designs that you can work with. And there's three of each, and they are single-sided. So can we ink on these? got nice glossy finish. Yeah, they, they are um, they're uncoated. Uh, so I think the, the kind of the slight sheen on them is because of the the kind of the um, saturation of ink into the paper. Right. But absolutely. They they t and I, I will be stamping on them. But they you can stamp, you can stencil, you can use paint. The 200 GSM, so um, it, you can die cut with them as well. Um, so the, yeah, they're, they're a real, really versatile set. And I think because of the the you, the colour palette that, it, that are in this pad, you can use it for landscapes or uh, more abstract yeah. designs I, as well. I tell you what, the trees would look fabulous in some of these papers, just mm. cut out, just Red something a little bit different. Mind, ah, yes. There you go, there you go. And also the fish would look great stamped on here, all your hair in a forest view. Um, you can see why they were popular, £17.46, and pence. but it's not just the paper pad, no, 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 you also get the washi tape as well, and that is a good size washi tape, 
it looks like several put together, but it's not. You've got all of those wonderful colours, but it is one big washi tape, isn't it? Is, it is. It's a 45 mil wide. So in, in the set of three, it's a 45 uh, millimetre, 30 and 15. And they're all, they're all taken, other than the black and white, the other two are taken directly from patterns yeah. in the pad. So they, they, they um, coordinate perfectly. But that really wide one is just fantastic. Either just use it as a solid piece on, on a card and you've, you've almost got a background. Um, but for tearing into and yeah. just layering up, they're, they're, they're really fun to play with. Oh, it's a great idea. And I'm loving the colours, loving the designs. Uh, 148451 is your item number. Now, I am aware you want to see some demonstrations. And, of course, that's what we're all about here at the craft store. We do have another show tonight at 9 o'clock. We do. So we do have plenty of time to get the demonstrations in. But we just want to show you what we've got available on the show. Because there's so much, it's nice just to have a little chat about them. We've got to pick a mix, and we're always busy on this, for the stencils. My word, I love these. I think I've already clocked my four uh, that I would have, but what's your four going to be? Uh, it works out to be four for the price of three. Te uh, 12 pounds and 75 pence is a great price. That looks like a Mistron just going across. Can you see that white light? Do you remember the Mistrons? From Captain no. Scarlet. Oh, I remember Captain Scarlet. I don't remember the Mistron. Yeah, it just used to be a light like that. I was going to say it looks like sniper fire, but with my ransom <laughs> note comment earlier. Oh, dear. I <laughs> Sarah, where, where are we going? Where are we thrillers? going? We, I know we're both having one of those days <laughs> today, are. but talk of ransoms and sniper know, fires. Sorry, I, I, Can I, we get another presenter in? I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> uh, right, we have got these fabulous stencils for you. Ink through them, put your texture paste through them. They're all top quality as well. And let's go through them so you can see the different designs that we've got. That would be nice if you turned it that way. There could be love hearts. That's what it's called. That's it's called loopy hearts. It so is yes. called <laughs> loopy hearts. There you go. Uh, so you've got your lovely uh, love heart. Those you could just turn into um, flowers. They are your urchins, but they could be flower heads. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. lovely. They create a lovely abstract background, as you yeah, say. Love yeah, love them. Love them. In fact, that would be really nice on some furniture if you're upcycling, mm. you know, like on a drawer mm. or a cupboard. Uh, you've got your fish. Nothing fishy about that. Love that. Um, and then you've got your loose lines. I like that. I like paint drips. Or yes. snow. It, it, and I mean, I'm going to use them on a, a, a demo almost as bit, a bit like clouds. So, the, as you say, the, the, they're That's very much idea. Again, very versatile. What, what you see. Yeah. Um, and then we have got your birds, your butterflies, your maple leaves, and your stars. That's in the air. Um, oh, this is gorgeous, isn't it? The next one. There's the pair. Now, the pair, I'm just coming forward because I just need to. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's why, that's why you should never. Ever do that, Janice? Oh no, it's not that one. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Sorry to, that that comes with the um, the stencil and the mask. The stencil and the mask. Apologies to our Jimmy there. Uh, next along, we've got Zesty, and then finally, again, I love like this. That's in the flow. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous. Right, so pick a mix, choose any four. Which four are you going to choose? You can head to the website. Do you know what? There's loads more as well. Those are just the new todays. So plenty more to choose from for your four. And because they're only £12.75, and pence, you might want to treat yourself and go for another four as well. So get eight in total for just under £25. What a great deal. It's just a good way to stock up, isn't it, uh, on some great designs for you. Uh, right, we are going to get to demonstration. We are going to see some demos. If you do have any questions or if you'd like to share anything you've created with Funky Fossil uh, stamps or stencils, please yeah. do send in your images. Sarah would lovely to see them. Um, it, it's studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, Sarah, sorry to keep you waiting. No. What are we going to do you. first? Um, well, I thought we'd, because they are one of the, the newer items on the counter, I thought we would play with our very, um, very quirky, weird fish because they, they just, they, they do brighten up your day. Um, and uh, picking up on something you said earlier, um, Janice, so, I mean, I've, I've stamped mine out on the kaleidoscope um, paper, the patterned yeah. paper, because that gives you that immediate bright pop of colour without um, you always needing to, to do the colouring in. And they're very easy to cut out. So um, on this, on the, the one that I'd done previously, I used the urchins background. I like so that. It's, so I thought, actually, this time I'll use in the flow so you can see the different stencils and, and what effects they give. And uh, so all I've done um, beforehand is uh, sprayed um, 
generously a piece of card with um, some distress sprays um, in the distress uh, colours in the blues just to give me that, that immediate kind of uh, colour lay down. And I thought what I'll do is um, just randomly stamp a little bit of the grungy A7 um, tone on tone so this isn't so I'm using Mermaid Lagoon to stamp it with so this isn't about creating um, uh, an image that's going to come to the forefront but it just breaks up that colour um, that we've already got down with the sprays and I'm not using an acrylic uh, block here I've just left the uh, the stamp on one of the pieces of acetate because I just I don't want to go in and get a single solid impression I just as you've seen many people do before just want to um, pick up details or, or small parts of the um, image I love doing that because it just adds that little bit of extra exactly. texture. And, th there's, and there's no pressure with it because um, you're not looking to get an, uh, an image that's going to um, be something that catches the eye. In fact, you, you almost want to try and avoid um, yeah. putting anything down that's, that's too strong. And we're going to stencil over this as well. So this would just be something that... Um, that uh, say breaks up that flat colour, particularly if, I mean, this, with, given this has been um, sprayed, it already has a bit of mottling, but if you'd done ink blending and it would be yeah. a very flat colour, um, then this would, this would give you that little bit of... Our director said it, it looks like an image just coming through maybe the fog or the mist. I like that. Very good. It's very, uh, very poetic. <laughs> so, say so something that you probably won't even see a huge amount of, but everything we d we do isn't it, is it's all about creating those layers and adding adding a little bit more um, that you will just bits of this will pop through. But this is a detailed stencil, the, um, the in the flow stencil with quite a lot of fine detail. I'm going to use one of our blending brushes because the uh, as we were saying earlier, Janice, the softness of the bristles on this will are quite forgiving and um, we'll work with a with stencil that... We're busy for the brushes. You get a set of four, 12.99, if your item number super soft. Uh, luxury feel to them as well, ergonomically designed. As you can see, Sarah's using them through the stencil perfectly. It's not catching, just blending that ink through. Now, I've noticed you've not stuck the stencil down. Some people do, maybe with a bit of washi tape. Yes, I mean, I mean typically, I... Um I have uh, done that. I, I would always stick a stencil down with, uh, with tape if I was using paste through it. Yep. And I wanted to get the complete image, it, other than dotting it around. But actually, because these, um, these brushes don't really drag the stencil, I find it quite, quite easy to use it, just holding it, holding it down. And equally, I'm not, go again, going for the whole, um, the whole image here yeah. because I would be, I would be die-cutting... Um, circles out of this to get my um, my focal points for the fish and that's the beauty of a stencil you can use as much or as little as you like yes and, and it's something I think we often forget and, and, and equally with stamps because you, you, I think we're almost hardwired to see a design and feel the whole thing has yeah, to, be used. to be there and sometimes with stencils once I've stenciled through if I'm using the right ink, I spritz on top and then turn it over and do do like yes, a print or do, a background do, do, do the uh, Leone classic <laughs> putting it down <laughs> yeah. clean and you can get some fantastic oh um, you can and actually it's, it is a good practice to get into because i'm t i'm terrible at uh, cleaning stencils but of course if you leave ink on them and then yeah. you go back over them with something else it will move and yes yeah. so you see i'm not being particularly gentle here um because the brushes aren't catching um the line work um the, the only thing I would, would always recommend with a stencil like this is try where possible to work with the line of the of the, um, the so cuts. from this so side to side rather than up yeah, and down. Yeah, so if, I, if one, I was yeah. going like this, then it would be it would be pulling these lines away. So hopefully you can see oh, that nice. come through. Um, so again, we're, because we've already got colour behind the stencil. Yeah. This is just about adding that movement and texture. Like um, and, and you've just got little bits of the, the grungy uh, mm. stamp behind. But again, this is all about giving that impression of water and all the various kind of layers yeah, and reflections so you see in it. It looks like a choppy sea or maybe rolling hills in the countryside. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah. It's, a re it's a really nice one if you, do, if you do it in the greens and you can, um, you can build up or a... Or 
they could be like tulip bulbs if you had them kind of did them yeah. upright and had them as yeah yeah that oh, would look I nice like that one yeah and you say but you could um doodle doodle into them or, or shade around them to create your to yeah. define your oh i do like that so that it, it, it's, again it's another one of those where i put it with the fish because i've called it in the flow yeah but it, it could be used for anything yeah. absolutely so i wasn't going to die cut the the circles um here because I have done it I have done it already to give me just to so effectively die cut out of the um, the stenciled card and that creates my two two bases for the fish as, as focal points now I have got a whole host of uh, happy fish that I have because I became a little bit addicted to doing this they are fun uh, of, they? of cutting them out of, of um, stamping them onto the pattern paper and cutting them out because What's fantastic about this patterned uh, paper is you can just you know, hover over it and pick out the bits that you want to appear on your, your fish. So I won't do an awful lot because you can see I've already got a fair few <laughs> to be going with. I love the idea of using the paper though because sometimes it takes quite a lot to ink up a background and we're not always confident to do that but we want that look, you know, that kind of... It's kind of a grungy look, uh, look with the inks all mixed together. Uh, but sometimes when I've done it, it just turns out like mud. So this yes. is a good way to do it with the papers and get that desirable finish. It's, it's, it's like you say, it's, it's, there's a bit of collage in there. There's the, um, there is the, obviously the gel printing yeah. effect. And, and you can then pick out the bits that you like. So it, I, I'm not exaggerating so I think I'm on my third pad now because I use oh, it yeah. in backgrounds I use it for cutting out the trees as you were saying um, I use it for the fish and of course you know how many fish can you get out of one of these pieces of paper you know you can you can have a whole what's the whole flock but that would be wrong wouldn't it a whole shoal. school 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 of fish school of fish is, is it, it school, school, is school of fish school of thought school What's a shoal? What's a shoal? <laughs> What's a sho There's a shoal of fish, I isn't think there? you can have a shoal of fish. I shoal. think you can also have a school of fish. Is a shoal fish. a school? Or is a school different from a shoal? <laughs> no, or is it just pronounced differently? Please email in and help us. Um, Otherwise, there'll be a ransom note for me. <laughs> school, skull, shoal, it's group. The, is it, we're back to fish and chip. Yeah, there we are. Day, aren't we? <laughs> fish and chip day. So, um, oh, what shall we use? I could again this is one of the things where I get do get a bit lost in my own imagination with which bits I want to pick out but uh, so as you we were saying uncoated um, paper stock so it takes you I'm just um, stamping with Versafine and it takes uh, it inks perfectly um, and uh, just give it a you, you could use those white little dots for the eyes pop, pop on the, on the these, white, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, well, absolutely. I mean, you, you could, I haven't done that, but you could paper piece them up Yes. and, and have different, different layers. What I have done, because obviously there you've got, uh, you could end up with, uh, with quite unfortunate yellow eyes, is uh, just literally um, coloured over the eyes with yeah. either Posca pen or a gel oh, pen. So that's all you need to, to just give, that, give you the, the features back again from the, um, from the pattern paper. So as I say, it, bright um fun and not not a huge amount of time uh, to cut them out and you've you've, you've got them pre-colored for yeah. you so uh, so it's it's a great option to go with if you if you do um take the take the paper pad as as part of um what you choose today so i've got some fish i've gone for a, a very um bright couple in fact i actually echoed this, this pair um with my white and my red and I'll use the fish uh, the fishy stencil in the background uh, for the card base to give our um, our duo something to be floating against and I particularly like, I particularly like this fish stamp because I think these are almost like generic fish yeah and then we've got all of our very strange fish there's almost yeah. like the focal characters i like this because you know if, if you do you could you could actually draw through these you don't have to yes. add ink you could use your uh, fine liner pens and you could draw around the stencil as well which would be a good way of getting that design they could color them all bright colors like yes. if you were on holiday in a tropical island yes exactly so they, this could be the very much the the focal point of the card 
Um, but I, like, I, I do like the fact that it, I think in some sentiments and the stamps that are things like swim your own way, yes. that the, these fish look very different from all of the others. Um, How that, about embossing it as well? If you're sending it through a die cutting machine with the right plates, you oh, could yeah. emboss yes. yeah. the fish, which would look brilliant. Okay. Especially if you've got, if you're giving a gift, make a card with these in the background and then get some tissue paper and send it through yes. and then you'll have all that print on there or emboss detail. And given there's the um, MDF, the, the kind of porthole decoration, you could be giving that as the gift and then having yeah, the card or the... Yeah, that's a great idea. So again, back to my um, blending brush here. And uh, you see I've moved the stencil, but fortunately it's a straightforward one. And I'm using a lighter blue here to, um, because again, this is a a bit of background detail which we're going to be covering over to some extent with our die cut circles but it's something in the background that just adds a little bit of movement I like that and I'm I typically kind of go for relatively clean and simple designs so I do like to have white space on my cars uh, so I like the focal point to be quite bold, bold and um, kind of stand out from what's yeah. behind it but sometimes it's nice just to have that little bit of background interest rather than everything being completely white behind it so there we go oh yeah that so it's, so it's a, 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 quite a pale color it's the new it's the newest i think the newest distress color is that salvage patina oh yeah i do like that and all the fish are going all different ways so you've got that sense of a, of a kind of a a, a background, a, a kind of uh, busy background with, with all the, um, the fish moving around. And then our two main characters, of course, you see, because of the depth of colour we've got with the, oh, um, with the in the flow stencil over that sprayed background, a bit of grungy stamping just, just peeking through behind there. But then that yellow and red really pop through. I love that. Uh, as the... As the the, the main contrast colours on there and we'll just stick birthday fishes which is Aww. one of the little punny sentiments with that set birthday um, fishes isn't that absolutely fantastic it's different they've got a personality they're funky and they'll change each and every time you ink them up or stamp them onto cardstock it's absolutely wonderful what a lovely demonstration right let's give you a recap of everything we've got on the show and then we'll head back to sarah let's start with brand new today i love this one uh, i love the fruits in here because it's fresh isn't it it's zesty that's exactly what it is uh what you've got here you've got a set of stamps you've got your stencil your mask and of course you've got the fabulous way of bringing it all together to build and create your backgrounds 21 pounds and 49 pence for your two stencils and your set of stamps and again you'll be using these in so many different ways we love the lines inside the drawings there which gives you different elements to um, doodle in or color you've got your pair that you can just use straightforward pair you can have the design in there as well it almost looks like a mandala style but then when you lift the different stamps up they could look completely different that's a lovely way of adding cherries uh to the cart and it really really pops doesn't it with the um with the glossy accents there you've got your lemons love that which is uh lovely and i love that one as well there you go you're the zest really like that one with your two lemons side by side and then you've got your fruit the whole variety like a fruit salad salad like a fruit salad which is absolutely marvelous isn't it all layered up together which is beautiful and then you can really make them pop out with your zesty style torn backgrounds which is amazing isn't it i do love that uh, and then you've got that apple look at that you could add some eyes to that it does look like a character with the seeds in the middle uh, 21 pounds and 49 pence zero three four two three seven is your item number for that one it's a great price and brand new today and very very popular now the fishes that we were just using uh, and happy fish and chip day today national fish and chip day uh, we've got a selection here so you've got your funky fish you've got those lovely background elements you've got the stencil as well so two stencils but you're also getting the mdf porthole with all the added little extras as well so that could look rather funky it's, it's, it's yeah it is it's an added bonus and then you can start creating some lovely designs with all of the extras that go with it 23 pounds and 99 pence 
flippity flip. Uh, 049066 is your item number if you want to go for that. And again, you can use your stencils for building up the background. You don't have to use them together with this project. It could be for a totally different project if you want. But I'm sure you'll agree those fish are funky oh look at that it's like a piranha uh be unique be yourself make and create some beautifully colored cards swim your own way isn't that amazing and this is using one of the dies that we've got coming up as well zero four nine zero six six is your item number just 23 pounds and 99 pence for the whole set it's great isn't it right so we've got to pick a mix now for you you choose any three and this is a fabulous deal because the stamps themselves are just remarkable. Now, most people are buying all six. I know. It's only thirteen forty nine for three. If you go for the whole set, it's just under £27. But you're going to have hours and hours of fun and hours upon days upon weeks of inspiration, building and creating your backgrounds with these. Even if you were to stamp them out, as we've done here, on this card and then just place a sentiment over them maybe in color that would look amazing as well you choose you decide eight three two six nine six is your item number great for journaling because they're a great size aren't they for your smaller journaling books and your designs but they can be as large as you like because you can keep that pattern going and put it on repeat as well with the way they've been designed Right, next up again, talking about scrapbooking, talking about journaling, talking about card making. We've got something ideal for that. Um, and you've got your perfect stamp, uh, stamp, is it stamp happy or snap happy? Snap happy, I thought it was. Uh, and you will be happy with these because you've got your different cameras throughout the ages. You've got your instant camera there. Uh, you've got your big bulb flash camera there, which is fabulous. And you've also got the dies as well to cut out the finished article for you to put either images in or photographs in. And you can also mix and match these with the other stamps that we've got on the show and other stamps that perhaps you've got in your collection just to add detail isn't that a funky one i love that one say cheese um, people love cameras don't they and this could be for a birthday it could be for an album that you're putting together for a special occasion maybe you've got lots of pictures and you want to display them in a certain way adding the camera to them and adding the frames to them will just give it that extra detail maybe something permanent as well like a wall hanging you could place a picture on 25 pounds and 98 pence 656019 your item number freedom members you've got a discount 2338 for your dies and your stamps that is excellent value for money and if you want to become a freedom member today it's triple eight triple eight your basket you don't pay any pmp and that's for a month and it will continue every month until you tell us you don't want it to carry on but think about how many items you buy from us uh, in a month is it one is it two if it's two it's definitely worth going for a freedom membership and if it's one it's still worth going for because you get great discounts as well so it kind of pays for itself uh, 656019 is your item number for your Polaroid die set now the next one the next one is your wild and free. Love this. This is the one with the hair, with the tree. You've got your stencils as well. You've got some lovely sentiments in there. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere by Van Gogh. Uh, we've got with thanks you've got wild and oh no sorry that's the designer that's not a sentiment stamp I'm, a I'm only kidding I knew it wasn't um, but again a lovely gorgeous design for you and those dies that you're getting let me show you this because the dies together when they're cut out you can see on a sample in the front just there but look doesn't that look amazing love that just a piece of artwork right there 26.98 for the dies and the stamps excellent value for money and the stencil of course included 170196 now your paper pad and washi tape is always popular and it's proving popular today there it is and uh, this is something that sarah has been using throughout the demonstrations this is your six by six paper pad 12 designs three of each and it's 200 gsm you've also got your washi tape in 45 mil 30 mil and 15 mil just 1746 what a great deal 148451 also proving popular are those brushes did you know you can put your makeup on with them as well yeah you might want to buy an extra set for that if you want or they're just nice to stroke you might want to buy a set just for that no, nice against the skin do do a test in case you might be allergic uh, 985982 is your item number you're getting four sizes for 12.99 what an excellent price that is uh, right let's get back to Sarah we've got seven minutes left uh, but we're back at nine o'clock tonight great can you do it in seven 
No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we don't get finished, yeah, we can, we we can, can do the nine o'clock We, can, show. we can have a cliffhanger ending. Yes. <laughs> because what yes. I was going to do was, uh, was a more vintage uh, style card this time, using the uh, st Snap Happy stamps and also some of the um, A7 background textures. So in fact, I've got three of them on here. I've got grungy, I've got the script and I've got machinery. Um, just showing how they, they all can kind of be used in different ways. So for this, um, is it a box camera? I think, I think the one that comes to Is it a brown box camera? Is it, yeah, brown. I'm yeah, sure brown brownie. box is something in there. A brownie, a brown yeah, camera, brown. a brown box. A shoulder fish. A it is called fish. a brown box camera. Yeah. Brown box camera. So I think I think I think the name is brownie, isn't it? Slightly before my time. Yes. Um, so I pay for piece this. I've one. only seen it in the movies, Sarah. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're all hastily backtracking now. Um, so I paper piece this one and I've used the grungy stamp set um, to stamp to create this, this little bit of texture in where you can see with the, where the concertina is. So let me just show you that very, very quickly. So again, back to the um, trusty blending brushes. And you can see here, I'm, just, I'm using antique linen, by the way, which is quite a, a light colour. Uh, but you can see I'm just going straight into the middle of the card here because of that domed um, head on the brushes. I don't need to worry too much about going in from the edge and, and, and building colour in that way because you don't typically get um, any, any harsh lines when you're blending with these brushes. So this is just literally creating a little bit of background um, that I can stamp my um, camera over. And so I've got back to it, back to grungy, which I've given it a hasty uh, clean. I didn't want it to be blue for this one. It's a bit of vintage photo. I remember at school making a camera out of a tin of sweets. We used to make a, you put a tiny little hole in the camera. Yeah. And then used to put some photographic paper in and then allow the light to come in. And it would put an image. Oh, would it actually create yeah. an image? Yeah. Oh, wow. And that's the original box so, cameras that so, we used so to that make. That was before the days of... <laughs> yeah. Again, I, we only did that at school after doing our history lessons. That wasn't yes, something. of course. Sorry. That I was like the first camera with Janice Phillips. I, I, I misunderstood there, Janice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see here, maybe probably, uh, probably a bit more clearly than when I was um, stamping onto the, the blue, um, this gives you a very easy, um, scratchy look. And the, the joy of doing something like this is when you then ink up your, um, your camera, you can select the, the bit of the, um, of the abstract, the, the background that you created to cut out the um, concertina piece because that's all you need. That's all you're going to use of this bit of the... Oh, I like um, that idea. So is it... Like, it, like as I was doing with the with the fish, it's just trying to kind of and if you can see through the um, see through the stamp, so you can just try and select the the bit of the background that you particularly want as your stamped image. And I'm not trying to get the whole. In fact, it's not even all on the the card here because I'm actually only wanting to get this bit that I yeah. would cut out. That's a great idea. I like that. It's just a, a fun way of adding. Um, a bit of a, a bit of interest to your um, to your stamped image that you wouldn't necessarily get by colouring in. Yeah. So, and I, I won't I won't be going into the colouring in process particularly here. But what I have done just to to explain the process is, I then stamped it out further twice. And the reason being for that um, that I want to break it. I want to break the camera down into three parts to to paper piece it. And it will be easier to explain that with the, um, the bits that I've already done, so you can see. So I cut out the whole image, okay, and um, color, used used my distress inks to uh, watercolor the bits that would be visible. I then had stamped, uh, cut out the middle section, which is the concertina, and there you see oh, look at that. you yeah, put that perfect. in and, and create your, your your difference. And then I could have left, uh, I could have just coloured in the front, but because of course the whole image is coming forward, yeah. I then obviously 
cut out the front of the third camera and uh, was able to then stick that back on and it just it's only a small difference but it just it means that it's not set back from the yeah. middle section yeah i know what you mean so that, yeah, that's if, if the, the card on the middle section would would come forward it would it would yeah. i mean i have i have stamped another thing that i've i've done i think it's probably in one of the samples is i have stamped and cut out that middle section on book paper and i i've i've left i've because that's thin i would i didn't worry about creating a third layer um on top of it because oh, it almost yeah. sank, sank into the, the that's picture. That's a great idea. But, um, yeah, so it's, it, it's just a lovely way of, of, I suppose, bringing out a bit more dimension on your, on your, um, your camera. So that's the grungy um, stamp that we've used to help us build up the focal image. And let's get into then creating a little bit um, of background. Um, for it to sit on and I'm going to use I'm using quite muted colors here for the vintage vibe it, I guess if you've been away traveling you could always use you could always find a map to where you've been and then and then pop the camera on those places in your journal to say that's that you've been lovely, there and took a yeah. picture yes that's a really great idea you could have one on Skegness <laughs> one on the Peak District yes. uh, as far as we're uh, getting at the moment yeah what one one in the bath i mean in bath <laughs> uh, uh, so. great yarmouth put one there oh, it's it sounds like it'd be a lovely it would not it <laughs> um so have you speckled egg in the middle which is that uh, just a lovely muted uh, bluey gray color uh, and I'm now going back in with a vintage photo, I think, here. Oh, I love that. And it, it really is vintage photo, or like um, some old vintage leather. Yes. The colour's captured perfectly in that. And actually, uh, we've got 45 seconds oh. left, Sarah. W well, it will be a two parter. Yeah, well, do you know what? That's fine because we are back at nine o'clock tonight. Uh, so we can finish that demo at nine o'clock and it means that people will rejoin us. If not, we'll just send you a ransom note for Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's been an absolute pleasure. I always love working with you. You're very, very inspiring. Back at nine o'clock tonight. Yes. Have we got the same items on the show? Same different? items, and, uh, different demos and um, yeah, show off the fruit and some other than you. Yeah. Goodies. Yeah, let's do that. Remember, if you've got any pictures you want to send in, we can show them on the nine o'clock show. Maybe you've done some card making with previous stamps from Funky Fox. Or do send them in at studio at thecraftstore.com. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Jenna. We'll see you at nine o'clock. Don't go anywhere. We've got a brand new one day special launching. Yes, really excited with the burst of colour coming your way. So Craft One Day Special is coming up next with Alex Funky Needlework after that. And then we're back with the One Day Special at 8 o'clock tonight. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, press cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. Initially as an online business, the company has grown and Graham joined the business in 2015 and they now produce their own surfaces and stencils. That's Crafty have a wide range of products including stamps, surfaces, 
stencils, paints, inks and mediums, all geared up for mixed media and papercraft alike. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Hello, good evening. Yes, it's time for another one day special launch and we are talking beautiful fabrics, African wax fabrics. Uh, so we've got five wonderful choices for you and in each choice you have got a 44 piece layer pie and 20 piece fabric cake roll that go together perfectly. Um, now you do have a £10 saving and you can spread the cost. We're going to have a look at these fabrics in a bit more detail but you might want to get ahead. They're really lovely, a little something a little bit funky and a little bit unusual but of course I need to introduce you to our guest and it's Angie. Hi, Angie. Hi. How so, are you? I'm good. Um, so tell, tell me what you like about these fabrics. Uh, well, I've only been working with Sew Crafty for a, a few months now, okay. but, yes. um, you know, relatively new to me too. Uh -huh. um, and they're just, um, I just love the, um, the geometric patterns. Yeah. Well, I was uh, previously a graphic designer, so uh -huh. they appeal a lot to me. Yes. Um, and the gorgeous um, really depth of colour. Mm. Um, they're, they're beautiful. Very really. striking, aren't yeah, they? absolutely. And I think, and I certainly, uh, when it comes into summer, I think people do like to start wearing brighter clothes and things yeah. and brighter outfits or, or making brighter bags. So that's what you've got here. So shall we go through in a little bit more detail? They've got a, a nice feel to them, don't they? That's the wax sort of bit, is that right? It's how they're made. made yeah. um, so they do have like a, a stiffer coating on some of them, not all of them. Um, mm -hmm. Um, some are stiffer than others, but that does soften over, you know, however, however many times it's washed, it will soften. They are 100% cotton, Good. which I know that um, a lot of quilters like to know that their fabrics are 100% cotton. Excellent. So what you're looking at here, these are the, oh, I like the names, Blue Slush. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous. And it does come with the mustard yellow fabric roll that you can see there. They do go together absolutely perfectly. So what sizes are these pieces of fabric then that we get in here? So those are all cut to um, 10 inch squares. Excellent. So there's certain sort of pre-cuts that um, quilters love to work with. Yes. Um, so that's what they are. So we've got 10 inch squares and then the two and a half inch strips. Yes. Good stuff. Right, so that is your first option, your blue slush, brilliant name. Then moving along, this is the Tudor Jumps. Really cool names, I like this. Lovely. Now in this one, again I'll just go through some of these fabrics, look at these. So bright, so bold. They're really funky, aren't they? They are. I think when I've um, got to the end of the five options, I will open one strip out, just I think it's nice yeah. if you visual. I think that's, um, you know, obviously they're very colourful, very bold, very patterned. Yeah. And, um, and so people can be a little bit um, afraid of yes. working with them. But pairing them with a good plane just yeah. works really, really well. Excellent. There you go. So that is your purple, lovely roll that you're getting. But aren't these fabrics absolutely beautiful? What did we call this one again? Tudor Jump. Brilliant name. Lovely. Next one. So you've got your third option here. This one is called Bye Bye Rain. And yes, bye bye. It <laughs> was, was raining today and I want the sun back. Okay, have another wonderful look through these. Aren't they fabulous? They're so bold. They're so vibrant. They just pack a real punch. <clears throat> I think this is, you know, if you want to stand out. And what's wrong with that, eh? You don't want to disappear into the crowd. These are beautiful fabrics. In this one, then, you're going to get the bottle green cake roll. Marvellous. Next option. Heaven opens, okay, and in this one, when we get to it, you get that lovely navy roll, stunning colours, look at that, and 
a real variety of patterns. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And as you say, you don't have to make um, one project with them. No. You can space, you know, choose your favourites um, to make different projects. Yep. Small quilts, bags, table runners, table yeah. mats. Um, I've bought a project with me today from one of the very first shows I did with So Crafty and okay. I've, it just inspired me to make a garden quilt oh. because we're all spending more time outdoors, aren't we? Indeed, <laughs> and we, we certainly are. needed it in May. Oh, gosh, <laughs> yes. Right then. Uh, so then the final option is Spring Revival. Now this one, this is cool actually because you see those damson colours here? That is the colour of the roll that you're going to get. Oh, there's a little bit of like metallic in here. Yes, actually, um, mm. I didn't get sent that one, but when I was <laughs> chatting with um, mm. with you guys here, yeah. Um, yeah, that I was told that there was a metallic one. I was like, damn, ah. why didn't I get that yeah, one? Yeah, I know, I'm such a magpie, <laughs> I really am. Gorgeous, there you go, and you can see that look. I really like the damson roll. Um, so, as I said, I will just open out one of these pieces, just so you get an idea. Oh, they are, of course, they're this, yeah. they're this size, That's there you it. go. It's because we've got two of them in the same one. There you go. So it's that size, 10 inch squares there. And then you do, um, and of course they're 100% cotton, and then you'll get the rolls with them. So you've got your five options. Currently the first one is in the lead, but we'll see what happens, because I always like to know. Um, as I said, you've got a £10 saving. You can spread the cost, two payments of 19 99 There's a lot of pieces of fabric in here. Item number is 200059. Now, Angie, I believe you've picked some of your favourites <laughs> as well. We've got Angie's favourites coming yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, there is, there's so, many, so much choice yeah. um, that's so crafty offer so yeah I um, I sat for quite a few hours going through uh, over a hundred images oh my gosh. Uh, one day and chose some of my favorites yeah to put together excellent um, so what we've got here you've got bundles uh, three different options for you now what you get in each option is five half meters so you'll get two and a half meters of course in total so let's have another look at these so this first set of five or you know what I mean five half meters is called Starry Flow. Nice. I didn't name them. Yes, but I like the names. That doesn't matter. It was a very floral bundle for me. It is. Yeah, it's really lovely if you like floral to patterns. Look at that. And then you've got the pinks. They do go together really well. So that is your first option. Then the second option. Now this one I love as well. Geometric Vision. Look at that geometric. Um, that's like one of those, you know, those optical illusions when you look at those and you think, how does it all link together? So that's a beautiful piece of fabric. With these geometric patterns, I thought yeah. actually, you know, we don't always want to spend time piecing. Yeah. So actually some of these look as if they've already been pieced and so you could just mm. follow the patterns, the geometric patterns with the quilt lines. Yeah. And um, they'd be beautiful. Love that. And they've got some love beautiful borders on some of them. So, you know, like the, the one that you're just showing there. Yeah. You, you know, cut that into borders, strips. So mm -hmm. beautiful. Stunning. So that's your second option. And then the third option is the orange, orange cream. Okay. Orange cream. There you go. Well, of course, because you've got orange and the cream in. But you also get some other pops of colour, which is really nice. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look at this um, star on there. Wonderful. And then... Have a little look. Yeah, I still haven't found the time to look at what all these icons like symbols meet, and things. symbols yeah. mean, yeah. And patterns. Nice. There's that one there. And that final one. Again, I'll just open this up so that, that you can one. see the size. Yeah, it's I love that fabric. It's almost a bit animal printy. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's really cool, isn't it? I love it? The, uh, the fluorescent orange with it, though. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really bright. That's fabulous. There you go. You've got your three um sets of five half meters that you can choose from it's 24 pounds and 85 pence you've got a five pound saving on that one five seven five seven four four is your item number right then we've also got more choice for you we've got some meter pieces and you can pick any two and i believe i don't know if we found out that it oh okay i can't I can't promise that if you pick any two of the same that they will be a continual piece. We will try and find out, okay, for you. Anyway, let's go through then our beautiful pieces of fabric. Do these have names? Excellent, right. So this is Sahara Camouflage. So remember, you're picking any two half metres. Next one, I love the greens in this. African Tudor, that's one of my favourites. Yeah, with the pink. It's yeah, beautiful. green and pink. It's like this real wonderful contrast. Next one. This one is pick the side. Then moving along, jumping screws. Next, great panel. 
The next, pale petals. This one's jumping twines. Pink burst. Raving graph. That, do you know that? I, I think that could be a gentleman's tie, that one. <laughs> a very fun one. Next, undone panels. Following on, cat foot crepe. <laughs> Love these names. Next, this is grey petal. Have we skipped one? Which one have I skipped? Oh, there you go. No, 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 there you go. That one. So what's the name for this one? Grey petal, lovely. Green petal. Next. Ancient India. Oh, now I like this purple one. That's stunning, that one. Twirling abyss, I think. Oh, a bliss. Gosh, this is, I'll never, ever remember <laughs> these. Thank goodness Kate is in my ear. This one. Don't touch the grapevine. Brilliant. Next. Oh, hang on, they're the other way around, aren't they? So that one is Don't Touch the Grapevine. That one is Tube Blocks, lovely. We'll try and get those um, switched. Flying Princess, and last but not least, Swirling, really, is it Swirling Purple? Okay, lovely stuff, all right. So we'll find them all on the website, there you go, but we will try and get these two switched here, lovely. Okay, uh, 14 99 for any two half metres, that's a reasonable price, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, great Excellent. value. Excellent, very, very good. Um, four, no, 603171. Now, you've also got your plain colours um, that you can pick to, to really coordinate, can't you? Absolutely. Again, they're metre pieces. Okay, so you're picking any two. You can see um, there's the lovely blue. That's almost like a, mm, what do I call that? A dove grey, a nice mustard. The greens, look at those. You've got lilacs and pinks, beautiful charcoals. There you go. Just choose any two that you've had. Oh, again, I'm going for that purple. Love that. But you've got a whole array. There's a bit of duck egg in this one. They are perfect. You've got a lot to choose from here. So you're picking any two metres. I'm backed into the corner here. <laughs> there you go. Just coming off, finishing with that yellow. And for any two metres of those, that is only 11 99 uh, Item number is 432. 052. Now we do have lots more on the website, but I know you want to see Angie's demos. Now we have got a pick and mix as a fabric pack, and you're picking any three for $24.97. Again, they're really bold. Now you can choose your prints or you can go for your plain. So if you do want a little bit of both, I, I would. I'd definitely pop a couple of planes in there so that it breaks it up, breaks up the, but then you really can focus on the prints, if you sure. know what I mean. But the planes are also just good to um, you know, build up your yeah. stash if you're running low of certain colors that Absolutely. you always use. Nice. They're actually uh, a wider width than a normal uh, oh, fabric as well. They're, they're around 58 inches wide. So that's a lot of fabric. Mm, yeah, good to know, really good, good to know. Width. Excellent stuff. Uh, so choose any three of those beautiful colourways. There's loads to choose from. Right then, as always, you can give us a call 01733602000 or go to thecraftstore.com. Over to you. All right, Alex. Alex. Well, the first thing that I'd like to um, show um, this evening, trying yep. to remember what time of day it is. I know, six <laughs> o'clock or after six. <laughs> is um, this medallion, a small medallion quilt that I made with the, is it called Blue Slush, the first one? Yeah, the first one. Yeah, Excellent. so this is with that mustard yellow. And here, um, in the um, 10 inch square pack, you get four squares of, of, one, of each design. So there's 11 different prints and you get four squares. Great so stuff. with this particular um, piece, I've used all four of the same pattern, uh, but you can switch it around. So you could actually choose to have a different square in the middle, use a different um, square for the border, uh -huh. and then a different one for the um, corners. Yeah. So we're going to use a couple of different patterns for that. Um, this evening now. So obviously your centerpiece is 10 inch square. So I've chosen this lovely um, poppy kind of feel one, even though it's the, pop the poppy's blue in it, but doesn't matter. <laughs> it does remind me of poppies. Yeah. So that's going to be our center square. And I'm also going to use this for the corners as well. And then I'm going to use this Ooh, um, lovely strong uh, blue swirly pattern for the uh, borders. Yeah. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually cut this 10 inch, squ inch square into four two and a half inch strips yeah. so that it reflects what we have with um, obviously our two and a half inch strips that come with the plane. And as I said, these are really super, super wide fabrics. So they're a lovely weight cotton as well, a real good quality. So I'm just going to use my cutting ruler here to 
slice this up. Nice. Oh, now we have loads of rulers for you to check out on the website as well. They're your essentials, aren't they? They are. Yeah. And I've remembered to treat myself to a new cutting blade. I've done um, so much piecing I bet. this last week that then, I, you know, when you realise that your shoulders are hurt, <laughs> your shoulders <laughs> aching, like, I think, this? I need a new blade. <laughs> you think, oh, why didn't I do that sooner? Okay. So we just simply do that. And I've already sliced, um, for the corners, I've already sliced up the 10 inch square um, into two and a half inch strips as well. Because a little bit of, um, just to give you a little bit of a, you know, tips and tricks along the way, what we're going to do is instead of chopping our plane up into 10 inch squares yes. and then sewing them together, we're actually going to sew this as a whole strip and add them. Okay, okay so I'm just gonna do that now. You match that piece of fabric. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just going to put right sides together and we're going to stitch um, a quarter inch seam. And we're going to make like little pairs almost of one patterned, one plain. What I like about these fabrics is they're quite daring, aren't they? They're like, you think, wow, yellow with the blue, you know, but it actually it's really fun. Yeah, and I think um, over the years since I've been quilting, I've certainly got more confident with colour. Yeah. Um, but I'd never, ever played with anything as colourful as these fabrics until a few months ago. And I've really, really enjoyed, like, you know, enjoyed playing with them. Oh, yeah. stepping. I wondered why that wasn't feeding. It's I was actually right. stepping on the, on the end length of it. So, uh, yeah, I've really, really enjoyed playing with it. See the quilt behind me. I was just um, about to say, did you make that? Because yeah. that is really fun and So funky. that was one of the first... It was a lot smaller than that, a little demo piece that I did for So Crafty right yeah. here. And I just thought, do you know I'm going to carry on. I'm going to carry on, yeah, let's get it finished. And do you know so, how many pieces you used in it? Um, well, it's uh, the centres are the little five-inch squares. Yeah. And then um, a jelly roll pack. Um, so a pack of five-inch squares, uh, a pack of jelly rolls, and, and then the whitened navy plain fabric, Wonderful. you know, meterage. So this is a... A really good tip to sew these all on and then trim them down because we all know what happens if you're trying to sew two perfect strips together we're just going to do two of each okay two perfect strips together especially with lengths they tend to sort of go out of alignment so you get to the end and one is sitting a little bit squiffy to the other one so we can do this and then trim the yellow down okay do. trim them to perfect 10 inch strips um, we have popped at the bottom of the screen a uh, five inch square pick and mix and you're choosing any three and you get 42 pieces of fabric in each lovely pack uh, it's 24 pounds and 97 pence 870210 is your item number it's really difficult with some of these fabrics to actually see the right and the wrong side. <laughs> see, I just think that shows the quality as well. Yeah, the colour, the depth of colour in them is uh, amazing. They do just go right through. So, but sometimes it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, there we go. And as you can see, um, you can, so that is, uh, there, so there's your 40, over 40 inches. Uh -huh. And then you can see how much is left. Piece so left. yeah, you can see there. it's a, a good piece, a good long piece. So now we're just going to, obviously that then you'd be able to very precisely trim these down um, to 10 inch, 10 inch by two and a half. So you can trim one end. I have got some pre-done, so you're not going to have to watch me do it all, but just to show yeah. how it's done. So nice, a nice uh, flat edge, because sometimes they're, you know, um, these 10 inch squares, you can see it's slightly, slightly bigger. Uh -huh. um, so we can make that nice and accurately. So what sort of things would you, in, you know, inspire people to make with these fabrics? What do you reckon? Oh, all sorts. I mean, like yeah. I said, you don't have to make, um, you don't have to challenge yourself to make a large quilt with them if you find all the colours, you know, a bit too over overwhelming. Yeah. Great for bags and uh, placemats, really fun. Mm -hmm. um, lots and lots of projects, really. Because, as you say, you can buy me through to chop it down. Yeah. You can buy the pre-cuts. I've really enjoyed working with, um, I hadn't really worked that much with so many pre-cuts uh -huh. um, before, so it's been great to sort of play around with all the different pat patterns that you can make for, from all the pre-cuts. Mm -hmm. 